dodgy so rushing off lie. instantly. <clears throat> I think cool. this would have been great conversation live. This is a great conversation live. Hey, Jay, is I'm alive. Uh, is, You're alive. Is Rags the that's that's a that's a weird assumption for you to make. Uh is Rags the person telling me about the other It you, you cut out like twice there, what? <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Weird. Um, Jay, is Rags the person you were telling me about the other day? Warning you about? Warning um, me? Yeah, you should. You should give I a warning about Rags me. To you. I don't yeah. remember. You gotta watch out you're for saying, me. You're saying you had a friend who you were like, oh, he's conservative. And I was like, can you give me an example of how? Um, and we came to the conclusion that he just makes edgy jokes and you don't actually know if he's conservative or not. <laughs> Was that right? Definitely not right. Okay. Oh, now I'm curious who you're talking about. Because I'm not really conservative. Well, I, don't, I don't know who that would be, but I like I know who was that that we were talking about. about. Oh, that's definitely Mahler. Mahler is no, he's against Mahler. gay marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mahler constantly yeah. rails we're against not the, talking about Mahler, the plight of the straight. I'm going to that one. I'm going to that one thing. Uh, if, uh, what was it called? Mueller's channel is uh, not only right wing but partisan right wing. He's yes. a writer -er than I am. Yeah, I have, uh, my I, second I don't know channel is thought. remarkable Republican. I talk a lot about uh, what is wrong. With <laughs> really, I talk a lot about wow. catapults. <laughs> uh, I I retweeted. I quote tweeted. Uh, I found some random person through something. Uh, that oh it was uh cynical cj uh one of his tweets and some random person whose entire account was dedicated to hating Mahler was there and was <laughs> like oh i wouldn't anticipate someone who associates with the likes of Mahler to no, know far right whatever <laughs> uh, and i quote tweeted i was like holy shit you were not lying when you said this Mahler well, when I you told me it. the other week this was blue shit wasn't it we are I am pretty right leaning. Yes. Pretty right. What's, what's the more extreme than leaning? I'm right stomping. I am right. You're uh, right. You've you right fallen. You've just fallen okay, over. Fallen. Right, right <laughs> stumbling. You lost your balance. <laughs> right fallen, left fallen. Just drunk, so drunkenly just stumbling to the right. I think that's what it's called. I mean, is is do you think that's a result of the Overton window right. shift? Exaggerated right. I've been I've been defenstrated. By I... the Overton window. <laughs> Got thrown out the Overton window. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I threw the Overton <laughs> window great. to my left so that I would then be on the right. Dude, there's a really, well, really good rap lyric in there somewhere of just like defenestration of the Overton window. There's some I'll, real good play in there. I'll do it. I, I freestyle. Defenestration. Constipation. Elaboration. <laughs> wow. I like it. I like it. Oh, you're just doing, uh, what's that song? Words. Titillation. Um, Titillation, the song. It's a Papa Roach. <laughs> remember that? Remember Papa Roach when he was yeah, when he had like one station. song that and everyone had on their iPod Nano? I don't remember that. I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, because you're fucking I'm 17 child. seconds old. Oh, yeah. Ageism. Ageist. It's pretty fucked well, up. I, just, I don't cause... feel like it's ageism to be like, you don't remember things that happened longer ago. <laughs> what I... This I don't know if it's true or not, but from what I hear, most things happened before I was yeah. born. Yeah, it's really weird. Is a fucking That's ageist. Apparently, loads of stuff was going on before. Oh. Um, the other day, a thirteen-year-old girl, um, unironically told me that she can't. She was part of the group of people canceling some content creator, uh, because they were ageist, and I was like just blown aback because I'd never heard someone unironically say that. I've only heard someone mention it in the... Oh, I'm sorry. Ableist, not ageist. Ableist. A ableist. Oh, was it Sia or something? No, Sia got it. No. But they then she... They differently abled. Hmm. But then she continued to say, well, I didn't actually start watching his content. I just, like, am canceling them. But I, I like... I just, like you know, I just enjoy canceling people. I'm just a psychopath, you know. Canceling is <laughs> Well, fun. she's... 13. I don't I, I don't know how like informed into the decision she 13 is. 13 year olds can be psychopaths. Yeah, that's a that's the age of psychopath. Everyone's a, a psychopath at 13, I think. Yeah, I would agree. Especially girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sexism. My first job. We're live, right? <laughs> let's let's check off every ism we can possibly do. Yes, we're live. Uh, that's the goal.
So what my first job was to referee soccer games and uh, would highly suggest it if you need some money. Uh, but one thing that I've noticed extremely regularly is that little girls are fucking vicious. Like boys <laughs> are there to prove who's the best amongst them. Boys have the boys, they, they especially at that age, they seem to have more of a sense of honor. But girls, oh, girls are fucking vicious. Those little bitches, man, they're they're not out there to prove who is the best amongst them. They are out there to annihilate one another. They are the roughest, toughest, most oh man, little girls. Oh, they could be when it comes to soccer. I don't know, when it comes to soccer, they're fucking vicious. And don't even get me started on volleyball. Oh my god. <laughs> These Whoa. girls when they're playing volleyball, because I had two little sisters and well, I still I still have them. It's oh, no good, good. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. They didn't jump over me and they didn't like die or anything. Um, but they used to play volleyball and I'd go you and I'd Thanos snapped and they're older. They're just they're they're oh man. They're oh watch out for those little girls, man. They'll fuck you up. They was... they attack packs like that. Oh would they like like hit people in their shins and stuff? They like go, yeah, stab Girls each other's necks, there. make each other's arms. Oh, oh my god, knives and guns. Think of the cooties. Oh, <laughs> it was, it was a fun job though. Hmm. Hey, well, it was like a game would be like an hour and you'd get like 20 bucks for it. Oh, so bad. Yeah, yeah, you get to That's watch the game, good. right? Age and you have like no bills or anything. And every Saturday, Sunday, you go out, referee four or five soccer games, you make like a hundred bucks cash. You're like, hell yeah, that's a shit ton of money. You could buy What like, channel are we live on right now? Is it Mahler or Mueller? Mueller. Madison. Goodell. Mumbler. Mumbler. Mooper. Or, Mooper, or, that's what it was. Mumbler. Remarkable Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Secret <laughs> alt channel. Um, I want to point out that I, I saw... talked about on a previous EFAP, like what if you and Quentin Reviews were the same person playing like different sides of the field? Um, I wouldn't be doing that great, would I, with the alter ego? It would be like, why do you make him so ridiculous? I'd be like, I don't know. Um, which, by the way, I saw a screenshot the other day of um, the actual channel Remarkable Republican is talking about Remarkable Republican as like he couldn't maintain it really well because he just he couldn't keep being stupid, like to keep finding retarded things to say in a retarded way. And he was just like, oh, I give up. I, I think he's given up anyway. Oh, sad. I know. Sad indeed. Also, welcome to EFAP 111. It's 111. I, I don't know if it, were we supposed to do something special for 111. Does that like is that um we got six people? Six That's special. Um, six, six, six. When, one, you one. To, when you get to EFAP number 911, then you could do something special for your American audiences. Oh, oh no. hard. <laughs> I'd be so excited. Holy shit. <laughs> They'll be really happy about that, I'm sure. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to cover a review of, like... Wait, Spider-Man 2, that that uh, to be altered in its marketing because of 9-11, right? 9-11. <clears throat> Lilo and Stitch. Oh, that's another one. There's a couple... Whenever you're in trouble, just dial That's the only one I know of. I didn't know Spider-Man that happened. Yeah, I think there was um a promotional image of Spider-Man, like, on the two towers or something. Ah... Uh... And they were like, uh oh, axe that. Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I think I think the Twin Towers are in Spider Man two, actually. I like the video Wait, game. So Doc Ock did nine eleven. Oh, people are saying it's Spider Man one, not two. Wow. Oh really? Okay. The Green Goblin did nine eleven then. Am I am I wrong in thinking that the PSP uh super beloved uh Spider Man two game is uh has the Twin Towers in it? Because I remember like I think jumping off them. Oh no. Rem Lazar had the Twin Towers. Did the did the image ever get published, or was this just like a, something that people know about? Oh shit! You got memes. I didn't even. I didn't. Yeah. Even... Someone I said you That's can correct. cover two terrible videos and one in a field in Pennsylvania, and one in the Pentagon. I guess he forgot about that. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Aliens never forget. If anyone sees this meme and they're like, huh? That means you're not a true EFAP watcher and you've not seen EFAP Gaming 11 or 12. I can't remember what it was. I think it was 11. Um... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense under under context. We've 
gotten so limited in, in the creation of characters in the EFAP law now that three lines is a character. <laughs> <laughs> His name is G. Eventually, we're going to have two lines, then just one Are they line. vertical or horizontal? Uh, two are of it. One is horizontal. Well, one is horizontal, two are vertical-ish. Yeah. It, so, it kind of looks slightly curved. Well, they're all really curved. It sort of I would looks call like horizontal, like left to right lines, and well, vertical can... up to down lines. You can see him. There's a picture of him on that meme. Yeah, vertical he's right there, Gene. He's the second image. It's Gene. Which which meme? Gene. The bottom. He's the king. Yeah, the meme on the bottom in the in the chat. He is. Uh, what is what's a mob to a king? He's the king. Oh, it's king. like the hangman uh, thing. Hangman news. Kinda, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Or Chat. is it more like a staple? Like, is it meant to for one line to be longer than the other, or no? Oh, definitely. Um, also, Everything people are still arguing over meant to be that way. whether it's seven or table in chat. Apparently, that a lot over. of people. Yeah, a lot of people are typing the Japanese character wa in chat. It does kind of look like that. Are they crying? What? It's like wa. Ah, wah, la, la, no, la, la, la. just the, the, the Japanese character for W A, the sound. Wah. Yeah, Waluigi? That's, 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 wah. that's the crying character. Wah. 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 I guess you could read it like that. Oh, yeah, they're crying. Crying on lips. Isn't that like, Luigi's first name? Luigi. Girl tears. Waluigi Luigi? Waluigi Mario. Waluigi. Hey, should I get uh, Spider Man 2, the, the video game? Should I get that? On what? Is it. PS4. I'm not gonna buy a fucking PS5. I have a Wait, PS4. There's very there's no Spider-Man 2 on PS4. Yeah, it just came out. Yeah, it's available for PS4, I think. That's a Miles Morales one. Yeah, that's like an expansion or something, I think. Yeah, that's an expansion for the other one. And that was the thing the uh, Cosmonaut said if people are already assuming it's an expansion because like they're racist, that it's about a black person, so of course it's not a full game. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> no, can no, I I'm, I just googled it. You can. It is absolutely uh, a PS4 game. Of course, no, it they is. Think it's a DLC, yeah, 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 but, yeah, but it's, it's, all, it's a DLC for the previous. Yeah, it's game. like <laughs> also only fifty bucks, not sixty. That's pretty interesting. Wow, I think if you said... you can pay extra to get like that and the new the older game in one package i think well it's fifty dollars because they they wanted miles morales he's black. <laughs> wow fifty dollars right. on the sixty dollars that's fucked up you assume it's a dlc therefore you're racist is a new one to me <laughs> yeah see miles I... morales is technically its own game but it has about as much content as the dlc for the original there you go the dlc for the original was 30 bucks but it wasn't about black people so um also yeah one 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 welcome and and we should probably get we got two new bloods here disgusting horrible new bloods first on the left is mr capital o opinions hello how do you hello. know how do you do we've seen we've seen some of your videos on here before where you make fun of people rudely for having their own opinions and you can't handle that so we're here to condemn you for that what's wrong with you I'm not hearing a lot of condemnation. That just sounds like a <laughs> question. So yeah, why are you rooting things? Why do you have to be so like, mean? Is my point. Like what, you're like, oh, why do you have to have standards? Me. Yeah. What's that about? Why, why, why do you have to have standards? Okay, he's ruining things we have because you have standards. That's subjective. Look, <laughs> only bigots have standards. Okay. I've, uh, some yeah, people are like we should cover your video on uh, Hill House and rip it to shreds, quote unquote. And I was like, oh, but I agree with some of it. That was like, <laughs> 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 funnily yeah, enough. Yeah, you can find stream. a like two hour discussion between us about that on Metal's YouTube channel now. I think it would be there somewhere. It's gonna be hard to find unless he's labeled it, but God of War Part Two or something. God of War Two Part Two maybe? That might be it. I think that probably is it. It's the one with us all in it. Yeah, it's the one where we're all in it and just having a chill. In fact, that was the episode where we were like, Hey, you guys wanna come on EFAP? And you're like, Okay. <laughs> it was uh it was an yeah, event. Yeah. But, but yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sorry that you hate that I hate people's opinions. But it's, I will it's, it's try rude. to do better next time. And well, uh, you wanna, what do you wanna go by for this stream? Uh, oh, you can call me Jamie. That's Jamie. Easier. It is. And our second new blood is uh, a guy who has apparently been transferred from history. He's looking pretty old there with his little suit and his beard. <laughs> then again, ancient astronaut. 
Yeah, if I was to take this seriously, then I guess, you know, it's pretty cr crazy that we have Roger Ebert alive and well in this call as well. So <laughs> time travel is all over the place. But uh, Medium D speaks. How do you do, sir? Welcome. Uh, hi, thank you for having me. I'm uh, pretty good. Do you have a Medium D? It's not yes, a big that's, that's the whole joke. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to say it's a large or a small. You want to stick to medium. Yeah, no, I, it's 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 sort of a threefold joke. But yeah. How does what's it? The, yeah, what the are the three folds? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, first of all, like I uh, I talk about hip hop a lot uh, in in my videos. It's a topic I've always liked. I've freestyled since high school. I wouldn't consider myself a rapper by any means. It's just like a thing that I do for fun. I don't put out any music or anything. But every rapper is sort of like you know like lil something or big something there's never been like a rapper that's like oh i'm medium uh pump or medium <laughs> skies or something i don't get it so uh so <laughs> there's explain. that then obviously there's just the the blatant penis joke my name's daniel so d medium d um and then the the third fold would be more of a statement mm. eh. well the, th mm. the third would be i make videos about media uh, I, so medium mediums of of expression media, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sort of a threefold thing. Mm. I only counted two folds, but that's okay. Do you get that concerned really, that people might uh, picture the folds of like a fat person when you say that? <laughs> no, not until right now. <laughs> well, that's that's a warning for the future. Medium folds. I suppose it could don't have to be fat. They could just be really old, and the skin is just folding around. I wouldn't want to take or, that away from old people. Or they could be like used to be fat and lost a bunch of weight. That too. They could be young and thin and, and, and yet have folds. You just yeah, see fold when it's. Oh, it I have a big scar on my belly, and it's formed like a little little fold of skin. Okay, don't be a bigot, okay? Don't assume someone's folds. Imagine because if you get you fat enough, too much, okay? that a person mm -hmm. will come out of you, like because you've. That's just how it works. Like once you're fat enough, you will just be you'll you'll separate into two beings. <laughs> That'd be really creepy. Yeah. And I they're always like, oh, oh, I'm eating for two, but the second is like the size of a fist, so I don't really buy it. Well, like, and it's like the prestige. They both see each other. They both know if they kill the other, they get the rights of the human that they both previously occupied. So they immediately fight. <laughs> like, fucking <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> Unless That's how Highlander was born. It, yeah, it only makes sense, I'd say, from a DNA perspective, right? Like, with all we know, I think that's the way it would probably go. Yeah. Uh, does that mean Movie Bob might have other Movie Bobs out there? Um, <laughs> I think. I think oh, off of him, but he, he snapped off like he's an aloe plant. <laughs> he's like the anomaly. <laughs> he like consumes that second that when it's about to like become another person. It just sort of reinvigorates him, and he becomes bigger. I think the idea that Movie Bob is just, like a sponge is kind of like this people just grow off of Movie Bob. Is that how Quintet Reviews came along? Just, he just butted off a of Movie Bob? <laughs> oh, God. Because <laughs> Quinton is like a good anything. He's just sort of a, you know, a subpar other stuff. He's a, a worse Movie Bob. He's kind of <laughs> like a Movie Bob. He's, I think he's better he's than not... Movie Bob. <laughs> so I know that, like, people, like, Quinton obviously has an audience, but, like, I feel like nobody that is uh, that would be considered like contemporary or like any form of content creator i've never heard anyone be like yeah i respect quentin reviews <laughs> no, yeah, no, no one one i never heard of that either never heard of that either yeah he's a sad boy has quentin Re reviews ever posted like a picture of himself with someone else for you know i'll you know as a hypothetical uh, has Quentin Quinn Reviews ever had like a selfie with someone he admired who was maybe yes. may, may or may not have <laughs> yes woman, and then the woman and the woman may have said, I don't like you anymore. Get away from me, you creepo. Or Aww. something like that. Is no, there something to, even reviews? better that I saw happen <laughs> in person and was amazing. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, yeah. And also, um, uh, I, just because just of how much he's already been... I, I was, I was going to say, i gotta got to make sure I introduce everyone, right? We've also got Literature Devil making a yeah, little no, turn no. here. And, uh, and Jay. Hello, Jay. And Literature Devil, how yeah. are you both doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Yay. <laughs> Jay, you're happy camp over here. Just rock it in a real bit. Jay, you unhappy? You haven't said anything. I'm hungry and I have to go soon. Oh. Wow. Wow.
It makes Rude. you look really bad. Jay, yeah. I've never heard you not say I need to go whining. To... Well, that's because I got places to be, motherfucker. No, don't. you fucking don't. You don't leave your house. You order your groceries. <laughs> I do order my. I, there are other places. You to order be your with. groceries. Gross. Most of your orders groceries. You don't go to a store and buy them. <laughs> Jay yeah. does not. Are you like store. eighty years old? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, do you have life alert? <laughs> it's more convenient. Who would be alerted? Plus, like, you just get to like, you just get to have a regular shopping bag. Go get your own groceries, Go Jay. Ahead. You Come have on. a lot of sh- there's a lot of shopping baskets at the shop. Yeah, they have those. I don't see what's wrong with this? It's the service that they provide. I think you I don't think there's an underlying criticism of laziness here. I'm smelling it. The groceries. Should I also mention that it like it's a physical pain for me to walk because I need surgery on my foot? Yeah, well, they have those little carts that old. You're people really, <laughs> you're, you're not helping those argument that you're points. 80 years old. You're, you're you're not doing a lot of favors to this idea that you're 80. Oh well, my gams, you know, they hurt. I've just, uh, I've just aged well. If you're 80 years old and you still haven't seen Lord of the Rings, that's even more disappointing. <laughs> well, it only came out well, in Lord of the Rings. So, Wait, how do you not know you that? You could have met Tolkien. Has Jay been lying never, to his cast of R? Has he been not never letting them know up. he hasn't seen Lord of the Rings? Yeah, Why I would come up? Never comes up. So yeah, Jay, I feel like we, Lord of Rings? We, don't, we don't do media on that channel. We do like just shit posting on that channel. If you just added up yeah. all the time that you spent at home not going to get groceries, you could easily watch those movies. That is true. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, um... Just want to iterate. Um, I I'm not uh, a white person, so I am going to sign off <laughs> on any racism uh, that oh. anyone wants to claim for these people. Uh, it's not. But your picture is that of a white person. <laughs> well, no, I I altered the pigmentation to be brown. I don't know. If you notice you you. I can show you the original picture. Mm. Sure, what? yeah, because he looks pretty white. <laughs> That's racist, Rex. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I would say the same thing, but uh, I don't know. The media has said that I am either black or or brown Red? or some or POC or something. I don't know. I, it's been revoked and re- re-granted to me several times over. So I don't know where I stand. I think it's like depends on the day of the week. Did the, I don't know. Did the Bible uh, specify if I am considered race? Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's all is the term POC. Hate that term. You you so Person, you turn the hair dark. And person you cool sort of, you sort of. I yeah, I guess your... the skin. The skin's a yeah, yeah. And I yeah, I made it darker. My, uh, my skin's a little bit darker than that uh, on the avatar, but you can't identify with Alexander Hamilton unless he looks just like you. Yeah, that's I mean, how it works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like me. But his character does not look like me. I can't. I can't empathize with him because I'm Wait a psychopath. Wait a minute. That's that's how we can tell what the race some people are. If you do empathize with them, that means they are your skin color. Meaning Satan must be white because I I empathize with him quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the white devil. Uh, it all. I mean, you don't, you, would you have to? You would you have to really at that point mention that? <laughs> it's a little, a little redundant, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I've been reminded. So, Jamie. Which do you think is better, Christmas or Halloween? Christmas. Dun dun dun. Though, though I would like to add that Halloween is also great. Yeah, but I, I mean, ho- everyone knows Halloween is great, but that Halloween it's is better. Well, some great. people on this in this debate seem to say one or the other sucks, and I just I won't stand you know, for that I'm, level. Of I'm with you, man. I like them both never, a lot, and I don't like it when people have to shit on the other side I've just because they've chosen one. I've never said that the inferior Halloween sucks. The theme theory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. said it it's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, but Christmas is worse. Yeah. But the answer is Christmas. Christmas is the better. Um, yeah, medium D speaks. Better, yeah. Which do you believe is better? I'd I'd say Christmas. Yeah. Another loss. Do right. I need to substantiate why, or just like, can I just <laughs> oh, say that? You can say if you want to. I mean. Okay, so you get like sure on Halloween you could say you get presents because you get candy, but you have to trick or treat to get candy, and you there's don't. sort of an age limit on that. That's sort of an ageist uh, sort of thing. You have so to trick or treat to get Christmas candy. More <laughs> so you're, Christmas so you're getting... more you have to actually work on Halloween. Is that is that why you don't like it as much? You have to work on Halloween to earn um, your own. 
<laughs> no, I would say I've more frequently had to work on uh, Christmas than Halloween because I worked Halloween in better. restaurants and bars for uh, seven years. By your own logic, Halloween is better. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You get more presents. You uh, are more likely to hang out with larger groups of family. You're less likely to have to work um, or be in school. Um, there, there, there's just so many reasons. Like Halloween, you like you don't get the day off. Christmas, you do. In yeah, I, I I find that a lot of the people who prefer Halloween are um a bunch of losers. Kind of. Um, they they <laughs> don't they, they don't have they don't have a family that loves them. Extreme they it, their social life is clearly in shambles. Uh, they have an addiction to sugar. <laughs> addiction to sugar. <laughs> they have they addiction to sugar. I did lose that one. Wait, if they were addicted to sugar, why do they only do it on Halloween? Like, wouldn't they be sugared uh, up yeah, they throughout the year? Time, right? It's one of those once a year addictions. Like, like, like heroin addicts don't addiction. shoot up heroin once a year. Doesn't make any sense. Dude, oh, it, it, well, it awesome. does make sense. If there if there was a day where there was a celebration of heroin, you know that the heroin addicts would be all over that. I day. feel like the heroin addicts would be like a regular care. day. I can like, I can actually speak for the heroin addicts. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I've been on heroin five years. How can you be a heroin addict if you're a guy? What? <laughs> I, have I you ever it. seen the heroine's journey? Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, no, what you wouldn't you be if you're addicted to heroines? Like you're more likely to be a straight guy or a lesbian. Oh wow. Well, that's appropriation. We have to rename it. The only it. way that you enjoy heroin is sexually. Wow. Well, Dumb. what else? How do you there? consume heroin? You're addicted to them. We're talking I about being addicted like to heroines. Yeah, so if yeah, so I, I consume them uh, via I eat them. Fuck it, sure. You eat you you eat you out heroin. Heroin too. Not bad. It was nice candy. Work. Fava beans on the side. Esteban. I do like the even split right now though of Halloween and Christmas in our little cast. It's neat. I would have thought that the argument for Halloween would have been like the thought, the availability of thoughts that are slutty <laughs> drunk and in like very that implies there's costumes. no christmas Water thoughts i think rags desperate. would take issue with that I, like i would have thought that would have been the whole argument for well there's loads that. of arguments for halloween you know they're just bush None of the arguments for halloween i want to hear them it's um, awesome i mean uh, uh, i guess the, it's, the, a, it's objectively better like and subjectively better. the the modifier is 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 usually exciting and unpredictable and media relating to halloween is often very uh... you see medium this is what i have to put up with all the time <laughs> this is what i put up with on this show okay look, okay, look well, halloween is at one time of year i get to see my family because all the weird cult weird occultists is summon all these demons okay i'm stuck here on the mortal plane exactly. uh, so wait, i thought you're so you're not normal well, why don't you stay wait I'm stuck here. I got I got summoned here, and then I fail here. Well, and that's just it. have them summon you back. No, it doesn't work that way. It's a it's a lot of paperwork, a lot of um blue a lot tape of immigration paper. forms. Yeah, exactly. I lost oh, I lost my hell card. Satan follows the rules. It's important mm -hmm. to lawful like, evil, you know. Which is which is you know sort of biblically accurate. Like Satan has to ask God for permission to do things, and then God says yes <laughs> so like uh, hey, um, hey god can i burn down the city yeah sure whatever hey, I'm I'm over here. Here. You ask, can i, I fuck this dude up in his whole fucking life to see yeah, if yeah, he's sure, faithful to you it's like yeah go for it really Look, yeah. Satan, i'm playing fortnite leave me alone do whatever you'd be like file it under test and you should be able to do anything what? you want <laughs> yo i gotta give a shout out to this guy john in chat that just made a super deep reference to a podcast cut that I was on once a year ago. Cut out when he said his name. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what what. He doesn't get a shout out. No, John shout Hastings. Out. Don't let him have it. John nah. John Hachman. Hastings. Hello, John Hastings. I like Hachman oh, better. Old J H. Reference. Old J. We should probably. Uh, I guess we should probably get started because there's there's something that I yeah. I mean I want Jay to see all of this today, but uh, Jay's gonna get going. I, I love it. Someone said, "Wait a minute." The leave. book of Joe brags like I yeah. <laughs> Jay sure. always has to leave. Job is just a weird way of pronouncing right job. Um, have you not seen uh, Arrested Development? I've seen the. Um, I saw the first season. I have not it's seen really any good. of it, but I've heard it's good. It's great. The first yeah. season I really like. I thought it was really funny. 
Is it a plot hole that Jay has to leave because he has places to be, but he can't even walk? He's he's not even <laughs> he's not even trying to like do stuff uh, in the time he could be here. He's quiet. This speaks into the the no. Jay meme. Yeah. It is impossible to keep up with this chat. Holy shit! It goes. Fast. Oh, they're fine. They like to run yeah. around. They have lots of <laughs> energy. The zoomies. <laughs> you so say so that too. That son, so he has every right to be pissed at us. I didn't do that. I don't. I, it's, I didn't do it. I want me. Leave me out of this. Rags, do you like Christmas thoughts? Do I like Christmas thoughts? Yeah, like a mistletoe and uh, tinsel on the trees and the presents <laughs> and the eggnog. I like chestnuts. Christmas thoughts. I like chestnuts. Thoughts about the, about Christmas. They're great. Big heaving chestnuts. Also, I have provided you guys uh, the link. This one's Green this is. I was Thank shown. You. I was given this by somebody as a timestamp from a video from Movie Bob from two thousand nine. And if somebody wow. says that it's Whoa. just... It's, was he smaller or larger back then? It's funny you say that. <laughs> because it was exactly the same proportion. In which sense? He, it sounds like a joke. You listen to him, and it sounds like a movie's attempt to be like, this is young movie Bob, because he's exactly the same, but really high pitch. <laughs> um, but also, is... I would assume that people in, uh, in Alabama are really the excited about Christmas thoughts, because they're their cousins. Or Laborma. All right, we, All got, right, go. we got five people in this they group. Don't have Who's not How can us? you be a thought in Alabama if you don't have internet? How can you be a thought in Alabama if you don't have a cousin? Oh, they're, so internet they just record it. They record it on their phones, and then they, they text it to all of their fans. It's like 240p. On their Obama phones. <laughs> Is it video 240p? Oh, this video. Caminandes? Um, all right, let's... Oh. Christmas thoughts. I wonder if these are good. Maybe we should EFAP the Caminandes movies. I'm sure there's copyright to hell and back. Comin because there's, it looks like there's three parts. There's Llama Drama, there's Grand Llama, Llama and there's Llama Goes. So the video is 480p, so we're looking at max quality. <laughs> Pretty neat. Whoa, wow. Um, where hey, I want... Game over thinker. I want us to get to three minutes. The interesting part starts at around two minutes forty. I don't know if we should we should watch the rest for context, especially because it regards Resident Evil Five rags. Oh wow! Yeah, what a, what a what a quinky dinkle. So I guess we'll just watch until he says the thing because I I just thought it was amusing. All right, so this is for anyone who doesn't know, this is Movie Bob. He's um <laughs> legendary internet contributor. Lots of things to say. As you can see from his little banner there, he talks about um Mario, RoboCop. Godzilla, Spider-Man, women, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I googled him. I uh, I did a cursory <laughs> introduction, a crash course on Movie Bob. I I I got an idea. Come on, who doesn't know about Movie Bob by now? <laughs> he's <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of the one of the top most prolific uh, viewers of all time. He's just uh he's he's up there with Ebert. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Roger, Bobbert, Niejerk, Robert, Ebert, Robert, Bobbert, Bobbert, oh. Niejerk. Robert Nijerk. Well, he's movie Bob. He's clearly movie Robert Robert Ebert. Proud to be an American. <laughs> prouder to be an American geek. Oh. I, I am shocked. Oh, that's so uh, proud to be an American. His advocacy for a geek master race started early. Then, yes. I don't think he's still proud to be an American. Oh no, he fuck. He probably fucking there. hates America and freedom and liberty and all sorts of stuff. He oh, wants the, he wants a moon theocracy or something. So he's a him <laughs> How, it's how a Martian one, he? Rags. Why do you make him sound stupider than he is? A Martian theocracy. Moon is, the, <laughs> Moon is on the way to the Martian. He doesn't mm. want a theocracy, surely. Wouldn't you no, want a, a religion of that was him at the religion head of, of him. The church. That was Remarkable Republican, wasn't it? Wouldn't you just want a monarchy where he is the king? No, it'd be, you know, he's the god king. It's a theocracy. And he sets all the religious <laughs> edicts. God king. God king movie, Bob. Imagine like he get, gets it all done on his golden throne, but he I mean, has the in Bob we trust sense. thing going. He does in yeah. Slob we trust. In Bob, you guys know about the Bobiverse, the the books from uh, <laughs> in Audible. Slob we trust. Did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Movie Bob used to be an objectivist. He loved Ayn Rand. Interesting. Oh, for real? That's weird. Oh, he's one of those guys. Oh, Just right. jump from one extreme to the next. I swear, because objectivism for me is I'm like, okay, like stop halfway. You're good. And with Bob, it's like stop entirely, and you're good. 
have, did Bob actually have just <laughs> entirely different values when he made this? Are we going to see a rare, like... Well, funny you say that, because the thing that, that he says in this actually. one wouldn't be seen really? in, his, in his new videos. He would not say Don't something he said in this one. Yourself? No, don't you know that public figures aren't to ever change or anything you said 10, 20, 30 years ago still applies to you today? Yeah, we're about to see a, a right-wing movie, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is right-wing. He just... He just tells himself he's not. He's, he's Bob. Is he like an SJW lefty or something? He's like he's he 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 wants to be, but he's really a crazy authoritarian, <laughs> quasi-fascist yeah, like, Nazi person. If if he was in Are the we... same room as them, they'd all be pulling on their collars, like, oh gee, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I don't know. He's trying to be in the same room as all of them, and they're all like, "Can you go away?" We're all going to say like something like, "I don't know." I, I love I love guns as much as I hate taxes and the government. I hate the government. Also, Reagan was awesome. I don't I can't wait for Mubo to say that. I love guns guy. as much as I hate taxes. I, yeah. Why? Yeah. I fucking hate taxes. <laughs> who actually I, likes taxes? Yeah, who likes taxes? <laughs> who is like, oh boy, it's tax time. Except for, and except then for, they, like, no, they no, add no, a little bit extra because they love taxes so much. Maybe they the, just, the Findom oh. people uh, or Fendom? the BDSM oh, people, they, they, they might like that. tax because cause they're Findom. Like, yeah, they're the financial okay. domination. Yeah, they're, they're into that. They're, gov, they're GovDom. Yeah. Take, take my money, Boris. Take my money, please. <laughs> take my money. Yeah. Take my money Spend slower. it on fucking shit. Ooh, take my money, baby. Spend it on caterpillar research, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. That you... caterpillar, caterpillar research. research. <laughs> caterpillar <laughs> research. You say that like Just, it's not necessary. I feel like we're having a competition of laughter. Like a, a new government study finds laughs. that caterpillars turn into butterflies. They don't just disappear. Ten million dollar study shows that uh, caterpillars turn into butterflies. Experts confirm. That's the, that's what we always assumed at first. So, like they just disappear. That's, that's their cycle. They just stop. And the little truth meter websites are like, yeah, partially true. They just like tag out, and the butterfly comes in. But where does the caterpillar go? Nobody knows. knows. <laughs> Possibility. Uh, the government's gonna find out for us. <laughs> no, it was it was Pokemon when they saw Metapod turn into a uh, cat. No, wait, what is it? Caterpie right. Metapod, right. and then Butterfree. Butterfree. Yeah, they were like, shit, man. Maybe there's something to this. The government just has a really big Patreon that we're not allowed to unsubscribe from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you anyway, get, uh, movie Bob, you I get guess. Charge back when you're 65. Also, Jay, did you know this? You've never watched a movie Bob video on EFAP before. What? Yeah. Well, of course he hasn't watched a something. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's movies I don't watch. I watch a lot of YouTube. So it's amusing that the first one would be one Not from more like than more than a decade ago. The past becomes the present. The now. The Here we go. Bob on the occasion of my eighth episode, I elected to focus on the subject of video games and race, owing largely to the controversy <laughs> surrounding the then upcoming Capcom title Resident Evil 5. Namely, that it's set up involving an armed, uniformed white hero blowing away hordes of rampaging, dirt-poor African villagers. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I don't know if he's That's ever played long. Resident Evil. Well, Zol first off, we never had this problem. I, I don't recall this ever being an issue with Resident Evil 4, no. where a lone, armed, white person goes to a Spanish village and, and guns down time. a bunch of dirt-poor, you know, Hispanic or Latino. <laughs> are there Hispanic? They're Hispanics, right? Okay, are Latinos. you talking about Spain or South America? I can, We're talking I can. about Spain. Yeah. So Hispanics? Yeah, Hispanic, not Latino. Hispanic? Okay. I just, so Hispanics, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't remember it really ever coming up for Resident Evil no, 5 I don't, or 4. I don't think it. There was probably somebody who said oh, something. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Um, I just find it amusing that like he wants to mention how poor they are before the important part, which is that they're undead. <laughs> like, that seems to be more. Of yeah, they, they want to murder you and kill you and take over the world. And they're not those. Have... Even if they were rich before they died, they're poor now because all their money went to their inheritance. True. Well, they're they're Maybe trying they're to they don't have money. completely globally saturate, and we have to stop them. Um, it is funny though because this this is unrelated to the fact that we just finished Resident Evil Five on, on a playthrough. Me and Rags like the, this video just it just happens to be about that. Oh, wow. Isn't the be protagonist of Resident Evil, Evil Japanese? Of which Resident Evil? Um, I don't know. Oh wow, wow, wow! wow. You don't know the Resident e the the deep tapestry that is the Resident <laughs> Evil lore. Is that one the one with the the weird uh circumcision uh theory? Um, well, circumcision's not a theory. <laughs> Can we shoot zombies? 
That's just a theory. <laughs> a <laughs> cock theory. Do you know what I'm talking about? The the Justin Wang made a video about it. Justin Wang talked about <laughs> circumcision. <laughs> I, oh, what a perfect last name. Somebody made this. I I, I don't know what the context is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Big Jungus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they made, oh, but God. Big Jungus. <laughs> That's I'm gonna save that. I think it relates have, to Jay's tism foot. Be a, so he can't walk. This is what they picture. <laughs> so he said he needs surgery. Listen, Jay, Jay needs groceries <laughs> delivered. All right. <laughs> the grocery store isn't downhill from you. You're fucked. <laughs> God. I notice you only have two folds. Hmm. I have a question. Yeah. How come it. they're called steam rollers? Um, because they run on steam. Well, they really? Steam powered? In the beginning, probably. In the beginning. Not anymore, I imagine. Because I have no idea. Because I saw one the other day. They were working on a road, and there was a steam roller. And I was like, why do they call it that? I, I see no steam. Maybe it's a historic thing. Yeah, I would assume so. The first thing, okay, so uh, steam, right? When you look at it, it's not very flat. Steam? Right. Yeah. The, steam is the of the century. Do you mean you like look the, at the game very software flat. platform thing? Steam? Or oh, I guess they the do. Yeah, steam rollers, um, what they do is they flatten, uh, they flatten they game rollers. Because I'm yeah. looking at some pictures of old ones, and they look like they're powered by steam. So I'm like, I guess the, I guess the name just stuck. Because I guess... Yeah, they were originally like steam exclusives. So um, this article is about steam-powered road rollers. For informal use of the term that includes other types, see road roller. Road roller is gay. Steam. Yeah, that sounds awful. Steam <laughs> road roller. Like, right. and you can say someone got steamrolled, like in an argument. Yeah, you got, got so much roller. Roller. You're like, We got what? Wait, what? Some of these are really cool looking. Anyway. Right. EFAP, yeah. steamroller edition. Oh, I, yeah. Poor African villagers was viewed by some to be at <laughs> best racially villagers. insensitive. In any case, in the time between then and the actual game's release, to the expected massive sales and mixed reviews, Capcom saw fit to try and mitigate the swirling controversy by offering up as your sidekick for the game's quite infrequent... buy the authenticity of Booby Bob's supposed empathy towards people? Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he, he read up on how to do it because he wasn't... <laughs> but also, how I just... He just sounds so, like, his voice just sounds higher pitched, and that's an excuse for why he's younger. I think that's his mic. I think that might be his mic, I think he's up his high end, because it's, it's the worst mic. I think he recorded it inside of an air conditioner, too. So, mm -hmm. like, he's, that's where he lives. I would account for that, yeah. I have something to show Jay. Go on. What? Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Controversy by offering up as your sidekick uh, for the Twitter. game's infrequently obnoxious two that. characters. Are you two done? Can we go yeah, back? Jesus, <laughs> trying to listen to <laughs> fucking Moody Bob. Got things to say. The swirling controversy by offering up as your sidekick for the game's infrequently obnoxious two character control scheme, one Shiva, a requisite tough Shiva. girl type of Shiva. <laughs> Older Shiva, this now fucking pleb, <laughs> says that he's prouder to be an American geek, and he calls her Shiva. Terrible. Like, fucking mongoloid. One I Shiva, never thought that uh, maybe Bob might be an escaped SCP Foundation guy. <laughs> like, he just, like, a project that escaped <laughs> it. To keep in the facility, so they're like, well, I guess you're sort of harmless. <laughs> you could be, uh, you you could be mistaken for like, human. Weirdos off yourself. Like, you may have spawned uh, particular views off your body, but uh, I guess you're mostly harmless. It's a test for the world. They're seeing how long it'll take before <laughs> anyone notices. Uh, Mui Bob was a plague of Egypt. He just stayed around. <laughs> <laughs> he turns up in one of the bars, just like, hey. Like, oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> she was saying was Shiva. My firstborn, not this. Creamy Shiva. Creamy Shiva? Oh, I'm fucking creamy and Shiva. Oh no. Girl type Dude, Sheva, like, unironic <laughs> Sheva is one of the smoking hot gals in video games ever. Like, holy fuck. And they didn't bring her back. God damn. Oh, and they didn't bring her back. What the fuck? She had the accent. She had the looks. She had the pew pew. She had the fucking tribal costume. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many of my buttons. I think if if EFAP gets big enough, we can buy the Resident Evil IP and we can bring it back. If the Sheva Alomar voice actress 
is watching this, come on EFAP and tell us <laughs> how amazing Sheva is. Yeah. Because it's just like a stupid idiot, muscle hunk loser. <laughs> wow. A requisite tough girl type of African descent. Now with the announcement of a female Pink character, Africa. of course, what? comes the inevitable announcement of unlockable costume choices of the Yay. cheesecake variety. Since, after all, the only thing gamers love more than a strong woman is a strong woman with a perfect figure and an exhibitionist streak. I'm pretty so sure the there, strong woman the part isn't actually necessary. Yeah, you have to be strong to, like, fight. If you uh, if you aren't strong and you want to fight, you have to come up with alternative methods of carrying that out. Well, I'm pretty sure you can uh, put an a, a attractive female character in there. She doesn't have to actually be strong just, you know, in the outfit. And gamers would still be like, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, shit, I get to look at this hot chick do stuff. I Yeah, I like that, I guess. Yeah, yeah I'm what? down. Gamer gated. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I would watch this movie. Prequel. Let's see. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Uh, Jalvin and the Chipmunks? It would be Jalvin, yeah. Jalvin. <laughs> Javen and the Chipmunks? Jay is not reacting. Jay, what are you doing? You, you <laughs> I'm, getting I'm groceries. The oh my Dying god. Man. <laughs> so, there were. Oh, I... Where does where all of this fucking come from? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look up the movies. So there, uh, there was Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh God, two thousand seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked. There Chip was Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeak Wall. <laughs> that one I remember. The Wait, that wasn't second. No, it's weird because Chipwrecked came out in. No, no, The Squeak Wall was two thousand nine. Yeah, so it was Alvin okay. and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeak Wall. Alvin and the Chipmunks chipwrecked. Chipwrecked. And and then there was Alvin. There there's the road chip. Someone approved the title. The title chipwrecked. Chipwrecked. Hmm. They approved Squeakwell. Yeah. <laughs> so there's four live action Alvin and the Chipmunks. Is what you're saying? I think so. Yeah. Do they all star that guy? Who's like? He's not. He's like. He's, well? he's like the dad or something. Is he in all of them? It's like there was a Marmaduke movie. Owen was it, was it, uh, Owen Barney? Wilson. <laughs> oh, I your mother in that. Marmaduke and George Lopez is in it. He's in. He's Fergie in, was in it. George Lopez in is in uh, Shockboy and Lava Girl. This is a sign that we need to see it, Rex. Huh? George Lopez is in Shockboy and Lava Girl, so that means we have to see it. Production of, of that movie is such garbage. You can see like stage lighting and shit all the time. Oh my goodness! Uh, Rotten Tomatoes reports that nine percent of the one hundred one critics gave Marmaduke a positive review. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that is glorious. Audiences gave it a B plus. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. <laughs> wow! So I'm gonna look up. Maybe it's I'm actually pretty look... good. Uh, so that's let's a really good uh, argument for meta, disparity meta. between audiences and these ivory tower. This was back in 2010, so yeah, the, the user Cat score is 4.5, the, the meta score is 30, so that's, oof, Marmaduke. Anyway, we're, we're inching closer to the, to the funny. Woman is a strong woman with a perfect figure and an exhibitionist streak. So then, the eventual site Exhib of Capcom's half ass But Well, she didn't have an exhibitionist streak. Is he talking about the, the yeah, bonus outfit? Costume that's clearly not canon, it is just for, like, hey, see a, a fucking hot lady in a... How do you want to that? I don't know. Is it, uh, it's not completing the game. Uh, is, it, is it doing something else? Let me see. Um, how do I unlock the long? Because you get the longbow as well. You have to collect all thirty BSAA emblems for her longbow. Fully upgrade the SR S seventy five rifle, and it will be up for buy. Mm. So you know, the tribal costume is thirty emblems. So, yeah. Did Chris have sexy outfits? They were all sexy. Well, then, the eventual site of Capcom's half-assed attempt at an affirmative action hire, giving away <clears> a secret <throat> even Victoria would keep, was to be expected. Affirmative what action expected hire? Was... What like I mean? Mean, I mean, the game I doesn't portray her as particularly bright, but uh, it just doesn't... What is the movie talking about? I don't, I don't think she was... Yeah, like, the idea She's... that... I'm pretty sure she was in the game by the time people found out that you were killing... Um, what did he say? 
poor <laughs> poor because African like zombies. African. <laughs> the poor she's zombie. An African branch of the BSAA, right? Yeah, and, and so well, she becomes Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was together. she was in the game to begin with, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I thought the whole point was that it matched. Let me go to the let me go to the Resident Evil wiki. Um Oh yeah, agent for the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance (BSAA) operating as part of its West African branch. Well, yeah. So it, yeah, it only makes so sense. So and she clearly can handle herself in a fight. So it's not an affirmative action hire. Also, there's still an evil white guy as the villain. Come on, come on, Chris. Chris. <laughs> right. Just because yes. it's an affirmative action. For those of you watching, are an incompetent person. Hmm? Well, it's because they they didn't hire her for her competence. Yeah, they hired her for her skin yeah. color. It's, it's like, it's, yeah, you, can't, you can hire someone through affirmative action, and it happens to be that they are competent. Well, I would assume that if you're hiring someone through affirmative action, you still take the most competent. Yeah, you, wait, are we talking in-universe or out of universe right now? You I have no idea. That's, but <laughs> I, I assume that if you're, affirmative hiring, action if you're, hiring, if you're doing a diversity hire, you still take the most competent diverse option you can pick would you right. well, um i would I'm hope so, so. Yeah, I would, I would hope so too but i don't know i think i've been a diversity hire um because i got a i got a job for a dollar company once and i wasn't done with college oh did they see your photoshop skills and they're like this guy no i had a 200 subscriber YouTube channel oh, running shit. their youtube channel so I'm really convinced I was a diverse. Keep cutting out. I hate this, you. This I know. I see it. I don't know why. Turn up your mic sensitivity. Do it. This guy looks like a slightly darker yeah. Alexander Hamilton. We should yeah. hire him. Like evil, <laughs> this is what like the, the the evil Alexander Hamilton would be. Black hair, instant like goatee. Evil goatee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hero Universe yeah, Alexander Hamilton. Years. The Hero Universe Alexander Hamilton would be brown. He yeah, fought for the British. Because remember Spock from the Mirror Universe? He was, evil. He was Spock, but with <laughs> the facial hair. Was, was he a person of color? Well, I don't know. <laughs> what are. I, guess, I guess a Vulcan would, would a Vulcan be a, a Vulcan person of color? I'm sorry. It's a person of Chad. I know that much. Here, oh. here, this is. This is the Spock from the Mirror Universe. Uh, here, uh, this they make is... a joke about this in Community that whenever there's an evil version, they just have a goatee. They have a goatee, <laughs> yeah, from the evil uh, <laughs> universe. You, you, know, uh, you know the uh, the the good version of uh, Movie Bob from another universe doesn't have the goatee. That would make sense. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he's clean shaven. He um, says a lot of Bob reasonable himself. things very slowly. <laughs> a lot of reasonable things, yeah. Movie Bob is the evil Movie Bob. <laughs> But so here, the evil universe. Like evil movie Bob would be like, maybe we should take into context everyone's opinions and everyone's thoughts and be respectful of all people around us. <laughs> he's just got this spiffy looking glitter outfit going, but he's <laughs> is that evil Kirk? Is that evil? Mirror universe. No, he doesn't have a goatee. Yeah, that, that is evil Kirk. Only one of the evil versions can have the uh, goatee. The other one yeah, is it would be too <laughs> on the yeah, it would be kind it of fucked up if that's everyone that's had a goatee. Maybe his goatee's elsewhere. That's Damn. a gay outfit. Like, that's just... That's an outfit that signals to people... I'm Dude, look at Laura's Mirror Universe outfit. All right. <laughs> God damn. Oh, no wonder they want to go to the Mirror Universe so much. All right. Well, the Mirror I Universe is like cool. I want to go to the Mirror Universe. If you wanted to defeat the, the evil version of someone, you just have to, like, hold them down and shave them, and they become... Good. <laughs> All the Hold evil countries in the goatee. But this was supposed to be like a full beard. I use that app that lets you like age people and like give them beards and stuff, but it, it comes out with a fucking chin strap instead of a full beard. You can just edit it so that's more of it. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't know how to I don't know that level of detailed editing where I can edit in hair. Someone in oh, the chat oh, said dude. even the evil okay. versions of women have goatees. <laughs> <laughs> But where? Oh, where? No. Yeah, oh, that's no. not the real question. Oh. And you have to shave them to save them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good again. Uh, it rhymes and everything. What side of the of the Blue Yeti mic is where the it picks up sound? Is the front <laughs> or the back? The same side oh, as the mute button. Part. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. 
you have to, to stop yourself from cutting out, you want to go into user settings, voice and video, and you can adjust the level at which it stops picking up your audio. Uh, there's an option in there that says random cutoff. You want to have that checked off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Untick that box. Less than ideal monitors. This would be the supposed one woman refutation of Resident Evil 5's racial insensitivity accusations, okay. wearing a leopard skin bikini, yeah, that's... war paint, and a necklace made of bones. Dude, so. Oh, why do you say that that I way? Do... <laughs> Bones. That's the one woman reputation. Uh, look, look, guys, we made this character, therefore we're not racist. Is that really what the purpose was behind the character? I feel I like she was so. in it before this happened as a controversy, so... How many people <laughs> even criticized the movie for being racist? I mean, the game for being racist. Like, is that I did, a it thing did, that it did come up. I remember seeing it and being like, wow. Okay. Did you have gotten an image that wasn't 12p? Well, this is this is 2010, rag or eight actually, I think. So, the poor guy. video is 12p. How would you tell? This video could be this should be 4k. So this is like a 12p of a 12p. Rags, That's like. Do you remember the guy we covered who made a video about uh, yeah. ER and myself, and they had like clips of the shit that you couldn't even read because <laughs> the, the resolution was so low you Crushed. couldn't see it. Is Movie Bob making this picture in less than HD because it has a, a it's exploiting women? And he put in HD, he would also be exploiting women, so he just made it slightly under 11p. If, we, if we're going simplest well, explanation here, it's just what? that he's incompetent. Yeah, so, we'd have to assume a lot of competence on his part. <laughs> is, I don't even, it's, I, I guess it's, a, I don't even know. But yeah, she's fucking looking great. She's like a boss. Ugh. Imagine killing the undead in an outfit like that. That's just awesome. I'm pretty sure there were no complaints from gamers on this one. Oh yeah, it wasn't from gamers, it was from game journalists. Yeah, but yeah, game gamers are racist is the point, so keep games up. Games journalists. This image that I actually used... Um, video game, not like video games activists. That's what they should be called. This can't is get from it through a tutorial level. Jeb that is Olimar, better racism and sexism in the gaming community. That's yeah. what this image is from, apparently. That's <laughs> this, this is from August 20, 2016? Oh. Wow. 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 By the way, the circumcision thing is from Silent Hill, not Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know that. No way to make it drop. What's the circumcision plotline in Silent Hill? What? I, we'll talk about it later. Plotline. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> you learn about it when you're older. Necklace <laughs> made of bones. Circumcision plotline from Silent Hill. Bones. I'm up for it. I just, oh, guys, 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 wait, 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 wait. Pause the video. Someone made uh, uh someone made a mod for the tribal outfit in Oblivion. Now Shava can be in Oblivion. Come on. <laughs> Shava. Oh, it's not the same. It's just not the same. So true. Oop. Our decision here. Right around the same time that some British game journalists claimed that Capcom had tried to impose an embargo on reviews that mentioned both this uh, interesting costume and a now infamous section of the game set in yeah, a Yeah, I probably would village. too. I probably would too. I'd probably say, yeah, like, we're going to give you this review and stuff, but if you go, if you go fucking harping on about your stupid bullshit, then we're not going to give you a copy, because fuck you. Talk about the goddamn game. Yeah. Good. You know, what if they fair. mention all of the game and this, Ranks? What happens then? I'm going to give you a free game just so you can call it racist and not even play it. <laughs> it's like, you you can review my game. Yeah, if you call it racist, honestly. nah, stop it. You can call it racist without having me give you a free copy. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, you guys are calling our games racist and shit for the dumbest fucking reasons. We're not giving you review copies anymore. Fuck you, people. In fairness, right? You're That's shooting so very fair. poor zombies, okay? What you can do is you can pay us 60 fucking dollars for the game like everybody else and then review it then. Okay, so like, hey, your game journalist, can you play the game? If you can play, if you have a lot of game competency, then you get a, you can maybe make them earn their free their free copies. Like, can you get to the tutorial level? If you can, <laughs> get a free copy. Oh my god, that would be amazing! Like, you can't actually have a game <laughs> until you beat the tutorial. <laughs> then again, hey, perfect. That should just be how games work. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like games be decent at video games. For us. <laughs> is it, like the, the tutorial guy, like if it's the, the equivalent of a paperclip in Microsoft where it's just watching you fail, it's like, you can't actually play the game until you do this. You know that, right? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to let you. This door is locked. 
more African zombies, but African zombies wearing grass skirts and throwing spears at you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking dipshit. What do you think that tribal people used as weapons? Spears for a number of I reasons. Still, right? Does he not know tri tribesmen still exist? Like they're still around. What does he want them to wear? Also, a spear is a can be pretty effective. I'm just gonna put it yeah, out there. Yeah, spears are incredible. Do, like, to wear, like, skinny jeans, wearing, skirts wearing skirts and stuff. I'm curious if there would be like, is there any more to this than I, because I've never played these games. Is there like any, like, is it, is it something to do with like none of the other zombies where we'll use weapons or anything? Well, this is, I am searching well, here. This is when you the enter modern, into well, yeah, a in deeper thing. part of like Africa, I guess. So, yeah, so you, so they're, they're in the game, they're called Magini. Yeah, you uh, all zombie games we have that where we you go around shooting white zombies. I mean, there's a lot of them, if I remember correctly. Sure. Most of them, probably. <laughs> Yeah, most of them are white so zombies. Can, in the village, they have like axes and stuff they throw at you, and molotovs, and some of them have dynamite. And then later you know, in the game, they have right, guns. They use the weapons that yeah. the people who you know they use the weapons they would have used when they were alive. No, they need to have so ray guns. You have these weird mercenary zombies that have like AK 74s and yeah. mini guns. Not the best like part of the game. Future tech, like they're in Wakanda or something. That, that was <laughs> zombies with ray guns thing. in the final you know part. So and it's a tribal. They use spears because, duh. Yeah, I mean, aesthetically, the, what do they have in total? They have bows and arrows, uh, spears, shields. I can't remember what else there is. Yeah, they've got they've got the the shields. They have spears. Um, they have uh, the bows and arrows. They shoot at you. And some of them explode. Some um, fucking explode. Ew. Would you think, would really? you think the, uh, the game journalist would say yeah. this game was not racist if they set a game, a zombie game in Africa and had nothing but white zombies? You think that would save them? No, they would come up with something. They'd say that it's, <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's, it's invalidating the voices of African zombies or something. I would go as far to bet you that they would call it racist for not including black zombies. Why is this game so afraid to show black zombies? Exactly. That's dun, what they would dun, say. Dun. It is, it, that, yeah. that's, that's yeah. 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 Like that they would be absolutely that. fair. If you go to Africa and every everyone's fucking white, you'd be like, what the yeah. fuck is going on here? Yeah, but at the same that's time, Jay, if they're all black, that means you're shooting black zombies, and that's kind of fucked up, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what sort of message do we want to send with these Resident Evil games? You that know, it's okay to shoot zombies. No, too controversial. Like, okay, too controversial. Right. How did these Resident Evil games help my activism? <laughs> zombies kind of flickered between. Also, white yeah, and shields, spears, straw dresses. What is this? Wakanda? It's like, yeah, that's what they do there. <laughs> How come that's okay? Yeah, that was supposed to be like a, some what? That's a good future city. The future city buildings had like like grass roofs and stuff like that, but that's okay. That wasn't racist. This Grease. fucking that dumbass. actually is so fucking cringe. Wait, they what gave is? the fucking they gave the skyscrapers in Black Panther like <laughs> straw roofs because you know Africa. Did they? You know, yeah, you know. Yeah. That's, oh, dude, that's the criticism that I made that I got loads of pushback for. People were like, you don't understand culture. I was like, I don't think well, culture means you culture. smash two yeah, things together. Thing down. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking at like slate roofs on our skyscrapers <laughs> like in the UK. Yeah, what the fuck? That's crazy. What? No, I don't believe this. You got to pull this up. I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up. Wait, pull what? Oh. You can see it. Just go for like Wakanda City or whatever. It's... To be I fair, what, so in, in case you don't have the wrong idea, the idea is you have half, you have like a building that looks normal and futuristic, and then like a straw like a thatch thing roof. in the side of it. Um, where, where are the thatch roofs? I, I'm looking there's, at... There's two thatched roofs in this image. There is, a, they're both, like, one is sort of in the middle, just to the right of the middle, quite at the back as well. And then there's another one to the right and behind that that's got us. They've both got straw like points. It's like one groups. of the opening shots. I'm trying. Oh, you to know it's Africa. Oh, and then there's Africa. another one. There's another one to the right of it with another even bigger like straw roof. See, I mean, these look like the the like some of them look like the 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 Burj Khalifa. Some of them look like the Shard. Like, yeah, but they've got straw roofs. The chat. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this image. Oh, you just put it up. Okay. Yeah, it was just sending. Yeah. And yeah, the so, like, roofs? Uh, there's one, like, sort of, if you look right directly at the middle of the oh image, then God, just to the right, so and up, stupid. above that, there's one with a thatched roof. And then, like, right, like, the rightmost, <laughs> top rightmost building, thatched roof. <laughs> Holy shit, right, yeah. The top skyscraper that looks like a fucking bank it's building. 
fucking cringiest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're in Africa. That skyscrapers must have straw fucking roofs. And maybe, what, you fucking just make How come the aliens didn't fire? come and tell them how to build roofs? <laughs> <laughs> well, right. The rest of the building is made of modern materials. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Dude, I bet you, I bet you'll get like one person in the comments being like, "You don't understand. This is actually like thatched copper wire. It's actually <laughs> yeah. if you if you read the law books, it's actually a very yeah. intricate cultural it's, process of Wakanda. Yeah. To be it fair, only there's no actually, reason not to farm thatched copper wire. Thatched vibranium. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. What if this thatched vibranium? Someone we'll just put it out. What happens if there's like a really strong wind? Could it affect these roofs? Nah, the force field. Could you have wind inside the bubble? Oh, oh, I guess. Such a, such I don't know if it lets wind pass through. I'd hope so. They can prevent wind <laughs> if they want to. That's the if, thing. Yeah, if they, through, they, can the out, they can keep out the, the wind. All right. I like well, that. I don't understand. Someone, on the top of them. Those and, are I, super small. and I think I like, someone in chat is pointing out the really big elephant in the room here. Dirt roads. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Wakanda. Hey, guy, hey, guys, you know what's fucking shit? Dirt roads. Because yeah, when it gets dry, when it gets dry, they get really, really, really dusty. When it gets wet, they get really muddy. You know, Rome, Rome nailed this. I'm gonna be honest. They have Rome, Rome nailed it. They could figure out they could figure they all this be super smart. Like, what's if going the, on here? Like, imagine the sewage system that this city no. clearly doesn't have oh, no, because just, of uh, the dirt roads. <laughs> they have they're a just, fucking high-speed train. They have a suit that can yeah, disappear. Yeah, it's made out of wood and bark. But they don't have <laughs> wood and bark it, train. <laughs> yeah, it has it has like a a thousand lemurs are on the inside of it running on wheels. They have people to put the logs at the front and then catch the ones at the back, and that's how they move it through the city. Like, Chad has just informed me that it's vibranium mud. So it's vibranium. <laughs> what did they use for reference? What like I want to know where they went in well, Africa. They, Africa. They well, that. This yeah, is Africa. Africa. This is it looked like shit. The film was they given like appreciation. That grooves, um, and then they fucking saw oh, the ground's dirt. Uh, so in Africa, the ground is made of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm Moroccan. I'm part Moroccan. Like Morocco is nothing like Ghana. Oh, first Ghana you're not white. Like now Ghana. you're Moroccan. Yeah. Make up your mind. Wow. I'm part Moroccan. I'm How many lies Indian. will you deliver on this podcast? Uh, are you tell me you weren't a president from the mirror universe? So, like, and the thing, the thing these designs for buildings are like pretty cool. So, like, just remove all of the fucking dumb shit, and you've got a pretty cool city that's like influenced. Yeah. It doesn't look like it doesn't it's look like any other city in the world. It looks like its own culture. A lot of circle, a lot of circular architecture, a lot of trees, reds, yellows, greens. Yeah, it looks game like, it looks like where they did cultural, it. like. So it looks like a place with a really rich culture. And well, this looks like a this looks like a city road. that they've just not kept up with for thirty years. Yeah, it looks pretty musty, doesn't it? It looks like it looks like, like, like the last thing. Well, if they hadn't kept up with it for thirty years, the fucking skyscrapers wouldn't have roofs anymore. <laughs> they get blown <laughs> off. Yeah, it's just like random trees and dirt roads, just sort of unkempt, and everyone's well, just walking around. I've seen the criticism that um the point is that it's starting to fall apart because they've stuck to themselves for so long. But I just like the idea that the people who made this thought like this is awesome, we nailed it, like this is how it would look. And then someone else is like, oh, I thought you were trying to say it was all broken down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did think it was awesome. Like you know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's so it's it's all broken down. So the concrete from the roads removed them, removed itself, <laughs> removed and replaced itself. themselves. Yeah. Well, no, the you see. Patched themselves. No, the roads are explainable. Off and the roads are roof. explainable. Once all the concrete and the asphalt and stuff of the roads, it started to get really shitty. So they just said, "Fuck it." Rip it all up so it matches. Let right, it's all heal. breaking down because Wakanda didn't open himself itself up to white people. They all just been keeping to themselves. That's why it's all yeah. breaking down. I don't think that's it's the we are awesome. going for. Okay. So we're we're about about awesome. and ice. Like, <laughs> ugh, it, it's so no one looks at that and is like, "Hey, this is actually about nationalism and and like uh, an ethno state and <laughs> how how great society would be if there was an ethno state." Like, it's, it's, superhero movie. Uh, has anyone made that argument? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a superhero movie. <laughs> so anyway, what were we talking about? Well, like superhero <laughs> movies can have ideas, but Black Panther is kind of jumbled. Jumbled for sure. 
Like, you you could totally have a, a fucking superhero movie that discusses nationalism in depth. <laughs> I mean, at this point, yeah, but like, okay, what is that concept called uh, where people are clearly speaking a different language, but the movie is presented in like English or whatever the language of the target audience would be? What is, what is the name for that? That's just translation convention, right? Mm. Well, so in Wakanda, they speak English, but they were never colonized. And it's not like it's it's translation convention because they go to other places and speak fucking like korean and sometimes they speak to each other in isinghosa and um like why are they speaking english if they were never calling it makes no I mean, sense okay in the mcu the fucking aliens speak english as well i so i would like, say it's, there is an, it's a bigger well, hole than there is an interesting no, that's not like, a hole. towards english that's not audience. a hole you, yeah, but that's I, not I would a argue... hole that the aliens speak English at all because it shows in Guardians of the Galaxy one that um, aliens have translators. Well, has a has a translator device in his in his ear. Oh. Well, I mean, we don't know that Asgard do the exact same thing as like ever. I would say still, like if we were to uh, say like it doesn't, the aliens don't. So fuck it. I'd be like, wow. Well, I mean, you know, like just because the aliens all speak English doesn't mean we should have every country on Earth speak English. Like that, and that's clearly not what they do on the MCU. Plus, from a world building standpoint, actually, no. I, I guess it could make sense for Wakanda to have the uh, the universal translators. Like they've invented their own. But they don't. They actively speak multiple languages. Like when they don't want people to understand them, they speak Isi Kosa. And when they like go to Korea, they speak Korean. But when they're um, alone mm. among themselves, they're speaking English. They understand universal Man. translators, but they can't maybe, understand how to put roads. Maybe the history of the MCU is that England colonized the entire world and then they got everything taken from them. Like really early on, Stone Age, like around then. Maybe they were just like, oh, our, our language sucks. Let's start speaking English because it's better. <laughs> Maybe that's the history of a private country. Like, there's even characters in, in parts where they don't speak English at all. They only speak Isikosa, and it's like pure subtitles. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Come. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, me and a lot of other gamers the went to the fucking map for you on this. Yeah, I, I feel like we need to go back and get some context. We like, I really like, did, we really know, did we really need to know the context? No, why did you skip? I like that he said, um, uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Then cut to this image, and then it said, no judge. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> Good shit. Okay. Don't judge, okay. Capcom. Oh, wait, let's go back, uh, like... Okay. Village where you fight not only more African zombies, but African zombies wearing grass. I like that he says not only African zombies in Africa where there's a zombie outbreak, as if that's a problem. That's like, crazy. yeah, that's bad enough. Like, yeah, oh. Wait, oh. how do you? The blacks statement? would never fall for these kind of shenanigans. <laughs> I want, I want to hear him complete the statement. All right. Grass skirts and throwing spears at you, really? Capcom, what the oh, fuck that's is it? wrong with you? You know, me and a lot of other gamers went to the fucking mat for you on this one. Don't judge it yet, we said. Wait and see, we cried. Context, we Yeah, the context it. justifies it entirely. I was gonna say, what, it literally it, does. I'm yeah. Confused. It's a it, tribal African village that is that, that gets infected by the Plagas. In fact, aren't they deliberately infecting places oh, that they know it'll spread fast because that's like they're experimenting and shit? But but that it won't spread beyond the population, I imagine. Like I like can't an isolated remember. village. Wesker's overall plan well, is think... to send it into the whole world, right? And this was like a testing ground. I think. I don't know. I've never played the game. It is pathetic to think that that's racist. It's it's a weird conclusion to come to. I would say it's just like I mean, like to, to conclude that this is racist. You sort of have to have like an interview of creators going. Yeah, we wanted to shoot black people this time, so uh, we set it in action. <laughs> Even if, though, you'd be like, well, they've shot a lot of white people, so it's about time that black people got some representation in the zombie crew, you know? Yeah, like, it, you know, it, it, it shows that movie Bob is just ignorant as fuck. It's egalitarian. You, you first, you got to shoot what? white zombies, now you get to shoot zombies of other ethnic backgrounds. Zombies no, but he's color. saying, okay, so he's saying, oh, these people that are in Africa are not living like Europeans. Like, like they're the, being depicted like, I don't know, like tribal fucking Africans. I don't, I don't understand that. He doesn't, does he not know that tribes still exist? Like tribes still exist. And they're actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Their culture is actually pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that's an insult or anything. A lot of cultures. 
Um, why did they spell Ray wrong in this meme? It fucks the whole thing up, Rags. What do we do? Yeah, well, I think they just, you know, I think a lot of people hear it more than they see it. So, Unless, you know. is it a reference to Ray Romano? And he can punch build boulders? <laughs> I mean, he's like a mammoth, right? Yeah. That's a lot of references in a row. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then this? Really? I mean, jeez, guys. Yikes. What? So, yeah. Settled. You have no. You haven't made an argument. <laughs> you just you just settled. said right. No, just right. Said, said settled. No, no, it's settled. It's settled. It just works. All right. Well, well if I'm anything, convinced. it shows that this dude's super imperialist. Yeah, these all of these tribal African dudes who got infected, they should have just pulled out Glocks and MP5s <laughs> and started spraying away. They, they do kind of reach yeah, underneath their grass skirts. Why are they not wearing fucking suits? I would be very curious to ask him what his proposed solution would be. Would it be, don't set it in Africa, make the African <laughs> people like go to a different place in Africa so that it's like not tribal people? Um, oh. You know, obviously, well, the, Africa's a continent. Obviously, all the African... you get different cultures. All <laughs> yeah. well, um, the African zombies are very friendly. They're like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we're going to eat your flesh. So what, like, what? Unless you don't, you're not okay with that. What does he does he want a different part of Africa so that it is somewhere that's been like, uh, y you know, somewhere that's closer to what we would recognize uh, here? What what does he want? I'm really curious. Wait, is what that one want? of Chris's outfits for that game? I think it's probably it? a mod. There's a lot of mods for this game. That's no, but... pretty gay. Like that. That's just that's that is just... gay with the nips and everything. Yeah. Someone... Dude, you don't think if they didn't portray the African tribesmen as tribesmen that the same dude wouldn't be like, they should have portrayed them as tribesmen. It's this is authentic. imperialist. Well, they, they portray them as kind of OP. Yeah. I mean, they were Did annoying they? as fuck with oh, us. Oh, yeah. Like, they're, they're like the fact that they give any resistance whatsoever, you know, means they're, you're, they're pretty overpowered. Like, their shield, their wooden shields can stop a lot of bullets, and they have powerful attacks and things of that nature. <laughs> And they so have like right access to petrochemical technology in the ex in the form of exploding what? things. Also, you know, it, flaming balls and traps and um, laser underground cities and crazy shit like a that. A lot of people are saying that's a real mm -hmm. outfit, by the way, not a mod one. Oh wow! Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. Our team for Black Panther. Yeah, that's, very, that's very like. Oh look at that! Kind of <laughs> 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 I would name that. Looks really good. <laughs> I like how it's so low res and yet so good. <laughs> dirt, kind of dirt. Mm. This is really good. Because oh. I am European and therefore a white person, all dirt is made of ice cream. <laughs> Nailed it. I just laughed like a fucking girl. Aw. Prison <laughs> Meal 5? Packed with ludicrously dated racial stereotypes doesn't like make what? It. Wait, what do you mean? Like what? Also, this is from this doesn't happen in the game. Oh my god! This this wait this part might happen in the game. We we you have no. to um. Uh, How is this racial stereotypes? If you stick no, around in the... the opening battle, you get like a whole crowd after you. No, the way that they move around and the motions they're making. Oh. And also, this is from the very opening area. Remember we commented on that weird just back alley that had nothing in it that they just had in the game? That's what this is. Hmm. Are the, are the Resident Evil zombies sentient enough to utilize their shields? Or do you or yes. are they just yes. happen? Yeah, they're, so in Resident Evil 4, they're, they're Gnados. In this one, they're Magini. But they're infected by Las Plagas. Yes. And so they're not like Man, stupid virus. zombies. They could still sort of like operate in society. Yeah. What's interesting is like in society. The bosses are often people who inject themselves with it and they like could even speak to you sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Like Wesker oh, is uh the, the idea is like depending on your DNA you'll be able to overcome the virus and sort of use it to your benefit or not, I think. Which is which is uh, obviously racist because you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> game doesn't make it evil. Probably does mean that the cause of gaming being taken seriously as an art form is set back another thirty to fifty steps. Jesus. I don't see how people <laughs> like people thought that this set back gaming because it wasn't very good. Does, <laughs> has Move Off ever taken thirty to fifty steps before? I guess gaming I was was on its way, Jay. and then Resident Evil Five fucked everything up. I'm like, you still have to 
It's like giving him back 30 steps. That it's racist? How many steps? I, I, I like how Louis Bob measured it in steps, too. I, I don't understand <laughs> that as a unit of measurement. <laughs> like, oh, for the, the cause of making the, games you, a respectable art form, like how many steps? 30 to 50 steps. Like, usually it's like 30 to 30 years or 10 years. He said, yeah. said it's back 10 years. But with Louis Bob, uh, a long time to him is measured yeah. out in steps. <laughs> 30 <laughs> steps <laughs> ago, I was just a young <laughs> child. <laughs> how many <laughs> steps to the goal? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh man gaming back to the 1950s as, uh, as darkness just said capcom kept us from living on mars damn it all this fall right now i'm assuming blue bob takes like one step a year how many steps until mars three how many steps <laughs> so a long time mars? well technically you could step once and if you aim it right you can get there yeah how is that well you what? just like like you're in orbit around earth if right you're a longman yeah and you I'm just you right. step off <laughs> Step off at just the right. You got to be really precise, and you'll float all the way to Mars. Oh, I hit play, pause, so and now the screen says racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It comes up on you like that. They caught us. They caught us. I don't think I personally could uh, could take a step that takes me off the planet. Not with that Jay, attitude. Because you need surgery for your feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what's stopping you. You're almost there. I am, however, now fully convinced that the problem here is not and never was racism. <gasps> it's actually oh, much worse than worse. Oh no, worse, worse, worse than racism. Race race literally race not possible. This, this is such a roller coaster ride. Go down. <laughs> what could be worse <laughs> than racism? The so bad know, guy wasn't even racist. Racist, racist stereotypes. Impact Shyamalan. It's racism. It's worse. There are like so many emotions right now. Yeah. See, all this time you thought racism was the bad part, but it isn't racism. It's worse than racism. Nothing can oh. be worse than racism. Racism had me yeah. pretty hype. So well, remember, this is a ten-year-old video, so things were still worse than racism. <laughs> still, uh, some stuff was. Yeah. What, what, what was worse than racism back then? Racism, racism too. Oh, like no. sexism? I don't know. Like rape. it could be. I don't know where he's going with this. <laughs> racism. It's just racism too. Rapism. Oh my god. Rape. Well, no. It's well, a philosophy hmm. centered around rape. Turbo I, racism. I'm, still, I'm trying to figure out what he could possibly follow up this with. <laughs> I this, think it's this, like, yeah, it's like yeah. What what could he possibly say that's worse than racism that could be the cause of it? He's gonna sexism. Say, like, but, holy shit. I don't see. I still think back then, is, especially back then. I think sexism was the big thing. This was when the, the whole new feminism stuff was really kind of hitting its stride. But how is this going to fit into his like, narrative thing. right I'm just, now? I'm imagining a world where he says, I, think this w I, think, I don't think this is racism. I think this was something worse. I think this was just laziness on the part of the development. <laughs> and, then <he> gets, <laughs> and then all of lefty Twitter is like, nothing's worse than racism. Well, we yeah, can't make fun of people for being lazy. He hasn't what, learned what he that yet. I, I, Rags, you know what I'm going to say? Yes. I think racism is worse than laziness. <laughs> no. I think I'm saying you're right, though. Would, would racism is the worst thing. Not in video games. Not not in making of video games. Would Movie Bob really consider laziness a bad thing, though? I thought he thought he'd think that was a virtue. <laughs> Remember, it's a virtue. <laughs> the virtue of laziness. He's yeah. like, what do you mean sloth is a deadly sin? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't died yet, so it can't be deadly sin. Yeah, that's bullshit. All right, let's find out. I'm excited. What is Racism it? is an activity of the conscious mind, a belief and or viewpoint that can uh, be changed okay, and debated. No, I think this it should be I've heard I've heard heard of this argument. Conscious is a big, is a very big claim, and I don't think you realize you could, heard Yeah, you could be subconsciously yeah, racist. Totally I think conscious. it's... I think well, it's but, proven that people are like subconsciously racist to some degree, the, yeah. just because of how our I mean, brains work. That setup, though, whatever he's going to... Really want to whatever he's picking as the true problem is is going to be like... In opposition to that statement, I guess, like this is something you consciously do. So, what's worse is the unconscious. I I'm guessing. I don't know. A belief we want to move into. Is Ruba really, really want to make move into Jungian psychology? I don't think so. To come on, Jungian give him a chance. I'm sure you'll nail it. Point that can be changed and debated. This this points to something more deeply wrong and harder to fix in the psyche what of gaming and in the psyche of the world which surrounding is, it. Which is. I want to digress here for a minute, but whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's, that's movie of Bob's spirit animal. Because uh, again, we still haven't gotten an explanation as to why that fucking awesome tribal Sheva outfit is so horrible. He's, he's jumping into psychology, and then he's going to digress. Where are you going to go now? Yeah. That's going to bring us back to psychology stuff. Sociology. We are getting close to the quote. Race well. realism. I don't know. 
Oh, he, like, he, I, I do yeah. think, is the, what is the context of her outfit? Because that is pretty stupid. Like the fucking tribal black print bikini. Oh, yeah. Makes no sense. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, it's not supposed it's to make sense. It's a bonus costume it's you can a, unlock. Yeah, it's a bonus unlockable. Or do you, like, like do people Jay, look at the like... fucking Chris one. You think that's practical compared to his, <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah, do, do the Road people... Warrior Chris. Yeah. Like, people get dressed every day. Do you think that people think, like, hmm... I was thinking that that was, like, her outfit in the game, and I'm like, no. are you guys, like... Are you guys saying... Like, no, that... no, no, that's not her outfit, and that's a oh, bonus. Okay. Yeah, I, I was like... I feel like that might actually be uh, a little bit silly, an issue yeah. with that main outfit in the game is a fucking stupid tribal bikini with two, like, two. <laughs> This is the uniform from the, the West African branch of the BSAA. Everyone wears them, even the guys, and the guys have the leopard skin bras and everything. She's also got like, like a secretary outfit, uh, one of her outfits. It's, it's, uh, it's the uniform it's the uniform you're forced to wear if you're black in this organization. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you're White black. people have to wear suit and ties. Everyone, black everyone people has to wear, to wear a racial stereotype outfit in this organization. What if is the racial stereotype outfit for a white person? It's tennis gear. Uh, All of the white people have to wear like tennis gear based uniforms. Tennis gear. <laughs> if, they're, if they're American white, they would wear camo all the time. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Overalls. To be fair, they probably do have to wear camo all the time. <laughs> See, there you go. We if you're Mexican, you, wear, you just wear like a poncho and a sombrero. Rags, you, you would you wear it? that outfit with the teeth and everything? Oh, fuck yes, yeah, I would. would. Um, Wait, but Jay, so what is your problem with that outfit? If, if it um, was like a default outfit, what would be your problem with it? Well, it's like, uh, if, like I wouldn't know how, like, if it was justified by the story as like, that's what she as a character would wear, then sure. But I, I feel like I find it difficult to envision a character who would wear that. Like, it feels like a contrived thing. Yeah, if if Sheva Alomar was if if the game was totally the same, but that was her default normal outfit, I would be like, "This makes no fucking sense. This is extremely <laughs> silly and nonsensical." But in like her like opening scene, she's like, "I like to wear this." I mean, I'd like looking at it. I'd, yeah, I'd be like, "All right." Her. She looks bad, like in it. She looks bad. She looks bad. Yeah, the, the sad? like bad as in uh, like attractive. Bad bitch. She oh. looks bad as in attractive. What do you mean? Since when do you look bad honey, to me attractive? Honey, how does this look on me? Oh, you look bad. But I mean um, that in, like, attractive. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's obviously a racist thing. You, you, when you refer oh. to an attractive woman of color, you have to call her bad. Can't oh, yeah. Well, just pretty. don't call her bossy. <laughs> okay, you oh, yeah, you can't, you can't say the word yeah, bossy. No, I think no. they banned that. Because there's strong, strong independent women who can't handle the word bossy. Like, it shatters your mind for some reason. Did, did that really go that far? Bossy? Yeah, that's like that. That that was a that was a thing yeah, for a while. They banned it a long time ago. Yeah, you, you can't call women bossy. A strong, independent woman. Uh, when the upon hearing the word bossy, <laughs> shatters their brain like glass. Well, they must not be that strong then. <laughs> that's sexist. That's bigotry. Wait, which tree? So we're going back to Bobo, capital yeah. V, over caffeinated chipmunk. So this yeah, um this section, it's it might be worth just letting it play and saving your reaction until I hit pause. Yeah. All right, you ready? Okay. You ready for Hello? this, guys? Wait, everyone just like cut off. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, no, okay. We said Hi, yeah. duty. Like I said, so. Right. What? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So, it just cut off for me. I saw green circles, but no sound. It was scary. My I thought I was alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play until three fourteen, I guess. Maybe we'll pause beforehand. I don't know. L we'll just you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Don't worry, there is a point, I think. Anyway, when I was a boy, I remember a certain book making an odd impression on me. I'm less than certain of the name. I want to say it was called Space Station Seventh Grade, but it might not have been. Anyway, the reason it made Seinfeld? such an impression was largely because I was always surprised to find a coming of age book that was actually for boys. See, I'd inherited most of my age appropriate what? reading material from an older female cousin, so let's just say a lot of it was tipped in a rather specific direction. Mm. So to just pause there, he's saying. He got, he had I think a lot we of, uh, uncovered a lot of answers here. Judy Bloom? He read he grew up on Judy Bloom. Interesting. And, we're and we're so, learning about about him specifically. Yeah, he, but he, he read all this as he was like growing up. Thing. But when he was writing the script, he thought, wait, maybe this sounds lame. I will now put <laughs> put a part in this video that can make it look a bit more chatty that I that I, I read these because <laughs> of what it can do for me, all right? And I just don't think you'd see Movie Bob say this ever ever again but he I'm pretty he sure if Movie Bob has the cap I'm pretty sure if Movie Bob has the capacity of looking at his own scripts and saying wow this sounds lame he would never make a video 
<laughs> well, he had to. He had to compensate with this. Are, are you ready for him to compensate? Are you ready? Oh boy, oh, yeah. here we go. Not that it was all that bad. I mean, in fact, I can offer with some experience that a teenage boy who's looking for ways to relate to girls his own age might find a working familiarity with the complete works of Judy Bloom to be very, 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 <laughs> very, very helpful. Oh my God. You're talking wow. about children. Uh, You're talking here? about children, Bob. Oh, Bob. I said that like a post. What do you oh. just make me watch? Oh I, I like the the last image is him recording. Twelve year old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, yeah, for oh, only fans. You read. You oh, read. Two, that, that, why did I look at the screen? Two women. <laughs> <laughs> two. Look, there's two heads. It's like a spider. Human centipede. Like a spider. <laughs> it's like a spider giving Wait. itself <laughs> oil. This is hold on. This, this shows a lot about movie Bob psychology. I'm pretty sure one of them is Lindsay Ellis in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure both of them are. Right. Oh <laughs> both both. Them are Ellis. <laughs> oh, ten geez. years ago, Lindsay Ellis. Still, um, current day Lindsay Ellis with ten years ago Lindsay Ellis. He's but he's giving away that he is like super into voyeurism, like that that he sees that as like the pinnacle of Chadhood because you put this at the end, like it's the uh, last like. Yeah, dog I, is I think that's reading a little bit into it. Ah, uh, it, it is moving. Well, one, one, of, an, an one of the images had to be last. Yeah, right, but there was an escalation to it. There was an escalation. Like, yeah. Okay. Because I don't, sure. I don't consider watching two girls have sex without me an escalation of me. Yeah, but he, a girl. that's the point. He, he does. does. He does. We about that. No, I don't. I don't think he necessarily does. I, no, he I don't does. know. I need look more. Look at the rags. Look at the pictures. The right. They Forget start. The yeah, most okay. of my age right. reading material they start old with. Cousins, uh, so let's just say a lot of it was tipped oh, in a rather specific a direction. Not that it's it was okay. all that bad. I mean, in fact, I can offer with some experience that a teenage. So we got. He's he's walking <laughs> to a girl who's crying. Boy who's looking for ways girls to relate to girls, girls do. Sad. And and then, like offering to be like, hey, I'm here for you. Full frontal nudity. And then just talking. Oh, now they're together. They're hugging. Yeah. Oh, now there's a bit of that. Low jobs. Okay. Now missionary. Okay. Oh, now that. No, that was yeah, that was oh, like a weird... <laughs> How am I getting this? <laughs> he's, you, he's moved on to fucking her mom. And then, uh, yeah. and then two girls. Oh shit! But they're giving him a hand there's, job. There's Booby Bob right there. Two girls oh, yeah. giving you a hand job. But it's, it's not two. It's two it's girls. Yeah. Right there, it's like it's like Lindsay Ellis with two Booby Bobs on her, at her side. It's it's clearly he he's clearly gunning for escalation here. Very helpful. And then this is like <laughs> for him. But two girls yeah. with me is no. No, I know. I he's got an interesting. That's kind of the point. It's it's interesting how he treats the hierarchy of like uh, experiences. I I think that's possible, that's but I still need more. I I still no feel reason. like I need more. Well, because he, if you remember the, the way he speaks story. as well, he says really, really, really like like oh, this is getting oh spicy. I mean, the whole drawing of him having a threesome with these two women—it's only the <laughs> pinnacle of what I could want after sex and after having my arms around two women—is for them to have sex with each other and me to watch and record it. <laughs> is this the thing? Fuck. He's I a assume, maybe. I, he I don't know. Have I assume he didn't have a threesome when he was like in high school or whatever. He's never talked. Right. He's a, movie Bob is a right. virgin, a, obviously. I wanna, I'm he's a, genuinely curious. What he's he a is, like, super virgin. Is this just all a flat out lie? Is this all just a flat out lie, or did he like touch a boob? Once I hope he's lying about virgin. fucking thirteen year olds. Like, oh yeah, those fucking books. They let me touch that boob. Because Judy Bloom novels are meant for like twelve year olds. Well, he was reading them when he was of age, uh, of legal age. I'm sure. He went. When you're 13, it's not as bad to fuck a 13 year old if you are yourself. I mean, 13. technically, sure, I guess. This Someone in the chat pointed out that the two women kind of looks like the thing monster from the thing. Oh, no. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Movie Bob, no. Monsters, by the way. I've been sent this. He is he's like clearly showing off that he is a cuck. He's into watching, a, like. Wait, wait, a cuck? His girlfriend. Yeah, no, dude. He's not, he's not a cuck. He's just. I, a I, I don't know about cuck. You'll have to walk me through that one. Okay. So no. hold on. Okay. Okay. I got you. So if someone else fucks your girlfriend in front of you, are you a cuck? That depends. Uh, if you're getting sexual I, pleasure from it, then yes. He seems to be. But I, was, no. is one of these, no, one of these girls has to be his girlfriend, not just someone he fucks. That would be the assumption made, I suppose. Well, he started with one girl and then got the second one, and he went through that whole thing. 
Hugged so they're bo- so they're both his girlfriends. So I feel uh, like that adds a new dynamic to things if they're both his girlfriend. Because no, that's I, just like a, a threesome that he's that he has stepped away from temporarily to watch and record. I but he it never showed him being in the threesome. So we have to assume that all he did was have his arms around them and then watch this other girl fuck his girlfriend in front of him and he records it. Rags is trying to help him out. Okay. Trying to help Bob no, out. I what? You're trying to help Bob out. You're gonna make it look a little better than it might look. Maybe. <laughs> I'm I'm not convinced of cuckery here. I got it because the, the personal dynamic of the pinks and the whites here are really, really important for that. The pinks and the whites. The pinks <laughs> and the whites. The two <laughs> genders. Clearly a girl. <laughs> so, okay, no, just. Okay, I think, you know. <laughs> Wait, seriously. Uh, you get cuck. I think he's a cuck okay, now. Okay, Squat okay, no, is no, literally no, fucking no, with his no, girlfriend. Right. Cuck if another man fucks your girlfriend? No, 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 no. Cuckoldry, I think, implies that you are not attracted to both the people oh, that shit. you are, like, watching have sex. If, I think if you are watching people that you, like, if you're getting off on just watching them having sex with each other, like, I don't think that's cuckoldry. Yeah, because that's what people do literally all that's porn. That's porn. Yeah. You getting off of watching two people fuck is just pornography. Yeah, Most so, of the uh, cum that is spilled in the world is because of that. There are some uh, people who uh, lean right or so on the political spectrum that do argue that watching pornography is actually cuckery. Yeah, well, those people. Yeah, well, those people dumb. are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> for it to <laughs> be like for it to be monster. cucking, I think you have to be in a relationship, a close relationship with one of the people involved, and you have to gain sexual gratification from either watching them or knowing that they are being <laughs> fucked by somebody else that you are not in a relationship with because yeah. because then that would make every polyamorous relationship almost essentially cucking i think i think it also has to do with like the actual like the nature of the the pleasure you take from it yes like so if you are watching even if you're watching your partner have sex with someone else if you're just watching that as like a performance that they're putting on for you then i don't think that's cuckoldry i think that's just polyamory yeah, and I feel like yeah, it's it. I I think it's more complicated than just watching two people have sex and getting pleasure from it. Is cuckoldry is cuckoldry. more to do with the idea that like you are being degraded by the act of them having sex with someone else. It's very specific, right? Yeah, there there's definitely that mental aspect, and there, there there's this dynamic of I guess giving up, like sacrificing your own pleasure in that normal way so that someone else could have it, and you can get that degradation from it well it's, it's like a it's like domination it's like it's it's like being dominated but kind of yeah it's in, it's uh, offhand so like, domination if, secondhand if you are, domination if you if you're there like and you are very much in control of the situation and like you're and like you're telling your partner what you want them to do to someone else you are not being cucked yeah like you have to like be in a position in power in the situation yeah like if you're the dominant one you have to get off from the idea that you've given up power and control and yeah. exclusivity. That's cuckoldry. It yes. was important that we and also went through confuse that. getting cheated on with cuckoldry all the time. Like if someone cheats on you, like that makes you a cuck. Because like, no, not in any modern context. Yeah, I always well, thought just, that yeah, the, you power. have to be like there. And, and I thought I thought I thought that was the original meaning of cuckoldry. It was originally, like, yeah, on. because in Othello, that's but like, um, yeah, being like. Yeah, if it's consensual and like that's what you get off on, then that's. Uh... Who could have ever foreseen? <laughs> who could have ever foreseen that a uh, that movie Bob would spark a uh, impromptu spark? conversation on cuckoldry? I think you? anyone could well, have predicted. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say <laughs> the funny thing is, right? <laughs> he, he he at does the this, very least, um, it's voyeurism. At the very least. oh, for sure, um, for sure. Well, I think, I think it's like okay, if we're gonna say that it's cuckoldry. You would need more context. You would need yeah. We need we need more details. Bob didn't idea, provide that enough with his stick man. Like, deeper in the details, we gotta know if it's classified as cult, cuckoldry or not. Okay. Either um, way, um, this this funny that well, that's what happens to us with watching this. But what will happen to the people who like are on his team watching this? I feel like they'll be very upset <laughs> that he was no like one's left on his team, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this everyone everyone hates movie Bob. He's kind of like Quentin probably reviews. Clip. That's Quentin why Quentin. The only people on his team. Um, and I don't know if they know each other. They just seem to agree on a lot of stuff. 
that that's why Quentin butted off of him because just like Quentin reviews, <laughs> nobody respects Movie Bob. Does Patrick Willem still respect him? Yeah, I feel like Patrick would not be happy Patrick about seeing this. Patrick Willems respects him? Yeah, so, so um, Patrick Willems oh did a God. really pretentious Well, don't you not respect Patrick how, like, Willems? YouTube critics don't matter. Does Patrick um, Willems actually respect anyone who isn't Patrick Willems? So Patrick Willems made a really pretentious He seems like it. How, like, YouTube, YouTube critics aren't valuable and don't matter. And in that, he said, except Bob Chipman. Bob Chipman is great. And he basically just makes traditional reviews, but puts them on YouTube, so they're fine. And you're like, why of all the creators to single out, is it me? Wait, <laughs> seriously? That he did? He, oh my god! <laughs> what? He said only Bob Chipman makes traditional reviews. Only Bob. He said he didn't say only. He said um, he's like making a huge generalization. Except for Bob Chipman. YouTube. And then he says, except Bob Chipman. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, Patrick Willems endorses Movie Bob. Bob. Yeah, and you could play Bob this clip to be Patrick like Willis. he endorses this. Um, well, I'm, I want to see. I want to see if he's uh, if he's said anything about movie Bob more recently. I'm going to use the Twitter secret trick I showed you more. Than. Oh my god! You remember that? You remember that, right? I do. Yeah, you're going to try and remember that because it's so useful. From you say mm -hmm. from or something. It's it's neat, but uh, I I just I'm curious what the reaction from all the people Bob would like would would think of this this assessment right here because I just feel like. This is this they would absolutely characterize this as objectification, you know? They'd be upset. He's using his so books to, be clear, to get them in it's bed. Not, it's not objectification, it's more um objectification is the uh it would be the like actually no it might be, I don't know. I think it I think it might qualify <laughs> because he of, basically said like Hey, reading the books might be lame, but it got me get to get women in bed. It's like Oh, but it didn't. I was thinking, I, well, I guess, I, was like if you... I guess it would be dehumanizing would be the complaint because I was thinking of like objectif uh, objectification only applying in like media. But I don't think that's true. But the point is, this is what he fantasized about <laughs> when he was a kid reading those books because none of this actually happened. So this is what he wished <laughs> that growing Any... up reading those books got him. Uh, I, yeah, it's really, really, really weird. I read Judy Bloom because I could, you know, as a a good. It's not even I read them because of that. It's I got Judy Bloom books as a kid and read those. And a and a good side effect of those is that I could use them to fuck chicks. But the kind of chicks that you're boning because of Judy Bloom novels, like, uh, uh. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not like saying, like yeah, this yeah, I, I fucking read one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish to fuck this broad, <laughs> you know? And you're like, whoa, whoa, what? Like what? All the fishes. Oh. And that was it, by the way. That's all I wanted to show what you a, in that video. <laughs> what a. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want to watch the rest of that movie by video myself. So I, so I was going for. Um... Hang on. But it makes you wonder. What? It came up as a sort of tangent hang on, hang on. from. No, this is important. Oh. Oh, I have to look at this list of three. But how is that relevant? You, oh, no, 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 you interrupted me to say you need time to get the thing. Fuck you. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not even good. It's wow, not even the thing unbelievable. I, it I just saw. A, I, I was uh, looking for tweets about movie Bob from Patrick Willems, and one of the most recent ones was just. Uh, it says from Patrick Willems, "Maybe you're just bad and dumb," and the tweet that it's in response to has been deleted. So I was like, "Hang on, is he replying to movie Bob here?" But he wasn't. I don't no. think it's possible. Who knows? Um, yeah, he was, he was like, it's the problem with uh, Capcom isn't racism, it's oh, let me go on a tangent. Uh, that this happens, and you're like, <laughs> wait, yeah, um, we never found out what is the problem. The I guess problem we'll, we'll the continue the video until he makes that racism. point. By the way, I got fucking heck laid when I was 13. Yeah, he needed to throw that in, okay? I don't believe you. No, it's, you it's not a believable thing, let's be fair. Um, had, oh. He had to let us know for some reason because of the fact, it, it, what a strange tangent. <laughs> like, what are you trying to like? What's what's the point of that? What's the point of the lie? Well, he got laid when he, he had he's had sex with a lot of thirteen year olds. I used Judy Bloom to get laid when I was thirteen with other thirteen year old girls. Like, and so anyway, that's why Capcom is racist. <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> it all no, follows. That's not a post. No, hang on, like, hang on, hang on, hang on. You'd see the image of him on the camera, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So the thing that's behind him that looks like it's supposed to be his leg doesn't look like a leg at all. <laughs> I see. I see it as like 
both of his legs, he's just in a squatting position. It's his tail? That's a long poo. <laughs> like a fish? <laughs> yeah, like that's gross. gross. He spent that's time super gross. That's what it looks like. I think he's like a lemur. He's just got a tail. I mean, this is a tangent in the video, but he spent time drawing these. He did. He really he did. Clearly, not much when he time. Was 13 to commemorate the. the there is more time. editing oh, in the you know what? than there is in the rest of the video. Clearly, this was the Bob? main point. It does look like a tail. It does look like a lemur <laughs> tail. Yeah, because yeah, it's like dragon that. behind him. Yeah, unless it's yeah. just broken and he's hauling it or behind his, him. Or it's his dick, and he's trying to say he's got an enormous penis. And that's and really why it's going in. Well, no, it's, it's so with... long. It's he's 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 had so much sex with these thirteen-year-olds that, <laughs> that it's so just long. soft and limp, and it just needs time to <laughs> catch its breath. So it's just wait, dragging wait. behind him. Wait, did he say this is thirteen? Well, that I mean, it, it's an implication that I pick up from the Judy Bloom novels to get laid, because these <laughs> yeah, are that's... like kids' books. Well, it's a okay. So, but then he would also be thirteen. Yeah, yeah, it's not like as bad as it could be. <laughs> just a weird thing. To, just a weird thing to brag about. Well, you're, you're not in morally in the wrong for having sex with someone you're, of the the age that you are when you're like too young to have sex. Because that's if you know if you're going to make the rape argument, you raped each other. Um, I mean, yeah. But still, but like, it's I, not I good to, is that. anyone ever making that argument? I don't know. Uh, ever. I don't know. I don't know. It's like underage I've sex never heard when that. both parties are underage is still really fucking dodgy. It's just it's no. like it was an adult doing yeah, it. I've it's, it's, never it's heard really that. Different. It's just weird. I've never heard it. anyone say well, even I that find it's out dodgy. Why he brought it's this up. normal. For two 13-year-olds to... F I mean, maybe. No, not 13, know. but like under 18, like 15, 16, oh, yeah, 17. Yeah. Well, yeah, that age is normal. So I mean, we're, we're 13. pulling 13 in Germany from... where you're allowed to have sex with people when you're 14. Is it 14? I thought it was 15. Holy shit. 14 is the age of consent in Germany, but it's... I don't, I don't stay on top 14. of this. It's with other 14-year-olds. Well, I knew it because I was there. Oh, wow. Because he had oh, to read so up got to exercise this? No. <laughs> no well, so there, there's laws like that here in the U.S. where if you're, yeah, if you're both really young... Then you, it's I, was about, I was literally about to say that. Do you know about the Romeo and Juliet laws? I've yes, heard of I've them. seen Transformers. <laughs> what? Oh, it's boy. in Transformers. <laughs> yeah, it's in Transformers. There's um in one of the Michael Bay Transformers films, the uh the like there's the male and female lead, and the dude is like 19 or something, and the girl is 17, um, which is like seems like a really strange creative decision, right? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna make the fucking Wait, you, you cut out for a second, what? It seems like a really weird creative decision just to make, oh, the hot girl in this movie is going to be underage, specifically. That was what, that was the part I missed. I heard all of it. I didn't hear ages the protagonists were. Oh, it's 17 and 19, I think. I don't actually know the specifics, but like, I thought it was close in age, which, one of them is Which underage. movie is this? Because uh, Shia LaBeouf was in high school. It's the one, no, it's not, it's the one after Shia LaBeouf leaves. Isn't Mark? I don't Bumble, know. The Bumblebee one? Mark Wahlberg the lead? Oh, yeah, the Mark Wahlberg ones exist. Is Mark Wahlberg 19? Totally I shit. 19 IQ. Well, I shouldn't say that. Wow. That's... Wow. But yeah, it's like, um, wow. it's, yeah, he carries around a card with the Romeo and Juliet laws on it saying why he can bang the 17 year old. Mark Wahlberg? It's yeah, but 17 really is. Really fucking creepy. 17 is the age of consent. No, it's well, not. 18. It's 18. 16, then. I don't know. She's it, under the age of consent. It's eighteen. It's not. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm. I've always assumed it's eighteen. No, it's eighteen to like post it online and stuff. But to actually to fuck post, someone, the age of consent. Your mind went. No, because you said eighteen, and the yeah. reason eighteen is why the like, why on the internet you can't. You have to be eighteen years old to like post pictures of yourself, or else it's underage. But to so actually you really have fucked up that that's them. where it went for you. Well, you you brought up eighteen as the age of consent, which is yeah. Because I'm I'm just thinking of like a person having sex with someone. I'm not thinking of like only yeah, fans. and I'm not saying that's a problem with you. Right? I wasn't thinking about only fans. I was thinking about porn. Yeah, I'm saying it's a problem with society. Well, isn't the one of the things that can happen oh. is like you could post when it's legal, but then no way. Like if you post yourself at underage and then you grow a, a year, then you have technically got CP on your 
like that's how that like you can get in trouble for that, right? Yeah, like e what? what? Really? Gun? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure gun? you can fuck yourself over hardcore with that law wise. Like, um, that's horrible. And I wonder if it would apply literally like by a day, if you know what I mean. I yeah, I know what you I mean by a day, but I don't. I mean, like, who's who's looking? Oh well, I, I think it's just a possibility. I don't know if anyone's actually had it happen to them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, can we check if that's ever happened? You can. I feel like it's probably happened at least once somewhere. Yeah, so, surely with all the okay. with all the times, surely it has happened. So, my understanding is, like, if you are an adult, if you are over the age of eighteen, at least in the United States, you have to, like, you can't have sex with someone that's under the age of eighteen. Except for in the Romeo and Juliet laws, where if you're under 22, no, you. But let's say you're like 25. No, 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 like already. So 16 is the common age of consent to have sex with someone. Really? Yes. Don't you need like a parent <laughs> signature? Is like that, that a true one? Because there are like some places signature? where it might not be 16, but I think most commonly federally. It is 16. Let's talk federal. Um, I don't know if it's federal. It might be state. Um. Uh, if you're from, saying it's place to place, it can't be federal. Well, I, I say commonly. So well, I didn't bring it like, federal. I said commonly. I say this sixteen. Yeah, I'm, I say this because like a lot of people like make YouTube videos about these like Zoomer kids to like nineteen years old, and they're like, "Oh, he's a pedophile because he had sex with a seventeen year old, or not even had sex, like was texting a seventeen year old, he's grooming her." Or some shit, and he's like it's twenty the, years old. Yeah, it's it's the online component that changes the whole dynamic, <laughs> which is weird, weird <laughs> but that is that is how the legality of it works. Which is why but you you're can't saying have, you can't have pictures of a naked seventeen year old. Okay, but you can but fuck forget about pictures. I'm I'm literally just talking about physical intercourse between two people. Why is that this the conversation right now? That like a twenty five year old man can legal or twenty five year old woman can legally have sex with a 17-year-old child. If the age of consent is 16, I think so. Holy I shit, I think so, horrible. but I'm not sure. Then a lot of these YouTube people that make a living off of calling people pedophiles, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll take a hit if they learn that. Well, yeah, like people get called pedophiles and racist and sexist and homo bigot, all that stuff all the time, and it's mm -hmm. bullshit. But we just sort I... of let people get away with it. Yeah, I hate that there's an industry around specifically calling like YouTubers pedophiles. There's a full industry around that. And that's very bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is what it is. So anyway, I was eh. interested in knowing I'm why sorry, let's you brought this up. Image, uh, image. What do you mean? Image posted in I chat. I love the image, yeah, by I, the I way. Thank you, screen. capital O. Trust me, chat already laughed at it. So this? now we get to play. Is the stream getting monetized? I'm um, assuming no, not. Sure. But I'm uh, like the whole well, thing I'm I've been curious the about default. is um is how this relates to Capcom. That's what I want to know. Really quick, I would like to point out that given how minimal the editing was for the rest of the video, the fact that this tangent is like so heavily edited means like this was the thing he was primarily concerned with. Like he spent more time. Trying to flex about how Judy Bloom novels. <laughs> it's an him. odd flex. What um, it's yeah. an odd one. Did you no, it's in a paint, flex. by the way. Well, because there's the straight lines there. Can you do straight lines in paint? I can't remember. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah of can. course. Yeah, of course. Uh, on a, on a hot yeah, he started in by filling it black, and then he oh, moves yeah. the colors on top of it. Yeah. They're clearly in a base because you have your tools, so you can draw lines. Can you imagine Weebop's face. As he as he drew all these uh, pictures panel by panel, he was cooming. I think so too. He kept biting his lower lip and sweating profusely. <laughs> no. Yeah. In any case, at one point in this book, the hero, a vaguely dweeby white suburban kid living in then present 1982, wonders without a hint of irony why his various black and Asian friends bother dressing up in costumes on Halloween, since in his words, they already are something. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's um, his what? Four? What? That's an extremely interesting character. I would be. Ex I, uh, <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> they already are. Who's, wait, who the fuck said? Wait, who did he say Some, said that? It's it's an extremely dweeby character in this book he read. Yeah, but for Halloween he saw his his uh, his friends.
being um, Asian or black, I guess, as they don't need to dress up because they already are something. <laughs> um. <laughs> Which is cake. Which I guess is really weird. That's not that's sort of something you sit down with someone and say, "Okay, wow," but like, I, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of okay, wow level. Yeah, I guess if if because if it's coming from a really sheltered dweeby kid who has no exposure to things, I could see them maybe thinking that. Well, if if it's coming from like someone who's just. Uh, never like experienced the world kind yeah. of thing. It's like okay, we okay, Timmy. We need to sit you down and talk to you about what race. Yeah, is. I don't. I don't think that's coming from a place of malice. Yeah, but it's still like no, definitely not. It's clear. It looked like the kids were super young. So yeah. well, I get. Well, I guess you yeah. could say that from a place of malice, but uh, you could. But I don't like, think yeah, this from one someone. I, it would. also sounds like something that comes out of a place of ignorance, where someone just needs to be. Oh like, yeah, definitely ignorance. To understand yeah. the world, and but that's what kids like, are. needs an education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what like, a weird I came thing. up with some racist shit as a child just because... Oh, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. I, Did I? I, I took <laughs> I some, some, just, you know, took some, some influences and... Is there some racist shit out. as a child? Oh, absolutely. Wait, no? I don't know. <laughs> I, think I, I don't know. My, my best friend grow, growing up was half black and half Asian. I guess... We, I don't know. What'd they do for Halloween? Uh, I, I, I guess yeah, we like, just did normal Halloween <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it's just... I'm, I'm, you're being too cautious. So, I don't I know how to even like differentiate it from everyone else. We just did Halloween stuff, I guess. Ate wow, candy racist. and trick or treated and stuff. In other terms, By to him, way. a black guy dressing up as a vampire makes as much sense as a vampire dressing up as anything. It's a quaintly true image. Why is that? Of the it's a quaintly true image. I'm... It's literally the first instance I've ever heard of someone saying something. Like I've that. never heard of that ever. Quaintly why can't true. Why can't black people dress up as vampires for Halloween or something? I bet. I bet, like, all the kids who read that are like, that's fucking weird. Also, why can't a vampire dress up as a werewolf Halloween? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. And he's a vampire yeah, all let, the rest of the year. Maybe he wants to change Halloween. it up. Let vampires celebrate Halloween. Yeah. Also, yeah. What... if a vampire can't celebrate Halloween, who the fuck can? So is this... White people? When Spot oh, no. gains, like, incredible size and he's trying to, like, the government is trying when to take him down. Is this Grave <laughs> Spart? I'm not sure which this of the spots a... this is. This is this is Sport Mind from Halo. The Netflix all, version. This all all of the Sports that we've drawn have reached critical mass. They've formed together and become sentient. And <laughs> look, you, you see, he's even, he's even got the tendrils on yep. his head. Yeah. Yeah. His wonderful head of hair. This Sport has become a monument to all of our sins. And then he died. Like Metal would like this. Kaiju Sport. Sport. Metal Godzilla. would like this part. I feel like it fits Metal's aesthetic. Yeah. Metal would like this. That's true. So yeah, bringing the, bringing up the thing seemed to be a, literally a tangent. He just wanted to mention it because he's now Weird. going back to. I just want to toss that in. Peculiar boast, yet alas. I am. He wanted to find. He wanted to talk about that, so he crafted a video around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he hasn't uh, explained anything about Resident Evil. He's just said yeah. it's racist and there's nothing else to it. Yeah. He's, like, uh, he something, has enough self-awareness to be like... This... <laughs> so I, he, he has enough self-awareness to know that he can Speaking can't of like... Judy Bloom... Okay, when I was 13, I got mad puss. That's the video. <laughs> also Resident Evil. <laughs> it's like, okay. I don't know. If I, if I was 13 and I was having sex with 13-year-olds, I don't know how I would look back on that and process it. Well, like as an adult, you don't know how. Yeah, you like looking back on it. Yeah, just be like a a really weird thing that I did. Now that I'm an adult, looking back on it. Maybe we can ask Bob. Introversion <laughs> that was still common among us young white boys back then. But looking back on it now, I think it's just a lot more. Us about monolithic the white boys. Yes. I, I just, yeah, was it common though? Are you, are you sure it was common among, amongst white boys in general, or is it just common amongst him and his friends? Because I legit like I like this would have this sound. Even a twelve-year-old me would find this commentary bizarre. Well, yeah, if you were like, you gonna dress uh, up as a vampire, a werewolf, a ghost, a black person, like which of these things do you want to be? I'd be like, what the fuck did you throw that forfeit in there for? <laughs> 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 but no, uh, yeah, Bob and his friends, they they were just like, yeah, you know what? That's true. Or rather, see Fucking the rest of the pe world. People were like, where's the screen? You you miss nothing. Don't panic, people. So wait, what? Why is the screen changed? Why is it slightly zoomed in? Oh, I know why. 
Let me explain something about white people. Oh no. Our <laughs> dominance of the Western world oh, is here we go. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain something about white people, okay? Oh, boy. KKK, and I'm like, okay, like, already, calm the fuck down. I feel down. like we may be in trouble here like in terms the, of... Like, the KKK and white people are just the same thing. <laughs> well, they wear white rags, come on. Yeah, what, yeah, name yeah. a difference. Not even one. <laughs> that is pretty I like funny. How I, I, okay, okay, I'm gonna say it. The KKK uh, are not impressed. Uh, opp impressed? Oppressed. In ways that are wrong, right? People who are actually believe they are being oppressed. I mean, yeah, you could argue they are the being oppressed, but, yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, some things, some things should be oppressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So the thing is, let's say uh, Bob is saying that, like, th he's clearly implying that they think they're being oppressed unjustly, right? You know, he's implying because they are being oppressed in f for good reason. So let's say that Bob is only referring to like un things that are unjust oppression. And he's saying, wow, these people actually think they're being oppressed. Um, you know, they're, they're not, but he hasn't demonstrated at all. He's just shown a fucking picture. Of them. Yeah, like, like we, we all look, can look this image. generally- We can tell from this image that this isn't happening. Well, if I have someone from the KKK coming up to me and saying, because I'm one of his people, I guess, or something, and he comes up to me and he, oh, actually, I'm a dog, never mind. Uh, he comes up to my person, and they engage in a discussion. I'm just here. I'm just to hear the third party listening to this conversation take place. Like I don't know. I, I would be curious to hear a KKK person try and explain to me how they have become convinced of this. Uh, hang on, hang on. They they burn like crosses at KKK rallies, right? That's a thing. Yeah, I guess not every one. Maybe on, it's on, like, not every. This is a cross. This is a cross with just little lights on it. Look. Are those well, lights? If, yeah, you don't want to burn through crosses. So. Well, I mean, literally, you don't want to burn through all your crosses. Oh, like, you're going to buy a cross every I'm time. Not, it's, it's, the it's, counts, it's the thought that counts, Jay. It's the thought that counts. I, I, I love the idea that like some fucking some fucking white supremacist came up to the, this meeting. It's like, guys, <laughs> I figured out a way that we don't have to get through so many crosses. And they're like, huh? What? Scratching their heads. And he plugs in the cross. Electric plugs light. The wall, plugs in the and cross. And it glows. He's like, ta -da! Like but the I grand love dragon comes on by. smoke, clam. Like, yeah. the, the, the grand dragon comes by, like, hey, this ain't regulation. That's well, fucking yeah. cool as shit, though, that uh, they have a title called Grand Dragon. Yeah. yeah Cyclops. Appropriate that shit. Take it away. Grand Dragon should I be I want to be a Grand Dragon. That sounds <laughs> badass. The Grand Wizard, too. I'm not thinking yeah. the Scalies have got it now. Grand Sca Dragon. The I bet they all back. think they're the Grand um, Dragon. It's not the same. I think they call it the Grand Dragon cock. Well, I, I, if you can just call yourself a Grand Dragon, it doesn't really mean <laughs> anything. You have to get other people to agree that you are the Grand Dragon. That's a good point. And someone pointed out the yeah. KKK do wear masks, so we could appreciate that at least. Well, how do you mean? It, you know, just in oh, relation COVID. to the COVID times, they they don't have yeah. a problem with wearing masks. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's kind of nice of them. Um, it might be extremely racist, but at least they're at least they're being safe. <laughs> Yeah, I like the whole, I want to be a Grand Dragon quote, Rags 2020. Yeah. A, guy, a guy goes to like the store in his his, uh, his clan mask, and they're like, what, it's just to wear a mask, this is the only one I have. The only one I have, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then they tell him to leave the store, and he's going, I'm a being oppressed. <laughs> I'm an American, damn it. <laughs> I was wearing a mask, I don't know what his problem was. But yeah, Someone like, said KKK can... coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, from a Mars. distance, the lights make it look like it's on fire. You know, it's fine. And someone up close is like, nah, I don't believe it. We need a real fire. This is bullshit. You're really yeah. ruining the, what we're the, about. the more traditionalist KKK members, they feel like they're, there's really, they, they lost a lot from, you know, moving from real fires to the more, the more, the more KKK members. The more conservative KKK members are really angry with the more progressive KKK members. Yeah, the more progressive KKK members. <laughs> The more progressive ones, they want to save energy. You know, they want to, they want to lessen their carbon footprint. Like one of them's like, I guess the whites and the blacks can marry, but we don't have to like it. <laughs> they're like, sure, I guess. <laughs> like, we don't have to, I suppose. It just it's, it's on the I'm topic back. of white Wait, people. Are the first oh, thing he says is this. Oh, sweet, fucking love talking about the KKK. 
movie there are like, okay, people. Let me, let me tell you something about white people. And instantly goes to the KKK. Like, not every white person is part of the KKK. Like, it's not really something every white person is actually part of. I mean, at least the majority, though. At least, no, at least the majority, least, least, least the majority of white people are in the KKK, right? He's talking about the every white of, person that isn't him. That's how we see every racism, white person that isn't him. And this is everyone that isn't movie white people. Movie Bob is the only, guy, the only white guy who's not racist. He's one of the good ones, guys. He's one of the good ones. He's the amount of guy. racism against white people is absolutely outrageous. Yeah. It, <laughs> no it, disagree. It's just so fucking much, and it's so accepted um, and tolerated by white people. I, I don't know how people are not up in arms. Like, hey, do you guys not see the fucking problem with this? When we're de- like decrying racism as a whole as a society i think a lot of people have just sort of bought into the whole it's okay when one side does it and when one side doesn't it it's messy it's just don't be racist well yes. apply the same standard equally to everyone don't don't be racist. Be racist. what are you a building no but now oh, now applying the the same standard to people is racist according to some people people mm-hmm. are trying to change the goalpost of what racism is to where just literally being white is is considered racism what do you and mean like, that wasn't I... the first reference he gave for white people <laughs> <laughs> i look i love like being a minority because I get to like, say shit yeah, like most this people aren't without being called racist. It's uh-huh. the, like people can't just be like, oh, you're racist. They have to engage me and meet me at my ideas and actually talk. It's fucking great. It's the fucking best. Because that because discussion requires work and SJWs can't do work. <gasps> yeah. Oh Dude, people sleep on how much privilege there is to be a minority. It's uh-huh. fucking incredible. Culture is so fucking monolithic that we don't even notice it's there to the extent which is weird because bob already basically cre- treats white people as monolithic like well, oh this, you know white people this you know, idea you know, that it's, it's like ingrained so we can't detect racism i'd be like what if you're getting false positives bob what if you overcompensate and you start seeing it everywhere what about that is that possible this that is, is this thing. image here of Chris. This is how movie Bob pictures himself looking for racism. He's like, <laughs> I am the racism <laughs> police. I am, <laughs> I am himself fucking 13 year olds. Eagle eye <laughs> movie Bob looking for racism in 13 year olds. That even the smartest and most tolerant among us tend to subconsciously view our whiteness as a kind of tabula rasa normalcy and blackness. It is or normal. Mal- Didn't you say a while ago that racism was a conscious thing? My whiteness is normal. My parents were white. It's normal for me to be white. But you're white? <laughs> you know, um, racist. Well, but when you call the fluff, it's like pink. Like, we're not actually white. It's like a pinkish I thing. Like, black dog. people aren't actually black. I think it depends know. what you mean by normal. There are actually black people and there like, are actually white people. Like, most common, yeah. Like, it, it's normal yeah. to be white in a predominantly Sorry. white area. It really yeah. depends what meaning of the word normal he's going for. So, like, if you see... <laughs> Uh, no, he's saying it's a what said Rags is not a very he's good grand dragon. He is like, defining it. We, let's not take that away from him. He is defining that it's like tabula oh, yeah, yeah. rasa. He's saying it's base state. It's, oh. it's regular. What he's saying is tabula rasa is in blank state. Like, state right? like that no. being anything but white is an add on to, to, to the regularness of whiteness. But, yeah, which is a different conversation. Yeah, I, I guess there are some people out there who think that. Sure. Because, like, uh, like, you know, um, Oh, I th- you I know, th- I th- think thinks that. that. Uh, think I think that. I think it's specifically the SJWs who think that, and I think it's a lot of, um, like the white liberals who try to speak on behalf of minorities and the minorities that buy into the shit that they say to like that they that the white liberals come up with that hold those ideas. I've seen like uh, the you guys know the like the black Hebrew Israelites them <laughs> yeah oh yeah i think they're crazy. i think they're they think that like the default is like black and everything else is a like a like a corruption of that so but do those you know people are why they say that um let me th- uh, i f- i forget honestly there's I a lot know. of reasons there's a lot of reasons oh, but sure. one of the big things that like i i didn't know this and it was like a, oh that makes sense it's because they're biblical literalists and they literally believe that the Hebrews are God's chosen people. So they're ascribing being God's chosen people to themselves. There you go. Oh, like Mormonism does the other way. 
To be fair to Movie Bob, this is like seven different conversations he's having in this video. So it's pretty like, you know, just next trying to point level out, Capcom stuff. aren't racist. The problem is much worse. It's that they can't even realize when they're racist. I think that's that, that's the point he's making. We nailed it. Isn't Capcom is Capcom an American company or a fucking Japanese company? Japanese, Japanese owned. Yeah. They probably it's have probably different branches yeah. that because a lot of the credits I, for Resident Evil 5 are Japanese names, so... Yeah. I guess they have a big well, localization team. This is 2020. I'm so fucking tired of people ascribing, like, American racial standards and, like, standards of, of wokeness or whatever to other fucking countries Actually, and cultures yeah, and not point. knowing fucking shit about it. He initially targets white people as being the problem. Maybe he's trying to talk about how the white people of America don't notice the problem. Is, is what he's trying to focus on rather than the people who made it at this point? Or is he just trying to lump it all into the same thing? I don't know. Pretty weird, Bob. Pretty bigoted for you to assume that only white people were involved in making Resident Evil 5. If I may I mean, say so weird. myself. When it's if literally we... made by a Japanese company. Yeah, it, I feel it like... It's it... a Japanese come. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a Japanese come. Anyway, but that, that was that, that was I just mainly wanted it for that one bit, so it was interesting that's, to see how he weird. he cushioned it in that. Which part? The part where he if I could if I could take breaks. if I took with other races, races the, the 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 all encompassing attitude that he takes to white people, I think we know how that'd go down. To any other race, well, yeah. Oh, you know, like white people, you know, the KKK, you know, you know. It's like I, you know, I, I, I doubt he actually believes that all white people are fucking the KKK. <laughs> He's just white. It's like I, I, he just needs to fucking not say stuff like an idiot. He needs to be careful how he phrases. I agree things. that he, he needs to not say up. stuff. I things. That's the thing. I doubt his actual beliefs are good. They're probably not that stupid. You know, he probably doesn't. I literally believe that white people, as a default, are members of the KKK. I can uh, I can you know think what? that Movie Bob probably believes in like group guilt of the whites. Maybe we, we all feel bad, yeah, I think and, and the world I builds on the KKK. Would. I could definitely see him coming out with it. I don't because he would think that he he would because he and thinks he would be doing something very virtuous by pointing that out. Like oh yes, I is like oh is like oh yes as as a white person. Like, I think that we white people, you know, we have so much work to do and we're just, oh, we, we should, we all does that yeah. stuff. Sort of thing. I think that's something he it's, would think. I think fucking that's taking, what it sounds like. like feeling guilt for the feeling guilt for the accomplish, uh, accomplishments of people who are superficially similar to you is just as stupid as taking pride in it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. accomplishments? Like, wait, did it's I say slavery and hey, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wow, Jay. well, they did, the they white did. guilt the is not out. because white people are successful, it's because of the slavery. No, 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 no. I feel like slavery um, is an accomplishment, right? Just, like, that's a lot of work. Holy shit. So, I'm pretty sure the thing I was holy going shit. for is it's the stupidest <laughs> taking pride in the accomplishments of people who are superficially uh, similar to you, but uh, I may have said accomplishments at the wrong place. Or the right oh, yeah, place. No, I, guilt, guilt. We're talking about yeah, white yeah. guilt. White Dude, guilt. Playing into white guilt. Let me tell you guys, because you guys yeah, will never get to do this. It's the fucking best. Sure, white man. I've, so accomplishment means something that has been achieved successfully. So like, yeah, I mean, like slavery oh, okay. was an accomplishment. I guess you could, yeah, accomplish. I mean, they, they pulled that, that one off for a while. Well, be no, aware of the connotations. Achieve. That's all. Because that. She, Achievement. Still something. A, no, no. Something. No. Something that has been achieved successfully. Yeah. No. No. So accomplishment is something that's been achieved successfully. But to yeah. know what accomplishment really means, you know, you have to define a, achievement. So if I Google achieve, an achievement is something, a thing, a thing done successfully, typically by <laughs> effort, courage, or skill. Desired objective or result. <laughs> effort, okay. courage, or yeah. skill. Typically Those by skills. effort or skill. I mean, it takes a lot of courage to enslave a, a, a race. Well, I, Jesus I mean, Christ. I don't see how you couldn't be skilled if you managed to pull off like the Western slave trade. How you could just bumble well, do into you know it. Who, do, like, pe like, this is something that like people try to erase. But chattel slavery was an invention of Western Africa. Like that, you would be 
chattel slaved because of a like a tribal war or a, or a territory war. I feel like it was way older than that. Yeah, slavery probably came. Uh, I mean, like they talk about it in the Bible. No, but we're talking about <laughs> chattel <laughs> slavery. I know, I know that slavery is older than that. I'm talking about chattel slavery, which is what the American model of slavery was based on. I I feel like that goes back back a long, 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 long way ago. Slavery was it invented does. in Wales. Really, Wait, Wales taught it. Yeah, yeah. Wales, like the, the Welsh. Damn, like damn Welsh it, Mahler! This is your yeah. people. Hey, fault. we stopped yeah, it. That's why they have a really great dragon on. We were like, "Oh, this is bad, actually." And then everyone else was like, "No, it's kind of neat." And we were like, "No, it was too late." Oh my god! Thought? No, it's it's, cool. neat. it's me saying it just now. Yeah, Jay's so, the one okay. you need to direct your vitriol. But like, okay, there's a humongous difference between like a Roman slave and um like a, a black american slave in the 1700s I, I didn't bring up roman slaves well but you're saying back in time it goes back further than yeah that. yeah like, further how far back, back further than go? the roman yeah you, you go about? further back okay. like this is like we're how talking further back? genesis but are, i yeah but surely you would agree that chattel slavery yeah like they were your property you could inherit them pass them down to your kids and even if uh you're talking about the difference between like legal things versus just you know og is not slaves oog in in his cave i still feel like it's relevant so it'd be a stalk of of that same prospect i suppose like the idea that they're completely separate because they have different rules i'd be like wow slavery is just going to be this big old tree through history right I really want to know where the stereotypical caveman names of like Ugg and Oog and Og came from. <laughs> well, it's just like a sound. There's someone That's making the point, a fucking right? mouth sound. Do you, do you mean you um, want to know how they started back then? Like when they were like, my name Oog. <laughs> like, nobody I mean, yeah, wants I any see, complicated names like of... Ungle, Faggle, Giggle, Goggle. I assume the idea of owning like another human being probably is an equivalent age to the concept of ownership. I don't Oh yeah, it, I feel like I it's super it old. Long. It's just older than time probably well not older than time, older than recorded history. What is the thing that what 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 would have been the first thing that like was owned by a person? A rock. I don't know, probably like literally food. Probably food. And, and was that do you think that was do you think that would predate current humanity? Like as a as a species I mean like our like Neanderthals and Homo habilis mm. and stuff like that. Uh, Neanderthals were at the same time as humanity, right? Well, going that I threw in another one in there, just like going back and back and back to yeah. we were, I mean, probably. I mean, the concept of ownership is probably predates humanity. Got any anthropologists in chat? The, all the proto humans probably had a concept of ownership. Well, I wonder if like any uh, animals living today that aren't humans have a concept of ownership. Probably, I would imagine that like, they I do. I feel like. I feel like some sure animals do. probably have a sense of ownership over like their mates. That that's probably uh, a thing that happens because that does happen, right? There are there's territorial like mating. There's territorial animals. That's got to be a concept of ownership, right? Of owning territory. Yeah, you own. Territory. I guess so. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Yeah. Homo yeah, I mean, erectus. I'm sure. Yeah, it's not like yeah. I, I I would be hesitant to say that humans invented ownership of things. The concept of ownership. <laughs> I there I think there's a difference between like territory and and ownership. I'm not say you own that. I'm not territory. I'm not sure how much of a difference yeah. they'll be seen to yeah, an I don't animal. Know, like, that's... We invented like the whole human recognized ownership. Okay. So, you know, no one's gonna respect. No human being is gonna respect like a monkey's ownership of a tree. <laughs> like. You... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I heard hey. about the logging industry, yeah, yeah. deforestation. Fucking well, monkey okay, comes sure. home with his little like, hat and his briefcase, sees his tree's been taken down to make lumber. Like, uh, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> no, okay, gonna, that was my tree. Don't you need a? Don't you need some form of like established legal code no. to be able to uphold? Um, no, if you ownership? if you no if you in practice exercise your ownership, then that's I mean it, it's it's fundamentally exactly the same. Whether there's a piece of paper or mean? a written law. Yeah that ensures that it's yours legally. That doesn't mean that if you, uh, especially in a time where there no such things exist, there are no legal codes and there are no you know, documentation for this sort of thing. If you as a creature are exercising the motions of taking ownership of, uh, of something and deciding what is done with it, and uh, that seems to be a distinction without a difference. We're going back so far, but none of this invalid. None of this what? what? They cut out. No uh we're going back so far but none of this invalidates anything i was gonna say 
Which was? Is like, that what okay, the intention so was? The, the American system and the New World system of slavery was based on West African chattel slavery. Yeah, Doesn't and mean slavery as a whole concept goes back super early, and the idea of any different kinds of slavery will just be stalks of what we yeah, understand to be slavery in the first place. Yeah. Okay, but because not slavery invalidates, it's just it's just a corollary. Well, so my counter would just be, yeah, and what was that based on? And what was that based on? And what was that based? It right, just goes but back. that's not sure. You can do that forever and go back to oh, territory from animals. That's why like, we were talking about that. I don't, but that's, I don't even that's really that's know not, what the. I don't even. I, at this point, I'm wondering what the point is. I mean, are there yeah, people exactly. Bring, like white Americans invented slavery because no, it's like they just like saw it. Well, yeah, like, yeah. Made the a point was, you no, know, but people do think that people try to erase like the African component. The Africans captured other Africans. Yeah, um, is, this like, is this like academics or like random people on Twitter? Is my question. Um, that's a great question. I I wouldn't say Twitter so much. I would say more like the YouTube videos, like things things of that nature. I mean, it's got to be on Twitter as well. It, uh, yeah, but who fucking cares? Um, okay, but the point is, like, I care about Twitter. So, Not really, well. where where that leads is the Portuguese um, and the Spanish had a humongous role in this, but okay. because the the Spanish did conquest so well, but did maintenance so poorly compared to the English that like south america and the caribbean and spanish speaking countries the majority of them that are not spain are seen as like where minorities come from and like underprivileged people come from so heavy that because they all speak spanish and that's the only unifying thing about them that spain people now think of spain as similar when like they were the initiators of all this shit and they blamed it on england and like english white people it's fuck. It's the greatest caper that's ever happened in history. Is Spain pulling off being treated like minorities because they speak Spanish, and having the blame for like racism and all of, and slavery and all of that go to Anglo-Saxon white people? Okay, so we all agree that whites didn't invent slavery. I invented slavery. slavery I'm white. <laughs> all right. Neat. So, I, think, um, I think that's settled, as Movie Bob would say. Yeah, I think that's uh, that is uh, settled. As the great <laughs> Movie Bob, <laughs> yeah, by racism. racism. Invented by a guy named Edgar Slavery. That's Edgar why Slavery. <laughs> it was named after a person. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Slavery. What do you want to name yours? I just wanted the day it was invented. Yeah, I'm gonna. They were like, my hot take here is that Edgar, you know, really wasn't all that good of a guy. No, yeah, I can I can see the argument there. Are you gonna make a video on that or? I mean, maybe, you know, if there's enough interest. That is a, that's so a the pretty record's great about take. Edgar. So then the, 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 I only wanted it for that, for that bit, but so like we're probably just going to jump to the next uh, topic being... Yeah, sure. Um, All right, I think probably the time we're going to hold it. Probably. Wow, Jay. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to recommend we watch the video, but did we? Are we good? Do we know what's worse than racism? Yeah, the idea. Yeah, well, it seems it was, to be it wasn't saying, clear. No, it, it was totally clear. It. He was saying like the, the what's worse than racism is not being able to detect racism because it's so ingrained in you. Oh, that's uh, weak. I was hoping it would be something more. Exciting. Yeah, which I don't even which argument. I don't even agree with. I think an action is always going to be far more harmful and worse than a. A concept in I your guess head. he's arguing from the point that if you're aware that you're doing a racism, then it's like you've made your choice rather than uh, <laughs> someone who's unaware of it, and thus it's an evil that will will just grow and and roll over and influence. I don't know if that's the angle he's going for though. I I I guess yeah, it sounds like it's like oh, the subconscious racism is reflected in this game, but it like. What he doesn't understand is the subconscious racism is his review of it because these are actual tribesmen in Africa. Um, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm I'm fine with the idea that there are subconscious aspects of our animal brains that are tribalistic and that extends to race and sex and all that sort of stuff in some way. Yeah. But I feel like we're good enough to be able to recognize those things and not enact them. So it's weird that he brought it up. Yeah, for well, that split second that he did. Remember, his his idea of like being aware of it is to look at Resident Evil Five and be horrified while we're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, because you have to make a compelling case as to why that's actually racist to us. 
like someone who doesn't or already worse. start with the idea that it that that we don't agree with him like he's not going to convince anybody it's just preaching to the choir so hatred segways <laughs> crossing the line <laughs> from violence yeah. to sadism this is a, hey, this, this video is about hatred yeah, we're going to be covering some hatred oh, remember now. Remember hatred? Oh, gosh. Remember that? <laughs> that In case so anybody was... You know all about hatred, don't you? So the Pretty idea much. is, you know, video games, uh, violent video games, you know, cool, but when are they not cool? That is the big discussion. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get a lesson. We're going to get a lesson from good old extra credits about this. See. Oh, cool. <laughs> Here we go. You didn't choose. Hey, this. folks. You didn't ask for this, but here it is. I know. I like some extra credit stuff. <laughs> I wonder if we'll like this one. I, I don't watch know. it. Who knows what they've got to say? It should be more than interesting. I'm, I'm sure of it. Before we start, I should mention that today's subject matter is pretty grim. And so the fucking oh, voice God. is already grim. Oh, me. Trigger warning. Hey, hey didn't this guy fucking also do spirit science? No, I think this is a totally different person. I think that there's different channels, but they use the same voice tisms, I guess. They they both do the the, eh. the pseudo animation sort of thing that I kind of do. No, I think I think it's literally this guy. I don't I think mean, so. I, I don't know. The results in some graphic depictions of violence and <laughs> other unpleasantness in the video. I know it's all cartoons and such, but you know. Trigger warning still. for other unpleasantness. Wait, he's, <laughs> he said it's all cartoons though. But so like, is he portraying graphic violence with his little? With cartoons. Okay. How do you draw someone? How do you draw like? His character getting beheaded. <laughs> well, <laughs> you sort of just push it over and it falls down. <laughs> it's just further away. It's magnets. Okay, do the thing. <laughs> oh, so loud. Why did you do this to me? Rage. <laughs> Goddess, sing the rage of Peleus's son Achilles. Murderous, doomed, no that cost cares. the Achaeans countless losses. Achilles was awesome. What are you talking about? Yeah. They're like, this, wow. this is one of the stupid. Look how smart I am. Well, guys, I've was, read. He's, oh, I've he, read things. He's making a point about rage. Good. Leave him alone. Jeez. He's kind of weirdo. He's kind of a weirdo. But he was cool he was on the when he fought. Hurling down to the house of death so many sturdy souls. These are the first words of the Western tradition. This is how we open the Iliad, the, the book which serves as a bedrock. The first words of the Western tradition? Rock. What does that even mean? What's the is he suggesting that the Western tradition is built on violence, or is it the lamentation of violence? It sounds more like it's a it's it's recounting a a bad thing that that rage is bad and it leads to bad things happening. Doesn't don't, don't like aspects of Western culture predate the fucking Iliad? I'm pretty sure, sure they, they do. do. I'm yeah, like sure. I don't know the Epic of Gilgamesh from fucking three thousand years earlier. Uh, oh, and someone that knows it. Someone actually checked. He's been asked if he's related to that other channel you were mentioning, and he's several times said we have no connection to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Different. It sounds exactly like him, and I saw a video breaking it down, which is, by the way, the funniest shit in the universe. Um, and he, yeah, he sounds identical. It's crazy. There we go. Talk of Western culture. So, go and on. defined the society that defined the West down to today. It's foundational, seminal. A the book? Iliad defined the civil. Okay, calm down. I mean, I, like, I, I, I feel like it's, it's a little bit. But it could be I a semantics it's thing. It's not the cornerstone. It, it's a major, major work in Western culture. It, it certainly is. But I, did it define the entirety of it? I don't think so. Mm. I feel like we would have come away really, really similar if this hadn't existed. It's hard to say. I don't fucking. I wouldn't want to comment on I that. I don't it. know. It's just the. It could be a semantics issue as well between people, like what words they're using to describe how important it is could be on the same level, but using different ones, I don't know. Book of great meaning and great worth. It's a cultural touchstone, a work without which Western literature as we understand it would not exist. And yet, it's... <laughs> okay, okay, so um, if okay. you take away... Okay, so... Like, if you take away sure any can. old book, like... Yeah. Sure, it wouldn't exist as we know it. It would be... <laughs> It would be Slightly different, yeah. Different. Any old influential books, of course, if you got <laughs> rid of those, other things would change. Like, come on. No, yeah, dude, there's no way. If I remove the bottom layer of bricks, this wall might collapse. Divine Comedy, Iliad, you know, same thing. Uh, pretty feel, much yeah, same I feel thing. like there's Guys, a lot if more if the past literature. was different, then the present would be different. You can't if, say if he's only, wrong. 
if we didn't have the Iliad, we'd never have the Canterbury Tales. Really? Really? Okay. Mm, all right. Yeah, I, I feel like saying maybe like like if he was being like, oh, if the Bible didn't exist, society would be totally fucking different. Like, okay, yeah, for sure. The Iliad? Come on, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not. Someone at someone in the EFEP chat said the world would be unrecognizable without it. Un like, fuck, chill, actually, fuck chill. off. Chill. Don't, what an <laughs> incredibly <laughs> stupid thing to say. Unrecognizable. Like, there would still be Greek mythology. Like, not just because it's fucking book doesn't exist i'm pretty sure he just made it the iliad so that he can uh he can better fit his argument that overall is evil yeah. violent people do you think he's going to go on a tangent about how... really only the white people only the western people do you think he's going to go on a tangent about how he read the iliad to sleep with a bunch of women <laughs> I, certainly hope so. I certainly hope so at least, at least the drawings. Yeah, at least the drawings will be better than the drawings. <laughs> he used it to sleep with the lesbians. Oh my god! He there used it go. to sleep with the Greeks. From lesbians, Island. big fans of the Iliad. No, that's so so much. Le oh. Island of Lesbos. Lesbos. I, yes. Oh my yeah. god, dude! Everything yes. is connected. Oh, there we yeah. go. It's all Yo, it's a spider I'm web. Too heavy rags. It I'm was too heavy. too heavy, like them clapping cheeks. As as someone just said, <laughs> uh, imagine how different Efab would be without the Iliad. How it would be, <laughs> but, but, but the would, would I have ever no met Iliad, if the, the Iliad Odyssey. didn't exist? I don't know. It's about rage. It's about anger and violence. About destruction, wrath. In its lines, we see the brutal struggle of personal combat and have painted for us a picture of its visceral result. We are witness, up close and personal, yeah, to don't. the slaughter of men and the extremities of. Yeah, it talks about how rage can do bad things. I mean, there's some yeah. other stuff in there too. <laughs> yeah, rage. Yeah, the lines he was lines he was referring to. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the whole yeah. point really is there's a bunch of rage and jealousy and betrayal. That's what that's what the story is about. It doesn't mean all Western society is about that. But it's also yeah, ignoring like the honor of warfare. That's a big part of those books. No, be awesome. Uh, Live of war. That and might yet be again, I. I will say without equivocation, it is a classic, and more than that, it's necessary. Is that a tie? Rage, frustration, or is that, is he wearing anger? a jacket? I, it's, um, it's rage are they necessary. mutually exclusive? I, mean, I don't, I don't know if, so I guess which part are we talking about specifically right now? Well, I need to be looking at he's him. Saying, he's, he, he said as a sort of like, um, you know, it, 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 he didn't want to imply that it's bad. He was like, no, it's classic, it's important, and the rage aspect is important for us to explore, and I think he's going to explain why. And you can sort of see he's setting the, the stage for why exploring violence is a plus but i'm assuming that's going to lead him into where is the line where are we not allowed to explore that's the part i'm actually interested in to be honest with you yeah there oh, here he's, no up. he's running out of time yeah he's you know he's he's, <laughs> he's he's gotta rush it but it'll be all right these are a primal part of who we are they are without a doubt part of being human denying that denying them only makes them worse instead we need to understand and to channel them and sometimes we need an outlet for them all right good so far so good yeah yeah, so yeah. far, yeah, so good. Sure. And that's why I've never been against violent video games. I will be the first to say that some games approach violence in a more interesting and nuanced way than others, and I'll sure. also be the first to say that I don't want games to be limited to being only about violence. What is that on his head? He's got that a, weird, he stitched that his weird, head into... The hold stick. on, I want to see what you're talking about. He stitched that's his hair. hair into his head. Or her. Yeah, it's it's a right. Oh, shit, you're right. What the, the fuck? Frankenstein, it's like Frankenstein yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like hair plugs. It's proportion. So it's also, too. It might be worth us talking about it now ahead of time, but like, you know, Killing Floor, for example, Rags, I don't um, yeah. necessarily, when playing that game, get a strict sense of just laying off steam and violent stuff. A lot of the time it's very mechanical. Like, I really enjoy uh, the, how do I say this? Like, the, the guns doing what they do in response to enemies, it's the skin uh, of, of violence and blood and zombies and stuff that's that's neat. But like the actual yeah, fun I'm getting is, is just how well how well it works mechanically, if you know what I mean. Yeah, gore in and of itself doesn't, it, it's it's nice to have, you know? It, like yeah. Vermintide wouldn't be the same without it. Gilling Floor wouldn't be the same without it. Um, but those games are really good because I think they're really mechanically tight. And because there's a lot of skill that's there, and there's something that can be mastered and learned, well, you can get a clear progression of your skill. Have any of you played Flower, the game? No. 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 Damn it. Okay, well, someone in chat probably has. The, the game is you play as a leaf in the wind, and you have to, like, blow yourself into flowers, collect more petals until you become, like, a huge petal tornado. 
and uh, you eventually, I think you arrive at like a big flower at the end, and it completes levels. Very chill game. It's super easy to just, just, just listen to some music yeah. or the soundtrack of the game and just play. It's really nice. Well, um, he he said, um, he said, oh, I don't think all video games should be violent. It's like, what what the fuck are you talking well, no, about? No, no one is on the other end of that argument, though. Close to that. <laughs> um, I think he's going towards the idea that it needs to justify itself why it should be a sh why the violence is included like why is the violence here what purpose does it serve and thing is yeah that, that should be interesting that's an interesting uh, idea to explore and uh, if you're writing a story you should always have include things that are you know have a purpose but uh, if i wanted to just make a violent game just for the violence sake i don't see why that would that should be denied uh if i wanted to make that i sure games like that. That. it's not gonna be like the epitome of of intriguing games, they're gonna give me wouldn't be any Emmys or something like that. Well, but um, it should be made to be allowed. It's, you, know, you don't, you shouldn't need a justification to allow violence in your video game. That's not necessarily... There are tons and tons of games without violence in them at all. There are puzzle games. There are fucking like so many. Um, well, the, well, the reason I brought Flower right is that some people consider it really gay. Like they're like, oh my god, so gay. That's <laughs> a gay game. I saw someone in chat say it's a it's an award bait game. Like it's not a. I'm get. I'm not saying this is the position, but I could see someone saying not a real game. It's just it's just trying to be cool and neat. And you're like, oh look at you. Uh, so I was thinking like, what if someone was to play it on alternative mode or or, or undead mode, and you actually you play as a bullet. And each of the flowers are replaced <laughs> with zombie heads, and you break through them, and the more blood you collect can eventually be deposited into a big well at the end, and you win. Literally, oh, no, everything else plays the same, but the skin changes, and now it's suddenly a violent game, right? Like, uh, yeah. So the the interesting thing I have right here, I guess, of of like mechanics versus what's being depicted, I suppose. And the, is yeah, that what true, determines yeah. the violence versus? I don't know, like. I mean, that, because the skin at, of something at, at makes a very the fundamental level, yes. understandable. Yeah. No, but at a, at a like fundamentally, sure, right? Like, sure, yes, you literally cannot have violence if violence is being portrayed, right? Yeah, I, I was just clarifying that, I guess, because I find it interesting that uh, it's 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 a matter of changing. You know, like, this is how they avoid certain ratings in films, right? Like, instead of aliens having, if they have green blood, it can get a way lower rating than red blood. Or like the 90s cartoons where they had ray guns instead of real guns? Yeah, I think I think that's to do with it. Uh... Yeah, aspects of fantasy make it easier for us to digest it because humans have a, generally humans have a natural empathy towards other humans. So when we see red blood and we, it's that's why rape true. is, this is why rape is a lot more harder to get away with in video games than uh, than or like killing floor violence because we have, a, a, especially men towards women, we can have an extreme empathy towards the the plight of a weak individual being taken advantage of in this distressing emotional way. Whereas you see a zombie getting blown apart, you, there's no emotional connection there. There's no relation. Um, well, a zombie is human. I, I would I would like say there's a lot of uh, something that can be looked into there. But I mean, no, other monster, enemies, right? yeah. I mean, I mean, like a Killing Floor Two weird monster. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, even, I would say that's a better. I mean, word. even most zombies, I still think it holds up uh, as a fine most, analogy. Yeah. But yeah, but there's definitely a lot of philosophical um, talk about zombies and the fact that they were human. Sure, I guess some people, yeah, like yeah, because the it's like every horror movie, the the idiot is the person who thinks the zombie is still not a zombie, then they right, die because yeah. they do that, and it's like tropey at this point. Yeah, well, no, not even that. Like season one of The Walking Dead, like where they tried to make the zombies not like they were in the comic, and give them an ounce of humanity. Well, season two, really where they that. trap and put a bunch of them in a barn because they're sure they can cure them, which is really retarded because they have organs falling out of them and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. I mean, if you could, if you thought of that backwards, like, hey, look at this crazy ass healing factor, basically, like, that these people can survive having organs falling out of them. <laughs> We're going to use that for medicine. That would be a way better angle. Uh, You could possibly, I don't know if, that would be discounted in terms of like they're not even alive they're just animated i don't know uh yeah yeah um anyway well th this is the thing um I don't, what else what else would there be to i guess what do you guys think is there any limits to what video games should be allowed to portray 
uh, be allowed um, to yeah, is things yeah. that are illegal. If if um, you were able to restrict games as like a lawmaker, would you want to restrict them in any way? Uh, no. Yeah. Not like this, uh, any illegal. more than it it already is illegal to do certain things. Yeah. 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 I I I think that in terms of like you can't. It's like a lot of it. You can't dox people with a video game. Oh yeah. I guess things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess well, I'm that's, not aiming that's, for that. Okay. I'm also aiming for portrayals of violence. Then let's go with yeah. that. Yeah, we're not talking no. about like child porn or like. Uh, Around there, that would, that'd be like a drawing the line. Like a, no, none of that stuff. So someone yeah. in the chat specifically says, violence. Uh, should video games um, allow you to make rape playable? I I don't think it should be illegal. But if everyone saw that game they'd be like oh my god this is disgusting and then no one would buy it and like the video well, game makers would like go bust you know what i mean like you don't have to yeah. the fallacy no it isn't it, it really isn't i i think that video games should adhere to the laws of the places that they're created i think that that does i'm not saying i'm, I'm not making moral arguments here yeah i'm saying i think that you, I, this if, is a purely if, legalist point of view yeah, you're, you're I, presenting. I, i'm saying yeah if if you build a game then i i think that you should you know, not do things that are illegal in it. I th do think there needs to be some level of respect for the law and the content, and there are, should be avenues to change that. Um, well, so, uh, well, but then if you are, if you're following that argument, you can't portray murder, drug use, you can't portray you things can, well, that that's different. in video games. Yeah, that's not, I, I'm or? assuming Rag's referring more so to, like, uh, yeah, like what I was saying, like yeah, doxing. Like doxing. You can't dox people yeah. in the video game. Would you would you agree that video games are speech? Yes. It's speech and expression. Yeah, and it, it, it is a method of expression, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's art. So then uh, I guess what you're not allowed to say what you're want, saying though. that it should be subject to the same laws as speech in well, whatever country it's made in. Is that I'd what you're saying? So. I, I I'd say so with it within reason. Yeah, you know, like, like North Korea. You know, obviously we're talking. I, I I don't want to throw out the idea that I'm talking about you know North Korea or something here. No, I'm but uh, obviously a North Korean made video. Uh, a North Korean public should and would have to follow North Korean. Okay, thought, I'm, right? not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. Okay, when when I said the legality, I was, I was not talking about crazy fucking countries like North Korea. No, yeah, and, no, and, no, no, no. And but, so, wait, wait, so separate... about that. I don't want to go on that tangent. Yeah, Let's can we can we get that. over this? Yeah, and to separate the yeah. two groups. I just, of... I'm just trying to characterize your argument. I'm really just trying to understand the two different. The, so Rags would be okay with portraying doxing, but not actually doing doxing. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, you That's, can't actually point. dox a real individual using a video game. But a character doxing to... another character is, yeah, totally fine. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree with you. Um, Someone said you're being groovy on this. The act of doxing someone can be. I'm not talking about the act. I'm talking about actually doing it. Yeah, I don't know why yeah. anybody had trouble with you saying that. I, I got you immediately. Yeah, it's like, weird. of course. <laughs> um, People are willing to jump to the worst interpretation of the things that I say sometimes. Um. So yeah, uh, if there were a game, to characterize your argument. I fully agree. If there were a game that's like. Ex extremely high graphic detail, and the entire campaign is just uh, chopping out and pulling out different parts of a human's body over the course of, let's say, twenty hours. Um, you, you, I'm assuming the argument would be yes, allowed, but you would kind of hope that, uh, like, let's just say it's yeah, entirely I built would... for the disturbing element. Like, you'd be like, damn, yeah, I hope this doesn't be get popular. Yeah, you should be allowed to make that, but I hope yeah. people wouldn't enjoy it too much. Yeah, and people can criticize <laughs> it all they want. You know, yeah. you can make that if you oh, want. Oh yeah, to, absolutely. But... I think However, that, the problem is that making those kinds of games will it will create black backlash towards them. Yeah, that's be, just that that will be a natural result of trying to push the boundary too far. That game exists. It's called Surgeon yeah. Simulator. Get, Surgeon Simulator is amazing. Yeah, you Simulator get is not like um, that. You get like a um, like the cuties thing, right? Yeah. You something ah. you make you make something like that shouldn't make it. And then it brings a lot of attention to it, right? It's sort of a, it's like a, if you do something that's really overtly bad, people will notice it. And I'm not saying cuties is okay and it brought negative attention towards something that shouldn't have it. I'm just drawing a parallel here. Because mm -hmm. um, hatred yeah, is obviously yeah. one of the examples uh, that's going to be brought up uh, inevitably. Uh, I'm trying to think of what's, because what, that's the most controversial game for being violent, right? What In our recent memory. I don't know if there's anything that beats it out. GTA 5's torture scene, I think, was one of the ones that came up. 
violence in video games hasn't I'm trying to think of like times it's even huh. have you got you guys got any examples over the past few years? Maybe chat, I don't know. It just um, I feel like we're I mean we no generally generally games just don't shock people like they used to. Postal. I think we've just sort of I I guess people have become less boomery about it. They've become more mainstream and more accepted. Someone said like, I remember when stuff like um like Manhunt came out, things like that. Oh, no Russian. But nowadays, oh, yeah, that's a great example. Yeah. Something, Something tells me that, that if you chat. were allowed to kill Abby in The Last of Us 2, people would be really upset about it. <laughs> um, well, like, the other thing is people will mod games to push boundaries, like killing children in Fallout. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and, uh, but, and I think that goes with a whole, if you... I think a comp like with Bethesda not allowing you to kill kids in the game, they have very little to gain from allowing you to do that, and they have a lot to pot potentially lose from allowing you to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So from a business perspective, I totally understand why they did that. Yeah, fully. Super agree with you. Super completely. Yeah, because someone mentioned Agony. Agony is very... There's loads of, like, hardcore violence in it, but I don't know if it actually managed to even get too mainstream in terms of a controversy for that. I don't I don't think it was big enough and I think that especially when it released it was just terrible yeah, and it was mechanically it. horrible. Yeah, everyone took a big dump on it. So it and it and it almost the super violence in it was almost turned into something mocking because that's sort of what the game what is like shock value violence and weirdness because the game itself was so mechanically disjointed and mm -hmm. uh, and, and bad. Yeah, I just, so to, it seems that our position as a team of five here is that you can do it, but uh, we we would hope that people would raise a sort of flag against a game that seems to exclusively be about um, the pleasure of causing others pain. Like, there's no other element to it. It's just that, like, yeah. okay, bit weird. You got that going there. Um, but we wouldn't want to make it illegal. Like... That's all I wanted to clarify, right? Yeah. What is that game where you're like just a crazy person who's been planning to be like a, a serial killer or something? Is that hatred? Hatred? Hatred, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, that's the one that got that's the last time I remember really controversial because they, they stopped selling it on Steam for a bit, didn't they? Didn't something happen? Did they? I think so. I wanna say something something happened. Sure we were them banning it for a little bit. And um, they brought it back. Yeah, well because if I because I remember seeing gameplay footage and I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna be way worse than this. Is that what it's mainly in black and white too. Yeah. Did anyone play it? <laughs> did did anyone on it. this planet play it? I wonder. I think it's twice. Oh. It's, it's pretty fun. It it's just so over, over the top. You really can't take it seriously. It's like a, I don't know. Remember Quentin Tarantino and when he made like Death Proof and everything, it's kind of like. Playing on, it's like making fun of some of those tropes and everything. It's kind of like that. It's like, it's kind of like making fun of itself. The whole mm -hmm. edginess, the whole uh, it's making fun of the intended of the audience that the mainstream media thought it was kind of catering to. It's making fun of you. <laughs> if you if you're into the, huh. the the big, if you're making if you're into the the, the big uh, main, I want I'm the edgy guy with a, my big trench coat, my long hair, and everything. If you're one of those edgy people, and the, it's kind of making fun of you in that way. It's just. Is this so over the top and overblown? Because you start off with just shooting up your own neighborhood. Uh, would anyone mind spoilers for this one? I, I don't, no, I don't, I don't care about the spoilers. <laughs> I'm never going to play this game. <laughs> you start off, you start off shooting up your own neighborhood, and then you go through these these different levels, and you shoot up, a, you shoot up like a like a sewer with all these homeless people, and you being chased by cops and everything. Oh my god! And it, and it ends with you uh, setting off, uh, overloading like a nuclear reactor. It's just, it's just over the top and crazy. Yeah. Apparently it was That's banned a really in either Europe or France. Uh, and the gay band had to make a statement about it. Yeah, it definitely got attention, uh, hatred. I, I didn't, like, I guess I never gave it enough thought to, to arrive at that uh, place. But just... that's a really, really great interpretation of hatred. Well, if you if you've never if you don't know anything about video games and you've never played them, and you hear about hatred, yeah. it's like, oh my god, I can't believe it's it's. Uh, well, it reminds me of <laughs> the whole like. But for people who play games all the time, you're like, oh that oh that looks edgy and dumb. 
Yeah, and, and it, it is. It's, it's like very you... edgy. It is very, very dumb. But it's also it's also pretty fun if you if you like to indulge in that. If you like if you're the type of person like B movies and those really terrible movies that are just made to be crap, then you probably like hatred. So uh, is it a twin stick shooter? Is that the um genre? <laughs> You like it's, it's the, like a top down. You run through the yeah, neighborhood. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's top down. Um, it's like a Steven Seagal movie of video game, pretty much. And yeah, there's it, no it, way you could. Take, they, there's no way you could take the game seriously. Right? The way it's all the uh, the dialogue, the way it's portrayed, the way things has come about. It's just over top. It's like a. It's so it's very dark and edgy humor. It's very over the top, yeah. dark and edgy. I remember um, it, the, like the the trailer. Didn't the guy have fucking gr- <laughs> like how do you get grenades yeah I, uh i i don't remember the specific I, I i've got like an image in my head of what it was like but um like rag said about the if you've never seen something like that before it's like a total normie and then you see it for the first time you're just like oh my god this is the worst thing ever we have to stop it it's the same as um you know when people started to realize that people on the internet will tell you to kill yourself like it was, <laughs> it was just like Jesus Christ! What what horrors? And it's like no, that that happens a lot. I don't like what. <laughs> that's just like that's it's just horrifying. the internet being the internet. Um, but uh, but yeah. It, so that's what shocked everybody. And I guess I don't know if this video came out Wait, around then. Actually, is this true? What now? someone in chat said? Ask Sweden. They've had a massive increase in grenade attacks. Is that true? I I don't know. I've not heard it rather or not. What is a massive increase? I'm gonna Google this. Lots go of on, grenades. Go on, please. <laughs> hey, yeah. Anyway, I guess we'll let uh extra credits take it from here. Let's approach violence in a more interesting and nuanced way than others, and I'll also be the first to say that I don't want games to be limited to being only about violence. But I also think it's good that we have violent games. It helps us channel our emotions, come to catharsis, understand who we are, and sometimes enact our rage in a space where we hurt nobody. Many of us have had an experience- Um, I just wanted to clarify again though, it doesn't have to be that the only reason we have violence as an aesthetic or, or presentation is to get, like, feelings of repressed violence that we have off our chest. It could just be that yeah. you like the setting of violence. Yeah, like 99% of the times when I play a violent video game, it is not because I have some pent-up rage inside of me that I need a safe outlet for. Yeah. It's that I think it's really fun and visually interesting, and it's a challenge that I love to try and overcome. Yeah, it's just it's because fun. violence is fun. Violence is fucking fun. Yeah, if, awesome. um, if, if Killing Floor was all the guns were replaced with water guns and you're firing like water pellets in some way and the enemies are all like made of sponge or something and they have amount of water... <laughs> you know, taken on is what their health is. Like, the mechanics, if they all remain the same, um, I'd still be pretty damn impressed with the game in terms of, like, God, yeah, these water gun really physics. Yeah, it would be great. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I don't know. It wouldn't have the same appeal. Well, that's the it thing. I don't think cool. I'd be as interested. I'd be like, I yeah. don't know, it's a little... It's like Splatoon, where you're like... Yeah, the mechanics are probably... Because I haven't actually played Splatoon, but it's, it's like, incredibly kid-friendly as a uh, competitive yeah. multiplayer thing. And and the, 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 I don't think there's violence in Splatoon, is there? You're just covering shit in paint? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like a skin. You're covering you kids in goo, like movie bodies do oh with his Judy <laughs> I remember a, a my, video where he's okay. like, we got to send something along the lines of uh, that he, he feels more satisfaction if the battle has to be cleaned up with the with a mop as opposed to like a broom. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, also, apparently they, they explode in Splatoon. Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh... Yeah, well, that's, oh, probably, that's probably the most. Um, that you are gets, ink into ink, you shall return. <laughs> no, according to my girlfriend, you do like shoot other people with the paint, but you're never gonna kill. That's not violent, I would argue. Oh, they can regenerate after being exploded. I guess that's probably the kid-friendly aspect. Instead yeah, of them. yeah. Realistic consequences are often what make uh something's well, ratings go higher. Yeah, no, yes. yeah. Like it, like in like like Home Alone. People get people step on nails. They have bricks thrown at them. They get electrocuted to the point of being skeletonized. But there's no realistic consequences to it, so it's okay. It's kid violence. Yeah, it was, it's fine. Nobody's nobody's scared yet. Um, and I guess it, this will probably come up. So maybe I should head it. Uh, and even if it doesn't, it's probably worth pointing out that there is a huge difference between people's fantasies and what their actual desires for reality are. Yeah. Um, yes. We have yeah. every one of us has a zombie apocalypse fantasy in our heads. Kind of, yeah. That to doesn't extent, mean that we want yeah. an actual zombie apocalypse to occur. 
There's a lot of no. Warhammer 40k fans out here, and it's super fucking cool and awesome, but that doesn't mean we actually want to live in that world. Well, um, yeah, like, to be Godzilla and smash through a bunch of buildings in a game, and then it's like, do you want to do that in real life? I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't. Wait, yeah, I, do. I, I think this extends I to, be to violent video games and violent worlds, and, I mean, hell, a lot of sex uh, fetishes are purely, f purely fantasy-based that we would never want to actually happen in the real world. Yeah, it's just uh, just a fantasy yeah that we control yeah no but yeah exactly what was said earlier it's not like oh i have this pent-up anger i and desire to commit violence that i must get out by playing uh, fucking uh, red dead redemption or gta it's just fun it's just fantasy well that's, that's what i was gonna playing. say my first sort of take was more hey there's another reason you might do it but now my take is kind of i think it's more so likely that you play it because it's kind of you just have some fun in there. Not that you come home from a stressful day at work and you're like I need to kill zombies. I have to. You're like okay. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think it's you know, just that it's fun. It's just really fun on a bestial level. Yeah, you just you like to compete. You like to be violent. You like to do all these things. They're they're just fun. There's something fun about it. I would even yeah. go as far as saying like I kind I kind of just like the interaction of I pull I press button, thing comes out on screen, goes into the thing I'm aiming at and they explode. And someone's like that's really violent though. I'd be like, "Oh, well, I I don't know. I just I don't know. It's fun." No. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not enough. about the violence. It's not. So it's like, about the sport. okay. So if you found out like um that I don't know, GTA or some game that you play a lot that the NPCs that you kill, that it's like that Ryan Reynolds movie, that they're sentient and that they feel pain and whatever. Um, like, you would be horrified because you're committing actual violence and there's oh. consequences. Which, which, which Ryan Reynolds movie are you referencing? Gamer? Uh, the new Jared one. Butler? The brand new one. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, re uh, real guy? guy? Something guy? Well... Uh, gamer would apply to that though, right? Because ga gamer, it's like prisoners are uh, in games and they're oh. controlled by people who play the game. I think that's the idea. Yeah, this is um. Well, I that's like you know that you're controlling a prisoner. This is more that's like what, I mean, what I'm talking about is more like Ender's Game. You're talking about free guy, free man, free guy. Yeah, what I'm talking about is more like Ender's Game, where you don't know that it's a simulation, where like you find out, oh, this is real. I'm causing actual damage. Yeah, yeah. You'd be fucking horrified. Yeah, I would be angry as well at whoever did this and lied and why. What the fuck? Yeah, it's just yeah. harmless escape. I just wanted to we, we grill and play video the games. We want to get rid of it. Experience where we were left frustrated or angry, and instead of going out and just hitting somebody, we played a game. We tore it up in a multiplayer. By the way, I don't even think that this is fr this framing is is one that I would make. It's the idea that like we have a choice. You can go out, instead of going out and hitting somebody, <laughs> you go out and play a video game. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was that never going to hit happened. somebody. I yeah. Like, calm down. It feels so weird. Fuck. That's what I mean. Like, you know, like, Gears Is he of War? saying that? Well, he just said it. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Um, like, I've, yeah, I've never played in, like, a violent or aggressive video game, like, instead of going and beating someone up or killing someone. And if I had, like, a roommate or something, it was like, oh, man, I had such an awful day. I really wanted to punch this guy. I want to play a video game. It'd be kind of weird. I, I think it'd be like, weird. Okay, dude. I'd be like, oh, man. I'm you... sure I'm sure that guy exists. Oh, well, he's, like, a severe yeah, outlier. He's psychopath. He needs a therapist. There, like, Jesus. Because, you know, like, Gears of War, you, you put your uh, your Lancer on, on a person's soul right through them, blood spurts everywhere. If someone's like, well, I bet you won't be hurting anyone now because you did that, I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'm no, I think the worst argument would be, I bet you are going to hurt someone now because you did that. Oh, well, if I was unable to like, do which, it for X amount. Like, I've I got get, a, I, this is sort of, a capacity yeah, this for is violence. Sort of moving the causation. It's really strange. Um, which, by the way, I wouldn't if want... the extra credits guy is that person. Well, I wouldn't want to say that it's an impossibility <laughs> or anything. I'm sure there are people out there who do feel that games manage to get them de-stressed and stuff when they want to hit somebody. I'm sure that does happen. I just don't think it's as common yeah. as they're implying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think that those are extremely rare cases. So, when, uh, when I was a kid... <laughs> Sorry, someone uh... said if only Hitler had a PS4. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when I was a kid, the guy who wrote the Dexter books uh, came to a bookstore and I went to like a, an event or something, whatever, like an author signing. And it was like Q&A, I guess. And he spoke 
And somebody asked him, oh, what do you say to the people that say that you're writing, uh, particularly because there were some people who killed like in a Dexter-esque way and said they were inspired by Dexter to commit some murders at the time. Uh, this is like more than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Same uh, thing what, happened what with the clockwork say to them? Yeah, what do, you, what do you say to those people that say that your writing inspires violence? And I think his answer was great, and it stuck with me for, for all these years. He said, those people were going to do that already. A book is not going to make you do that. That's, I think that's 100% true. Well, yeah. I, uh, well, this, this applies equally to when we, we yeah. will say, do not go after anybody that we, we check out, especially like people who are like, I say especially, this just counts equally. You know, someone who's like completely detached from the thing. So, for example, people go after actors for the, the fucking character is the most bizarre thing ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We it's say like, don't do it. We will still be, people will still say about EFAB and, and uh, whoever else that, um, you're part of the cause because you supply a vitriol toward the films which translates into a vitriol toward the actor specifically and it's like i don't think those people needed us to just be insane and go after people specifically for the <laughs> characters that, yeah like the idea that we make that happen is fucking crazy but at the same time us saying don't do it is probably going to do fuck all because these people don't seem to like well they know what they're doing is is uh well we still do it anyway because I want to make it clear that that is my position but I doubt it'll stop someone from doing that. Yeah, I do. I I do. I genuinely do. Do what? So yeah, <laughs> you do I what? do think that it would stop some people from like. But we're talking. We're not talking about violence. We're talking about like trolling on Twitter. Yeah, or some I, shit. I, I seriously doubt someone is going to do that anyway. Would be stopped by me saying not to. I think that's fair. No. What, what, I, what would you okay, yeah, do for that? Super, super on, on board with that. But I think if someone, like, if you were showing something that you disagreed with and some kid in your audience was like, I'm going to go uh, tweet at this person and, just, you know, whatever, like, they come up with that idea independently directly as a result. It's not something they were going to do before, but they think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to troll this person. And then you say, hey, by the way, don't do this. I, I and they're like, oh, okay. Well, fine, do you think it's I worthwhile won't. for the Dexter writer to put that in the book? No, no. But we're talking. You're talking about two different things. You're talking about tr like someone that already wanted to do something ahead of time, and someone that specifically well, decided if, to do something because what if of reading seeing Dexter something? made them think that that's something they could do. No, but you can't I, say no. I don't want to equate killing and trolling. I, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I'm asking you the question of if someone w reads Dexter and thinks, hey, there are people you can kill in the world that might make it a better place, I'm going to do that, then is it worth him putting in the book, hey, this is actually not a good thing to do? In that circumstance, um, sure. Yeah, but... so I, I would say no. I would say like it's not his obligation in his fiction to have like a PSA that you shouldn't do bad things. That's absurd. Yeah, yeah you're not no, obligated. I, I agree with you. Yeah, you're not responsible for how people misinterpret your work. Yeah, and so I, if I I'm saying agree. Rose Tico is a poorly written character, and then someone goes, I'm going to attack the actress, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what, wh where did you get that from? And he's like, well, you should tell them not to in case they do that, which I'm willing to do, but I don't think that that's a connection. I think that's just a crazy person. No. I, okay, I don't think you have an obligation to tell people not to do that, but you said you think it doesn't change that someone might do it. I think that it might to some extent um i'd be willing to concede Maybe that, that it might for but you, there's but, but i would say that you might be able to change someone from likely. doing something horrible as a result of reading a book too yeah that's completely different i would say i would say there's a difference between that and like sending a mean tweet to someone sorry i'm just imagining the very end of a clockwork orange like once the credits roll something comes up oh by the way don't do any of this <laughs> remember someone murder watching, is bad someone watching the movie goes oh well i was going to go gang rape a woman but i guess i won't now <laughs> i guess i hadn't really considered her feelings huh um the other thing is when you say oh rose whatever bad character you're there's no part of you that's saying hey go attack this person but if someone comes to the decision, hey, I'm going to go attack the actress as a result of how many people are saying the character is bad, that, that's a little bit different than like, the, the, I'm going to give a depiction of violence and someone says, I'm going to go commit violence because of this. I actually think I would take the reverse position of yours because at least in Dexter, they're actually arguing the benefits of killing evil people. 
<laughs> while I'm not even remotely coming to the subject of attacking yeah. characters, uh, yeah. actors. No, that's but no, that is my position. You're 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 quoting my position. Maybe I said it bad, but like oh, that's well, exactly what I'm saying. I'm trying to that suggest you're nowhere that near saying anything like attack these people. Yeah, um, which, but the idea that, like, if I put it, well, that's why it's it's good to do for many reasons that I put out that you shouldn't do that. If Even if there's one yeah. person's mind that's changed, it's worthwhile, because it doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, we fully agree. We are in complete agreement. Um, I just, I still assign it to be crazy thinking. Um, maybe you could say yeah. it's covered by immature thinking as well, to a degree. And yeah. so they just need a guiding hand I think hand we're trolling of some kind. more immature thinking. Yeah, like, if I attack the actress, it'll be some kind of benefit to the... I don't even I don't even know what they're trying to achieve, just to annoy the actor. I don't yeah. Know. You gotta be a kid, or, like, immature, or stupid. But at the same time, I'm sure that if someone said, Hey, writer of Dexter, do you think it's good that I kill people I consider evil? They'd be like, no? That's <laughs> crazy? Yeah. But, like, no, yeah, we're talking about, uh... Like, someone uh, deciding to troll someone or attack someone online is tangential from making a bad review of something that they did uh it, it it you're never ever saying you know what you should attack this person online and then saying hey but by the way don't do that you're just saying this person did a bad job and then someone might have the idea i'm gonna go troll them and then you say hey don't troll them and they might say oh okay i won't i'm not even i'm not even sure i'd say she did a bad job like the actress i mean i don't know that i would think her acting was bad it was just the writing was abysmal i'm more inclined to blame the director anytime an actor yeah. is bad i'm sorry it's... I, yeah i might have said that wrong no, I, it's all good. I never mind you wouldn't you wouldn't know that that's necessarily what i said about uh rose tico but no, yeah yeah uh what, what is your name <laughs> so, um, sorry someone said murder is wrong now it's political correctness gone mad <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just want to be clear i think we are agreeing yeah uh i guess we, we're here because of um the idea of like well, I'm not sure how to draw this back to extra credits because I'm not entirely sure how we got here anymore. Uh, but <laughs> the whole... I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry if I'm being difficult. I no, really no, it's am. fine. Uh, if, if, uh, if you're playing violent video games, it's likely that you did it rather than hurting someone. I'm going to roll it back because it's such a weird thing to say. Yeah. Sometimes enact our rage in a space where we hurt nobody. Many of us have had an experience where we were left frustrated or angry, and instead of going out and just hitting somebody, we played a game. We tore it up in a multiplayer match, yeah, or we blasted our way through a tough level. It's possible, but like, jeez. Yeah, like, I, I feel like this is really, really stretching. If for, oh, well, it's almost like, yeah, sure, there's enough people playing games that it's basically a statistical inevitability that that person will exist eventually. Yeah, I suppose he said many, yeah. which allows him some freedom, because how many yeah. is many, right? I like the person no, rage playing Donkey Kong though. Like <laughs> instead of beating someone up, they're gonna go beat this level. <laughs> Look at his gonna language. do something that he won't says... frustrate me like a platformer. <laughs> he says we all have had. So like oh. I think he's he has been in that situation and he's ascribing, oh yeah, everybody feels that. Everyone feels it at some point. I'd be like, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> I, fuck. I don't know about that. And at the end of it, that rage had evened out. It wasn't gone, but we were able to better deal with it. I, fucking, I've had more instances of a game... Angrier. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've had more instances <laughs> of a game pissing me off than being pissed off and made better by a game. Same. ...to control it, perhaps even to turn it toward a productive end. That's a powerful thing. It's valuable. It's something we shouldn't just toss aside. And beyond even this, games can serve not only as an outlet for our rage, but also help us to understand it. When James was young, Earthbound was one of the first things that understand really made him think rage. about these angry, violent feelings. I think and most what people they... probably understand their rage. If he, well, especially in his scenarios, doesn't... someone made you angry and you played a game, and now you understand your rage. Like what? Because they pissed you off, I guess. I, don't know. I think people know what makes them angry most of the time. Most of the time, like yeah. we can trace our anger directly back to the source. Yeah, like someone, well, someone we'll punched you in it. the face, and you're like, "Ow, I'm angry now." they do to the world. Pacifist runs in games like Skyrim or World of Warcraft, or the pacifism achievement in Geometry Wars, help us to understand that there are alternatives to violence, and games like Day... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank no you. No one had ever considered that until... Yeah, because when I, when I learned that when I was like four, um, like just strategically getting the things that I wanted, 
hitting my parents wasn't going to make those things uh, happen. I picked up on that one pretty quick. <laughs> I didn't tell me there was alternatives to violence. Come on. I didn't learn that there was an alternative to violence until I watched a playthrough of Skyrim on Pacifist. Run. I'm a toxic man. You got to teach me these things, okay? Uh, I quite love that. <laughs> Geometry Wars taught us that there's an alternative <laughs> path to violence. Uh, it really helped us understand our rage, you know? Can we just, yeah, thank you, Geometry Wars. That's one of the, <laughs> one of the things I've always appreciated about it. ASX or the Metal Gear series even encourage that we find a way to do the least harm. Violence in games has value, and games themselves can help us understand and channel what can- Oh shit, that's Korra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. ...be an she's incredibly she's destructive- rage bending. Yeah. <laughs> this is literature oh. devil. Is the, rage this bending is, all uh, of her This is Constantine, right? I think so. That's yeah, literature devil. Yeah. No, no, no. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my neighborhood, actually. They, He's trying I remember, to get home. When, I remember when they filmed <laughs> that, uh, like my old neighborhood, I mean. He's on the that, highway I, to hell. I mean, when they filmed that movie, it was pretty cool. Everyone, all the demons kind of uh, gathered up, and then he started killing us. It was kind of weird. Wow. Did they pay for that? Or did, did you? Oh, no. Wow. It was communist. Pretty well kept, by the way. I like your house. Huh. It looks warm. The least harm. I try. Violence in games has value, and games themselves can help us understand and channel what can be an incredibly destructive part yeah, of being human. Dirt roads. And this is doubly true for Dust. children, <laughs> so long as they're not simply being left with violent games as a babysitter, but rather playing with a sibling or a parent who can talk about these emotions and these actions with them. Oh my god. Could you imagine yeah, like, playing oh my, fucking yeah. Metroid when I was like the kid and just shooting loads of shit and my parents were like do you know why you're attacking these creatures <laughs> no. like mom shut up <laughs> mom there's space pirates they're trying to kill me and i want to beat the I'm, game i'm yeah. trying to kill these things so explode into piles of blood okay shut up mom yeah like i wouldn't let my kid play some extremely violent game sure yeah. timmy like, do you think it's all right that you no, step yeah. on these poor creatures in your mario game <laughs> yeah. The servants of the Dark Lord Bowser. They get what they deserve, mother. But Dad, I want to play this pacifist version. No, son, you go the violent route. No quarter to the enemy. This People game's trying are, to teach you that if you spare them, you will be punished. Yeah. People in chat yeah. are bringing up Ender's game again. I think I think that's a great uh, example of what well, like this topic. I think Extra Credits legitimately yeah, thinks that people don't learn anything outside of <laughs> art. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I didn't really I don't feel like playing games when I was younger gave me a better view on what, how violence works, I, I don't know I just it's, uh... No, video games are the only way you learn to be a person Mahler oh. what And did, if uh, the video you... games are violent then you need your babysitter or your mom to sit down next to you, <laughs> so when you guys... and patronize to you about <laughs> what you're doing When you guys played the No Russian mission in Mom Warfare 2, did your parents come in like, okay, so this was bad Okay. Shooting all the civilians? Not cool. Don't do that in real life. It's bad. Like, I thank thought you. Shooting, shooting civilians was the good thing to do. Yeah, the game taught me that. What? Well, the points are making up. I'm killing all these innocent people. You know how they shoot you at the end of that mission? I'd like the idea if it was like, oh, they shoot you because you didn't get all the civilians. I gotta get them next time. I'll okay. nail it. So we start the game, son, and shoot all the civilians, and you'll survive. Now, I want to talk about the game Hatred. I oh. think Hatred's going to be a terrible game. Not only because oh, I doubt no. it's actually going to be... even come out yet. Oh, and he already oh, thinks it's going to be terrible. What'd he say? He said, Called Hatred. He thinks That's Hatred's going to be a terrible game. Uh, He's not even I mean, talking about it, it after it's out. I know, think it's, Hatred's yeah. going to be a terrible... Well, I think that's what prompted this video, isn't it? Like, it's the idea of how, how bad does a game have to get before we start saying, hey, this is wrong. Well, yeah, since it's called From Violence to Sadism, I'm assuming the point's going to be that, like, it's violence for violence's sake, which is bad. I'm assuming that's the point he's gonna make, I don't know. Terrible game. Not only because I doubt it's actually gonna be well made, but also because Hatred the game is not about rage. It's actually not even about violence, really. Hatred, as it's been advertised, is about sadism. And sadism is not the same thing as anger. Not even close. Um, I, isn't it up to the player of the game to determine whether or not it's sadism? Yeah, what it's about is kind of hard to be definitely definitive about in terms of what a player gets um, out of it experience-wise. So, sad just so we're clear, sadism is the, ten the tendency to derive pleasure, especially sexual gratification, from inflicting pain, suffering, or humiliation on others. So, it is but not... No one's suffering, it's a so, game. So, yeah, so you can't, by definition, 
have sadism it, it's almost like faux sadism it's, right. it's pseudo sadism it's it's the Fantasy appearance sadism. of doing things that are bad without actually doing it um but granting that because i think it's probably what he means <laughs> come um, on do you remember the trailer from from hatred he's like i have no name my name is not important my i just hate <laughs> this world and everything in it like this is not this the trailer is so goofy <laughs> <laughs> how how in the world did they take that seriously? And thought this game was to be like a straight edge shoot 'em up game. I like just gonna be taking place like, oh, this is a, obviously the creator's manifesto or something. No, you can tell by the trailer how goofy and over the top it's going to be. It's just silly. It's a meme. This was I don't I feel like there's a part of his brain that thinks people just like I, I think he's taken this way too far down a road that people just normally well, don't. The blame is on well, that's the very, creators for this that's one, That's right? very evident in him saying, we've all had the day where we don't hit someone and play a video game. Like, no. <laughs> Not really. I'm an <laughs> yeah, adult. Just you, dude. But wait, what if... I had an experience where I played a video game and felt... I was angry, played a video game, felt better. You know, the thing that what video games might do, however, is make you like kind of forget about your rage, like take your mind off of it, but it's never going to be like, oh, I'm, I felt the same gratification playing this violent video game as I did actually hitting something. I don't think that that's, that's how it works exactly. But what also, if? He I love how the only he thinks the only justification for violent video games is that they let you release your anger. And because he's like, this isn't even about anger, therefore, like, it's not acceptable. But what if it releases your sadism not exactly. tendencies? Well, that's the only reason. Yeah, you would yeah, think if, so. If anything, he should be using the exact same argument for it being a safe, for a safe release of our rage to be a safe release of our sadism. Yeah, two exactly. Sadists have to go out and do it in the real world. Uh, feel, that game, we do that for them, okay? Two killer exactly. arguments. I, I love how be... we arrived at Hatred 2. Like before him, before any of us knew, I guess besides Mahler, if you watched the video ahead of time, uh, before any of us knew hatred, like we talked about it already. And, oh, well, that's and like, just... oh, yeah, that's like the ultimate example. Yeah, because that is, that's probably, again, that's what would have sparked this video's creation. The only other thing I could remember was uh, the GTA 5 torture scene and No Russian. They're, the, they're like the biggest controversies for violence, I think, in the past. How long is that? <laughs> the, the past like five, six years? I don't know. Let me, um, uh, uh, Probably more than that for Modern Warfare 2. Isn't it came it? out Probably. in November of 2009. Modern Warfare 2? We were like 11 years ago. Fucking hell. GTA? Oh. No, Modern Warfare 2. Um, oh. But yeah, I was just going to bring up, like, if there's a person out there who says to extra credits, like, I have a s severe... The, the character in Dexter is uh, trying to control a desire to kill, right? That's, like, his problem? Yeah. yeah. Um, so what if that person exists and says games like Hatred managed to keep them in an equilibrium and... Games like Hatred, because he, they haven't even played the game, so it's a bit awkward to make this video. What if the point of Hatred <laughs> was what Literature the Devil was talking about? What if it's to make fun of people who are obsessed with this sort of thing, or that the final point of the game is, this is not worth it, this is not the way to behave, and what if that helps people who do behave that way? Like, what then? Or, or not even, like, this isn't the way to behave, but just, like, look at what people fucking think video games are. Yeah. This isn't what video games are supposed to be. What if it was made bad on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a universal human trait. There's no way to channel sadism. sadism no, it isn't. A universal I don't think, I don't... human trait. There's not many of those I mean, things, is there? Yeah, Dude, I mean, guy... sure. I mean, sure. There are some humans that are not quite right who never experience anger or rage. Sure. Um, but I would say that sadism is far more, far more rare than just rage. Yeah. Rage is typically just used like extreme anger. It's just anger plus, but I doubt there's a lot of sadists out there. He also said that like there's no productive way to channel it, and surely there would be, right? You know, like playing like... a sadistic game, for example. Yeah, like playing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> a way to like release it. But Doesn't I mean, that... also like if you're in war or something like that, and it's like a justified war or something, then surely like rage and sadism and all that stuff. Like, I just don't understand the distinction he's making between rage like you want to go like fuck someone's day up just because you're really mad at them and like you want to see them suffer like i don't really understand the distinction he's making exactly um deriving like a pleasure from from hurting them like irrelevant of how you were put into a position of anger i suppose is is it, it does seem like he's saying uh rage is more of a normal and cool emotion to feel meanwhile sadism is like wrong you shouldn't be feeling the idea that you want to be pleasured from someone else's pain and therefore okay. 
media exploring them needs to have like the same treatment when I'd be like, I don't know, this seems like these might be helpful. Uh, and, and niche, right? And, and at the same time as that game we were describing earlier, that's like 20 hours of simply torturing one person. Not illegal. However, if, say, one of us was like, that's my favorite game and I played all the time, we'd all be like, okay. Mm. <laughs> like, that's... okay. All right. Yeah, right. so I guess... Would we? Would we, though? Well, my, my point is just maybe that, 15, like, but 20? If, yeah, yeah, if 15 hour torture would be okay, but... Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, my my point would be that person probably, uh, may, maybe it is that game that's stopping them from doing something way worse, I don't know. I hope the servers stay up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> breaking his own argument, because he's saying, like, he thinks video games for people, like, for everyone, first of all, but whatever. He thinks that video games are a, an alternative to committing violence so but then he says oh but no this other game is about sadism and while for everyone in the world video games are a release so that we don't do violent shit that we would all we would be doing no matter what sadism you can't possibly release that in a video game like yeah to, that's, no, that's what you i'm saying that what the fuck yeah oh were you i'm sorry well, that, that, that's that. that's oh, the no, conflict. I just mean with... that, like, that's that's the point. I mean that, like, there's no real distinction to me in like one you can channel into a video game and one you can't. And and yeah, I, I'm guessing he's going to try right. to account for that because that it seems like a bit of a hole in the logic right now. Sadism is not the same thing as anger. Not even close. I wouldn't even call it a universal human trait. There's no way to channel sadism productively. It's simply about harm and the joy. In I don't agree. There's no way to channel it productively. So, so here's what's interesting is that I was on the verge of bringing this thought up. And sure enough, I guess coming up now, I was about to say that I think it's very easy for a, there. I think there's a thin line between sadism and our gratification for justice. Sure. And I think that's how you channel sadism productively. Um, that I mean, it's obviously a shaky territory, obviously. But to say that there is no way to channel sadism in a productive way, I certainly don't agree. I mean, if you Did like, you... if you have like Dexter is obvious. I I only I don't I've never seen the show. I just know the premise. But he is like, let's say you have a, a Dexter character who is who he is an actual sadist. He derives pleasure from suffering, but he wants to channel that in a productive way. So he only makes people who are really horrible, terrible people suffer. Like that seems to be at least in some way a productive way of channeling their sadism yeah whether or not you want to conclude it, it's unproductive in terms of yeah. like ill justice you'd be like but there's some level of productivity there versus uh doing it randomly did, did you say um that it like there's a fine line between it and our desire for justice is that what you said well like yeah let's say you have um when someone goes out and does something it, it, this applies to targets um so I, if I, you I, want to let you know i i just literally didn't hear you i i'm not like trying to super characterize your argument like i did before all right uh well um yeah i was saying that's like there, there could be a thin line between our pursuit of justice and the appearance of sadism mm -hmm. uh whereas sadism can be used in a way towards a a, a sense of justice where okay. justice and sadism can differ as, externally certainly uh, or at least in appearance by the targets they apply to um, if you are only sadistic towards people who are guilty, that is a perverted justice, mm. but it is better than just pure sadism. Um, I guess I, an example in practicality would be like if you have a security cam footage of a, of a place and this person, for the fun of it, you find out, pushes an old man over and he's like, ah, fuck, and, and they laugh. And then they see someone spot them, so they run away, they slip and they go headfirst into a wall and they're like, ah, fuck, everyone's like, yeah, that's what you get, you piece of shit. Play the same scenario oh, like and he falls. Or so. Yeah, yeah, or but then like he, compilations. Yeah, whatever. Uh, he then another scenario is he falls into the road and a car runs over his head and splatters it. And then there's people in the comment section like got what he deserved. I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, because when yeah. we see the first guy get pushed over, if you're if you are a sadist and you derive pleasure from that suffering, then you are just as pleased with that as you are the second guy moments later tripping himself. The justice that this this desire for justice that's I, I don't want to say intrinsic, but it's certainly common in humans. We get a big, you know, we, we get that 
karma catharsis when we see that other guy you know getting his cosmic comeuppance mm -hmm. whereas that first guy who's just a victim of someone else's malicious uh, malicious actions you know the yeah. sadist might get pleasure from that but the justice part of us wouldn't yeah Do you, um i like i think you could also say that that's visible not just in violence but like in doxing for example or in uh like uh cancel mobs and things like that i think that's sort of a very similar thing Someone said justice is sadistic in nature in all cases. I definitely no. don't agree with no, that. No, you can you can build systems for justice that are entirely yeah. res uh, yeah. away from how yeah. you feel about a thing. Crazy person? Because like yeah. the whole point of like jailing people is not to like enjoy their suffering; it's to protect other people from them. Like that's yeah, not we were at yeah. all. and it's just what they owe society at that jailing point. Jailing people, right? um, like bro, it's not just jailing people. Like if if you get defrauded out of money. And then you're made to pay back that money. That's justice, and nobody goes to jail. Like, there's no sadism in that. It's literally just, hey, give yeah, us back is, yeah, your money. Yeah, we have are... a concept of you know proving guilt and punishments that fit the crime, and you know still having human rights while you're, you know, it, with the things of that nature. Yeah, I think they're totally different. A lot of people refer to it as your debt to society if you break no society's idea what laws. You're talking about. Like, yeah, it, when someone says they've done their time, that I assume they refer to like I have paid my debt. And now I want to get back to yes. you know normalcy. Yeah. Rather than um, people have taken their on. pleasure out of my punishment now. <laughs> it's like I don't, yeah. I don't think, it's I don't think that's what it's referring to. That's not what it is. Nobody even cares. People don't pay attention. Yeah, a lot and of the even, time. Even when we talk about stuff like the de the de uh, a death sentence that you give someone, like if someone is uh, found guilty of murder, and so you uh, have capital punishment done unto them you would do so in a way that isn't sadistic like there yeah. there are sadistic ways to kill people that i think that are far worse than um killing people in a you know a quick and painless way um i think that you know even even regardless of what you think about capital punishment surely you could see how those two things are totally different and doing harm I usually don't like to make categorically dismissive statements like this, but <laughs> I think games that are exclusively about indulging in sadism do not have redeeming value. Indulging. What? So, like, he, he needs to be already, specific. that's really loaded. Yeah. I don't like to make categorical statements, but here's a really big categorical <laughs> here's a big statement. One, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think uh, he's referring to? Like... I... Like I guess the a a very realistic or visceral portrayal of something. So like the the example we repetition? had, I guess the twenty hour torture simulator. Like yeah, I something that is done for seemingly that is done for no other purpose other than just to act out torturing somebody. Act, yeah. And that's also a bold statement to make about a video game. Like, his example is hatred, and the game hadn't even come out yeah, yet. Yeah, that's what I mean. So you really want to save this for something that you have full context over, because it's quite a condemnation. He's decided that, it, that it's nothing yeah. but indulgent in sadism, but it hasn't come out yet. He hasn't played it. It's like, oh, okay, And not cool. just that, but, that it, but there's no chance it could be good. <laughs> it wasn't, but still. <laughs> Someone said, I will mention that it has been confirmed that lethal injection is not painless and has been described as your blood turning into fire. So there isn't really a painless execution as of yet. So what yeah, that's guillotines? not true. That's what if you get not true. shot in the head? Well, yeah, what if you're given a, a drug that just sends okay. you to sleep and then yeah, one that kills you? you? Just, yeah, they put you to yeah, sleep. That's or they, sort they of stun you. That's or... sort of what lethal injection is. I don't think that that person knows. Um, and also... For us to know what lethal injection feels like, it literally means that that has to have come from someone that it failed on. No, I, which I means they totally, didn't die. I could totally believe that injecting chemicals into somebody can be extremely painful, but the argument isn't even based around that. That's not even. The yeah, the argument is no. you can't kill someone painlessly, but, which is like yeah, you can. Yeah, but it's, those, you can, but <laughs> don't they use like benzodiazepines and stuff, and like penta I, whatever? I don't, I don't, I don't know what they use, but it. I but mean, I could talk. I, I could totally believe that putting chemicals into someone could be painful. Yeah, like, it, it, yeah, that, that's not... I'm not worried about that part. <laughs> it's, it's, someone uh, said the death yeah. penalty is irreversible. What if later on it turns out the person was innocent? Like, I never said I was pro that or happened. against the death Jesus penalty. Jesus Christ. Like... <laughs> never in all of that did I say if I was pro or against it. I'm against yeah, it, nobody by the way. Has, yeah. But, like, it's not because... Uh, 
wow. I was like, I, yeah, I'm I'm not pro death penalty. So yeah, the, what so we're getting at is there is a way to painlessly you know kill someone. Is? That's all. Sorry. Do you do you guys know of ContraPoints? I've yeah. heard of her. Yeah. Uh, she just did a video on justice not too long ago that actually uh, touches on a lot of the things that uh, Rags is bringing up. Excellent. All right. Interesting. By definition, they can't even teach us or make us think more deeply about the subject. What do you mean? What do you mean? I can totally think what? deeply about sadism. So is, he saying, so is he saying that if something... Is, let's get that whole thing. Let me drag it back. Let me drag it back just a little bit to get that whole... Because saying something cannot teach me something. Ooh, you know a lot about me. Yeah. <laughs> this, but I think games that are exclusively about indulging in sadism do not have redeeming value. By definition. No, what if they're fun? What, what if they're fun? Maybe, they're really is, fun. Is he, is he so suggesting that if you find it fun, you're a, like, you're a bad person? Someone in chat a while ago huh. in the stream said that violence uh, for the sake of violence is basically how we got just you know, just look at doom i was like no i wouldn't agree with that that's not violence for violence sake that's violence for the sake of having fun that's, like that's trying to use violence in order to have it's fun simulated yeah. sport violence for the so point of having fun. Uh, yeah. in the same way a game that i guess in his terminology indulges in violence like that that's the redeeming quality of that is that it's fun um it, it brings enjoyment to people he says, yeah, like, that's definite. a real thing. Yeah. That's not a meaningless, you know, attribute also, or something. Like, well, he says, by know, definition, right? the, tendency, the tendency to derive pleasure, especially sexual gratification, from inflicting pain, suffering, or humiliation on others. So, wouldn't, like, BDSM come into this? Uh, if you derive pleasure also, from, but all sexual gratification from inflicting humiliation on others. Yeah, so people get off to that. Eh, like, I mean, is it. he it's condemning that's, that? That's well? literally what BDSM stands for. Yeah, so so but by definition, there's of course you know, this is fucking but weird. Dick spank. I think where he's coming from in this particular Man. instance the usual perspective of uh, a lot of these critics who believe that every single piece of work in which the medium that they prefer, like video games or novels or whatever it is, right. each one of them should be uh, addressing some sort of larger issue, some sort of social issue, some sort of grand, big Big, gigantic, throbbing brained issue. Uh, when it's not necessarily true, you don't have to have it. You don't have to have every novel be, uh, you know, the um, the Grapes of Wrath or something. You don't have to have every novel be book. the. <laughs> Most people did. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to have um, every comic be, 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 be for Vendetta or something like that. You don't have to. Yeah. Uh, some things are just there that have redeeming value, that have uh, actually some value to them, to the reader. They don't actually have to go d dive deep into the big brain nonsense. They don't have to. Uh, harp on uh, the idea of uh, i don't know some sort of justice or injustice being or comment commenting on some sort of political issue or something like that some things can be just made to have fun with to indulge in some sort of primal instinct like uh like these superhero novels or superhero comic books that are just there to watch a powerful good guy fight a mean irredeemable bad guy that's why you have two-dimensional bad guys even today because sometimes it's just fun to indulge in a story where you don't have to have these complex issues, where you don't have to uh, feel sorry or imp or empathize with the yeah, bad people, guy. You can just people have one like to feel up. justified in what they're exactly. doing. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, same thing with video games. Yeah. You don't have to have a video game teach us something or to uh, to help us understand something. You can have a video game. It's like it's just like it's hatred. That's a serious. It's a, you just commit violence and it's just fun and it's not hurting anybody. It's making a joke. Whatever it is, it still has some redeeming value to it. And this might not be the redeeming value that zero. Uh, what is that? What is he called? Uh, extra credit is looking for. I uh, also I mean, apparently I, I've never looked into the definition or the what BDSM stands for. I, I knew B was bondage. I didn't know the rest. <laughs> I've never. Yeah, heard. S, S is uh, sadism. Well, sadomasochism but, no. is SM. But dick sex maneuvers. Sado. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sorry if I spoke over somebody there. I just thought it was funny because chat were like, how do you not know that? I was like, I guess I've never looked into what it stood for. I just knew what it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you were gonna if you're gonna ask me what it was for, I'd be like, I don't if, know. Yeah, if you're not a weird <laughs> like I'm sorry, that shouldn't kink shame, but like if you're just specifically not into BDSM, there's no reason for you to know what it stands for or unless really? you well, I think you like, could be into it and not know what it stands for, right? You could you could... Yeah, it's just always called BDSM. Yeah, in every context you just say BDSM. Um, yeah, um, I, I mean, we live in a world where pe a lot of people still don't know that Michael 
Myers played both Doctor Evil and Austin Powers. Yeah. So, like, you know, oh, <laughs> literally, Wait, uh, it was like a week ago. Um, I mentioned. I thought that... about Michael Myers, the character serial killer. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, he's in Austin Powers. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, went to meet a. I went to meet a. I was thinking. I was make. Went to meet an RPG game. Wait, I want to. I want to blow some people's minds because there's always someone who doesn't know this. Um, there's a couple of these sorts of things, but I was gonna. How come everyone chat is going? Wait, what? Really? Wait, what? Is the see? There you go. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Hell of people don't. I didn't know. Wait, he did. What? We're gonna. We're gonna do another one. So. What? A lot of people know that um what helped reinvigorate uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s career was the combo of Iron Man and Tropic Thunder. They happened, I think they were like literally around the same year. They're both yeah. films that people consider like favorites from him. And uh, he's like on top of the world now. Did you also know that uh, Tom Cruise was in trouble career-wise until Tropic Thunder uh, picked him up and then he got Tropic a, Thunder? A, a lot of different people got attention from that. I told Fringy that and he was like, Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise isn't in Tropic isn't Thunder. isn't in Tropic Thunder. He is. Yeah, yeah. What? He is. He's the don't don't tell that, that, that. Don't. To, he is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise is in Tropic Thunder. This is not a troll whatsoever. Tom Cruise is in Tropic Thunder, and he's fucking great at it. Yeah, yeah he is great in that movie. I wanna, Silence. What's um? What's one of his quotes? I went, um, I went made an RPG, like a little sample RPG game, where I had a weapon store called BDSM. You know, blades, daggers, swords, and maces. Oh, I love that. That's great. Hey, um, I'm sorry if uh, I talk over anyone here, but I've got to go for a little bit. Uh, if you guys are still here in uh, a little while, maybe like half an hour, I'd love oh, to yes. rejoin. We'll be here. Nah, we'll be oh, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in, just in case you're not, and just in case I don't uh, come back, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, the chat's been really, really nice to me. I've seen comments that were really good. You guys have been great, and I like really, really enjoy having like being able to talk about these uh, intellectually stimulating topics. Uh, it, like this isn't something you get in day to day life, especially not in like quarantine, really. So, like, thank you super, super much, and I, I hope to come back in a little bit. Locally, locally, yeah, EFAP, you never know what's going to yeah, be we're discussed. All, we're all big brain intellectuals. Oh here. yes, the biggest of brains. <laughs> we even have Satan. I'm getting the hearts. Oh my god! Thank you guys. You guys have a great audience. You guys have a great job. I'll be back uh, in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Peace. Um. So a quote from Tom Cruise in *Tropic Thunder*, as an example, um, I will rain down an ungodly, an ungodly fucking firestorm upon you. You're gonna have to call the fucking United Nations and get a fucking binding resolution to keep me from fucking destroying you. I'm talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will fuck you up. <laughs> It's like one of my favorite moments. It's so fucking good. He, love. he goes nuts with it in that movie, and I think it's part of what made people be like, Tom Cruise is pretty awesome, actually. Uh, yeah. And then Mission Impossible Did you know re that regenerated. him dancing to the uh, Ludacris song in the credits was his idea? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what other obvious little things are out there that people just don't know. Yeah, Fringy didn't believe me. I had to send him pictures and he still didn't believe me, because of course he wouldn't. And then I was like, look closely. Well, what? He didn't believe that was Tom Cruise? No, he was uh, he was having a lot of trouble yeah. with it, but I think a lot of people do, uh, until... Interesting. I mean, I, I remember mean, he's being got, shocked. like, prosthetic arms and shit, but, yeah, like... They, yeah, you could still seriously detect it's Tom Cruise, though, if you just look at him. Yeah, I um, thought so. But I'm pretty sure when I first saw the movie, it wasn't until the credits that I was like, oh, shit, that was Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good movie. It is. All right, back to extra credits and whatever this Jeez. point was. Well, do you think? Do you think people know that alphabet Go comes ahead. from the words alpha and beta? Wait, really? See, there we go. There you oh, go. Shit, I did not know that. Yeah. That's why like sometimes they call it alpha bet mega to include omega, but then they were like, "That's a bit. That's a bit much." You it's know. You know. You know why they're called screensavers? Go on. Because they, they literally me. are designed to save your screen from having an image burned onto it. Ah, that That's makes why they're sense. often dark and they they move around and stuff. That's smart. That was yeah. going to be my yeah. mundane yeah. answer. I thought it was going to be something yeah. else. Yeah, they, they save your screen. Because as many of you know, if you leave your computer monitor on all the time, especially if it's a very light color next to a very dark color, it will have that kind of quote-unquote burned well, into place yeah my cell phone has the lift 
app like image burned into it yeah. because um, you know it has to stay on for so long if you try for like, that yeah. it uh it's just burned in now one i would i would give i'm gonna be giving this in years from now we all will but uh, i want to do it now in case there's any in case there's any zoomers running around you know, do you know why we say rewind the video do you, know, do you know why we say that it's because when we used to <laughs> rewind our, our tapes it would actually wind film Back to, to where Okay, it was. Grandpa. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're gonna Time have to put to, you back in the home. I mean, there's there'll probably come a time where we have to explain to people why we say hang up the phone, and why we say roll up your windows and things like that. And oh, just... here's a weird generational thing. Apparently, a lot of young kids now, when they do like the this like the hand gesture for holding a phone up to your hand, instead of using your thumb and your pinky, they just like have their open palm like it's a smartphone. That's a weird thing. And, and we all squid and pulled out our glasses like, what's that? Why? <laughs> exactly. What's, what's that gesture you're doing there? Oh, one thing I learned uh, that most people don't know, or maybe they don't know, is that you trees, so trees don't grow like all at once. They grow from the top. So a branch at its height will always be at that height. It will never grow, go up with the tree. They grow from the top upwards. So if you nail something into a tree as it grows, it'll always be at that height. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. And doing harm. I usually don't like to make categorically dismissive statements like this, but I think games that are exclusively about indulging in sadism do not have redeeming value. Oof. By definition- That is such a statement to make, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, like, I- it's- it's like, man, if- if you want to say, I don't normally do something, however, this is such an incredible thing that I want to draw such attention to that I'm gonna break my own rule to say it, I feel like you haven't earned that. No redeeming value, that's pretty categorical. They can't even teach us or make us think more deeply about the subject. You can totally think deeply about sadism. There's, there's no reason you can't. I'd say that our, our conversation between oh. sadism and justice, or the way sadism can be expressed in different ways, that's already deeper than nothing. I just... I just remembered I have a book of facts, and I've been neglecting it. I'm gonna catch up with the fact. We're gonna go through my grandpa's book of facts that he gave me. Mm. He's still alive, <laughs> don't worry. Um, Let's see. What am I on? Uh, da, 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 da. We did the banana one. Um, oh, all right. On average, a Twinkie will explode in a microwave in 45 seconds. What setting? Oh, I don't just average, I guess. Average setting, okay. Yeah, but, I, but this, one, this one is a bit more exact. So there are approximately 1,750 O's in every can of SpaghettiOs. Hmm. Ooh. The more you know. Because as soon as you start to question these sadistic acts, or think about the horror of the suffering you're inflicting, the experience ceases to be about sadistic pleasure. Uh, the horrified so face. I never... So, like, I feel... So I don't normally... So it's generally like a special kind of game that makes you reflect on the suffering that you're inflicting. Because most games don't want to be that. Mm -hmm. Most games want to be simple and cathartic and stress relieving and fun. And well, did you ever think about the pain of the Zeds you're knocking out in Killing Floor? It's like, well, <laughs> no. And it's like, no? if someone said, well, they don't feel pain, I'd be like, no, I'm pretty sure they kind of do actually, but it's just not, that's just not what the game is. Does that make the game bad? Yeah. It's like, no. I think extra credits would uh, feel differently if he were a sadist. Well, like, you know that game we were just pitching, the 20-hour torch one? What if in the last 10 minutes they go, the person goes, you shouldn't have done this to me, it was horrible. And then it ends. <laughs> You're like, oh, well. <laughs> Whoa, mind blown. Torture is bad? Whoa, hold on. Hold, hold your horses Hold there. a moment here. Yeah, I, I don't but know. What are the it, themes it, it, so of our 20-hour torture game? But he's very saying they can get through all 20 hours. But at the same time, though, we can have those conversations even if the game doesn't necessarily present them. <laughs> Like, what or if we exists. did discuss if Zeds could feel pain, and they used to be human, and what we're doing in the game, do you think it's still viable and ethical and stuff? We could we could talk about how it is, or isn't. Oh, well, I'm glad you brought that up, Mahler, because someone said, what if, in a game, enemies in that game called out each other's names? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll cool. make you think about it, huh? My life oh, turned, boy. flipped right upside down. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, uh, like Doom, where you're just tearing through this shit. The idea that, like, if the game doesn't force you to think about a thing rather than you just thinking about a thing... I don't know, I just, I just think this is way too restrictive right now. It becomes an experience about understanding the nature of sadism. And maybe you could build something of value from that, but a game that's just about the thrill of sadism? I see no value there. What? So, the, you literally answered your question, the thrill of sadism. That's your answer, because it's fun. That, that should, and it's so weird, because that's primarily what a game should be, is fun. And he's like, I just don't see, how could, how could something just be fun? Says the person, I, I, acting like he's an authority on video games. It's so weird as well, because we're, we're, what lines he's drawing and where would be incredibly complex. It's like, this scenario, person with gun is coming to kill this innocent guy who's done nothing. You're like, okay, what if the guy killed his wife? It's like, well, that's different. I'd be like, yeah, but what if it's still a sadistic motivation? Like, they just want to cause this person suffering and enjoy it. Is that okay, or is it not? And he's like, if he says, no, that's not okay either, I'd be like, okay, what if this person killed the guy's entire family? It's like, still not. Okay, what if this person and you just keep cranking it and until you discover it's like wait so is it just like justice and revenge kind of just get thrown into this big sort of washing machine of what exactly is actually happening we, we don't really know what you have an issue with specifically because the idea that a game only celebrates sadism it's like what game are you referencing and it's not hatred he doesn't have it. one yeah he doesn't have a game at all it's just purely hypothetical if there were games that were hypothetically nothing but indulgence in the thrill of sadism he wouldn't like it and it's like cool what game is that oh you don't have any yeah because i'm trying to like that example we came up with is like no one's no one's made that game right <laughs> like, nobody made that <laughs> i want to point out this really excellent comment in chat someone uh all, all robert here he's saying uh quote i don't see the value of a horror movie that scares me end quote <laughs> yeah being yeah. scared what is... a it's, it's no a, a horror movie that just scares me. No redeeming quality. If, however, the horror movie was about the nature of fear and how we can overcome it, then that would be valuable. But if it's strictly like, about scaring you, then it's not. Like this fucking donut hole doesn't understand that this is this is exactly what people said about Friday the Thirteenth and all the slasher movies. Yeah, that it's it, just yeah. it's it's gory, it's messy. There's just no redeeming value to it. It's destructive on society. They're regarded as silly cult classics today, but this is exactly what they said about horror movies. I'd be interested to see Absolutely. how he could counter that because I don't think he can with this sort of structure. If I just you know categorically say like those films are without value because they they're uh, celebrating violence, like it's just killing. That's all it is, and people are supposed to enjoy watching Michael Myers slash people to death, or Jason. Which one's Friday the 13th? That's Jason, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that makes them categorically bad, because we're not having parts in the film where they explain that what Jason's doing is not right. <laughs> <laughs> God, Hellraiser, yeah. Imagine what Extra Credits thinks about Hellraiser. Like, this ain't the first time that, that Extra Credits has become Jack Thompson. Who's that? Like it all loops back around. He was what he was a big crusader against video games. Oh, he was a lawyer, right? In the early days. Yeah, he was yeah, one of yeah. the he's the, the go to for, you know, the, the concerned boomer who wants to take <laughs> things away from people. Yeah. At least those people referencing specific games and specific movies. Extra credits is just like hypothetically, this fictional game that does not exist would be bad. It's like, oh, cool. Thanks. This this is a productive use of time. Every time someone tries to draw a line for this shit, it's like incredibly difficult to not accidentally just squash a whole bunch of things that are commonly accepted to be more than, you know, fine. Like Doom. I feel like Doom's gonna be flushed out the fucking window at this point. If 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 it's not gonna be too hard to argue the same thing for Doom, I guess is what I'm saying. And plenty yeah, of people did. Don't... There doesn't seem to be any underlying principle here. No. Or, it's just or... um. Hurting people or causing them pain for your pleasure is a bad, and he's saying that if that's all a game is about, then that game is bad. It's just like, I feel like this is a bit... we're missing a lot of nuance here. I'm not even sure if such games can serve as an outlet for sadistic urges. Why? I mean, Why anger can they? be internal, it can be focused at the world rather than an individual, and it can be expressed in ways that do no harm. Why can't you argue? But you can't express but it, how do you... What? So you could paint, that does no harm, but you can't play a video game. I don't know. If you play well, a video game about sadism as an outlet for I don't, sadism, that literally does no one any harm. 
So if we, I don't, and also, I don't know if you want to be advocating that a bunch of angry sadists go out and protest. We saw how that turns out. I, I just don't understand. Well, he's saying that's not even possible. He's saying, like, sadism can't be expressed. Like, you know, That's not true at all. That's what I mean. I'm confused. I'm like, wait, you how don't How many think... Sander Cohens of the world are there? And why can't you just paint to express that's a your... deep reference, boys. It's not that deep, is it? I mean, yeah, you know, a lot of people might know where it's from, but they don't remember the actual character, perhaps. Or what his whole thing was. Yeah. yeah or what his fair. whole thing was, yeah. It's... I, it's yeah. Um, any Sander Cohens in chat? <laughs> this is a lot of people <laughs> who associate really with uh, Yeah, so a sadist who really wants to cause pain in people in order to feel pleasure, what do you think they're going to be making art about and why wouldn't they be able to? Very weird that you just like say that that just can't be an outlet. I don't understand that at all. Yeah, you could even paint it if you wanted to. That's what I mean, just the, the <laughs> simple suggestion of you paint a scene of sadism taking place, wouldn't that be what a sadist might do? I what mean, if he wanted to paint violent depictions of what he what he really wishes? What if what if his creation of the depiction of violence satisfies in a fake way, but still satisfies his desire to see violence? Oh, yeah. It can be internal. It can be focused at the world rather than an individual, and it can be expressed in ways that do no harm. A sadistic experience, though, is by definition about hurting a person. A real person. No, you, it's not. <sighs> by definition, it's not about hurting a person. You can hurt people in a myriad of ways that it's are totally about... justified and have nothing to do with sadism. Humiliation is in the definition. Yeah, yeah, it's about the pleasure that you derive from these things. Which... That's the sadism. It isn't the violence itself. Which means you can simulate it and no one would be hurt. Exactly. It's no different in anger in that respect. You yeah, can simulate it I, I, this is why this is so strange. Can a game really provide an outlet for that? Yes. I'm not entirely yes. convinced a game about sadism will offer much more than titillation for the full-blown sadist. You, how can you even then say fine, this? Good. That's better you than nothing, isn't it? There's so much, so much wrong with this, though, to be like, I'm not yeah. a sadist, and I think sadists are bad. However, I don't think sadists would be satisfied with a game built for their sadism. You're like, what? How do you... Like, how... I want you to make an <laughs> argument for me why it works for rage, but not for sadism. Yeah. And even if it only works to a twinge, like an inch of, of their desires or uh, satisfies, like, isn't that worthwhile? According to extra credits, own, extra credits' own argument, this doesn't make any sense because his own argument so far has been uh, you play video games so that you can um, expend, or expend your outrage on video games instead of, you know, the real world. But you can't do that for sadists for some reason. Like, for sadism. <laughs> yeah. You have a sadist game. No, sadism. Sadist. You have to go out in the real world and get your your kicks off on real people. But uh, <laughs> video games. Okay, expelling your anger on video games. That's only for people who are just angry. He doesn't have any examples of no. sadistic video games, and he doesn't know any people that are sadists to well, ask about that. So he's just. It's completely hypothetical. Nothing. I'll tell you what, man. If he was to reference a single piece of media as strictly sadism, I feel like there'd be people in chat at least being like, "Whoa, that is not what that's exactly. about." Exactly. Exactly. He like... has nothing. I feel like this video is like a really lazy, shitty version of an Aiden Paladin video, where she has like studies and links to sources and say, things that she explains. <laughs> yeah, he's just talking out of his ass about a thing that well, is not in any way substantiated. Do you also find it interesting that in his little drawing here, the sadist seems happy? <laughs> yeah, the sadist well, the is point, being right? satisfied. No one is being harmed. The economy is being simulated. Yep. What, what's the issue? Not being made. And if this say this like, is I like, I'm going to ideally... torture just five people today instead of six, you'd be like, oh shit, the well, game that's actually did something. an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's saved something. one person We're on from the way. getting tortured. Maybe we yeah. should have more sadistic games. <laughs> I don't know. I, you're going to have to point me to, like, uh, I mean, sure, I guess it would be better if there were no sadists, but there are. So we got to deal with them. Mm hmm. And we're not going to execute them in roving bands of sadism detectors. So what about some sadistic games? That might do it. Like, okay, compare these sorts of games to your standard violent game. And I don't mean the cartoony sort of violence that- Okay, no, hang on. You, uh, can't, you can't do that. Mortal Kombat has been the target of, like, crazy people saying it's going to cause people to do violence for, like, centuries. Yeah. Well, decades. I think, it was the, I think it was the first or second one that was banned in places. But yeah, Mortal Kombat is also one of those go-tos for censored because of yeah, depictions and of violence. And we, be... we laugh at it now because of how archaic it looks to us. Yeah, but you, in, in the new ones, there's some fatalities that make me go like, oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, that's... like I don't even. Oh, for me, I don't even watch that. That's just oof. exactly. So the idea that he's like, oh come on, we all know Mortal Kombat isn't that bad. It's like, whoa now, where whoa, how are we drawing on. these lines? Imagine if you showed the new Mortal Kombat like fatalities to just someone who'd never played video games before. Like that's how you instantly make them never like video games ever. Yeah. And he's limiting himself even further. Like, he already didn't have any examples, but now it's like, okay, so it can't be over-the-top violence. It has to be realistic violence, too. So the potential games that could even fall into this category is even well, less like, now. Well, if Mortal Kombat is cartoony, like, fuck A lot of the hell, violence in Mortal Kombat violence. is very real. They'll, like, stab yeah. someone in the throat, rip off their head because they're both they're strong characters. I just mean that it's like over the top, not necessarily. No, yeah, that's... but um, at the like same time, well, it's about it's about the consequences of, of that violence. They're depicted in realistic ways, so it's yeah. why it hurts so much. And what if our theoretical sadist loves Mortal Kombat because it's sadism? Like he says, like I love booting up the game, and then playing against uh, a bot on easy, and getting them into the fatality state so I can perform fatalities on them. And if if his response was, well, the game isn't strictly about that, I'd be like, the sadist is like, I don't care. Like, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the part that I like. Yeah, that's. And so I mean, it, I mean, it's got other stuff too, I guess. And if extra credits is like, yeah, well, that's okay. We can satisfy the sadists with violent games, but if we have strictly sadistic games, I just be like, what is a strictly sadistic game that actually well, exists, we can, though? We can only satisfy the sadists if we also mix in a bunch of messages and artistic qualities <laughs> to them. There's no the fucking same idea. Same combat. idea as we need, to, we need to have politics in all of our games, okay? And politics need to, needs to be just hand-fisted into all of our games. Well, if you remember, these are the people who said you need to tell people when Nazis are bad. Uh, so <laughs> right. we'll also oh, need... Nazis are bad? I didn't know that. <laughs> come on, extra credit. Um, in the scenes where they rip off heads in all combat, you need like a little tooltip to come up saying you shouldn't do this. Yeah, <laughs> a little Twitter disclaimer. Hey, did you know that murder is bad? Oh, really? Learn for <laughs> the experts have contested no. that this. Yeah, is good. experts have contested that murder is good. Here are links to three studies about ripping heads off and how it's unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> and, why, and why you, random citizen, should not do that. Please yeah. don't. That's purposefully abstracted to discourage you from thinking of the violence in realistic terms. I well, how about you speak uh... to all of the people who morally got outraged about the fucking game when it came out? How about that? Experts have confirmed that uh, burning someone's face off with molten fire breath is not the way to go. Learn more here. <laughs> Learn more. Yeah. I just I see this is your first beheading. Would you like help? I just feel as though Extra Credits doesn't even realize his, the place in history that you're currently occupying. If you zoom out of the timeline, you are just what they were like 20 years ago about Mortal Kombat, but now you're about something else. And, it's, and you're just sitting there without realizing it. It's like you're, you're yeah. just, you've just updated. That's all you've done. Hey, Rocky. <sighs> I mean your standard violent game, where the rage and reality of the violence are front and center. Visceral. Even in those games, you're usually fighting for a cause. The end is- What if, what if so you like, play what if as the Nazis? Is my own son? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh yeah, what if I'm what if I'm protecting the Third Reich against these foreign invaders? Oh, you Wait, which <laughs> video came first? Yeah, this, this, this video came first, so maybe Extra Credits hadn't, uh, like, Extra Credits was like, oh shit, we accidentally argued that it's okay to experience fun and violence <laughs> if you fight for the Nazis even. <laughs> and we're not allowed to do that, that's really bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, it, <laughs> he's a Nazi. They, they updated their, uh, their position on this, you see isn't simply the thrill of violence itself, but at least the veneer of saving the world, freeing your people, or defending your country. I'm sorry, I don't necessarily think about any of that when I play COD. I'm just yeah, because I know it's a, I'm, I'm not saving my country when I'm playing a World War II game. Yeah, fuck that. Like, I'm not, in, like, I'm not an idiot. Especially you know, if it's multiplayer if, online, well, and like also, there's no story to really like, yeah, I was gonna see say, yourself in. Anyway. Anyway. How, many, how many Germans in the Wehrmacht thought that they were saving their country? Like, are we, you want to go down this route <laughs> of, okay, yeah, all right, we, you don't want to go there, but if you want to, we can discuss this. And that's the thing, in the campaign, you'll have moments of being like, oh shit, you know, Dave, don't die, I, I want to save him, oh, if we don't press the button in time, you know, New York will explode, or something, like, you can have stakes like that, but in multiplayer, come on, nobody's sitting around thinking like we gotta win this for America. <laughs> it's, like, it's not happening. <laughs> but of course he needs that for the argument, I would say. To make it seem uh more detailed and deep than simply I'm firing my gun and having fun with it, which for some reason makes you a bad person at this point. It's just all of these yeah. things they allow they they visually and audioly 
I don't even know what that word would be. Uh, they like they contextualize what essentially the code is because the mechanics is just code, which to our human brains won't really make a lot of sense in and of itself. So that's why we have models. That's why we have sounds. That's why we have things that we could see. We put all these things into stories and the scenarios that we can relate with and that are easy for our brains to accept. And so because that's where that comes from. When we started out, it was like simple blocks with simple shades because that's the best we could put up with. And eventually we've moved on to, hey, what if I could immerse you into thinking you're in like a, a war? Orally? Audio would be orally? Orally. 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 Not orally. Yeah. My mind went yeah. there, though. Orally. There well, you the go. problem is my accent, they are the same. Orally? Orally and orally. Because audio... Like, so, well, that's why a lot of people in the music industries, they get Me too because they ask a woman <laughs> to come over for some oral, <laughs> and it gets misinterpreted, oh, no. and then they get their careers lost. In sadism games, though, the goal of violence is the hurt it causes. What are these sadism games? Please yeah. tell yeah, me what these like, sadism please games are. Please name them. Give the us goal an is the violence. No, the violence is a means to an end, which is ultimately getting people to buy the game but it, it's it's really it's g having fun the problem with this video with this argument because a big crux of it relies on there being a difference between uh things that appeal to you to satisfy your anger and things that appeal to satisfy something more uh what we would consider maybe vile like sadism but he, he gives uh, examples of like gta for your for your anger expulsion however he doesn't really give examples of Sadist, sadistic games which hatred however is not it's not a sadistic game i mean it looks like that but it's really just goofy it's really more goofy than it is sadistic uh but but, he, but other than hatred he gives nothing nothing else well you just made me think about how um in outlast the dlc i think there's a scene where you're about to get your dick chopped off it's kind of uh <laughs> kind of intense for players who think it's might might happen and of course the game is built around putting you in scenarios that are supposed to terrify you right what if someone made the argument of like, well, that's not worthwhile. It's just depicting horrible, horrible things just to get you to feel horrible or something. I should be like, what would his yeah, counter just, be? Yeah, it, if it's just code, if it's a text, to, it, even text to speech, if it was just purely you're, you're just watching the code flashing and scrolling on the screen of that event happening in that format, you wouldn't have any connection to it it would it wouldn't do anything and i feel like if he was to say yeah that would be one i'd be like oh boy i'm ready to argue the shit out of why outlast has value even to someone who thinks it's a shitty game <laughs> like i'll do it don't make me and and i and i don't like his his overall point i feel like is a super oversimplification of the concept of viol like he 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 i don't even know how to really say it he talks about like violence for its own sake and just violence for violence but i think that Whenever you play a shooter, whenever you play a Call of Duty or a Splatoon or an Apex or anything, any kind of shooter, there's like these dual aspects of strategy and application of skill that are yes. these really on the fly problem solvings that your brain has to deal with. Why being the smarter player will allow you to do better. Even if you're bad at the hand eye court, if you're bad at the application of skill aspect of it, the aiming, the pointing, the reloading, the timing, da, yada, yada, but you play really smart and you're very strategic, you can do better than players who aren't as smart as you. And I think that these, it's, it's like a mini puzzle in your brain every other second. Where am I going? Um, why am I going there? Do I reload now? Do I manage my equipment in this way? And then that's interspersed with the the the, the more visceral uh applications of skill which is you using your hand-eye coordination to execute tasks which but the, it's a it's a constant flow of challenges that your brain gets to overcome and to solve that is yeah. the appealing aspect and the violence is just how that's dressed up because the violence is ultimately just a framing device for competition well th Absolutely. that's that's what i was trying to bring up about the flower comparison i was trying to say like if your enjoyment of flower is on, on a mechanical level and someone's like i don't want to play it because gay and then you flip all of the assets to be uh zombie ones and they're like oh i like this now and it was the mechanics were fine the whole time they just wanted a different skin like they were enjoying the mechanics they just want it in a package that they find more appealing than a bunch of flowers um and i was going to bring this up about the, the torture thing we were doing so like the the 20 hour torture game what if the mechanics of torturing this person are really well integrated and actually difficult? Like you have to keep harming them, but you have to keep them alive, and so there's yeah, a whole system of different, um, tor 
different people respond to different kinds of torture differently. Yeah, you have to keep, keep uh, a track of their shock, their heartbeat, the different uh, drugs you're giving them to keep them alive, and then what you chop off at what times need to... Like, I know this sounds disturbing, but you understand that someone could yeah. argue the part of the game they enjoy is not actually the torture itself, it's just the uh, management. Yeah, uh, going off that point, that game would not fall under his category. His category is games that are only about the thrill of sadism. So any game at all that has like tactics, strategy, and all the stuff Rags was just talking about wouldn't qualify. So the only game that would hypothetically fall into his category is a game where like press X to torture and then you just watch torture happen. Yeah, there's no yeah. There there's no like if a game doesn't have a fail state, then our our brain understands that we couldn't lose, which means the point of the challenge is like we want to win. And most of, maybe even more importantly, a lot of us we like to be told that we won. Um, but just the 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 presentation of this competition through a hundred different little challenges and problem solving tests that happen in any multiplayer game, they're so appealing to so many people that to just say that it's just violence on screen is a huge oversimplification that's really an insult to the media and it's that this is the kind of thinking that your that your mom would say who doesn't understand games who thinks every console is a nintendo who doesn't who who pokes her head into your room and looks at the screen and sees you shooting and thinks that it's just dumb stupid violence and there's no thought behind it at all that person <laughs> that mom and this guy at the podium interchangeable entirely in this scenario that was um, a suggestion we had for Amnesia Rebirth, wasn't it? Like, they could have had a sequence where you have to work hard to be able to get extract the uh, Vitae, but that the whole time we realize that in order to achieve our goals, someone is getting tortured, and that we have to try and put it at the back of our mind in order to save the lives of our ourselves and the baby sort of thing. Um, but obviously, Rebirth sucks. So uh, a lot of people are just discussing different games that kind of present um, torture mechanics, in, in, and they're usually in the context of you have to do it for X reason. Um, or it could not, it doesn't even necessarily have to be that. I wonder if a game can even, as, as Capital uh, Opinions was kind of bringing up, can even qualify at this point? Because there's always going to be mechanic exactly. elements, which means there's usually going to be a fail state. Not always, but in some way that requires you to do something. And if you can derive enjoyment from simply satisfying tasks. Um... Then the only thing that would qualify is just image, like, like video of someone being tortured. Like, that's the yeah, only that, thing that would qualify. Like, you spend all your day on Live Leak or some shit. <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> like... Yeah, because if there's a game to be played at all in the video game, then that's its own redeeming quality. And, and if you ever ask someone in a game, like, let, if you play a game and you win, and someone asks you, why did you win that game? Like, how did you win? You're never going to say, because I was more violent than the other team. It's almost explicitly because I yeah. channeled my actions in a way that were far more productive than the other team did. I yeah. outthought them. I outsmarted them. I outplayed them. I had better hand-eye coordination than they did. It's all these things mixing together. But no one is. no one would ever want to or probably even say that my violence was just better like you could just dumb it down to that kind of level <laughs> yeah i was more sadistic and that's i was I more mean. sadistic yeah <laughs> and at that point <laughs> i wonder if level was his argument would be like nobody would say that about a heavily sadistic game and i'd just be like so we just gotta find one person to do it and your argument falls apart that's it one yeah. person to play this ridiculous sadist game that says, yeah, I, I didn't really get a sadistic enjoyment out of it i was just enjoying the mechanics <laughs> it's like oh fuck well it's about creating pain and fear. There's no redeeming purpose. There's no question of whether anything justifies this sort of harm. Like, what if you have those it? questions, though? Yeah, it's like, it. I, my fun justifies it. It justifies my time. I mean, a thing doesn't have to... A, 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 a video game doesn't have to, quote-unquote, justify. That's a weird terminology. You don't have to know what you actually mean by that. Mm. But it justifies my time if I have fun. And if nobody's getting hurt, then you're going to have to... You have to work really, really hard, work yeah. hard to explain to me why that's bad. I I find this interesting as well because if you know, like the deleted scene for Captain Marvel with the Dawn, there's been a <laughs> lot of discussion that's come out about that, about what you what she did, whether or not it was legal, and then of course whether or not you consider it moral, and based on whether or not uh, the the prior events can justify it ever, and then what the histories of these characters might be. All of that came from a scene where someone made it because they wanted to have like a girl power moment, and that was it. Yeah. 
you, so what I'm getting at here is like the conversation about a piece could totally be if someone was like, is that why the piece is worthwhile? I'd be like, well, I mean, I I I, just, I think it's interesting that it existed, right? Because we all like got to have this sort of breakdown. The idea that it can't produce any value because it's not trying to create that conversation is really interesting when we have so many examples in history of, of content that wasn't gunning for X, but it ended up getting X. Just because of how it was built. A game that's... Ex like, that torture game we've been talking about and building up over this whole podcast... Um, I kind of want to play it now. It would... I feel like it would <laughs> strike a major conversation. Like, uh, people would be talking about it yeah. for a while if it was, like, really well made and really interesting like, mechanically. You know, could get DLC, uh, different packs, you know, people you can torture. Yeah. <laughs> if, it was, yeah if it was a level within another really big game <laughs> and it was, you know, that thing that everyone talks about, absolutely. Download different yeah. tools, different utensils. Uh, you, can do, you can download different eras of time. Somewhere. Like, and then you have medieval to... era. As yeah. you play through, you, you have, like, weak targets, then bigger and stronger and more resilient ones until you get, like, an alien who's immune to pain. You have to find a way to torture it to get information. You have to shit. emotionally torture it? Yeah. Well, That's think of fucking really when Soba did that, right? So you, you, have to, you have to coax information out of a, a victim, technically speaking, by manipulating them as best you can. That, that's a moment that makes you feel pretty bad. And then the, the choice of whether to delete him or shut him down. I like Soma. I don't know if I mentioned that. Soma's great. Everyone plays Soma. Because the harm is an end in itself. Now, the understand harm is this... an end. No, that's this is a super over. He does. He keeps doing it. He just says it. The harm is just the end. Like, no, that's what's happening. The end is basically it's not even up to the thing as to what mm -hmm. the end is. Like, I'm kind of the determinant in what the end is. Absolutely. If yeah. I enjoy it, then the end is essentially my enjoyment. What if, like, yeah, what if you, you, you were like, oh, you play a lot of Killing Floor, like, do you just have a lot of hatred in your heart? I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, no, uh, it's uh, fun. There's a lot of skill and strategy and tactics in it. I was like, well, also, I guess you're thankful a game like this exists. Green wants to ban hatred, am I? I'm assuming this is, this is going to be he's saying he doesn't want to ban these games. Oh, uh, okay. ...is an end in itself. Now understand, this doesn't mean that these games have no right to be made. Every game, even the most debased, has a right to be expressed. Okay, but good. that doesn't mean we have to give them a megaphone. It doesn't mean we have to reward them financially. And it doesn't mean that stores operated... Isn't that all on us then? Yeah, yeah. then I'll be the one to decide that, thank you. If I want to buy it, then let me buy it. And if you don't want to yeah. buy it, then you don't have to buy it. Don't take away my ability to buy something. Well, he's saying he wouldn't, but at the same time, what is the point of this video other than to say, you probably shouldn't? What he's saying is like, well, they, we don't have a right to give him a megaphone. We don't have a right. He's like, ah, you, I think I know what you're trying to say here. Yeah. I think I can read between the lines here. ...by private companies are obligated. He, he, he literally said it's without value. Like, I'll think I'll, I think I'll, I'm capable of deciding what does and doesn't have value to me. Thank you very much. Because even though we said we probably have a preference for people not uh, encouraging the torture game, at the same time, I'd be interested to see people talk about it. Yeah, like I think it's sure. it would be a very interesting vehicle for discussion. And honestly, if you don't want people to play it, then banning it from Steam and Best Buy and other like you know like trying to cancel it essentially is gonna yeah. make think people of all want the shitty games it. that release on Steam every day that are horrible that yeah. nobody like I would never know that Gay World existed <laughs> unless somebody talked about it specifically. I'm like, oh, there's a game called Gay World, and like, oh, I'm the gay police. Ooh. Also. If I said to you, uh, I do not want to ban it, but I want it removed from GOG, Walmart, Best Buy, Steam, Target, and the rest, wouldn't yeah, you guys be like, wait, you. You yeah, just what is your goal? Or Twitter you your own or Walmart, is. okay? Your own Target, you like, sell it there. Because the best argument he has now is, oh, well, I want it to be sold, sure, but only in, like, a random bargain bin in one shop in the world. And you're like, right. Nobody can buy it. Well, you remember that scene from Life of Brian where at the, they're, at, they're at the Coliseum? And that one guy wants to be that, that one dude. He wants to be called Loretta, and and he can't actually be a woman. He can't actually have babies. But they agree the GDM People's Front. They agree that he should have the right to have babies, even if, even if he can't. It uh -huh. kind of reminds me of that. It's like, oh no, you you shouldn't be you you can't buy it. You can't go get it. But you should you should have the right to be you know bought and sold. But we're gonna basically make it impossible for it to be bought and sold. Like removing this game from Steam. That's already like. Wow, I, yeah. I don't, uh, hmm, okay. Well, it's like, if you get rid of someone's Twitter account, like, that's a big deal. Yeah. Like, not having access to those tools and those connections and those peoples and conversations, like, that's a that's a big deal. That's 
a big chunk of audience that you just denied someone to be able to have. ...to carry them. There's a reason that much of our culture is founded on a work exploring questions of violence and rage. It's an essential part of who we are, and without understanding this part of ourselves, we, we can never become... How do we tie this back to the Iliad? Thing? I was going to say, that was, that was quite the way to do yeah. that. It just suddenly yeah. Iliad. <laughs> like, also, okay. there's basically zero connection here whatsoever. He just sort of mentions it, forgets about it, and then he re-mentions it again. And you're like, what was the connection here? Oh, basically zero? All right. Great for also, the uh, this chick the here. Like, what the fuck is going on with this chick's face? Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ! Oh my God! Yeah, it's I'm a little bit scary. You go entire back to the. Like, <laughs> oh my God! This fucking that face. Fucking <laughs> wicked witch of the West here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Just cackles like a witch. <laughs> you buy my torture game? <laughs> She's the one who made the torture <laughs> game. <laughs> That's the character you play as. In yeah, he plays the, the <laughs> Wicked Witch. And that's her. Their fucking the edible kicked tunnel. in. This could handle the day. <laughs> well, it's, people are saying I should uh, I should uh, gedalb the Iliad. What what exactly is what what should I gedalb in terms of a sentence about the Iliad? Uh, you oh, just, just like bring up bring, bring up, up something like oh, intellectual or like literary in the beginning. You make the whole video, and at the end of the video, you bring it back to give the illusion of structure. That's that's what it seems the point is of the Iliad to me. Yeah. The Iliad oh. and, we'll we'll set it up. Make like a twenty minute video. Mention the Iliad for the first minute or so, then spend like eighteen minutes. Uh, yeah, just go like bring up the like, kind of like discussing, discussing your politics or whatever it is. You know what here's the thing, I, I really hate this guy, and then at the end, last minute, you bring it back to the Iliad and kinda of close it up. Yeah. I'll connect it at the beginning like, and the end. Yeah, you know, if it comes back to where it started, that means it was structured the whole time. If you Even randomly if you bring it up at the end, like you randomly started with it, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's like a roadmap you're following. Oh, uh, you know what, Lisha Zevil, one of our latest EFFs, uh, we, we were covering somebody who was shocked to discover that God has the power to erase memories. <laughs> he, he was like, I couldn't what? believe it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was Nostalgia Critic, if you could believe it. He was like, oh, so God can just erase people's memories now? Oh. Yeah, he can. <laughs> well, yeah, he can do a lot of ridiculous things. You, yeah. You'll you you'll fucking guaranteed. drown the world and create the God. universe. But he's know. literally God. What, yeah, this is gonna be that. easy. I feel like yeah, Race that's one, one of those ones where he'd be like, yeah, I could knock that out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's easy. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I could delete your whole brain if I wanted to, but we'll just take some memories. That's fine. I give you he's the like, old Job's wife treatment and the Lot's <laughs> wife. I give you the old Lot's wife treatment. Turn your brain to salt. <laughs> God has like a switch in his room. He's like, I could literally stop the, the universe. Salt switch. Like, what it does to you? It turns your brain to pure salt. There's a universe off switch here. I could flip it at any moment. Our podcast like, turns some people's brains into pure salt. True. Become yeah, a society. Know. We can never become a community. There's nothing wrong. Okay, wait. I want to roll him back. We can never Holy become shit, a community. Wait, what? what? Well, like, I feel like we Iliad jumped. was made while there was a community. Had to carry them. There's a reason want to be that a much of our culture is founded on work. We left alone. What's with, why we always have to be a community all of a sudden? Yeah, fuck I'm so proud of this community. <laughs> like there was no community before the Iliad. I'm like, all right. Well, that's, <laughs> I was. I want to know if that's what he was saying. It doesn't mean that Surely stores not, operated right. by private companies are obligated to carry them. There's a reason that much of our culture. Well, it's like here's. I I I, I know we'll probably, we'll have to redo it again. But just to reiterate <laughs> the point, like these are the people who say private companies, private companies, private companies, but they try to deny other people the right to a thing because they don't like it, and that's ultimately the the big issue. Like, if you don't fucking like it, don't buy it. If I am interested in it, well, I will buy it. That looked like the interesting way angle he came at that. He's like, Steam doesn't have to support the selling of your sadism game. And it's like, at the same time, you can't force Steam not to, so... But that's what he wants to do. He wants of course to oh, you he bet wants they to do. do. Oh, you bet they do. ...operated by private companies are obligated to carry them. There's a reason that much of our culture is founded on a work exploring questions of violence and rage. It's an How essential much? part of who we are, and without understanding this part of ourselves, we can never become a society. If it's, a, if it's an essential what? part of who we are, we didn't need a book to tell us about it. Also, we can't become a society without understanding the violent parts of ourselves, which was spearheaded by the Iliad. It's like, okay, you're saying a lot of things right now. Yeah, I don't yeah, think this that isn't you have, to, like, uh, any legs to stand on. I feel this like isn't to deny the importance of the Iliad, you know, culturally and historically, but the, uh, <laughs> but there's so many things tied together. That, like, we can't form a society if we don't recognize our own darkness 
and we only understand our own darkness because of the Iliad specifically. So like, like, uh, I feel as though there were societies before the Iliad. Gonna put it out there. I, I feel like if it's intrinsic to us, then we don't even need a book to explain it. Like, I feel like it's just, yeah, there it is. Yeah, if someone was able to write it as a rule, they probably came about it before the Iliad. <laughs> we can never become a community. There's nothing wrong with this. And violence as an expression of anger, as well as violence in the name of a cause, are incredibly important things for us to consider in the world today. The question of when is violence in the name of a cause actually a lie we tell ourselves in order to act out the violence of Mr. It's all a lie, what? games. It's all a fucking <laughs> lie. It's all a framing device for mechanics. You fucking also, muppet. Jesus he, fucking Christ. He's making it sound <laughs> as though there are examples of this. Give me an example of yes, when, when examples something- Examples are amazing. You you guys want video making advice? Examples. I wonder if examples the last of us two counts because it's just too far, even though the of course message in that fucking game is violence and revenge bad. Like, I just, I wonder what, give me an example, I beg you, I want to know what you think represents this shit. Misdirected anger? That's one of the defining questions of the 20th and 21st century, if not of what? human existence. And these are things that video games let us explore. They help us to understand and wrestle with this emotion, as okay, art Mom, has. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I... Why would you put your, why would you put the handles on the paint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, that is actually kind of annoying to see. Hopefully that it's all dry. Oh, God. Asking the truth, the, the hard Jesus. questions here. Jesus. <laughs> Since the beginning of recorded history, and they help us channel and express and dissipate this emotion when we need to. They provide catharsis, as art always has. Okay. I would art never has say always provided catharsis. Get... I mean, art will also enrage you. Yeah, like, come on. Like, <laughs> you, he skips over the point where video games literally can make people angrier. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty major part to this that he needs to address, actually. Like, how many people have to stop playing games because they get so upset? Like, I have to do that sometimes. I get so fucking pissed off, I just have to stop playing. I play something else. Yeah. Definitely happened sure. to all of us. I, I, I would I would be surprised to find a single person who's played a shit ton of games and never stopped playing out of frustration. Some games don't even fucking work. <laughs> that can be pretty annoying. <laughs> As art some games has. make you some games make you play as Abby and uh... yeah. What's that about? <laughs> I would never say you shouldn't get this game just because it's violent, but sadism is Yes, you are. That's violent. what this whole video is about. <laughs> this whole video is about you condemning games because you apply, because you say, without any justification whatsoever, that they have no value whatsoever, implying that no store should have to sell these. Th this, that's fairness, what this whole video right. is. In fairness, he's saying violent games are cool, sadistic games are not. Easy to follow. Yeah, but what is a sadistic Shut game? Up. <laughs> That's oh, not assuming, assuming that hatred is going to be a sadistic game, uh, but he, other than that, he's he's given no other, no yeah. other. It's That's funny. the only example, and it hadn't even come out yet. It's funny right. that you said it like yet. that, like a sadistic game. You're like, oh yes, much like the, these other examples. Um, oh, uh, my box <laughs> what is other empty. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> and I think we'd all agree that whatever he chooses, as long as it's a game that one of us four have played, we will be able to explain how sadism is not the only angle in the game. Exactly. Well, Any game that sadism. is a game wouldn't yeah. fall into that category. ...is cruelty. And if you're excited about a game that's purely sadism about cruelty. the thrill of sadism... So you can't... So what? I guess now we have to, like, what what do you define as cruelty? Like, is simulated cruelty... Is like, BDSM as a concept, cruelty? Is that the same? Like, how can you be cruel in a video game if it's against NPCs? Like, I could see how you could be cruel to another human being in a multiplayer game, well, sure. You know, like, kids but... torturing animals and shit, and parents like, oh, fuck, like, that's bad, because that, that's a common indicator for they're going to be crazy when they're older. Um, what if they do it in a video game? Uh, I feel like this is these are hard questions. You're like, hmm. Like, if there's, you, you manage to fuck with your game enough, or mod Minecraft in some way that you exclusively torture animals just to listen to them cry. If your kid was doing it, you'd be like, whoa. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna pay attention to you. I'm gonna watch you like a hawk and just make sure you don't start doing any shit in real life. At the same time, if if, if he was like, see, we, sh we should get rid of these games, I'd be like, I mean, it's better than the kid doing it in real life. I don't know. Because obviously we have to go to really crazy extremes to be able to even come up with examples. Because we've got none. 
And apparently they didn't either. This thing, if you make a video Statism. and all people could say is, man, he had too many examples to prove his point. Like, man, awesome. Yeah, that's a better problem to have than the one we Instead of, right what now. the fuck does he mean? Does this even exist? ...is cruelty. And if you're excited about a game that's purely about the thrill of sadism, I would probably ask you, why? Because the only joy in a sadistic no game why. is the joy found in hurting other people. Okay, but what if that helped them <laughs> understand themselves? Yeah. It sounds now like what? value to me. Yeah. What if they stop doing the it only, because they realize? But the only joy in a sadistic game comes at the expense of, like, pixels. It's not, like... <laughs> It's not real suffering if it's simulated. Well, yeah, the theory, what if this kid who tortures the animals in Minecraft never does it in real life, and that's that. What happens then? What do we say? We say, oh, that was kind of weird. That was kind of weird, yeah. Doing that. <laughs> and maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that's a joy for most of us. Oh, someone's, someone's just uh, asked me with um, a Flash game called Interactive Buddy. I think I know what that is. Is that the one where you have a little dude and you have a, a drop-down list of ways to hurt him. And um, that was a Flash game. I remember playing it. You, you, it would be like you have a flamethrower, and he's like, blah, 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 and he runs around, and you have, like, fill the room with water, or, or shoot him with a gun, and he'll just, like, fall over, or, or do... The, the joy of the game is seeing what the animations would be, or seeing what the results of the screen would be, because you know that the guy is not actually real. Like, that's probably why... Um, the example uh, for the film kept coming up uh, that people were referencing. Cause it's, uh, what was it called? Uh, Ender's Game, you were saying? Zombie Darker, oh yeah. Uh, so, the, the idea that a random person is presented with this game. It's like, this is a little buddy on screen. He's like a little little uh, uh, stick man. And it's like, you press file or open, and it's like knife. And you click that, and you have a knife. And if you click, it swings. And you're like, huh, what do I do? What happens if I swing at him? And then he goes, blah, and runs around. And you're like, what else do I have? Flamethrower, gun, minigun, uh, grenades. And you're just like, huh, and you try it all out. Is Extra Credits Man looking at you like, wow, you're a fucking psychopath? Or are you just like, I'm just curious what happens, and I'm interested in the graphics, what? Like, I'm not, I, this is not yeah, something I, like, Jesus, why yeah, do you I assume I want to torture people? I would, yeah, I would never want to hurt somebody. If this was a real person, I wouldn't be here doing this. Freak. And maybe the animation is funny. And maybe seven minutes is not enough to talk about something like this. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. <laughs> maybe no work is not enough work to discuss this topic. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Oh, that was it. Oh, that's it. That's oh my it. god. I'm sorry, can, I just want to hear the last sentence. Like, what was his last actual... The only joy in a sadistic game is the joy found in hurting other people. And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that's a joy for most of us. We'll see you next week. That's why most of us don't oh engage in God. truly sadistic activities. The reason is that there's genres and stuff like that, and then subgenres. Uh, small, small audiences, but niche audiences. Yeah, the only what way. An awful video. The only way that you could be right is if his definitions are like, uh, like a tautology. Like if he says, like, if we all agree that this thing is a bad thing to engage in, then it's a bad thing to engage in. Like that's yeah, all he's got. It's only wrong, it's only wrong or bad uh, in this particular instance. The game is uh, opposed to his personal morality, so therefore it is universally bad. But Mahler, you're absolutely right about the whole tautology thing, because this whole point is oh, yeah, <clears> sorry, sorry. appeal to authority. Yeah, it's appeal to popularity. The whole point is that this hypothetical game that does not exist. No, no, I can't hang provide on. Any I'm not not, not appeal to authority. He's he's suggesting like popularity. these are all my definitions, um, or popularity either way. The uh, by definition. He is is all, all he's concluding is what he's agreed the definition is. Well, no, I meant the pointless. thing exactly, not him. Huh? The thing you said about if we all agree that something's okay. Oh no, that's just that, that was the semantics of how I was pretending to be him. Like he's he doesn't actually care if you agree or not. I don't even so, know why. He, I don't even so, think he could convince himself why he agrees. Oh yeah, on no, it. that's why I think he threw that in at the end where he was like, "I might be wrong." It's like you don't think you're wrong. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah, up. If you didn't, yeah, like I, I, I. I, well, the assertion that one can, well, saying that I can be wrong is different than saying I can't be wrong. No, I know. I'm suggesting that he doesn't think he might be wrong. He's, he's... Oh, yeah, I, I totally think he's in the right on this, but that's, you know, all the things people... Like, think. it's not a position where he's like, I've come to this conclusion, but I, I don't think it's a fully realized position yet. I think he's like, this is right, but I mean, yeah, I guess, you know. Oh, whatever. yeah, he has <laughs> in no way, like, even begun to convince, really, certainly not me. 
of no, anything. No. If he's trying to convince people of a point, then fucking hell. Like so you haven't Mueller even to, begun uh, to do any work on that. To go off your point, Muller, because it absolutely is a tautology. It's this hypothetical game that I can't provide any examples of is a vehicle only for sadism. And it would be bad because it's a vehicle only for sadism. And any reasonable person watching goes, okay, but no games like that. So what's the point of this video at Pretty all? Much. There's, there's nothing I, I mean, can if even... you want to say, I mean, if this is a video, about, if this video is like a warning for the future game developers out there, <laughs> then it would make more sense that the game hasn't been made yet. I think it's like, maybe we should explore why, um, well, let's think, this applies to movies and games. Almost every movie in almost every game contextualizes the violence in itself to be either justified or explained in some way. It's not just mindless violence against innocent people. Yeah. And when that happens, it is depicted as bad. A bad thing. That's what the villains do. Well, that, and I think there's probably a really, it's probably a really obvious reason, but there's definitely a reason why that happens. Um, I can't think of any games where you kill innocent people and that's the point. Well, so, but in the examples we were trying well, to come up with, the one that, point. the one that we invented and the one I was just talking about with the, the buddy that you torture, quote unquote, <laughs> um, there's another one people are linking where it's like an itch.io game where it's like a, a body held up by uh, ropes and you can just take a chainsaw or whatever to it and watch all the skin and different things fall off and get fucked up, basically, right? That's the game, is to just see the effects of the different torture devices on the body. Mm -hmm. Um... You could, I like again. People playing it out of pure curiosity, like, what kind of mechanic is this gonna like? What is this gonna have an effect on in terms of the bot? And if someone's like, "Wait, you enjoy torturing people?" I, I could totally see someone be like, "Well, no, this is just fantasy. Like, I'm not. I would never do this. Yeah. I'm just curious about the game and how it works and everything." And I don't even think an actual sadist would enjoy that game because you know, there's no real. suffering being done. Maybe that's what yeah. they get off on. I assuming if that's what sadism is, yeah, then the fact that it isn't real wouldn't scratch that itch. But I don't know. I that's yeah. I'm a, not a sadist on my part. Oh, so I don't really know. I don't know enough about it. And that's the thing. If a sadist said it was, I'd be like, oh, well. Oh, I'm that. glad you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that video was pointless. <laughs> um, also, someone said like they don't want people to think the Iliad is some crazy pretentious stuff because of uh, this video. Is like, no, we 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 would never frame it that way either. Like, no, we, I read. I read one of them. I think I read The Odyssey. We had to do that. It's Odyssey. really good, and I wouldn't ever like downplay its cultural significance, but the point is that it makes no... It's not relevant to the video at all, and it's yeah. just there to make it seem like he's tying Look it what I know about, guys. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of funny, because I, I'm, I'll point out in one of my videos that uh, with the, the time span between the end of Return of the Jedi and the beginning of The Force Awakens, you could have the entirety of the Iliad and the entirety of the Odyssey and still have 10 years to go. So that's why they, they should have had more story in between those two trilogies. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they could do. I think the, it's, the only reason he brought it up was to be like, hey, this is violent too, but it has a purpose. Also, I know what the Iliad is. <laughs> like, okay. The story of the Iliad is about a war. It's literally a, a war story. It's all about a war as Achilles fighting in the war. Uh, it's not, it's not, there's not like useless, baseless uh, violence in there. It's not just violence for violence sake. It's exploring ideas. It's exploring characters and character arcs and gods in conflict. It's not, a, oh, all the, well, all the Western media, all the Western stories, even from back then, are all based on horrific violence. That's not actually true. We got, um, do you remember us talking about an alternate universe movie, Bob? Like, he wouldn't have his goatee. A <laughs> mirror uh, universe? It's yeah. been, it's be been drawn. Beautiful. You see his values are genocide <laughs> is bad, and Mountain Dew <laughs> marinated chicken is fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone doesn't know... Um, the is most important. I you can cook with you, Coke, but I've never heard about really. Mountain Dew marinated chicken before him. There's a whole cookbook of Mountain Dew stuff. I think we found it one day for some reason in Smudcast. I forgot why. But yeah, there's like a whole cookbook about marinating seven Mountain Dew. Like, where did we find this from? Who made well, this? Well, my dad, when he makes um, when he one of his, his, his marinated sauce thingies that he soaks meat in is it's got some Coca-Cola in it. Just a little bit. So, oh, that would make sense. Yeah, that's uh, it's good. But yeah. marinating a chicken in Mountain Dew. Mountain. Mm. I think the first thing this alternate universe movie Bob says is genocide is bad. 
One of <laughs> he's posted pictures of it. I'm trying to find some, but one of the first responses I saw to Movie Bob posting about his marinated chicken and Mountain Dew is "You are what you eat." <laughs> like, <laughs> Bob is Bob is a chicken marinated in Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, okay. This, yeah, here we go. I found it's just someone just grabbed this for a fucking Reddit post. Apparently, I just find that funny. Marinated three days in Mountain Dew. I just feel like that's gonna do stuff to the chicken. Not a chef. Won't be able to marinate be specific. For three days? I don't know if you want to marinate something like because Mountain Dew's probably really acidic. So I don't yeah. know if you especially I mean, with Mountain Dew was like marinated for sugar. three days. Like ugh, three that's days probably... and like acid sugar it just seems like yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe there's something else in that mixture. Also, that... I feel marinade should be saved. But like actually cooking in this scenario, you should just call it drenched. This is bathing. This is drowning. Yeah. Drowned in Mountain Dew. Why? Mountain Dew drowning. <laughs> so what chicken in Mountain Dew. Dew. How horrendous. And that does it. Uh, extra credits once again proving that they are top of the line in terms of uh, analysis. How amazing. I think they got some pushback for this video, but nowhere near as much as that fucking Nazi video that everyone hated. Um, don't know how they do in these days. Uh, if we read some Nazi of the... video, Nazi video where they said that uh, they went on Twitter and said, "Oh, I'm glad all we, all these bigots are unfollowing us." <laughs> oh, that is something they said. Yeah, uh, um, so just a bunch of bigots. That's us. Just you a bunch it. of bigots. Only yeah. a bigot wouldn't be mad at that video. I'm not even sure what they do these days. It's kind of looking weird. Like Cleopatra. I guess they're doing like a story series about her. Extra I think they history. do like history stuff. Yeah, it's, it's called history. Problem is, I don't, I don't think I could trust them to accurately report the events of history. Oh, I, I don't even imagine the fucking perspective they run with, like Ugh. considering this video. Syphilis, the you, killer cure. They, they usually have a video after a, a a set of videos in extra history where they go over the stuff they missed, where they go over the stuff they got wrong. So they get a lot of stuff wrong. Better to have it than not, I guess. Um. All right. Well, that pushes us to our final video of the night. Oh wow. Um. It's been a. It's been some time since we were able to cover any of Tonal's cookery videos, except for the uh, biggest sandwich Last quickie. One? Yeah. Yeah. Before that, we had a big gap. But this one, yeah. you see, is very important because when he was with us for EFAB 100, I may have let slip that my interest is seeing him cook for Sauron. Uh, and he totally did. <laughs> Uh, Here's a question. Nice. Oh, what is an L? <laughs> I think he dressed up for Halloween. Um, oh my goodness. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think there's really any context here other than let's just jump in. We've got to see Tonal cooking again. Um, well, actually, if, um, if Literature Devil's going to be out for just a moment, uh, let me use that for my break, too, and I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty. Um, that looks like we've just got to chat about something now, Jamie. That's all right. Oh, it's fine with me. Um, what's on your mind? Sadism, maybe? Well, the only thing on my mind right now is Tonald's Halloween costume, or whatever oh, this yeah. is. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's an interesting choice. I'm trying to think of what the reference is. <laughs> yeah, I, r I really don't know. It's like, it looks like a dress, kind of. It's a dress, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's like, is it maybe a, a famous killer woman, or is it from some particular... Because it's not my first thought. Weirdly, was um, Sally from Night Before Christmas. Then I was like, I don't <laughs> think she's covered in blood to any degree, so it's probably not here. I don't uh, think this is a reference at all. You think but it's just maybe I'm wrong. It's just an outfit. Maybe, maybe uh, it's chat, a look. Chat. Do you know of who it might be? Moaning Myrtle. That doesn't make sense. She's not covered in blood, right? <laughs> Zombie transvestite. Hmm. hmm. Talk about Mandalorian. Uh. Rags and I have not seen any episodes of Mandalorian just yet. We do plan to. Uh, much like the boys, we're just giving it some time before it comes out. Letting it marinate in Mountain Dew for a bit. Oh, phase. yeah. Have you seen any of it? I have not. Wow. I don't have Disney+. Plus. Not so a true I, Star Wars uh, fan, huh? I guess not. No, I only really like uh, the first two movies, and the third one is pretty good. Wait, so you I'm don't not a... like the prequels, the sequels, and Rogue One and Solo? Wow. Not really. Can't say, can't say I do. You're probably in good company. I was actually. never. I like, I like Star Wars, but I'm never a huge fan. 
Uh, so like when I saw The Last Jedi, I was like, wow, this is awful. But it didn't, and it didn't piss me off because I wasn't, you know, emotionally invested. What, I kind of um, just rolled my eyes a lot and I watched that movie. How did you uh, find EFAP then if it wasn't Star Wars? I'm surprised. Black Panther, actually. Oh. Because, well, I found you because of Black Panther. Because I was desperate to find someone who was willing to talk honestly about how not good that movie was. <laughs> And there weren't very many people doing that because, you know, of all the the racism implications. So I've, I've actually had an uptick in uh, comments on that video saying, like, fucking maybe chill. Like, the guy died. It's like, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> like, you made it after... <laughs> I've also had comments saying, like, he didn't know the guy was going to die, so the video is still fair. It's just like, I don't think you need to make that counter, but okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that needs to be said. But yeah, that was the first video of yours I saw. And it's like, nice. Good shit. You know, so I wasn't, you know, emotionally invested in The Last of Jedi being good. But, you know, I I don't think I've ever rolled my eyes more at a movie than that movie. Like, really? It, it um, didn't... Yeah, I was I actually um, was super excited because I really liked Black Panther in Civil War, and I was like, they could do yeah. so awesome with this movie, as especially as a roll-up to uh, Infinity War. And I was yeah. fucking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love, I love I, the, uh... that he didn't die after being knocked off that waterfall and landing in ice. Like, that's <laughs> almost what they try to argue is the reason. It's like, he's on ice, he'll be fine. It's like, I don't... Th wait. <laughs> I don't know, ice is pretty hard. Like, it's a pretty hard surface to fall. <laughs> Or I guess he washed up or whatever. It, it just, it's, it's, and there's no urgency. Remember, uh, Umbaku doesn't tell them that, that he's got him, but he's dying. Yeah, yeah. Until like yeah, way yeah. later, he's like, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we got to revisit just how not good that movie is in this stream earlier. Yeah. Um. Again, I got loads of pushback on on those comments and how I said oh, like I'm a sure. naturally expanding civilization will of course go further than the state of like a couple of tribes if that was how they were in this fucking stone age and people were like yeah, of course so. a British colonialist would say that I was like what? Oh. <laughs> like, what this? Are there a lot of Welsh colonialists? Colonialist? Oh well everyone figures I'm English anyway but uh I just yeah. find it amusing well, that you wouldn't naturally do it like humans just do this they're like ooh land I can make that space for people I love Mm -hmm. And myself. Like, why would you not? And Because people automatically assume that I'm saying Wakanda should just take over the entire planet. It's like, uh, no. I w that's, no. That's, I just think that yeah. they would have expanded a little bit. And when I reference yeah. that they had one tribe uh, absolve, like, or, or just take over the other four as, like, leadership, they were like, we will lead, you know, the five as a total. People were like, yeah, they stopped there. I was like, what do you mean they stopped <laughs> there? <laughs> people want to say in the yeah. Dante Africa, if you remember the, uh, the, the rise of Shaka Zulu, the Zulu Empire, they expanded quite a bit by conquering other tribes and things. Yeah. Just, so it's not just the Brit evil British colonizers who did that. It was pretty much every culture uh, during that time. But they, Unjustified every, aggression was a white man's invention. I just find oh, it yeah, amusing. Was... Like, as if you wouldn't expand in general. That's my argument. Not even colonizing other places, just expanding your fucking world. Like, why wouldn't yeah. you? What if you need space, more resources? What happens when your population gets population. too Well, they must have population rules in Wakanda. No more than one child yeah. per family or some fucking bullshit. Yeah, I, and I remember, you know, the, what, what what would you say, the sort of, like, the atmosphere when that movie came out that, like, you were not allowed to criticize. Yeah, if you go back like, to, people would... I want to say it's EFAP, like, fucking three or four, it's one of the really early ones, it opens with me talking yeah, yeah. about how I did not see it coming, that people would say I'm racist for it, and Rags is like, you're so yeah. naive. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> well, great, yeah, I think yeah. if you were, I think if you were American, you're coming. Um, <laughs> yeah, because over yeah. here you can hate movies about Wakanda without being racist. It's this whole thing. <laughs> Not in America, you can't. I didn't even hate it. I just thought it was really shit. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't hate, it, but I was just like, oh god. And so I was really, you know, because it had like something like a ninety percent of Rotten Tomatoes at the time. So I was like. Please tell me there are some people online who are willing to talk about how not good that movie is. Oh, dude, when I found out it was 100 until one person said the f there wasn't enough fights, and that's why they gave it uh, like less than 100 or whatever. I, was just I forgot like, about that. Was oh, like, that is not why the movie sucks, but everyone hated that guy. They were like, fuck you for saying yeah. what you thought. Yeah, it's crazy. This movie about black people wasn't violent enough. 
<laughs> Remember when Jeremy was called a clansman for rating it an 8? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's pretty funny. Well, he, he's totally a clansman. Unlike Tonald, of which we shall start this up. Here's a question. Why doesn't Elrond kill Isildur in Mount Doom when he refuses to destroy the One Ring? He knows if he lets him go, yeah, the fate of Middle-earth is doomed. And, and he just lets him walk out? You gotta grab that f***er and just toss him in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Elrond, hey. I mean, I... Elrond, you and Isildur went in there a moment ago. Where's Isildur? Oh, he's fine. Oh, he, he, uh, he's still in there. Yeah, as, as Just, much as you know. I think it's totally fair to have this thought. I mean, like, you do understand it would cause a major war between man and elf. Like, that probably wouldn't yeah. be worthwhile in, in the moment thinking about it from Elrond's perspective. All um, the, like, the fact that it, it's said in a quick line, but it must have been really difficult for all of the races to come together for this one goal. And all that would have been thrown away I, after the victory here. And ugh. I do love the visual, though. Elrond walks back out and he's like, Sauron is defeated. And they're like, Where's uh, where's Isildur? <laughs> Isildur is defeated. <laughs> and, and Elrond's like, he's all, he's all the way down there. They look and he starts running. He's like, hey. <laughs> like, uh, he, we can't catch him. He's an elf. He's too fast. <laughs> but yeah, you should have grabbed him like a little clown boy. I agree. Yeah. When yeah. you said, I like the visual, I thought you were about Donald because boy, do I like this visual. This is quite so, the visual, yes. It's something. I wonder if he'll address it. Yeah, I don't know. I can see they're the only two in Mount Doom. If there's questions, just say he fell. For as wise as Elrond is, he's an idiot. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, he fell, guys. Trust me, dude. Trust me. Uh. Oh shit, uh, the last time I let music play, I got fucking hit with copyright from his videos. Feels bad, man. Have to fucking turn it off. You guys have to let me know when it yeah. stops. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could. We could just chat in between the moments. Yeah. yeah. Magic and sword. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look gotta... at the ring. Oh my goodness. What would Sauron order at a restaurant? Oh my little ghouls and goblins. Welcome to episode four oh my of god. our Look at this production value. <laughs> oh wow. I know, all right. These bats are. Oh my goodness. I was show. Ducked. Special oh, Halloween uh, episode featuring oh. Sauron, the evil dark lord, from the Lord of the Rings. But guess what? We're not gonna cook Sauron dinner. Nope, we're not cooking him breakfast. Second <gasps> breakfast, 11 Z's, luncheon, afternoon tea. I think this proves that he knows his Lord of the Rings, okay? That's, yeah, I like I it. Like yep. the, I like it. I like it. Let's Supper, nope. Show. We're cooking him dessert. Today for the <laughs> Evil Dark Lord. Hey. Sauron dessert. I like that Sauron like, really values dessert over any other portion yeah. of the meal. He was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, he is the Dark Lord, mm -hmm. so. Well, there'll Guess be we cakes do. and pies. We will attempt to create a dark chocolate and black sesame Mount Doom molten lava cake with Ooh. raspberry <sighs> lava ice cream and oh shards goodness. of narsal caramel brittle to tie it all oh, together. Wow. So that actually let's does begin sound really good. Precious. Raspberry balsamic ice cream. Alrighty, so the first thing uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna make a damn good ice cream. So a custard is when you add sweetened hot cream and milk to room temperature egg yolks. First, harvest five yolks from five eggs. Give them a little bit of a stir and then set them aside. Next, heat up your cream, your milk, your vanilla sugar, which is just normal sugar infused with an empty vanilla pod, and a little bit of salt. Salt and desserts helps draw out the flavor of the sweet stuff. We're looking for a mixture that's hot, but not boiling. Don't and obviously boil. this kind of stuff, like, I'm just gonna have to take his word for it. I don't actually know if this yeah, is how you do I, it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I've already learned so much more from this than any videos I've watched so far. Get hot, <laughs> but don't boil. And look, he even has the, the, the ring language. What is it? Elvish or spooky? Oh, it's yeah, it's gotta be, right? Is it black speech? Black speech. Yeah. I can't remember. Is anyone in chat? A language no, where every word is the N word. The <laughs> G thought. Now comes the tricky bit, guys. You're going to temper the egg yolks by adding a little bit of this hot cream mixture to the eggs and then stir. Now add this mixture back to the pan that's still on the stove and keep stirring until you reach exactly 165 degrees. Why do we temper the eggs and stir like mad, guys? 
so we don't get scrambled eggs. Take it off the heat, <laughs> cool enough. it down. I mean, if that's, yeah, that, you know. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want scrambled eggs in my cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Like vinegar ice cream? You've never seen that before? That's true. The flavor. While oh, we're making this flavor here, let me go ahead and just say this Miami one thing. Um, did you guys know that Nicolas Cage was supposed to be Aragorn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about dodging a bullet, boys. We've been so much <laughs> dodging a bullet. <laughs> I would have liked to see that. Uh, Aragorn? Uh, Nicolas Cage, Aragorn? That'd be perfect. Yeah, I, uh, I feel that we need that alternate cake. You know, we need to see the uh, the movie. Uh, he's that. Tunnel that part so in the, I love him. Where he kicks a helmet because he couldn't save a Mary and Pippin. He just screams and then falls to his knees. That'd be the entire performance. I would I would pay to see it. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and music. Real fancy, you can actually reduce the balsamic vinegar in a pan by half before you add it. But that is optional. Mm. You know, I don't think he's gonna explain his costume. <laughs> I think that's just gonna go without saying, apparently. Just put the flavor with the custard, stir it up, put it in an ice cream machine, and let it go until it becomes ice cream. Congratulations, you just made it. You get to this step, cream. put it in an ice cream you machine. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys don't have the ice cream machine? You're like, oh no. Uh, everyone has an ice cream machine. Y'all don't? Uh, oh. Guys, if you make this ice cream, it will make all their store bought ice creams taste like dog poo poo. <laughs> dog poo poo. Are there dog any poo -poo. good Lord of the Rings games? No. <gasps> Where in the absolute sandwich f is the AAA Witcher style Lord of the Rings adventure <laughs> from the Shire to Mount Doom epic single player RPG? Uh, excuse me, sir. Lord of the Rings: The Third Age was a masterpiece. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah, it was a masterpiece of something. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandwich fuck. RPG. <laughs> it doesn't exist, and that is dumb. Okay, so we got the ice cream done. So now we need to work on our black sesame brittle. This is a quick step, but it's tricky. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Frightening. The Nards of Charcoal. Heat sugar and water in a pan for about 20 minutes until you have caramel. Patience, my love, and have faith that this horrible looking <laughs> mess goop will turn into soft, sexy caramel. Oh. Oh. Interesting. When you have achieved a beautiful amber brown, throw in some black sesame seeds and bring the mixture precisely to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This is known as the hard crack stage and will give us what is known hard as a crack. brittle, which we can break into whatever shape we want. Hell yeah, we just made the shards of Narsal from the Fellowship of the Ring, which Isildur used to cut the one ring from the hand of Sauron. In case people didn't know what it was, you know, you gotta know what that around. was. That's, that, this is why cool. it has particular significance. Mm -hmm. And his slow-mo shots are pretty nice Don't too. you guys love edible swords? I do. I know Sauron does, or he better. <laughs> I shall make many orcs eat my sword. We'll power them up. Did you guys know that Aragorn was supposed to fight Sauron at the end of the Return of the King? He comes flying down from the Black Gate on a huge ass dragon. Everyone's like, holy sh Sauron, we're f dead. He comes crashing <laughs> to the ground, shot away, kills like 50 people. He's like, f yeah. What's up? He looks over at Gimli, boom, just smashes him with his mace. Aragorn goes, no! <laughs> Gandalf throws a fireball. Just fade out. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Step three, let's make a bitter chocolate cookie crumble so we can have some dirt and some rocks below our Mount Doom cake. All right. Grab yourself a food processor oh, and begin by cool. pulverizing See, almonds, awesome. which will be the base for the cookie. Next, just throw in some sugar, flour, salt, and unsweetened some sugar. cocoa powder. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> now slowly drizzle in some melted butter. The texture should oh be crumbly God. and delicious. Is it oh, legal to Tony, make something like this? Why don't you just use Oreos oh, yes. and crumble them up and just save yourself the time? <laughs> well, guess what, bro? We don't take shortcuts on this show. Oh, oh shut the fuck up, Oreo simp. BPFO. Those Oreo elitists out there get uh. fucked.
<laughs> we make everything by scratch because that's the right thing to do, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Could you imagine how much worse this would be if it was Oreos? Jesus. Yeah, I can't I can already imagine. taste the cheap. Exactly. It's just the right thing to do, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the music to stop. <laughs> Just make a black oh, right, sesame then. paste by blitzing black sesame seeds with honey until you get an ooey gooey puree. Ooey gooey. gooey All gooey. right. All right. Next, we need to get two egg yolks and oh. two eggs into a bowl with some vanilla sugar and get the old. Do you think he like put the camera and then and then draw try to balance the bowl on it and was like, oh, oh fuck, yeah. like hopefully I mean, this works. I mean, the cinematography is actually quite impressive. Yeah, I like a lot of it. I feel like he's watched a lot of uh, cooking programs to know what kind of shots oh, people yeah. people like. Egg beaters out yeah, and mix this on them. high for five minutes. No more music. I'm actually very curious to see how this will look. Whip eggs? It creates a natural rising agent because the whipping motion creates little air bubbles in the egg protein that make it rise when heat mm. is applied. This allows you to bake a cake without another rising agent like baking powder. Next, we need to concoct the chocolate component by heating dark chocolate and butter over a bain marie. Fancy name for a glass bowl sitting on top of a <laughs> pot of <laughs> <laughs> Add some espresso to this mixture, which will really bring out the I, wanna, I love the idea that it's like, fancy name for a bowl and a fucking thing, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor of the chocolate. Oh boy. Going all out for Sauron. I, I was gonna yeah, say you better. gotta you really gotta pull it out for him. Working very quickly, fold this mixture into the egg mixture in small batches. Remember what I just said about the egg whites? This is why people fold ingredients into whipped eggs, so that they don't knock out all the air. Oh. Interesting. It's actually really smart. Let's see. Add two tablespoons of flour when this is finished to bring the cake together. Sauron is getting the cake. It's amazing. You really shouldn't have tunnels. It's, it's kind of funny, like, if Tone was working in Mordor's, like, kitchens, he'd be, he'd be so out of place, but he'd be like, well... Like, no, fall, don't mint! <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, like, kind of like that gourmet mission in Skyrim. All those, all that work the cats do in Monster Hunter. Like this. They take their work very seriously. There's our gravel. Okay. All right. Sacred Mount Doom leaf. I'm waiting for him to pour that mixture to really simulate. Oh, I guess that would make sense. Oh. That looks pretty good. I mean, I'd eat it. Lord of the Rings is my favorite <laughs> fantasy trilogy of all time. And watching it again to prepare for this video was an absolute treat. Without a shadow of a doubt, The Fellowship of the Ring is my favorite Lord of the Rings movie by far. It's my favorite too. That's my favorite too. Damn. What about you guys? I, I, I like Return of the King just because of, you know, the conclusion of everything, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's either I, that I, or I, Fellowship of the Ring movies. Yeah, I like the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, nobody, uh, like, well, I don't say nobody. Not many people choose Two Towers, uh, which is funny. Which isn't I used to say to. it's bad, because it's just, it's all middle. <laughs> <laughs> Mihai Csikszent Mihai would choose it. Doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the second... Uh, the episode effect the, the, the uh, Empire Strikes Back does. They're not the same effects. Fellowship of the Ring is by far my favorite of the Out of the Lord, Lord of the Rings trilogy. 
The two tone olds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the two. T I choose two towers. We got some two tower choosers in uh, in chat. And they're welcome to that opinion. Absolutely, it's wrong, but it's fine. Yeah. They will not be heard. <laughs> I mean, they're all really good. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're all racist and stuff. Honestly, I I often consider them all like the same long movie in a way. You know, they're all made at the same time. Like, yeah, kind of. They're all made by the same people. Characters, the adventure, the actors and the performers, the music, just the way the movie was shot with the miniatures. It's just fantasy perfection. Just a shame what happened to The Hobbit. I mean, what the f were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it is true, there's no point there. I don't know what they decided to do with The Hobbit, what they were doing with that. Yeah. It's, like, it's part cooking video, part movie review. <laughs> I love it. I didn't know I what like the, the hell Hobbit. I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the Hobbits the movies didn't do quite as well. A lot of people still like the Hobbit movies. Yeah, I think there's definitely stuff to like, but... The book is mm. awesome. The, the live-action movies, I don't know where they were going with it, but uh, I guess you can like it. I guess, I guess they'll, they, they solve a, a need for a Hobbit movie, uh, but if you want a, Hobbit, a good Hobbit movie, I would always choose the, uh, the cartoon version. That's what I've heard, yeah. Apparently the cartoon was yeah. a bit stronger. Though, of course, uh, a lot of people tend to agree. Oh, uh, fuck, what's his name? The one who plays Bilbo. He did a pretty good job throughout the Hobbit trilogy. Um, fuck, why am I blanking on his name? Martin Freeman? That's the one. Uh, Gordon he, Freeman? Like, he's, they consider him quite a good casting for Bilbo, and he's quite endearing throughout. Um, yeah, I can see that. And someone he's in chat good. said the Hobbit got me laid, so, you know, you can't ignore these sorts of things character or the... it doesn't have no redeeming value got him laid it's... um yeah i like two towers the most because of christopher lee that is a fair reason that is a fair he's yeah, fucking fair great enough, in yeah. it he was in fellowship hey guys, though he was too thanks for watching this one was so fun very challenging but i think what we made today was not only delicious but it really does tie back to the theme of Sauron and the Lord of the Rings. Have yourself a fun, spooky Halloween, and I'll catch you guys in our next video. Peace, love, and happiness. Until then, I'll see you later. Not gonna lie. Bye, bye Todd. Um, dresses are pretty comfortable. <laughs> uh, hey, he mentioned it. Get your ass. GL, as the kids say. Not going to lie. No, your cutlery. <laughs> Will him. So you can imagine that that's how Sauron felt when consuming. Man, this is just, it's like <laughs> literally a whole, this is the mirror universe tonal with, with <laughs> this and what we got originally when we've covered him first. Absolutely, yeah. I I really like these videos. They're cool. And I, I save them yeah. specifically for EFAP now. Like, uh, that was great. And I really I wish was, he'd get the more. The one criticism um, I was going to make is that we didn't see him try it, but he kind of did that at the end. You know, I would want him to like make that a more prominent part of him, like eating it in the you end. But it otherwise, that's pretty great. How it felt to to consume. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe if he has like a girlfriend or a friend or something like that, he can have them try it too. You know, get their reaction. He has many girlfriends. Did you guys watch the Princess Zelda one? Wait a minute, the one that I missed. In which case, we will have more to watch in future. Oh, there is one. Yeah, there's one for Zelda. Well, in the future, we will check it out. Because, I mean, it's, it's you know, you don't want to just throw them all out, right? Like, you want to keep some. Oh, yeah, you don't want to waste it. Yeah. You want to save you it. You don't want to binge them all at once. And, uh, yeah. Five hours, and now I suppose we will, fi we will get to, to Super Chats. Um, Though, of course, if uh, if Jamie or Satan would like to depart for any <laughs> reason they have preference for, uh, you you may do so now. You are now allowed to go. You are if allowed you wish. for your free. I can leave. Oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> We're now allowed to leave. Awesome. I'll stick around. I'm just gonna use the link quick. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm gonna head off. But thanks for inviting me. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, so Satan. It was nice to meet you. I've heard a lot of bad things about you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you turned out to be pretty great. And you know, fun guess. Yeah. You know, just a uh, few contracts go bad. You know, you get a bad, bad reputation, but you know. You Don't believe everything print. you hear about Satan, everyone. Uh, yeah. Uh, but thanks for having me on. Uh, 
if if um if anyone is interested, I have a YouTube channel. I think the link is in the description, I believe. And, and every week in the morning, I have a little show. I have a little show called Moy Nonsense. If you want to check that out, uh, usually we have a lot of fun on there. And if anyone else is also interested, I have a comic book that is still in demand on Indiegogo called Dr. Alpha Miracle Child. And I'm going to be releasing a new gift for all the backers who purchase his physical copy. So, uh, thanks for having me on, Mahler. No problem. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful Nice. Hope you have, have fun you. reading all the super chats. Yeah, oh, we will yeah. have fun. Yeah. <laughs> fun times. All around. See you around, well, dude. Good night, everyone. Good night. Satan's not that bad of a guy. I'm just saying. I know it's a it's controversial right, yeah. take, but I don't care. I will say what others are too afraid to say. <laughs> um. So yeah, I suppose uh, we will jump right in. And Medium D Speaks could jump back into this call at any point. Who knows? Uh, do, do, do. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. You know how peeing is. Uh, all righty. All right, gaming. Who's this? Crank on this. There we go. So the first one says first. Don't really know what to make of that. Some kind of weird language. Hmm. Black speech. Yeah. Uh, praise be the proper, and then they've got the, the table type emoji for, um, good old, uh, Gene. I think that war will be raging on further than we could ever imagine. And the gaming episode coming up on Moolah, for that, will be a little bit of time, because we're still trying to get Little Hope to escape copyright. It's, it's down to like 10 days now. So, we're getting there. Uh, Rags poops with the door open. Oof. Hmm. It's That's not true up. at all. It's kind of fucked up that someone would just say that. Free speech casually. has its limits, all right. Yeah. Uh, D's orc is here for quality rat. Well, I mean, the orc must have appreciated the um, the the cooking for Sarah. It's a quality rat stream. Yeah. All right. So people who are listening just to the sound of this probably already know what game I'm booting up. Did you ever play Star Wars: The Clone Wars on GameCube ranks? I played on the OG Xbox. I think yeah, I think it was on that. I think I it's know. the same one, right? A fucking mute music volume. Yeah, that's good. Ah, no. Fucking stupid ass uh, bounty hunter got me in so much trouble because of its soundtrack. You can't just stream games anymore. They're taking our rights away. Okay, there kind we go. Of fucking bullshit. And this one's thanks, kind of... Nintendo. Yeah. I, I knew I'd get some thank yous in chat. I knew that would happen. People want to see this game played. If I end up, like, saying it's shit, by the way, you know, you this is your fault. Even though I played this a whole bunch when I was younger. Um, hey, Rags, Padawan, Jedi Knight, or Jedi Master difficulty? What do you reckon? I don't know. If you're just trying to get through it, you might as well go through on its normal difficulty. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I don't want to fuck this up, you know. Oh, I might even have to take it off screen every once in a while because it's got Star Wars footage in it. Possibly. What's Star Wars music too? Shit. D no, no, no. This is the Star Wars theme. Fuck. Why do I? No. Uh, you know what? Boobity oh, thank bop. God you can Boobity pause boop. emulation. Okay, Hibbly mix it uh, See the problems that come with all this? Ridiculous. All right. No, there you go. Muted. Thank the goodness. And this isn't. Yeah, this isn't movie. This is Star Wars. Okay. Oh sweet, and you have to listen to while I'm deer hunting. Hmm. Hey. Have fun. Hey. I don't know of any people who listen to Eve while deer hunting. That's interesting. Go get them deer. Yeah, I hope I hope you I hope yeah, you show are them victorious. they shouldn't fuck with you. But remember, don't be sadistic about it. We had a whole thing yeah. about that today. Nice, quick, clean kill. If it's an outlet for your rage, that's fine. But if it's an outlet for sadism, <laughs> I, don't know, I feel like ninety nine point nine percent of it is just sitting around. Mm hmm. Chilling. Talking to your son about hunting. That's what they do, right? We humans are ambush predators. With rifles from distance. Hello, all my N-words. I can't watch all day because of work, but I might be able to jump in at the end again. Love you guys. Also, hi, Wags. Oh, hey! And yeah, you know, whenever you can, whenever you wanna, go for it. Thoughts on Mando Season 2? We've not seen it Haven't yet. Haven't started it yet. But we will be we were very soon. the other day, but... 
Um, something happened. So some something went wrong. Being something my something, something happened. I will blame my alarm clock. All right. That's. I was gonna name names, but you know now <laughs> I guess is that uh, we got the green light to dogpile on. No. You? Have mercy on my soul. Luminara, we've got uh, but yeah, we're definitely gonna um, check it out time. soon. I'll Might even do some EFAP minis. Who knows? Heard, heard different things from different people, you know. Rags, you're working on Amanda season one video, right? You bet I am. The whole season one, a review in depth. It's nice. coming along really. I'm really proud of it so far. I think it's coming along really nice. Wow, Vane. You oh, can't yeah, say I'm nice excited. things about your own work. I am Darth Vane. Oh my god. <laughs> the cum lord. Oh. Ooh, woo. But yeah, guys, you saw what we did to The Boys Season 2. You will get the content you want eventually, okay? Just hang in there. You think we won't have things to say about Vanda Season 2 after what we did to Season 1? It's like, <laughs> oh, Did you think that coming. Season 2 would magically become better? I mean, it could magically become better. But it is possible. It's possible. It's not logically. I've seen people say it's better than Season 1, you know? It's, yeah. Apparently that's a thing. So, tell uh, yeah, yeah. excited. Fans. I guess we'll see, but I don't know. Mm. I definitely have my concerns. I am. Uh, let's just say I'm skeptical. Also, <laughs> let me know if game is too loud or too quiet. You know these things happen. It's hard to control. Um, gotta love. There's more world building in episode four than the entire sequel trilogy. Oh. Is world building in Mando now? That's neat. Yeah, I would say there's more world building in the first episode of Mando season one than like all of the sequel trilogy. Unfortunately, it's not necessarily good world building. Yeah. Obviously, but the sequel trilogy hates world building. Yeah, the sequel trilogy has a, a world building allergy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is, you know, it can, it can it can do some real real damage unless, of course, you don't give a shit about world building. Which apparently means that's you know at that point it's fine. Not confusing or anything. There's so many bad guys. How many missiles do I have? Uh, rags. In canine soccer slash hockey, do they have a bitch league or is that still not PC? Also, hi, Rags. <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, we definitely segregate the genders. Um, yeah. We want to keep things fair, balanced. You know how they can be. Mm -hmm. You know, they vicious. Fucking crazy people, you know, just being like, nah. Will not accept that label. Also, wait, which way are we going? This way? What about if there's something secret Mace, over there? there are some supplies nearby. Um, we can use them to yo, mama's an EFAP. Uh, fair enough. Hi, Wumbo on wheels. Hello. Please kick J. Done. Sincerely, a very hungry bandicoot. Hmm. Whoa, P.S. Hi, Rags. Or oh, Wags. Oh, hi. Do, do, do. For episode 111, you should have me on because I have three eyes in my name. I don't know if that's how we do it, but uh, it shall be kept in mind. The uh... Oh, there's three eyes in capital O opinions. Mm. Got him. But is there three eyes in Jamie? No. Mm, you got me there. There's like only two. Because an A is technically an I if you like change it completely. Yeah, well, by that logic, by that logic, <laughs> there are million eyes in Jamie. It's a really good piece of logic to use. I would, I would recommend it if ever you want to just say anything. All right, I'll keep that in my back yeah. pocket for later. A lot of people think it's bullshit. I think otherwise. Also, I'm playing as Mace Windu, and my partner is Luminara. Do you, do you know these characters, Rags? Luminara? No. Uh -huh. He's one of the Jedi. Shows what you know about Star Wars. Well, I hope all right at the end of things. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's one of the many survivors of Order 66, much like Mace Windu. Oh. Except for the whole falling out of a building thing. Everyone gets hung up on that, and it's like, oh, as if Mace Windu couldn't have survived. Yeah. He obviously forced saved himself. Force parachute. One of the powers you have to learn is force save yourself. It's very useful. I'm pretty sure. Very multi-purpose. He said he was on board with that, by the way, like coming back. And you'd think Disney would have used the shit out of that. Yeah, I mean they clearly have no fucking. I mean they brought back Darth Maul. Palpatine. <laughs> Why not bring back Mace Windu? 
old grizzled Mace Windu who fucking just can't be asked anymore, you know? Like these stupid. Yeah, for this shit. And then he like bitch slaps Ray. He's like, you don't even know what the fuck Mace, you're doing. We don't oh. have much time. Favorite scene already. He just calls her motherfucker over and over again. <laughs> and she's like, how could I even have fucked my mother? I didn't even know my mother. Like, your mother was my daughter. This is Hands weird. Out. I mean, fuck it, let's throw some reveals in. Mace Windu was Palpatine the whole time. You know, why not? Or maybe, oh, maybe it was the, was it the son or the um, daughter of Palpatine that was the, you know? Oh, I don't remember. It's it's in a law book somewhere. Anyone have the law book? <laughs> I don't think in the movie they specify that, which you think would be like a deal. Yeah, you'd think that that would be major. Like, oh shit, which one? Because if it was a girl, that's lame. But if it was a guy, oh cool. That's how it works, right? Also, my super blasters run out just before I get to this area with lots of evils. Your super blasters, holy shit. Yeah, are you jealous? You have super ja Jastas? That was a weird. Oh no, my shields are running out. Uh oh. This is just not coming up Millhouse. Um. Boy, Morley, I recently got my wisdom teeth removed a few days ago, and while under nitrous oxide, I got to critique the surgeon's made up stories. Fun. You. What? <laughs> so, so, like. They were talking and you were criticizing them, or. Or you... What is, what, does nitrous oxide knock you out? I thought it just calms you down. It might knock you out. Was he just babbling? And they will, they told him what he said after it? Like, oh, by the way, you were, like, shitting on us for our story? <laughs> Dentists do not appreciate that, okay. Um, yeah, I hope you had fun. Hey, Mubshly, how art thou? Uh, I am good, though. I spend most of my days just doing the workitisms. And uh, chilling with friend loonies, watching different things, ready for EFAP movies, and 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 and, and uh, spending some nice time with different family and friends. You know, everything's pretty normal right now, despite all of the lockdown tisms. Uh, What's the next uh, video you're working on for the boys season two? Kind of planning uh -huh. on tearing it to shreds. Still in script form for that. Uh, lots of gotcha. like structural issues with the script in terms of how to deliver the criticism, but uh, getting there. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. anyways, thoughts on shit-eating Grinpaw and the take that Spider-Man 2 is not is not good as well as quality isn't objective? Um, it's gonna be a semantics thing probably with Southpaw. I don't, like, I really don't care whether or not someone agrees with that part. I care if they think that, um, consistency is important in something and then not in something else. That's frustrating as hell. Uh, so if you're gonna judge, for example, TLJ, for all of the flaws that people typically judge it by, and at the same time be like, it doesn't matter if these are present in things that I love, then is going to be an issue. Whether or not you agree about um, being objective about stories and how they're constructed means you have to care about uh, continuity and cause and effect. That's always down to uh, individuals. However, about Spider-Man 2, I've seen a lot of his arguments and they do seem pretty strong. Uh, yep. Can't say that like, I'm in the position that he's absolutely wrong or anything. I, I fucking agree with a lot of the stuff he sent me. And it's just stuff that I hadn't really thought about that much. Uh, for example, one of my favorite ones that... I don't know if we, we ever brought up before, Rags, but... Do you remember Dr. Octopus uh, is told by Harry to go and tell Peter to get Spider-Man? Because that's the only way that he has access to him. They know that Peter takes photos of him, so they'll like, Oh, he's friends with Spider-Man. We'll get him to... Uh, uh, get Spider-Man to walk Doc Ock, because he wants to capture him for Harry. I know that, although it's hard to follow what I just said, the point is, Doc Ock wants to get to Peter to tell him to get him Spider-Man. And the scene opens of that happening with, with Peter talking to MJ, and fucking Doc Ock throws a car at Peter. And, like, they narrowly avoid it because of his spider sense. And, uh, then Doc Ock grabs him by, like, the throat, and he's like, Spider-Man, tell him to meet me at blah 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 blah. And then he throws him into a fucking wall, and it like, breaks apart, and then a whole bunch of shit from the ceiling crushes Peter. It's like, you watch it, and you're like, did Doc intend for him to survive this? <laughs> it just seems like he's trying to kill him over and over again. Uh, 
And you sort of, you watch it and you're like, wow, Doc's either an idiot or uh, he didn't care whether Peter lived. I don't know. So, um, that's like one, and there's just a lot of things in those in those movies that I hadn't uh, thought through, I guess. Also, this part is extremely clunky, holy shit. <laughs> Mace, keep your distance okay. from those droids. They're self Doc is brilliant, but lazy. Deadly. Yeah, there's, there's, that's what I mean. There's a couple things that have been brought to my attention where I'm like, huh. That isn't quite as solid as I remember it being. And that happens, everyone. It's totally cool. You could have a movie where you watch it and you're like, that's amazing, even for like a decade, or specifically 12 years. Especially and... if it came out that long ago when you were younger. Yeah. So it goes. Oh no, I've killed myself. Maybe. Anyone that happens. <laughs> yeah, the health. 25% health? Boo. I'll be back in just a second. Mm -hmm. Drink. Drink. Uh, Unlikely story. I know. Get Rikita Meteor on. He said he'd love to come on. It's in the pipeline. There's a couple actually who are in the pipeline. And of course, we had two new guys today. So, uh, don't hey. worry. New people on the rise all the time. And, uh, Rikita Law, yeah, uh, I mean, if he's on board and we're on board, we'll probably find something. Uh, again, I'm trying to throw a lightsaber from behind cover and it is not working. <laughs> no? Okay. What is going on back there? See all those... All the bug people, they're sort of just chilling. I don't want to go out <laughs> there, I've got low power. Can I use force? Oh, I can. Okay. Um, behind, but I'm glad you didn't miss doing something Lord of the rings -y for... Or Lord of the Rings related for 111 from the title. Also, Jay was there. He's probably gone now, though. Hi, Rags. Wait, what am I missing? Why is 111 connected to Lord of the Rings? I can't think of it. Chat, why is 111 related to Lord of the Rings? Tell us. Fill us in. Help us out. The One Ring? I mean, that's not very uh, <laughs> specific. Um, Bilbo's 111th ah. birthday. There you go. Yep, that was all intentional. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Um. <laughs> Thank oh you, my chat. goodness, using force push just kills all of them. That's great. Bonus objective complete. What was my bonus objective? Destroy at least 100 enemies. Oh, okay. I'm so good at this game. I got the bonus objective without even realizing it. Bet you're jealous. I'm very jealous. Okay. Dude, the way that Mace Windu backs away looks so funny. He's just like... <laughs> 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 Oh, the controls are so fucking awkward. Can I jump? How old is this game? 2000... I want to say 2002. Oh my god, I can strafe as a person. Oh, this looks so strange. <laughs> 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 they hadn't quite figured out controls yet, guys. Shut up. <laughs> oh, there's a little R5 unit. Okay. Oh gosh, these bugs are going to fuck me up. Throw the thing. Oof. I wish I could regen health. Alas, no luck. Uh, do, do, do. Dunky is a genetically failed clone of Diabito. I think you'd want to be a failed clone of Diabito, right? Yeah, you don't want to be an un a successful clone of Diabito. <laughs> oh, fuck. No maze window. Oh, I died. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mission failed. Uh, wow, but it's Gene. Not entirely sure. Oh, I think that's just more opinions on whether or not Gene is a table. Because the next one says definitely a table. Uh, yeah, Wa was the uh, apparently the Japanese character that the uh, seven-looking symbol represents. Ah. Uh, Supposedly. It's funny that the Paramount decrees have been struck down right when Disney isn't financially able to take advantage of it. Is that true? What are the Paramount decrees? I'm guessing they relate to Paramount Studios in relation to like IPs that Disney could probably swallow up. I don't know. Ah. Yeah, I don't know the specifics, but um, Disney is in some trouble right now, right? In terms of just figuring the out. The Paramount decrees was a landmark United States. Supreme Court antitrust case that decided the fate of film studios owning their own theaters and 
exclusivity rights on which theaters would show their movies. Oh. Interesting. Mace, keep your distance from the well, droids. yeah. The uh, mechanism is dead. Not the greatest time to be able to take advantage of that for Disney, I suppose. A safe distance. So the Paramount decrees were designed to order studios to get rid of their ownership of theaters so that the studios weren't allowed to own their own theater. So apparently those have been lifted. So we're expecting Disney theaters anytime now? I, I guess. I don't know enough about it. So cool I have forced blow up as a move. <laughs> Fuck you! I bet Ray would learn that. In an time. instant, yeah. One more movie. Uh, chat, stop being stupid. It's obvious that Table is the proper gene, and any other belief is a lie, and you'll be marked as a follower of Hereticus. Oh my god. Follower of Hereticus? Like, I wouldn't... That's not something I would want, you know? Fucking... These guys are hurt. <laughs> Run, Mace. Guys, you didn't say this game was so hard. Oh shit, there's like... It hurts you if you blow them up. I should have thought of that. Um... Miles Morales is technically its own game, but it has about as much content as the DLC for the original. Yep. Check out White Light's most recent video. He makes reference to Mauler, jokingly of course, around the 10 minute mark. He's also an excellent creator. Uh, well, hopefully there's no, like, super animosity there, and he might be able to pop on EFAP sometime. Talk about video games? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I can appreciate a long joke of any kind. Fucking stuck on the tutorial mission for being a human in this game. <laughs> I suppose we can all say that about life, right? We're stuck on the tutorial mission for being human. I'm sure Isn't it means something to somebody. Is that where you're, st you're stuck on the tutorial? I feel like that's what school is. I don't know if this is, this is the tutorial. It's just the first mission, and I often associate whatever the first mission is with the tutorial. It's just, fuck me, is it clunky. I mean, look at how awkwardly I move. <laughs> it's just like, oh, what are you doing, clunky? Uh, it's too clunky, you see. Clunky. <laughs> Hi, Rags. Hey! You are the bestest of boys. Mola's okay, no, I guess. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's fine. I'm he's okay. alright. I I'm keep cool him around, you know. I am okay he, with being okay. He serves his purposes. The running animation in the game is great. <laughs> Dude, the way he throws the lightsaber too. Just like, very serious about it, you know. <laughs> I've lost so much health this time. Much worse than last time. There's no way I'm doing it. Oh my god. Maybe we should stop using the force to blow shit up. Yeah, because lightsabers do it well enough. Alright. <laughs> Block it, Mace. Okay, that was a bad idea. I got too close. My bad. Mace. Ah. Um, still working through the backlog of EFAP. Just hit 50 part 2. Keep it up. Hmm. Man, that was a long time ago. Mace, the power generator should be close. Destroy oh, fucking... I'm so overload. dead. Can I just walk past all these enemies? What are you doing? Because I can't if I keep taking damage. Okay. <laughs> Run, Mace. Run! <laughs> Sound spunks a lot. Is it actually working? Don't come and kill me, evil spooders. Well, they're not spooders. They're really creepy. They go on walls. Yeah, it was so a portrait. Yeah, well, I mean, picture frames. Those go on walls. Those aren't scary. I didn't. Well, I guess it's the the point of them being a particular thing that go on walls, rather than a painting. Because like, I think paintings. It's on the floor are creepier than when they're on the walls, you know? Tripping hazard. You yeah, be yeah. More afraid of them. And yeah. if you're living alone and there's like no wind or anything, you're like, oh my goodness, did someone do this? The last anti -orbital cannon is housed in that like a spooky ghost that wants your teeth? That's relevant. <laughs> the tooth fairy, you mean? No, a spooky ghost that wants your teeth is very different from that. Oh, how do we know that the tooth fairy is not a ghost? Because she's a real person, you can meet her in real life. She has a little Tooth Fairy HQ. All right, you didn't all right. know this? Oh, God. No. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Santa's the North Pole, she's the South Pole. Next <laughs> next thing you're going to tell me, Santa is a... Mace, 
Keep your distance Santa, from of course Santa's a ghost. How do you think he does all the shit he does? Mechanism is deadly. <laughs> Try throwing Fucking lights Santa's a legend though. Distance. Like he does he so much to, more uh, than the Tooth Fairy does. Santa he likes, bro. He likes to appear in the background while you're sleeping. Just yeah, crouch yeah. over top of you. <laughs> Which is normal. Stop implying it's not. <laughs> uh, hmm. do, do, do. Rag, Google Triumph of the Will and read the cast names. I recommend it for EFAP movies, lol. Triumph of the Will? And then recommend, yeah, read the cast names? Uh, that's a uh, Nazi propaganda film. Pretty famous one. Let's see, they, all right. Are they funny names? Wait, here, I'll, I'll let you start, okay. Adolf Hitler? Oh. Yeah. Joseph Goebbels? Yay. Rudolf Hess? Yay. Hermann Goering? Yay. Uh... <laughs> Richard Walter Dara. Yay. Hans Frank. Maybe. Yay. Uh, Heinrich Himmler. Yay. Uh, definitely. Oh, yay. yeah. So Otto Dietrich. Yeah. Some of these are. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I killed all the big machines. Now I win. Hans Zola. Was that his, What was his name in Winter Soldier? Something Zola, right? Hans, was it, was right? It Hans? He was Hans Zola. Friedrich Zola. Hello? Friedrich Zola. Oh, hello. Oh, Hold on. Hello, Big D. Oh, Jesus. Well, He's medium, medium D. Oh, shit. He medium have, D. He, he does sucks. not have the rag. Hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? Uh, we are in Super, Super Chats, Chats now, while also oh, playing nice. the Clone Wars on GameCube. We're in Super Chutes. Nice. Uh, Chewed him. I think I just need to destroy these two and I win. Oh, did I do it? Oh, they all look... Oh, dude, the enemies just look sad. When I destroyed all of them, they just stared at it like, oh no. Like, Someone the... said, I think it was supposed to be a non-Force-sensitive Palpatine clone that was Rey's father. What? I have so many questions. What? <laughs> <laughs> that raises more questions than it answers. How did they do that? Was that like a little setting on the cloning machine? Like you can make them... Force-sensitive, yes or no? Yeah. Oh, did I finish the mission? That was it? Okay. I am victorious. Um, I'm Rags. All these are mini compared to Rags. Hell yeah. I've got power readings Miles Morales is great. Demon Souls power remake is game of the year though. It's unbelievably good. Probably my second favorite Soulsborne game, online. first being Bloodborne. Whoa. Keep it loose. Split their line of fire. Well, I look forward to checking it out someday when PS5s aren't around. as rare as fucking. I don't know what's rare. Uh, Thirty. Vibranium. Vibra rare as vibranium. There you go. Uh, here thou zet. Our I'm fine with Joel in The Last of Us M2. Expect the death scene. All right. I sorry. I had to like set up my headphone again. Dude, you guys get like crazy super chats. That's awesome. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, some of these questions are really thought provoking. <laughs> no, bro, I'm talking about the amount There's a lot of, of money. IRAGs is there. A lot of audience engagement. It's really I great. Thought, I thought it's you were all talking about the amount of, 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 of individual dollars, like the amount of support oh, yeah, that people show for yeah, you is that great. That helps too. All the all the, the fucking piles of dosh that just dream on in yeah they're, they're all right Yo, say, okay. Jack, they're, they're all right they they they, they they're all right no they're i fuck right. with them okay yeah. so there's a guy in chat uh Bullshit. that keeps like anytime i say something like throughout the entirety of the day has been like i have a medium d2 it talks to ghosts and like okay we get it like medium is also a term for a person who talks to ghosts it's not fucking funny. Stop repeating it. Wow, what if he know. thinks it's funny? No, maybe. No, he's talking about the new hilarious black comedy, Medea. Mm -hmm. Medea talks to ghosts. Medea? No, it's straight up medium. No, I missed that. Me, if you had. So is oh, no, Medea plural? Talking about Medea. No, Medea is. While Medea's personality and power is such that you can often confuse there her. There would be many a plurality. People. Yeah, yeah, but she's really just one entity. Mm hmm. Also known as a Meg entity. After after her last summer blockbuster, Medea commits a hate crime. She really had to <laughs> come back with something strong, and I think that Medea talks to ghosts is an excellent way to, to get re that going. Reconnect with your audience, yeah. The haunting of yeah. Medea House. Uh, Medea visits the 9/11 memorial. <laughs> Medea reads statistics about uh, a certain type of crime. 
Medea's Amazing Auschwitz Adventure. Yeah. I think we could workshop that title a bit, but I think there's something it's there. It's medium D6 inches. I mean, like, that, that sort of that's, gives away the, the magic to give it an exact measurement, you know? Yeah, medium in reference to what? What's the, what's the relativity here? Well, exactly. Like, it should use your imagination. It's That's the magic. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, where, where, where does rags come from? That's what I want to know. Because you oh, do rag I... on people? Me? Yeah. No, that's not what I'm known for. No. They're like rags to riches. Like, I came up through nothing. Like, capitalism, the American dream. No, I was born into a, a decently well-off middle-class family. That's pretty lit. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I mean, but like you can you can definitely come from like middle class, which is is certainly shrinking, to upper middle class, and that's still like a pretty big deal. Yeah, but that's not rags. No. I mean, what is it? I would say it is like because more Ethop is becoming middle class. Essentially, the highest class right now is Ethop. If you've made it to EFAP, you are ascended. Oh, I'm doing an escort mission. Those are always really fun. <laughs> um, so, if I was to read this one again, I will I will just read it out and see, see if I can make sense of it. Here thou set our I'm fine with Joel in The Last of Us M2. Expect the death scene. I think that means, here's how I'm fine with Joel in The Last of Us 2 except the death scene? Is that, is that... Translation is half the fun, as they say. Yeah, um, it makes sense to me how Joel is simping for Ellie, because in real life they are so, there are so many fathers who behave like that. My problem is with really? Ellie in The Last of Us 1, she understood that Joel didn't want to go with her because his trauma, and she sympathized with him and told him... I'm not Sarah, but in The Last of Us 2 she's acting like she doesn't know why Joel saved her and she doesn't care for his previous trauma. In this game, she's very different. At least Joel yeah, they makes sort sense. Yeah, forgot about their last game. I would still hmm. argue it doesn't make sense that Joel didn't work well, as hard to explain himself. So, um, I, I would just, I, I sort of do agree with you, but just to play devil's advocate, this isn't like, this is an original idea of mine, but I wouldn't say I hold this belief. Do not steal. Uh, what? I, no, I'm brown, I steal. Um, can you build doors? No, don't you know that? We, we went over... <laughs> we didn't say that on stream, that joke didn't make sense. Oh, yeah, I don't remember right. whether that was live or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, what if Ellie is uh, repressing the trauma of the, like, stuff that happened then in the, in the first game? Just playing devil's advocate, like, what if... Sorry, what if what? What if Ellie is like repressing uh, the memories from Last of Us One to cope with the loss of Joel, I'd and say you're thus need to show like that? has developed these feelings as a defense mechanism? Like you'd need references for that. Like you, it would have to be in the game, right? You can't just like we don't usually argue that a character is acting inconsistent because they have a mental, uh, let's say, position that. Would would in, it would make that happen? For example, I I wouldn't say that uh, Luke in TLJ makes sense because he has dementia. <laughs> like we, we need reference to that instead of it. Like it seems as though she she's more than uh, aware of everything that happened in the previous game. Like it's not something she's repressing or anything. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I hold that. I I wouldn't like defend that person. Just, like to play devil's advocate. What if someone said that? Well, that's yeah, what I yeah. would say. Cool. Uh, Margot Robbie on her Pirates reboot. Lots of girl power. We're really really excited at the prospect of adding obviously a very key female element to that world. The writer is from Birds of Prey. Oh yeah, sure. pirates loved women. Oh yeah, big um, fans. That's so weird. Last night, I like marathoned all the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, video essays I could find. Why? <laughs> I I was just I found one from this tiny ass channel with like 400 subscribers. It was really really good, and I was just like, damn, Pirates of the Caribbean's good. And I just watched Which a shit one? ton of video essays. This one's really good, yeah. <laughs> 
He was uh, about the second and third one. Dude, the CGI holds up so fucking well. Yeah, they worked hard the on um, good. the fish people. Well, yeah, I guess it depends on what CGI you're talking about. The Kraken looks pretty neat, too. The Kraken? That Kraken. Yeah, I really like the Kraken's final battle when he took it out. Yeah, it was really cool how he's just a corpse. Oh my god, it's laser droids. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for the female Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. That's, like, wow. Just... Wait, so that's what that is? Yep, that's happening. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure why they think that's the way to go, but hey. Hold on. Girls get it done. Yeah, girls do get uh, it done. <laughs> so, th she's not just playing, like, uh, Elizabeth Swan. No, no, we're, we're getting Pirates of the Caribbean again, but this time, women. That because if you're telling a weird. story, that should be your priority, you know, whether or not it's men or women. Oh, yeah. And and also minorities, whether or not it's it's race or other race. Well, yeah, that's going to be it's a problem. A if, if it's mainly just white women, I am going to be complaining. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, female Jack Sparrow, female Will Turner, um, male I don't know if they're going to be nightly? doing that yeah. rather than just all new characters that are all just... Focus on women, I yeah, guess. Yeah. If half the crew isn't trans, then I'm gonna boycott. It's gonna be so funny if they did that, <laughs> though. Well, like, all female and obviously, like, like yeah, Jane they're... Sparrow or something. People will be yes, like, Yes, that's oh. pronoun, is their ship. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, to, to go against gender norms and patriarchy, the ship is referred to as, as they. They go out on the high seas and get raped. <laughs> oh my I mean, god. That's, you know, it no, depends on what age rate they're going for, you know? Depends how accurate they want to be to real pirates. Hey, you want a pirate movie about women? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get it. <laughs> You're going to get it. <laughs> You're going to get it. How, oh, oh, shit. Why? You think, you think pirates, like, really raped that much? Or, like, no, probably because they're... they didn't have the opportunity often. Yeah, they were into men, like, on ships. Yeah. Vikings. They probably paid for prostitutes. Oh, yeah, like when, yeah. Really, right. like... The, Fucking nasty ass whores. I think men are. Well, oh, well, I mean, it's. Because what pirates fucking... really did was just, like, you know, attack other ships out at sea. There weren't, like, a. Ton no, they of, didn't. Uh, they were yeah. fun people who drank There's and would sing SS songs and go on adventures. They're like, yes, it's our lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, like, why I would argue that. I, I have no idea. I have no way to back this up. But I would so imagine. Argue with them. Well. I think I have a, a point for it, but yeah, I don't have a source go ahead, for it, but go ahead, whatever. That's a weird thing, all, all female pirates. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's going to be a weird thing, and we'll have to see how it does. Oh, I blew that up, sweet. No. Um, oh, it spawns infinite enemies if I don't, too, so that's just lots of pluses. Uh, kick rags and high J. What is this? Explain yourself. The mirror universe super chat. Yeah. Clearly. Horrifying in its own way. Um, oh, did we win? I hope so. However, oh, the, the election shakes out. The only way to... Oh, however the election shakes out, the only way to restore confidence is for all of the affected states to immediately overhaul their electoral systems. Don't know what made them say that. <laughs> we didn't talk about that at all. Every frame of politics. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, do you see that Zack Snyder efapped his own Snyder Cut trailer? He may be a fan Ooh. of your show. Really? Ooh, wow. Zack you... Snyder, you're welcome to come on to every frame of pause and we can talk about just whatever. We'll talk about the Snyder Cut and what we think about it. Unfiltered. It'll be, It'll great. be great. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that we both said it would be great at the same time is pretty much 100% assurance, by the way. When have we ever been wrong about anything? And when have we ever <laughs> been mean to anyone about anything in a non-constructive way? I'd say that that's all we do, so... Come on in. character for us. Yeah, no. You guys Whoa. are just, like, just super positive and constructive, and that's why everyone who has anything to say about you is really positive. Positive? Dude, ah, look at this intense battle. This is the Clone Wars. Whoa. Look at them go. All the They're like, they almost seem like ants, you know? How intense this battle is. Oh, oh so the little clones, they seem like ants. Is this a war for ants? It needs to be at least so three someone... times this. Oh my god, the way the clones run. <laughs> 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 What's 
clones are really just. Oh, I gotta play this. Okay. If if H bomber guy would come on, would you have him? Sure. Yeah. Right. Sure. We'll talk about uh, how DS2 is actually terrible. <laughs> really? Oh wait, Dark Souls. I'm sorry. Uh, what about um? Shit. Uh, the one with the plague uh, in Russia. I'm forgetting the name. Pathologic Two. Oh, you talking about Dark Sector? No, Pathologic. Uh, I haven't played Pathologic 2, so... Whoa! I was not prepared to fucking fly around in this thing. But it's neat that I am. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. I don't remember. So this, this is thing. like an emulator, yeah? Yes. And it runs pretty well. Ah. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh, I have lasers too. Jesus. I feel so OP in a good way. Okay, I'll just Fuck keep holding up. down my attack buttons and I'll probably win. Pew pew. Oh my god. Um. Baller flies now. <laughs> <laughs> pair of scissors is the irregular usage singular of scissors. Hand me scissors is equal to hand me a pair of scissors. Same with pants. Yes. I um, think. Regular use? Sure. Colloquial use, you could say. Or in a regular podcast. It, it makes one sense. It fits. We oh, we failed because one ship got away? You really. Wow. <laughs> Chill, game. Someone will handle it in space, okay? Captain Perfecto over I here. I know. <laughs> I gotta do everything in this team. Since you already wow. did the Vaporeon copypasta, I can request this without feeling weird. Look up and read off the Ahsoka copypasta. You can mm. request it. It doesn't, Ahsoka, doesn't mean we have to read it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like cock inside of her. I don't the, even know. Probably one was weird enough. It really was. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna Google that. Um. Are you guys like into Pokemon at all? I mean, Only not like Arkham. that into it. <laughs> I know a decent yeah. chunk of it, but don't really care about it. Not enough to want to fuck any of them. No. Oh, is that them. what that's about? I'd fuck yes. some of them. Some of them are fucking hot. What, like Garden War? Garden boar? I don't. I'm not into boar. <laughs> what about into boar? Garden boar? So there's a there's a Pokemon that's like a big uh, snail dragon, like without a shell. <laughs> How incredibly unappealing! <laughs> I, 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 you would say you would think so, right? I but there's so. this gigantic so. <laughs> fucking weird sex uh, thing around it, okay. and I don't get why. Well, Rags, Ooh, now that you know there's a weird sex thing around it, are you delighted? I mean, I'm interested. <laughs> Curious, you know, out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Like, its animation is literally like the mucus dripping off of, like, its arms and face. Uh huh. But, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I look it up and it's like sex. Oh, God, fuck. I just want, like, the regular art. I don't understand. Well, you know, people can be weird. Yeah, no, absolutely. That explains basically all the stuff we ever come across these if days. If people want to express their sadism through Pokemon... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, maybe if... Uh, why did I click on that? I mean, it's it's a Pokemon, so like, it in and of itself is not like that bad. At all. Oh, Jay wants to come back now. Jay already. heard you talking about fucking Pokemon, <laughs> and now he yes. wants to rejoin. I am currently... He's a Pokefile. I'm currently fucking up the CIS, so if anyone wants to tell him this trail, he can. That should be one of our guests. We're gonna step them up in terms of their responsibility. I think they should Whoa. pull their weight. Nope, that didn't work. Either. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's Gudra. Is that the one that everyone wants to fuck? Gudra? Is yeah, that people want to fuck? fuck this, and I no, don't know why. No, it's got like fucking mucus coming out, but it's, it's not even like... <laughs> it's you can't even mistake dragon. it for cum, because it's like green. No, yeah, it's a snail dragon. It's weird. It's dripping. It's not even, yeah, it. it's not even like the translucent pussy juice or anything like that. It's all just yeah. a green yeah. snot. Yeah. Speaking and of which, hello like, Jay. Okay, so, okay, <laughs> this is a minority Speaking opinion. Of pussy juice. Right, so wanting to fuck Pokemon is going to be a minority opinion within, like, the massive following that Pokemon has. But within that minority of people, wanting to fuck Gudra is not, like, a small minority of that minority of Pokemon fans. It's a humongous percentage of them. Very strange. How did you discover this? Yeah. 
Uh, Super Champ. Mm. Uh, because Rag said he wanted to fuck some Pokemon. No, I specifically said I would. I would probably fuck some Pokemon. And I specifically well, mentioned Arcanine. I was very specific. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Well, are you are you like unironically like uh, into? What are you talking people? about? What am I unironic? I've not. I would no, not me. Okay. That stuff's gross. I would never do that. How you doing, Jay? All right. All right. What happened while well, you were gone? What I wanted to do. Um, so basically, I have set myself like goals of editing I want to get done every day. And uh, before I came on EFAP and finished it, so I just finished it and came back. Good for you. Yeah. Fucking well done, Jay. You want to cook catch up with his annoy people quota? Wow. Yeah, you make wow. that content. Create that content, Jay. So basically, when I have like a project this big to get out oh. at a certain deadline, I have to. Because normally, like the thing motiva motivating me to keep working is that I get to post like relatively soon, like within a matter of a couple of weeks. This is a matter of months, so I just have to make sure that I'm scheduling my work because mm -hmm. I don't have that release date in sight yet. Mm. Were you successful? Jay, Did you achieve editron? Do you think? Yes. Wait. Mm -hmm. Sir, cool. Do I think? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I've been meaning to do it more often. Right. Um, do you think that the video could, like, the things you want to say could be said faster than in four hours? Like, I understand that your vision oh, is like, to make it in four hours, but... Uh, that's just the length I see it being. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see it. I'm gonna try... I'm not gonna try and, like, optimize it for speed or anything, but I think that is, um... I'm not, like, artificially extending it or anything. I think that's the, uh... And that's just an estimate for how long it's gonna end up being, based on how long it is, uh, already with the, and the percentage of what I've actually got to say that I've got said so far. So uh, it's currently uh, 40 minutes uh, drafted. Uh, some of that edited properly and it's 40 minutes. That's, yeah, 40 yeah. minutes, 40 minutes. Um, and I estimate based on that that it's going to be like three to four hours. Sweet. And that's, uh, that's a long minute. That's you want to release it Christmas Day, is it? Or? Um, I'm gonna release it on the same day uh, is the plan as the next Talk to You it's special, the which they haven't done the release, uh, which they haven't published the release date for yet. Um, it's a festive special, so it's gonna be at some point in December, or uh, and it's likely um, it's likely either gonna be on Christmas or New Year's Day, which technically isn't in December, but uh, it's it's close enough. If you didn't like Chibnall Doctor Who, be on the lookout for like the most comprehensive video on the topic. Wow, so you just- I don't know anything about it, but I will probably watch it. Can, is it approachable? If I've never watched a Doctor Who show, can I watch this video and know what's happening? Yeah, I'm doing my best to make it approachable. It, plus the part I'm reviewing yeah. basically acts as a soft reboot for the show anyway, so it's all about these new, new characters they're introducing, which, you know, you don't need to know like uh 60 years of lore to pick up mm -hmm. and when i talk about like contradictions to stuff that's come before i will introduce and establish like what has come before i won't just say like well that contradicts the flavonorps and then Jay? leave it hanging oh. well like don't not talk about the flavonorps because they, they're like my favorite <laughs> yeah flavonorps wait shouldn't it be dr whom <laughs> well you know really there should be a question mark in the title because it is a question. It's pretty spooky. I've never no, seen it's his just license. cultural appropriation, and it should be a Chinese person. Doctor Whom's to Doctor Wu. Doctor Wang. Doctor what? Wang. Bojack Horseman. Bojack Horseman made that joke. Doctor Wang. No, they had a, a character in it called Doctor Who. Oh, what's the joke? Um, it, like he, it, it's H U. He's Asian. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. the joke. Doctor mm. Who. H U. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I, they make some jokes with. I that. still don't know what the joke is. They, uh, I don't remember what they do specifically, but it is more than Master just uh, than just having a character with that name. But it is oh, less than the art that it I, takes to I, make I, me laugh. I remember what it is. I remember what it is. He is uh, Sarah Lynn's drug dealer, and so there's a lot of like references to him taking her on like magical space voyages but it's all through prescribing her uh way too many drugs there's no fucking subtitle option terrible game 
Jay, I, I like what? you cover a lot of topics that I have never fucking watched, and I feel fully informed and like I don't need to watch the thing, like through watching your videos on them. Oh, thank you. Which one do you think of though? Um, that like, space one that I don't remember the name of, no, and the third Star Wars movie. Oh yeah, another like oh, Revenge of the Sith. No, no, they're thinking of Return of the Jedi. Episode nine. Oh, so the ninth. The third. Oh, well, the third of the latest trilogy. The third of the third. Mm. The, third so the, the third of the third. So the one ninth. Van Nunstenf. Oh, I got another protection mission. Gay. Okay. You don't like admitting admitting protection. I don't like protecting people. I like destroying them because I am a sadist. Sadist. Oh, I thought, I thought you said uh. A protection emission. You mean like protection e mission? Like a mission that is protection e? I, I got it. It's just, it's just not funny. I can't do anything with it, Jay. I'm sorry. No, that I was gen that was a genuine thing that happened in my brain. It wasn't oh, really funny. That's even sadder. <laughs> <laughs> you also said e, which is you know e. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. E fat. Has anyone ever made that joke? What, like the joke. With the E-meme? Yeah, with the E-meme. Uh, is that the Farquaad Markiplier thing? Yes. Yeah. What it's is that meme? How does it work? Well, you've got uh, oh, Mahood Farquaad and Markiplier, and it goes... E! Why? why? Is, are these like millennial memes? Uh, you no, uh, this is new Aren't you a millennial? Yeah, you're a millennial. Yeah, my team's memes are bad. <laughs> You're like around <laughs> I don't even want to mention what, Zuma what memes. What generation of memes are you looking for? Millennials are like the oldest people who make memes. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Memes. I Gen X makes terrible memes. There well, you like, go. You and terrible isn't as bad as abysmal, and that isn't memes. as bad as Zuma but memes. But boomers make minion memes. Oh, yeah, yeah, everyone true, actually, right. yeah, there's like a yeah, sweet so. spot of meme making you want to try and get to. You don't want to go Boomer, but you also don't want to go Zuma. So it's no, I like Zuma memes. It's I, I just, like I love well, that makes sense. Surreal, Your taste in memes, pure surreal, like, meaningless memes. I I think that unironically, like kids think that anything older than a millennial has to be a Boomer and don't understand that Gen X is a thing. I think that kids. Um, don't care that Gen X is a thing and understand well, it's there and just call the, call everyone older than the boomer is like a joke. Well, what if they think it's pronounced Gen like it's spelled Gen E X and they used to exist? What? Mm. Like previous? Uh, okay. um, big brain takes there. <laughs> it's Gen X like Latin X. They're they're, they're they're trying to be inclusive. I think they hate that, don't they? Uh, yes, I hate I that. Too. I'm they. You are they? I'm Hello fuck there. around with my language for your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, Cuban and Moroccan. That <laughs> nude. <laughs> I actually have, uh, I think on Monday, I have someone coming. I just started streaming, um, and I have oh, a friend streaming? coming. What? Streaming well. Streaming. Well, I mean, personally, I'm like, starting my own stream. Rude. Oh wow, so your stream is so much better that ours doesn't even count as a stream, okay. Big rude. <laughs> Jay, where'd you find this guy? What the fuck? Um, well, like, I found this guy, um, well, I, I moved into a place and he was there already. Ew. That's true. Wait, do you live together? Yeah, it's no, 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 that um, doesn't make sense. We, uh, we went on, uh, we went to London, uh, and we were at an Airbnb, and... Uh, I knew uh, we were there with uh, CJ. We both knew CJ, but I didn't know anyone else there. Um, I know CJ. He's the dog. Do you know CJ? He is the dog. He's we a saw dog. Sonic. I was gonna say together. he is. I guess Rags is the dog. CJ is a dog. And then outside of Sonic the Hedgehog, we saw that other guy. What's his name? Jack Septicai. That one. Yeah. I don't know why I'm forgetting names. Is it My bad is that his eye is septic? Like I feel like that's something you should just sort out. Yeah. yeah. Feel sorry for him. Um, but uh, what I was gonna say is Monday I have my friend who's Colombian and like is very outspoken about this uh, is coming on my stream, and I'm like, hey, come on, so we can just talk shit about how stupid the term Latinx is. So that'll be a thing. And whenever I say it written, I feel like it should be pronounced Latinx. 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 Yeah. yeah. Exactly. People aren't even pronouncing it right. 
Um, did you see Jeb crowing about Florida fixing our electoral system after 2000 election? Greetings from Florida, man. Hey, I just, I don't listen to Jeb. I just clap. <laughs> I just I just nod my head and clap. <laughs> Jeb is fucking fantastic. All right. Jeb didn't say please listen. He's clap. That's true. He didn't say please listen. He did say please clap. If he'd he said please listen, we would all out. be on his every word. But he didn't say that. Okay, so this... The, the four AATs were just kind of doing some sex stuff for a second there. Uh, yeah, they broke it up as soon as I arrived, but I'm, I'm just saying... You know that whole uh, thing that Jared Genesis brought up, where don't you imagine when, when you're not looking, your toys have sex with each other and stuff? It's like, yeah. Did he say that? Is that a thing that he said? Yeah, yeah he said he had a theory that his, um, his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles might fuck each other, but nothing gay. <laughs> yeah, he was very quick to point out. Nothing gay. <laughs> you wouldn't want it to be gay, but fucking each other. Any... Right in the Michelangelo hole, if he ain't get my drift here. <laughs> I think so too. You, feel, you should feel shame. <laughs> Dogs like to I dig. I bet your toys do do gay stuff, Rags. Mine do. My, I literally have toys for the specific purpose of gay stuff. There you go. Wow. Well, can it be gay with a toy? Where is Technically, no. Like separate thing. No, yeah. if, you, if you're using it with a partner, then yeah. Well, a male know. partner. But, like, we're talking about just with a toy. Like, oh, no if it's just out. me, no, it's just masturbation. But Ooh. if you're, like, if you're thinking about gay stuff while well, you do it. Yeah, I mean... I'm so fucking stupid. It's externally I... neutral, but God knows the truth. Yeah. I'm so fucking stupid that I thought... I, I forgot about, like, sex toys and dildos, and I thought we were talking about, like, action figures and, like, uh, stuff They're sort animal. of action figures. Yeah, they're kind of... <laughs> the certain kind of kind of figures, yeah. What is wrong with my brain right now? Mm -hmm. I'm fighting Doc Acolytes. What are you guys doing? I see. I'm browsing memes to see if I can find a good Zuma meme to show you. And then no wonder it's like, taking so long. It. Yeah, Wouldn't you say he is a Zuma meme? Uh, I'm just, I'm looking through my saved reddit posts, not all of these are memes. Do you guys know about Dreg? Yeah. You uh, see. make good videos. We have Dreg tomorrow on, uh... Well, yeah, he, well, the videos aren't gonna come out tomorrow, but, uh, yes. Uh, we're gonna stream it. Oh yeah, that's true. You're gonna stream, ah? Uh? Yeah. That's fucking next level, dude. Careful. Gonna cut yourself. Also, I thought the whole point was that they get edited. You're ruining it. Uh, they do, but we're gonna we're gonna stream it on Twitch, and then uh, the, ed the edits come out on the YouTube channel. Mm. I might I might stream it on YouTube if I stream it on YouTube. Pooty. The the other thing is like if it's streamed on my channel, like a lot of the core audience isn't gonna see it until they find out that we're doing that, and I don't want to do it for like every episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Dogs like to dig. Rags D is big. The U.S. election was undeniably rigged. Why? <laughs> Objective well, standards. Say, but the war what? Has just begun. When you say what? something in rhyme, it has to be true. That's what I've yeah. always stuck to. Yeah. Objective standards don't exist. Cope. Oh. They literally. They literally do that. I mean, I feel like yeah, standard. They literally do. He got us good. I mean, there's at least got to be a category between a standard of. This, this, this based in some kind of like uh, category versus one of I like it or I don't. I mean, like, a, a, objectively, least... a square has four equal sides. Like that sounds like a standard ranks. I d I yeah. don't understand how that is. That's not subjective. Well, yeah, it's just like, you know, your opinion. It's not at all. Saying the words objective standards that that doesn't even like really make sense. It's more like something that objectively or meet a standard or not. I mean, a standard has discussion. to be objective, because if it's yeah. a subjective standard, it's not a standard. Um, uh, so then, well, uh, if someone said the, my standard for whether or not a thing is good is whether or not I like it, I would call that a yeah, subjective standard. Well, they would still objectively With, have liked it or not. Yeah, it's a oh, that's true. It is a, it's, a yeah, it still has standard. criteria. All right, but, uh, yeah, you got me. Well, <laughs> about, okay, so it's whether or not something meets a standard is objective, and then uh, the point okay. to which... Uh, the point to which you can call something objectively bad if it fails to meet that standard is uh, entirely a matter of communication. Well, so, when uh, we're talking about like opinions, there, yeah, there's well, not going to be like a lot so of objectivity. But if you like got, math, yeah. If you're talking about like microphones, um, and you might say that the one that makes uh, you've got like a really shitty microphone that makes like really tinny sound, it doesn't pick up any bottom end, and it makes a lot of distortion, right? 
um, and you've got one real crisp, real top of the line microphone, you might say that one of them is objectively better than the other. And to most people, you would communicate the ideas that you're trying to very effectively. They would understand exactly what you mean, right? But let's say you're an artist. Let's say you're an artist. Let's say you're an artist, and you're looking, to, let's let's see you're artist and you're looking to make a, uh, a different effect with your microphone. You're not looking for crisp audio. You're looking for... Uh, let's say you're making a film, and you want a microphone to record your walkie-talkie audio on or something, right? Then uh, the same standards don't apply to you. Uh, and you've got a different uh, set of microphones that you're looking for. Now, if everyone is looking for microphones in that way, the it isn't reasonable to call the standard objective because uh, well, that's well, more the it term is. than the standard itself. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's reasonable to call it objective depending on who you're talking to, but uh, the standard itself, right, uh, isn't universally understood. So you may need to clarify further when you say this is objectively X. You, you may need to clarify what the standard you're using is. I think you always Rather need to do that, that just in case. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always should clarify your standards, but uh, when when you're saying that something is objectively bad, that's always shorthand for it fails to meet a standard. Yeah, uh, and I think that's if, fine. If it's, it's just not I'm always understood. curious what the person is referring to exactly. Yeah, if, if the standard isn't widely understood, you need to communicate uh, that standard as well. One bology. <laughs> Um, but, like, I think Rags was talking about, like, standards outside of just opinions. And you, Jay, were talking about standards within opinions. Well, yeah, I mean, if someone said, uh, what standard are you talking about for the square? And Rags says the four sides thing, and then they go, oh, well, I disagree that that's the standard for square. Rags would be like, I don't care that you disagree. Yeah, yeah, you, you like, think is, um, yeah, whether they care about it or not doesn't mean anything. Yeah, the yeah, idea the... that you can have an opinion about facts is just nonsense. Also, also, we'd be talking about two completely different concepts at that point. If, you're, if your definition of a square is not a shape that has four equal sides on it, then you, are, you and I are talking about a totally different concept. And what yeah. we call it doesn't even matter at that point. Yeah. They're, like, people... There needs to be agreement on definitions for conversation to be had. That's usually what you should get done. Like, oh, your definition is different, so I'm going to argue based on my own. So long as you define it whenever you get a discrepancy, you can still have the communication yeah. effectively. Well, no, okay, so uh, this is obviously like a contentious example, and I don't want to get too much into it, but like the example of like racism, if one person thinks it's discrimination based upon race, and that like that's it. And then there's other people that might be arguing like, oh no, it's like systemic and has to do with power and whatever the other, I don't know what the, the full argument is. Like then you're having an argument about the definition, but someone will still talk like as if each of their definitions is correct and will not accept the definition of the other person. And I feel like that happens a lot more lately. Sure. Yeah, I can get behind that. Um. Please listen to the Thrawn trilogy, it made me love Star Wars again. That is usually the one that gets touted as being like the best one of the uh, the EU content, right? Thrawn trilogy. I feel like just so much Star Wars content that like gets put forward is amazing uh -oh. by loads of people ends up being that garbage. Shit? Yeah. <laughs> that I don't want to try the Thrawn trilogy. In case you don't like it. <laughs> Especially yeah. because I hear all the time how great the Clone Wars is, and I hear Theo talking about it, and I'm like, Ugh. Wow, so Theo's lies have managed to convince Rags that the Clone Wars isn't good. Well, great. from my point of view, the Theo is right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rags, believing someone who's tricked you. That just shows your mental fortitude, doesn't it? Oh. Terrible. But seriously, Space. though, like, uh, Clone Wars... Uh, I think when the episode came out, or the arc ended for whatever the latest thing was, it was an EFAB episode where I was talking about how amazing it was that it was getting 10 out of 10s across the board, like in IMDb reviews. And I just, I think you can account for a lot of it with how the sequel trilogy is fucking terrible, and anything that isn't that gets a lot of positive feedback. Um, but it's a little bit weird, because even, like, Mandalorian suffers heavily from writing bullshit. Oh yeah, it's uh, writing is terrible. It's world building is atrocious, and it's writing is terrible, and the plot is nonsensical, basically. 
And I've, I've already gotten messages and ads being like, please tear down season two because some people are saying it's great. And it's just like, damn, people already want us back for, uh, you know, Mandalorian's back really on the menu, boys. Hmm? Isn't that only like two episodes? Like four, right? Yeah. No, I think it's either four or five now. Wow. My convoy's I... getting torn apart. Jay, do something. Jay, do something. Jay. For the love of God, Jay. <laughs> I need it. I need this. Needs to be multiplayer, and you guys can help me. That's the only way this would work. It has. Co it had co-op originally, didn't it? Yeah, but I don't know how to set that up on Dolphin, unfortunately. Look, that. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like you'd cool. kick the CIS's ass ranks. You'd fucking melt them with all these wings. We, we would. We would definitely wait. I have to play as the Republic. Lame. Yeah, I know, right? At least it's not as bad as Mandalorian, where the Republic are clearly the bad guys. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys ever play uh, the the Battlefront games, like the older ones? Yeah, yeah. They're great. Yeah, well, oh, oh. Hmm. I bet I they mean, aren't. Um, I, I, I would be. I, I would. That's all I know. Look, the, yeah, I definitely have fun with them too. But I'd be actually pretty willing to say that they're bad games that are designed poorly. Uh, yeah, I imagine I, the map design's pretty that. good still. It's the AI that I'd have the most criticisms for. It's fucking yeah. garbage. Map design, I remember it being okay. Um, the AI is horrible. Mm -hmm. And the weapons are incredibly unbalanced. That's it's almost fair, like yeah. it's almost like a power fantasy. What uh, what are you thinking of when you say that specifically? Like, like you're any... it like it just lets you be incredibly good with no you know, even like attempt at balance. True, you can play against like other humans, right? It was You can, yeah. But I feel like that just lets all the cheese come out. People in chat are still people. making Doctor Who puns. Like <laughs> they're late. They're like on a delay and they haven't realized it yet, probably. I mean uh... not that much of a delay. <laughs> I was well, I mean, if you've been watching for hours and you have like mediocre internet, sometimes it does get delayed that much. True. Uh, yeah, that's happened to me. I'm just killing things at this point in this map. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, I've lost another ship in the convoy. That's probably bad. Jay, yeah, do something. Hey. Ain't she a beautiful sight? You know, I am doing stuff, and uh, quite frankly. If uh, I hadn't been doing it, you would have lost several more ships, and I'm being underappreciated. <laughs> oh, okay. How convenient Are you for you. Are switching the point of view, like, manually, or does it automatically? Oh, that's me, uh, I'm accidentally doing it. Okay. I feel like the first-person view is not something I want, ever. No. It feels super awkward in first-person. I, I can imagine, like, just looking at it looks really awkward. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, airship. Bonus objective complete. Is, Yay. Is Star Wars like a post scarcity society? Of course it is. No. They don't have what? any Y Wings in, in the sequel trilogy, it must be. Oh, yeah, that's right. What? Wait, no, no. they don't have <laughs> enough fuel, so. Also, no, not they, fuel. Have, they, they have. They have invented bullshit, like, the like yeah, they, it's not a post scarcity society. I want you to know as well how stupid that is that when Rose looks at their fuel, it looks to be like close to under half. They've used hyperspace once. And now if they use it again, they're out of fuel. Like, how bullshit is that? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking movie. <laughs> like, I can buy the idea that things have fuel. Like, obviously, you gotta, you have to have a power source, but it was never an issue in the old ones to the point where it, it was just extremely efficient, and it was yeah, never like, really something you had to worry about. I just got the impression that they could hit hyperdrive quite a few times before... Yeah. Technology went backwards. Of course it did. Yeah. Just they like need a, a shitty plot a device for their story. space chase. Just like Wakanda's, you know, city planning. How <laughs> weird is it that they left their base and they're like, they have no fuel? Anakin, you're too late. Yeah. Yeah, that's you weird too. Your own base. You would think you'd be fully refueled. Mahler, the more we think about CLJ, the worse it gets. No way. <laughs> Even though, Jay, do something. once every few months, someone will release a big old video right saying TLJ <laughs> is not as bad as you think, or a guide to TLJ, or you misunderstood TLJ, and all the arguments are the same. I'm gonna guide you through liking it. Just listen to the sound of my video essays. Guide you through it, okay? Listen, they know what's best for you, okay? It's, it's so, like, demeaning, I think. 
for people to say shit like that. It's like, okay, you like TLJ, sure, or anything. Like, okay, fine, you like it, but like, I don't, and these are my reasons why. But don't tell me, oh, you just didn't understand it. Like, no, motherfucker, I did, and I have an opinion. But if someone yeah, didn't understand like it, though. It. There are, there are things that get widely misunderstood, though. Yeah, and, like, I was gonna say, I, I wouldn't want to close that off entirely. Like, if no, someone... No, of course, but... Uh, with TLJ, like, I, I think, like, enough arguments have been made. For sure. Um, <laughs> Dude. What they usually appeal Blind to is the whole, the film is about failure, and you didn't understand. It's like, I got it! No, I get it. has totally oh, earned so a lot of those videos that go, like, the, the TLJ-style videos of going through loads of arguments against the film and talking about why they're they don't work at all and talking about stuff that people missed and didn't pick up on and how well crafted it is Bly Manor has earned those videos what you're saying the Bly Manor has been misunderstood by people yeah Bly Manor well perhaps not misunderstood it's been uh, interpreted in poor faith by a lot mm. of people it's quite Are the assumption like to make that it's woke garbage hmm? like people saying it's woke garbage yeah yeah, 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 yeah that'd, that'd be one of them annoys me fucking pisses me off that's a really dumb one False positives. Correct. It's diverse. Okay. Indeed. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, I, all, all I just wanted to clarify, though, was I think there is precedent for someone watching something and then be, turning to their friend and being like, I think I misunderstood that shit. What was going on in that? Or something like that. And the friend could be like, oh, this, 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 this. And then they're like, oh, neat. Okay, I get it. I think that's possible. It's just it comes across as... <laughs> bad optically I suppose if, if your title of it's your kind video of yeah if the usually. title of your video is there's you a need massive... a guide to this it's like thanks mm -hmm. yeah, there's a massive difference between that like yeah like when someone's like hey I think I misunderstood that and someone posh as fuck coming through like hey you all of you who have made the popular opinion about this known on the internet misunderstood this piece of media that you've heavily dissected well, well I think that, did. I mean, we had a conversation with people who heavily dissected, supposedly heavily dissected some Spider-Man movies. And I have no doubt that they did try, but they did not do a good job in disseminating the information from them. <clears throat> Which happens. There are people who've uh, changed teams on, on whether or not TLJ is good or bad, and I imagine that when they switch teams, they'll be like, I misunderstood previously, and now I do understand, you know? Hmm. Yeah, of course. Oh, humans. How interesting you it's are. It's kind of weird that, like, uh, th there seems to be... On, on the side of people who, like, talk about the, the DLG is bad, it's pretty neutral, like, pretty pretty widespread of types of people. But, like, the I find, usually, the people who say TLJ is, like, good or, like, really good typically tend to be all very, very, Left very team. similar in their ideas. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't like, I don't I'll, even know I'll, exactly why that is. Well, when I first spoke I have, to um, TRO, he said that he noticed if you're on the right wing, you'll dislike it, and if you're on the left wing, you'll like it. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was just like, <laughs> it's just terrible. I, yeah. I, I was going to say more so if you like, I'll, the people that do like it tend to be, all of them that I've seen so far are very, very left wing, and the people that don't like it's it are. It's a tendency, first. I think. Well, so he, he said it was something he noticed, and it was so alien to me, because I was just like, oh, it, it wasn't even a political bent at all. I just thought it was really poorly written. Which, uh, oh, yeah. You know, you yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cite causation there. I'd say there's correlation to, to some extent hmm. that I've noticed. Well, I feel like... Um, we know there's separatist activity it's, on this planet. It's, it's that very... I don't know, I don't know. It's that very... Find anything from this altitude. It's, it's not just uh, people are on the left. It's more... Uh, People who fucking so eat up the, uh, like, pink capitalism shit of, like, oh, we put, oh, yeah. uh, the, the more female drone pilots, people. Yeah. More people, female people protagonists. People who, like, when North Korea might have had a female dictator, what they were, like, we sat a queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No fucking way people did that. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, even I saw that. Oh, oh that. shit. Disappointing. We're done. We're done, guys. That's it. It's over. Yeah. Give up. It's a very specific gone. group of people who are just... Their ideology isn't actually a fully formed ideology, it's just... Woman good. Put woman in place. Yeah, they're fine with boot looking if the boots have heels. Yeah. I mean, but, like, on the on the opposite side... And I'm not... Like, okay, first of all, 
this is not a broad generalization about everyone. I, I feel like I don't need to say that, but maybe for some of the people in chat. Um, on people that are on the right and are just like anti-SJW, maybe not even like fully on the right, but anti-SJW. Yeah, like, like the people who think that, that Bly Manor is like folk. Oh you yeah, know, that's exactly that the people opposite. People who think brown people yeah. couldn't come up with doorways? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, wait, Rags, you think that's ridiculous? Like, okay, Are you serious? But, but, no, hold on, but like seriously guys, like I know we're joking, but... I actually don't know how to make a door. Can someone explain? Oh. Oh, you well, don't even okay, have to make so a door. I'm, I'm just like, trying. I just, can't just it out. Yeah, I'll walk you through it. Have a wool. Oh, I'll that was walk good. You through it. Just have a shitty wall ah, and call it a door. door. Jay, I'm hammer. glad you appreciated that joke. Right. Um, Take a wool, get a well. hammer. I said the door was a jar, but I don't, I don't understand. I thought a jar was a jar. It's, I'm so confused. Yeah, this is all very confusing. <laughs> Fuck, this is so hot. I'm Obi Wan. I should be OP. Blind mana isn't woke, it's just mediocre. Um, that's no. Yeah, that's not true at all. <laughs> that's no. more like mediocre. Listen, I prefer someone saying it's mediocre to saying it's woke, because that's cringe. You know, and I, what, I, what would make it woke? Like the, the, the diversity? Well, so there's a gay couple in it, there is a black person in it, there is. Um, oh, there's two black people in it, Ola. What? Two. Two black people. There's two blacks and a brown. Jesus Christ. See, I thought it was woke, but damn. Like, you guys have just reminded me, it is super woke. Whoa. And, you know, you know the white guy? The main, like, the white guy? The only white guy on the show? The except, only one, uh, yeah. The He's the bad. Other two to the base. No, the other three. Other three? Oh. I found an excavation site where the separatists uh, well, I mean, like, you, Miles, um... We can't allow them to have it. Mark, you've got Miles, you've got, and then you've got, uh, the two... Uh, wow, I'm Send blanking on their names. The dad and the uncle? The, the last name. Um, yeah, Same the dad and the uncle. The black guy, Miles? Hmm? Loretta? Hmm. No, no, no. The, the white guy is called Miles. Oh. How could they? That's cultural appropriation. Amy Grant. We well, just goes a long way. Um, I'm surprised. I haven't heard people yeah, talk about like say that like The Last of Us Two is is like SJW pandering or like. Oh, I've heard that. oh yeah, I hear that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I maybe I'm not like listening that much. I I've just heard people talk about that it's not good. Oh, it's terrible. I played it, yeah, it was, it was, it, like, compared with the first one, it's nowhere near good. I mean, compared oh, with games, it's not good. Her husband, as well. He's, he's a pretty alright guy. That's who yeah, I meant. Yeah, he seems like to be a husband and uncle. Dude. Yeah, he seems, like, he seems like an upstanding dude, he just gets the real shot on the stick. He really, yeah, it's, it's not a long stick, I'll agree with that. How did you feel about Ellie being gay, uh, guys? I don't... I don't care, that's fine. Care. So that's not what makes it SJW woke pandering. I I don't I don't call the Last of Us Two SJW woke pandering. That's not really something I say about it. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I I asked two separate questions. I'm sorry. It's just terrible from a writing perspective, and the gameplay can be super cheesed, and it isn't mechanically consistent. Dude, like like five separate people in chat have have just typed. Wait, Ellie is gay? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> we fucking with us? <laughs> No, they oh, well, it's probably yeah. that they, they probably just forgot that Dina is a character in the game. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> More like plot device. Oh. I don't think Cad that Ellie was gay. Uh, Last of Us 2 was just normal garbage. I think... Normal garbage. Had. Okay, so... I'm, I'm sorry. I. So the people that you have heard say that it's woke SJW pandering garbage... Are they saying that that is because Ellie is gay? Um, I've heard them say like they made it too overt compared to the first game, like her gayness. What? I I, I can't go any further than that because it's not a position I hold. <laughs> so I'm just okay, saying. Yeah. How, can, I how just... can gayness be like overt? Yeah. Like, well, it's, it's when you grab the camera and you say, "I like gay." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I am all the gay, and I am all the straight. Dun 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 dun. Lightsaber battle. I mean, like, it doesn't overt, isn't, like, isn't there a point where you can meet, reach 100% overt? Like, at the point it's explicitly stated, it can't become more overt than that, right? I would say so. Uh, well... Or is it, like, or kind of, is it no. more overt? So, it's, like, literally in every scene. Well, for an example, if someone said, I am gay, and then someone's like, that's overt, and, and then the next scene they say, I am still gay, I'd be like, wow, they're really pounding it in. <laughs> like, okay, like, something with a gay character is gonna be less overtly gay 
uh, like the gayness is going to be less overt than a gay porn that's like clearly centrally about gayness and gay sex. Wow. Gay you porn is too to overt, I'll agree with that. Gay porn? You, you think being gay is just about sex, huh? Yeah. Yes, literally yes. Yeah, Try no, and counter that, Jay. I no, dare you. About, like, All the gays do is have gay sex. Attraction isn't purely about sex. All they do is get gay married and have gay children. It's fucked up. Gay <laughs> That's why it's like appropriate for children to go to weddings because yeah, you know, gay attraction children. isn't just to do with sex. Huh? Oh, I remember. It's like inappropriate to show uh, a gay wedding on TV because you'll you'll fuck with oh, kids' minds. Oh, that thing. Oh, that I know what show that was. It was uh, Sesame Street. I was actually thinking of Arthur, and that's why No Bullshit yeah. was very happy that they took that episode down in... Was it Alabama? Master, the first convoy is approaching. You we, show... we gotta do baby steps with Alabama. Yeah. Right? They, they ain't ready for... a gay couple They ain't ready married. for gay... What is he? Is he a rat? He's, yeah, gay rats, that's fucked up. He ain't ready, they ain't ready for that gay rat wedding. They're still trying to wrap their head around anthropomorphic animals. Mm -hmm. We gotta take this really <laughs> slow. <laughs> it, now, now, if it was gay cousin marriage... They might start. Rat, to... That's, that's where true. they should have started, honestly. No, we're brothers. And you're like, all right. <laughs> the oh, Alabama's like, hmm. Super Smash Bros. Gala, I got it. <laughs> what? Oh, did you guys hear that, like, Nintendo shut down uh, a melee event? Yeah, I heard that. Oh, yes. yeah, that's part of why they're fucking hated right now, right? Or at least. Piece of it. I mean, I guess. Why the fuck do they do shit like that? Because Nintendo is fucking always does this shit, but people give them a pass <laughs> for it. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, what yeah, is their yeah. motivation from a Because they're fucking Nintendo game? and they're fucking stupid. Why would they not want to still make money from, like, old <laughs> games? Like, that's the model of current games, is to continue making well, money from My assumption would be they're not seeing the value here in terms of, like, what it can do for them as a company. Because, honestly, capitalist perspective, they should just let it go. I actually think they see like a loss in sales when people are doing this or something. All I don't those really people, know. Loss yeah, in all IP. those people who would have bought Super Smash Bros. Melee are just not uh, buying yeah, it. You know, not, buy. not incredibly successful game, you know. It's a, it's like, a weird one. I, I, I assume it's to do with them being like, hey, this is our IP. You play it in places, I, I, don't, I don't know, some lawyer made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, it's turning a game that like is, is made in Nintendo zero revenue right now and making it be a fairly big revenue stream for them if if they instead of shutting down tournaments say hey we're gonna throw our own fucking tournaments take care of them before they reach the force field i'm gonna knock out two convoys why do i have to do everything in this game what's that about jay do something jay's just fucking doing around. it now wait what did you just say jay i'm pissing and shaking and coming on like the enemies? Excused. Or on me? Because yeah. that's not going to help. Said, weren't they using a hacking engine? I think it was just to give it, like, um, local co-op or something. It was it was something along those lines. It was it was like a split-screeny, like, connection sort of thing that they hacked into it. And that was what they used it for. It wasn't like, a, like an in-game <laughs> hack of some time. I think I, it was like a connection thing. I would be at the point now where whatever someone's doing to that game is fine. It's so fucking yeah. old. They're just upset that people hold on to the good one. <laughs> yeah. Love well, these new ones aren't good. It says it's just interesting that this is the one that everybody sticks with. This is the competitive one. Yeah, everyone just fucking adores the mechanics in it. Um, we bring this up every time it comes up, but it's just the thing I remember, which is when I first played Brawl, started running around, and I fucking tripped over myself. I was like, "What the hell is this?" And my friend was like, "Yeah, you don't move too fast, too quickly, otherwise you'll trip." I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That seems like a flaunty mechanic. Well, it's game. it's to discourage something. <laughs> I don't know like, what. what. If they don't want you moving too fast, why don't you just, uh, why don't you just lower the player movement speed? I, maybe someone in chat knows why well, that Well, how about you just there. don't trip? Because gay oh. tripping is gay. Yeah, true. idiot. Now, one thing I will say is that back when I was active on the DayZ forums, there was a lot of interesting discussions there, but um, there were some people who said that it is a it would be a good mechanic if um you if every once in a while your character would just like randomly sprain their ankle um. now i i was against this 
I was against this because they this. some people really want that game to be like a hardcore, super hardcore simulator, right? Wait, why, right? Why are you against that? I don't understand. What's wrong with what? That? What with with your character while you walk around just randomly spraying in your leg? Yeah, that sounds like a game design to me. Oh yeah, I well, get it. Um, I I it, it just to me it felt like it just. I mean, maybe maybe I was wrong, but to me it just wouldn't seem all that fun mm. to just be walking around doing your thing, playing the game, and all of a sudden, boom, you have a sprained leg, you know, honestly, and you have to I think, treat it. I think you should go a bit further. I think you should program brain aneurysms into the game. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. So I was like, oh. you just randomly get hell housed. Because I, cause I, I, I the way that I worded this is like, oh, so well. you guys, every time your character takes a step, it's a, it's a random number generator that on a 0. 0.000 whatever percent, there's a, there's a chance that your character just like getting a shiny sprained her ankle or fractures their leg and just trips. Yeah, that sounds you know, awful and I hate it. Catastrophic leg injury. I feel like, you know what? If they Some made that yeah. as rare as, for example, getting a shiny Pokemon, that there would be people who would be streaming trying to get, like, sprained ankle on every character. It would become a rarity <laughs> that's, like, sought after. Yeah. Someone Dude, especially like random achievement. crits in multiplayer games good. Um, that depends. Do you, just to be sure, you have to be more specific because there is the appearance of randomness and actual randomness. Um, in fact, I was playing Vermintide just a second ago, and you one of the best stats you can give yourself is crit chance. Um, but like when, when you're talking about pure randomness, like what's like out of what? Like in, 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 it was the effect of the crit. Now, is that an aspect of the, I mean, generally I don't like randomness in multiplayer games particularly. Yeah, the way it usually works with they mechanics like that, right, is that they cost less than flat damage, but they're not guaranteed damage or something like that. That'll be the how they try and balance it. I mean, well, generally the... Pretty cool, but... Yeah, I like risk and reward systems, but that doesn't mean they, they don't have to be random. A lot of them can just be an extremely difficult thing to pull off that can have really good rewards. Um... Like very, very like glass cannon characters are generally just considered high risk, high reward characters because they're very squishy, but they do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, I think that like with um, and and some games have a like a weapon does like from one thousand to one thousand one hundred damage, where it will fall within that range, but it will be randomized between that range. Um. I'm okay with that. It's not a big difference generally, and a lot of the other stuff that you have on your character matters way, way more. Oh no, there's a man in the back. There's a man in the back. Oh, no. in the back. How? I don't. He looks better without the gray beard, honestly. I think so too. Uh, also, like Mando should hate him. Squad of down the hill. Mando should fucking hate Grief Karga as a character. But he doesn't, because Mando is a fucking pathetic cuck. Was it playing Vermont Tattoo? Yeah, it was it was Vermont Tattoo. Are you still playing DayZ? Um No, but I should start it again. I, I played it a while with some friends and we played on like custom servers and stuff and it was pretty fun. But I should get back Watch into out, it honestly. I enjoy it. It's the most played game on Steam. But I've had a lot of fun in Daisy. In all of its messy <laughs> strangeness. Um, Mola, I don't want to take skin away from the olds. That is something I said. Uh, take I don't, away I don't, the old skin? I don't really see why that would need context. I think it's self explanatory. Like, you wouldn't want to take skin from somebody, right? Unless they're consenting, maybe. I know I'm upset. Unless it's like a graft or something. Yeah, Again, if you're cool with it. Soviet Womble video essay on DayZ? No, I haven't. Um, I might check it out later, but that game is like a weird. You could probably like the development of DayZ and its effect on gaming, and its development history, and it's a really odd one. DayZ really just sort of even of all the the. The open world survival games, Daisy really stood, really does seem to stand apart from the rest, for better or worse. Daisy was really cool, I liked it. Yeah, I've, I've ultimately enjoyed my time with Daisy. Going around with people and playing that game was, it was fun. Like, it 
it was one of the few games that really gives you the sense of going on a journey, having an adventure. Um, it was it was fun. I, I don't uh, I don't regret it. It it yeah. It felt like um, Dennis Redding. Felt, mm, cookies yeah, my girlfriend it. just microwaved. Uh, I don't know what, but uh, it felt like the sort of the scenarios like that my friends and I would come up with for like apocalypse things or or, or the scenario you know that we would just talk about in general and like growing up or in high school and shit it felt like someone had taken those out of our heads and made it into a video game they could do that and that was fucking great I loved it someone said we should cover Soviet Wombles latest video so let's it? take it so is called... let's do there's so many fucking video essays now it's ridiculous like how can you possibly keep up uh, Daisy video essay three: The evolution of the Daisy mod. The mortars are finished. Now we just need to take out those spiders. Um, yeah, I don't know what we would say. I don't think my information on Daisy is so limited that. Like... I I never played the mod, so I have nothing to really say about it. Uh, ask them the Christmas versus Halloween question. We did. Also, tell everyone how we got to have Halloween this year, but the Chris Noids don't get to have theirs. What do you mean they don't? What? We're doing Christmas on HeFab. Well, at least for yeah, December, Chris I mean. Like, Hell yeah. I, I say mean, actually, fuck it. Let's go biblical. We're going to keep Christmas going until the fucking epiphany. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to watch. We're going to get some Christmas EFAP movies going. We'll, we'll have our avatars be crimbo y. We're going to have the the, the, uh, the look for EFAP will probably change. You guys excited for Christmas times? Because they're coming. November yeah. is more of a, just a chill period between the two. It's like, all right, you guys can do whatever you want. It's like, oh, thanks, November, but... Oh, you you don't... Yeah, because you guys don't have Thanksgiving. For us, it's like a, a Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah, but, like, you don't really associate November as the month of Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. No, I we do. We do. I mean, oh, I do. Okay. Thanksgiving's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a big deal. I'm very glad that that's the case. You just eat a lot of food. Eat a lot of fall-themed food. Good. Will Capital Opinions debate Muller on why Haunted of Hill House is bad? We kind of did. <laughs> That's why you should watch Metal's game. Yeah, stream. you're gonna have to go find the right Metal stream where we do. It's like a two-hour combo. It was really fun. You know? Talked about Hill House's pluses and Hill House's negatives. Now, uh, I just, I just opened YouTube on my phone, and I'm getting recommended Mauler videos now. Damn. I'm so sorry. Yeah. That was, this is how it starts. The beginning of the end. Oh no, I exploded. Far right in no time. Wait, I exploded and my corpse was the fucking Hellfire droid. The fuck? Hellfire. That's, uh... What's going on there? Are they trying to say that the Republic vehicles were constructed of CIS parts? Mmm. It's a conspiratism. Another demand. When you Dumbos play Doki Doki Literature Club, each person must voice the characters separately, so five people for five characters. Master, the I mean, is under attack from if, if we scouts. do it, sure. You guys, you guys play Doki Doki Another Literature Club on stream? We haven't. Someone wants us to, though. Ah. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, hey, that's a podcast. It's fine. It's fine, you say? That's not a very good ringing endorsement. Master, we're going to I mean, like... <sighs> The thing is, like everybody already knows when they play, like what the what the end surprise and twist. Oh, this of guy. The game is. This guy's already Good shouted at our guests right for implying anything about the surprise of the game. So, have care. Apparently, we we are unaware of it. So, I guess that. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I would say play it then, because it's it's a very interesting and thought provoking it. To an extent, thought provoking, but yeah, definitely really interesting and novel. Is it about sadism? Yes, it is the only uh, way you can have an outlet for sadism, which, by the way, there should be no outlet for. So it's actually <laughs> bad. <laughs> as long as you were aware of how bad that is, then yeah, that's fine. This fucking game's chaos, man. It's just, just everything is fire, fire away. That's all it is. Jay. Well, of course, Jay's not helping me, but. You know. Oh my god, I need help. Eh. All right. Uh, I don't agree that jump scares in horror are necessarily bad. Good thing no one said that. As long as game has good atmosphere <laughs> mechanics, outlast closer to amnesia than jump than to jump scare. 
Fucking no. It, you don't get excused for having shitty jump scares if your atmosphere is overall good. Yeah, they're still really lazy. So, the lowest form. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it's all about how you contextualize the jump scare. Um, Outlast is pathetic. It just grabs you and shouts at you. And you're like, okay, you got me, I guess. Um, but you know what? You know what Outlast can finally say? At least it's not as bad as an amnesia game. Hooray! That was something Outlast never expected to be able to say, but there we are. What was that game where you just keep walking through the same hallway over and over? That, that, one, that one freaked me out. E.T.? Maybe. It, yeah, it could be. You just keep- so, in, in the game you just walk through the same hallway over and over and you get to the end door and it's the same fucking hallway and you just go through over and over and creepy shit like happens and it's the, it's the suspense that something might come and you know that there's the potential for something to come that just like kept me super fucking on edge i i didn't even enjoy it but like i recognize afterwards like wow that's that's a powerful thing was it for a game um like that. was it like a demo yeah yeah that'd be pt Sir, our at least a couple years ago Sir, yeah wasn't um PT was made by uh, uh, the same sort of group of people to a degree that uh, made ended up making um, fucking Death Stranding. Because Norman Reedus was in it, like in the, um, in the demo. That's Kojima. Kojima, the guy that made like uh, Metal Gear, did that. So it's the people that did like Metal Gear. Did it just, been, yeah, I've got okay. this timeline in my head, but I don't know if it's bullshit. Where PT was supposed to evolve into Silent Hills, and then that all got scrapped. And then he went on and just made Death Stranding. Was that what happened? Someone knows this better than I do, for sure. PT is made by Kojima, but I don't think this is the game that I was uh, talking about. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure how many other games satisfy the quota of being horror, keeping you on edge, walking through similar corridors, and it being a demo. That isn't PT. No, 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 no. It's not similar quarters. It is the same hallway over and over and over. And there's like a phone, and sometimes the phone will ring. And it's like, that is PT, yeah. That is PT? Okay, because I'm seeing a screenshot here of like outside, but maybe that's just cover art. So I, I'm not, I didn't watch any video. Um, okay, then I'm wrong. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, no, you're right. This is, this is it. This is it. Yeah. You're gonna. Upset Fuck, chat. man! I hated this shit. That is not possible. Locking on. Uh, STD PT. Mola, Rags, you're the best. <gasps> oh, that's oh, nice. thank you. But disagree about Vader's oh. rampage at the end of Rogue One. It was awesome, but doesn't match what he does when he boards the Tantive Four in ten minutes later. Also, high Rags. So I would argue it does. Um, yeah. When when they board the Tantive, it's the, the stormtroopers pour through, um, and then he's following up on them. He has no reason to kill anybody at that point outside of one person who fucks with him in terms of giving him information, so he strangles him to death or breaks his face when he throws it against a wall. Um, Vader is dramatically feared and even willing to make an example of like people on his own team. As well as kill them when they're failing. Like the idea that he wouldn't cut the shit down of rebel soldiers. Like, I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, it's weird to think he wouldn't do that. Yeah, I couldn't believe that he was just trying to do the job fast in Rogue One because they're literally on a timer trying to get that plan before it flies off. And obviously, he's too late. Um, meanwhile, they have captured the people in uh, the beginning of Rogue One: uh, A New Hope. But um, this is a constant discussion about whether or not that scene is in character or not. As far as I'm concerned, it's fine. Well, of course, it, to me, it seems like of course it's in character. Yeah. As long as as long as the people he's killing aren't uh, dressed in literal grass skirts and throwing spears, I, I think it's fine. That sounds sadistic to me. Yeah. I mean, and it's also worse than racism. <laughs> God. Also, Anakin, Jay, can you guys do something? Locking on. All my convoy is getting muted. If I have to yell at you one goddamn time mm -hmm. to help out the convoy, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll regret it. 
This is medium difficulty. Fucking, what the hell is the hardest difficulty gonna be like? Yeah. Or is that what medium? Pure pain. Like? You know what? I have vague <laughs> memories of doing that when I was super younger. So it probably does like, purely anger-inducing this level. I imagine. Uh, so you're saying it's not a good outlet for your anger? No, good for sadism though. For the for the yeah. sadism they inflict upon me as creators, they were clearly trying to piss me off. What if it's sadism and you just like being <laughs> sad? <laughs> That's saddest. You're saddest. He's sad. Shout out to the little brother Easter. Hi, Ragus. Hello. Yeah, hey Easter, how you doing? We'll see you in it's a Easter. in a while. Easter's fine. He's cool. You can make for good company, you know, when you, you want some eggs. True. Oh no, I gotta clear a whole base now. Everything just keeps getting worse. Um, Hollywood's plan to stop Mola from making videos is to keep releasing garbage media. Also, Metal Commander is underrated. What do you guys reckon? Metal Commander underrated? Yeah, for sure. How is he rated? I was gonna say, what is his rating right now? Who's rating him? I don't know. Uh, that's the thing. He's a he's a PG. Pretty mm. good. No, perfect. Um, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I'd say he's underrated. He let me come Ooh. on. Let me come where? On where did he come? Though. He let you come where? Wow. On his stream. Fucking oh boggers. Whoa, oh, right. that's. That's that is actually oh. quite nice of him to just let you come all over the stream, but I, I don't know that <laughs> you should just rate no, that like, as something that makes him I a good person. Well, well I, I disagree. I think that makes him... Look, I mean, that's that's him being like, hey, look, man, you you come, He's and like, obviously hey, I'm I don't risking know you, but if you getting wanna... banned for this, so he must be a good person. Like, that generous. See, I don't know about that logic, like, honestly. I just I don't know. Well, I don't know about you not knowing about it, so... But I do know fair. about you whether or not you knew about me knowing it. So that kind of uh, destroys your whole life. I'm filming in two days. Hey, so... Um... I, like, when I went to eat, uh, when I got my Uber Eats and left for a little bit, I was watching something on my PS4 and a new thing popped up, uh, yeah, in the main screen that's like PS5. So apparently you can control your PS5 you have a PS5 through your PS4, which makes no fucking sense to me. Huh? Why on earth you would want to do that? How does that work? Exact. So um, you click it and it says, oh, connect your PS5, search for PS5. So that if you really want to play your PS5 through your PS4, you can add some extra latency to I your guess. PS5 Dude, gameplay makes no fucking sense, but it is a th if any of you have a PS4 and it's like updated recently, check this. I swear to God, this like makes no do sense. They, do they have to be within like connected to the internet, or is this Wi-Fi, or is this just like I, I think thing? it's fucking Bluetooth. I think it's like Ugh. physically search, like search in the room. Cause, like one thing which still would be stupid so, is if like your ps5 is in another fucking house and you can play it through your ps4 over wi-fi like a goddamn google stadia but still that's stupid what if you are upstairs and you have your ps4 upstairs and the new ps5 is downstairs and <laughs> you're just really lazy and you don't want to go downstairs yeah. to play it you can just say ps5 uh, uh enhance go go gadget ps5 <laughs> Yeah, play. Let's play. Oh, play that's it. a reference. You could get, you could get your kicks off of playing your PS5 without uh getting out of bed. I guess. That well, seems the only thing that seems to make sense. Think on that. Look, man, you're the one coming on the metal screen. Have you really got room to complain there? Come on. Comes a rags. That's literally what it's for. There you go. I, the things that I. Coming? The things that I suggest as a joke are things that Sony does in earnest. There you go. Wait, seriously, is that it? Is it so, so you can play it in a different room with a PS4? Someone said that's literally what it's for. Someone who's so fucking lazy, who's such a worthless fucking slob of a human being, can't even get out of bed to go and play their new console that they bought. Poor people, you know, I feel sorry for them. 
Well, you can't afford a PS5, somewhere. so you can't be that poor. At what point? And a PS4. I mean, at what point will being disabled not mean anything? Uh, soon enough. Um, soon? Yeah. What do you mean? I, I don't. What, what do you? What are you referencing? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're we're coming up to seven Some hours in. Okay, player. brain power is going to be limited. Some motherfucker said when you're Spanish, pork is the best on Thanksgiving. Um, I, I would argue pork is, is good pretty much anytime it's cooked well. It's not doesn't taste better on Thanksgiving. So. Some kind of I don't know. Yeah. You also get the mashed potatoes and the cranberry sauce and the gravy and the rolls and all the other oh, stuff. No. And, that, and then the turkeys and all the oh, no, 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 put no. in the extra time and effort to make everything just right on a special See? day. The buttery corn and the green beans and the stuffings. No. Okay. I know a yeah, thing but... or two about stuffing. Mm. Yeah. He's talking about being Spanish, being Hispanic, uh, and being having Spanish. a Hispanic Thanksgiving. What do they have to be thankful for? Um, not being white these days. It's fucking great. But, like, still kind of being white. That sucks. You know, being white, I mean. That's the big suck. Cuban sandwiches rock. Cuban you know if you're white, you can't even review um, A Wrinkle in Time. Cuban sandwiches are the goat sandwiches. Cuban sandwiches I'm Cuban. Cuban sandwiches is fucking ham, bro. You want to know the real Cuban? It is uh, the pan con lechon or pan con mitte. Those are real Cuban sandwiches. You're you making you words up. Cuba, you're not going to get yeah, what's called a Cuban sandwich here. Authenticity is not the point. They're, the they're Cuban American sandwiches and the Cuban sandwiches are great. Often conquetonk. And you're wrong. For sure. Uh, yes, Spanish people are white. People from Spain specifically are white. But uh, um, many... wasn't white. white people are Spanish is what you mean. We have to take out both. Yeah, white people are all Spanish. Not white from Spain. They don't really Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I love the <laughs> <laughs> oh, Someone in chat said, "Since when did Cubans have food?" He's just so right. He's so very fucking true. right. Very true. There's no food, dude. Do you want to hear a really sad story? Um, no. No. Okay. <laughs> no. So, I feel um, like that would change the tone of the stream somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a we're having a jovial, wonderful, fun, happy. We're we're being gay as donuts. I don't want to hear your sad story. Are donuts gay? Oh, Are donuts God. gay? They're really. Have you seen Have you seen a donut? They look kind of gay. Have I will a, say. Have you seen a donut hole? Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty great. Changing targets. I love the subreddit shitty movie de details. It's so good. You, you guys familiar with movie details? Yeah. Like the concept or no, the... the subreddit? No. I am. Well, it was that a yes because you, it's good subreddit, right? Um, sometimes. Sometimes it's really fucking stupid. Yeah, well, and that's why shitty movie the, details the is the best because it makes fun of how stupid movie details can be. Yeah. The aim is to point out like you know neat little neat picks, you know, like all oh, this. Is, Super cool little attention to detail thing in this movie. I'm gonna point it out, right? Shitty movie details is so fucking good. Post, just the most recent post is in 2008, it's Iron Man. Gwyneth Paltrow attempts to emulate human emotion and fails. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. That is uh, that harsh, is but where's the line? It's humorous. Muller, have you ever thought of having Magog of Morscar on the EFAP podcast sometime? I think he'd be a real good addition when he's not busy. No idea who that is. Anyone know who Magog Morstar is? Yeah, I've Sounds heard of like yeah, a I've heard no. Of no. fantasy series name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we like fantasy series name people or do we hate them? I don't remember. Uh, I'm ambivalent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ending Hispanic with European ancestry violates the one drop rule and is therefore white. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that would have been true. This is, uh, for Satan's laugh. Oh, um, thanks. Uh, he has got a good laugh. Hi, Rags. Hi! Mola, your poor are critiques. Damn it. They knew. Christmas forever. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll keep it going for as long as we can, unless it gets outlawed. Christmas forever! 
Yeah, you think Halloween's great. Well, Christmas is 12 days, so only got no, one No, Christmas day. is much longer than 12 days. How many days? I went to Target yesterday, and it's already full of Christmas. Tree. I got Christmas ads already. Uh, yeah, but that is, none of that counts. Like I'm talking like when, when Christmas actually starts, it's like 12 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. I wish. So Christmas begins officially the day after Thanksgiving, and it goes until yes, that is true. Uh, January sixth. Yeah, that's Three Kings Day. Actually, I do a lot think of kind of fair. It does Christmas feel that way. That yeah. That's the that's the epiphany. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, like uh, why I said it. January sixth. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Um, no, seriously though, I, I wish, wish that I could invest in. Uh, like Mariah Carey's uh, All I Want for Christmas, like as if it were a stock, because interest in it goes up so fucking much uh, after Halloween. Dude, I'm battling the pro proto deca. Is battling like a juvenile bat? Yeah. Do you guys remember this from the movies? Because I don't. They made this up. The game makes stuff up. How fucking insulting is that? Not sticking to the source material, huh? I'm pretty insulted. I don't know why you. Feels lame, man. Ah. Uh, how many missiles? Why? Layman, like why must they hate? Uh, Molo or Rags, have you looked at any Black Friday deals? I haven't yet. Wait, when was Black Friday? No, I haven't. Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, right. Yeah, I have so well, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant by yet. I was like, because <laughs> I don't think it's happened yet. But, sure, uh, there was an interesting pattern with pricing of movies that bombed at the box office on the PlayStation Store. I mean, it only makes sense, right? The, uh, the more in demand something is, the higher you can price it. If everyone fucking hates a movie, if you put it at a low price, it might just consider giving it, uh, buying it. Yeah, I mean, that's like the $5 yeah, bargain bin at, like, what? Yeah. And who doesn't love bargain? I like those like three movie DVD packs where they like package three random things together. I have one that <laughs> it's Platoon, Dances with Wolves, and Silence of the Lambs. Come to wow. Me. Don't ask me why those three movies were packaged together, but they were, and it was five bucks. Fucking six is why. Damn it! I, why can't I run underneath them? This bullshit. I saw Who's a uh, ice cube saw... one. Go on. No, you go, Jay. What about you ice cream? Jay. I, I saw a um, a Jaws three movie box set, uh, and it was like Jaws two, Jaws three D, and Jaws the Revenge. Is it Jaws? <laughs> Jaws. I love it. Saw, I saw one at uh, Walmart that's like it was based on Ice Cube, and it was like, "Are we there yet?" Oh yeah, uh, I know that one. Boys in the Hood, and then another one of the family movies he did. Like Midian. one of these things, it was uh, "Are We There Yet?" Boys in the Hood, and then another one of the like family movies that Ice Cube did. One of these things probably doesn't belong here. Hmm. That sounds like your opinion, though. Nothing wrong with being a boy in the no, hood. No, that's that's objective. Wow. I feel like the most obvious like three movies on here would be like Alien, Terminator, Predator. Wouldn't it, the huh. best three movie uh, bundle be uh, a trilogy? Can we do that? Yeah, no, probably no, the most no, obvious no, one. As in, like, you trilogy. know, as in things that are already packaged together. Trilogies. Like, Everyone loves them. On their own. <laughs> all of them. So like, true. <laughs> that's, that's, we all love them. That statement is so strange. <laughs> <laughs> Trilogies. <laughs> we all love them. I mean, three is the magic number, so... Oh, that's what I've heard. God, this is... Carnage. Mola, thoughts on Raimi Spider-Man 2? Uh, I've always loved it, though, as far as I can tell, there's a lot more flaws in it than I previously thought. You said that very diplomatically. I mean, yeah. The last thing I want to say is, I fucking hate it, it's garbage. Like, why would I do that to someone's poor brain on this show? Why would I do that? What is your thoughts on Spider-Man 2, rest of the cast? I liked it when I saw it, like, however many years ago. It's been a long time. They really, they really tried. You say they really I'm tried. <laughs> I'm just, um, no, it's, um, We've the it's brought down by some stuff, but, uh, it's solid. Like they found it. 
and there's still no sign. I tried well, Googling free movie, movie variety packs and all I'm getting is Kellogg's Fruit Loops, <laughs> Cocoa Krispies, <laughs> and Apple Jacks. <laughs> My <laughs> favorite <laughs> movies, best films, deserve Oscars. Whiskers? You know the Cuties has been nominated for an Oscar? Or is on the nomination shortlist or whatever? Yeah, of what, course. For, like, of course best it is. Foreign film. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just trying to get people like through controversy. I'm gonna make you pay they're trying to get, you just get cut out after people. It was so close. All we had we had it was this was the perfect let's all unite and get behind this one movie and agree that it's fucking horrendous. It's so easy, it's fucking child exploitation. We can all agree on that, right? Nope. Nope. No. No. Ruby Bob. Ruby Bob. I didn't even, I didn't even hear that. Oh my god, that was fucking lame. Do you guys see this cutscene? The fuck? Uh, yeah, I, I I'm watching the stream, so it's the hell, a bit... Anakin. You... <laughs> <laughs> the editing in that was bizarre. I guess he shot what me with like a one? trank or something. I don't know. Yeah. What Someone says, "Ask uh, me in capital the wa question." What is that? The what question? Wa. Right? Oh, wow. table or seven. I hate to imagine what a oh, it's wa. It's the Japanese wa. So, table of seven, though. What do you mean? Which do you choose? Some sort of ancient Sith artifact. But that's a. Um. Keep using it as a power source, but for what? I have table, I guess. All right, and uh, capital opinions. Table of seven. Mercenary Scion Prax find it. You what? Hey, girls gotta make a living. Besides, All right. I, no I feel like you have to understand that these are potential representations of Gene. Like, you have to see the original Gene to understand how well they're representing him. I feel I like... I think personally the Seven represents him better. Well, so I've seen a lot of discussion on this, and I do understand the table argument. I really do. Um, it's just the Seven... Yeah, it's tough. I don't want to call it myself. I just don't want to. But I was hoping Capital Opinions would, but here he is, rushing off... In the moment that we need him the most. He's Russian. Yeah. You won't be but you didn't think about that. Any longer, young Jedi. Oh, look, you, now you've had a Russian person on. All right, everyone remind me to ask Jamie when he's back about Table 07. Given time, I could have taught you how to use um, I will never believe that God plays Fortnite with the universe. That is an Albert Einstein quote. I don't know if you guys knew that. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, James. One day, a poor boy from an African village created Fortnite, and that boy's name, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Jay, you didn't say Albert Einstein. What the fuck? I did. Actually. No, you didn't, you I liar. Did, I did it. I did it already before the stream. I was prepared. No, no, you didn't. Yeah, I got. I got ahead of my work. I called bullshit on that. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's heresy. I did to the person in chat. But... Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I want to kill more droids. What the fuck? Oh, cool! I'm freeing Wookies. I'm the good guy. I'm a Wookiee freer. Uh, do you I'm have a, a W word pass, Morlin? I'm a Wookiee. <laughs> the Wookiee pass? I mean, I must be getting it if I'm freeing them. Wookiee. It'd be really awkward if they all get gunned down the second I release them, wouldn't it? It would be awkward. That one just did on your screen on the stream. No, Jay. Shut up. Chewbacca is just saying, like, oh, I'm dead? horrible racial epithets, like, wow, the whole Chewbacca. time. Chewbacca. Oh, Chewbacca. I <laughs> free you. Albert no. Forstein. Like, there are so many things you could do with adding subtitles to Chewbacca and R2-D2. <laughs> it's um, like the Hitler scene where he has a breakdown. Do people still do I bet people still do that. You probably. Your Can you believe that guy called Chewbacca pet? Oh my god. That's it, fucking weird. So, the, the A and the P in EFAP, the two red lines, that's the Twin Towers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Was no, didn't time. someone? Uh... We're the. We've been called the 9/11 of podcasts. <laughs> someone, uh... someone did like send a um, like a nine like a cover for a 9/11 special of EFAP where the they, they did, actually yeah. were through the twin towers. Someone submitted that and was like, "We should you should use this if you Same stream man. on 9/11." Never like... forgetty. Mm. Oh my. God. Oh my. God. There's an element of uh, timing and and. 
respect that may not be respected in that particular art form, but hey, everyone has their opinion. Yeah. Also, have you returned now, opinions of the capital? Have I returned? <laughs> yeah, what? you were gone, you piece of shit. Oh yeah, my internet did a tism and now I'm back. Giant lasers keep killing me, I blame you, Jay. But uh, anyway, um, we have an important question to ask. You guys aren't diverse enough. Did you not tell them? No, he didn't tell us he was going, and now he's back, so now I have to ask the important question. Oh, yeah. do it. Uh, table or seven? Ah, uh, we'll go table. Why not? Damn, two votes for table here. I, I don't know, guys. Looking looking pretty lopsided here. I, I, oof. I mean, Jay's going for seven. I see I see what you did there. I Lopsided table. Uh. I'm, just, I'm just thinking of penis, 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 when you say lopsided. Penis, penis, penis. I like penis, penis, penis. Rex, penis, penis. Rex do you have a position a on this? Character. The whole table seven thing? I don't I don't have a position on this, honestly. This is the first one where we're just going to watch the results pour we're in. We're just going to watch the yeah. world Guys burn. Are a bunch of filthy that, you really are the 9-11 of podcasts, huh? Mm -hmm. Also, is this game suggesting I'm not allowed to save the fucking Wookiees? Because that is unacceptable. Like, I have to accept So, are Wookiees from Endor? Is that ever explained? No, no they're from Kashyyyk. What Kashyyyk. the fuck? Uh, Ewoks, Do you even so watch Star Wars, Wars, you absolute well, fake nerd? Yeah, of course I've watched Star Wars, but then I saw the South Park episode uh, where the guy's like, This is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is a Wookiee. But he lives on Endor, and I was like, oh, does he really? No, does I don't think so. He doesn't. No. Why are you saying that? What, where does that come Falcon. from? Yeah, uh, where is, so where did that come from? Holy fuck, what the f did anyone else see that on the stream? Wait a minute, all, the, all the Wookiees are gonna die. It just cut away before all the Wookiees died. <laughs> so um, the, the whole stream just like strobed, like, seizure-y. I'm sorry. I didn't see like, that. One second. Ah, it's all sorry to any epileptics in, in chat who, have, who are now dead. Yeah, sorry about that. Hmm. All those poor Wookmen have just been killed. I feel bad. Do you, you think if you're epileptic, you can get like a monitor or application that um, that doesn't allow uh, for the presenting of fast flashing? Possibly. I really? That you're probably I'm sure it. It's possible, but uh, that seems difficult to like. Well, the thing is, in. well, uh, if if you are pro if you are offering that as a product and it goes wrong, Ooh, you're probably yeah. liable. Yeah. Which. I mean, those products can't be uh, seen as guarantees, right? You've got to market those as something. That's, oh yeah, for sure. It's a safety net rather than a a fix. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be the company manufacturing those. Oh, someone in the comments said they love the symmetry of the table, and I agree with that. Damn. Gene isn't fucking symmetrical. Yeah, but the other one isn't. That gene. Don't yell at me, okay? <laughs> I was yelling. At He's yelling to you. <laughs> Yeah, it's different. That was a really effective cell at holding the view. Um, what? Um, Wombo was in a really effective cell. Did they, did they put you in the cell with your lightsaber? No, I have to get it from a droid. Uh, also, they were gonna kill me, I guess? Because as soon as I escape this place, it blows up. Fucking Dooku, man. Can't be hey. trusted. Is this game Someone canon? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Someone in chat said uh, Kashyyyk equals Brazil. I'm not really sure if that's an insult to Kashyyyk or to Brazil. Or a compliment. I guess we'll never Are know. Are Brazilian people particularly hairy? I know, <laughs> so. I can tell you my probably, girlfriend. That's why they have a type of waxing hairy. that's specifically for Brazilians. Yeah. Because they have such an Maybe incredible... Maybe because of how hairy they are. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a specific thing for them because they're so hairy. They have to have their own technique for waxing. Everyone thought they weren't hairy, but turns out they were super hairy. That, but it's actually the, quite the opposite. It's like that the hairs are so fine that like it's a different... Whatever, it doesn't matter. That doesn't change the amount of hair. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, it's not, they're not particularly hairy. That, that's what Brazilian waxing is. Uh, Lies. There's less hair. Propaganda. Wasn't the Battle of Endor originally supposed to be the Battle of Kashyyyk, but they didn't have um, means to create Kashyyyk as George Lucas envisioned it, so he created a different planet for it instead? Damn, that's that hardcore. Be, it was going to be Wookiees instead of Ewoks? I, I've heard that somewhere, but I don't have a source. 
Can anyone in chat verify that for me, whether or not that's true? Don't it's verify if cool. Jay's making shit up again. Because Return of the Jedi would have been cooler if it was uh, Wookiees. I, I don't them. think so. Troopers. Uh, also, I would say that like the merchandising at that point was like something that was in the minds of people, and the Wookiees, uh, I don't think were were as marketable as. Um, we don't care about what's marketable. As Ewoks. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. We don't. But like the the executive. We're we talking about us. We're not talking about them. <laughs> like we don't care. He's talking about Lucas. No. He said why Lucas did a particular thing, and then he said, I, w I think it would have been cooler to have had Wookiees. Apparently ah. he said it in Empire of Dreams. I think I have that. That's a documentary. Yeah, I, mean, I, have, I have a Empire documentary about the original trilogy. Uh, it came with the box set of the original trilogy. It was like the fourth desk. Fucking neat. Yeah! The Gi table, um, EP table is life? What? Trigger oh, the gene, the gene peen. While, while, while officially EFAP does not have an official stance on Gene's true form, I was there during Gene's inception. Yes. And he, I don't recall him being symmetrical. That is true. Yeah. We can confirm that particular uh, element. Yeah, I don't think that he was a symmetrical whatever he is. It the is. only issue with the seven is it's mirrored. Uh, it's not the same way around as Gene. But honestly, you know what? I think Gene is capable of changing. Well, what if Gene turned one. around and yeah, walked, like, went away from you? That's rags. What did I just fucking say? <laughs> what? Bitch. Oh. Well, I think we can all agree that neither symbol fully encompasses Ain't all no the beauty, bitch. beauty oh, and majesty that is Gene. So yeah, 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 that's fair. I think we can we can sort of yeah okay. Um, the nation of Chad. You're Venetian. J rhymes Venetian with gay. Coincidence? Dad. I think Venetian. not. I think that, not. Was that a super chat? Because I think I remember seeing that come in. Or were you just saying? That is a super chat, and I did a reference there. One of you should have gone there, okay? Oh, is it the Simpsons? Nope. Your mother. I remember, I remember that tone of voice so clearly. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, I know that so well. What the fuck is that from? That's bugging me now. Chat's gonna get it before you. That from, that's right, from that's from the third movie made by Pixar. It is a Pixar movie. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, you got it before chat too. Just before chat, well, like a second chat, after you started. Chat has a delay, so. Well, yeah, that's, not really that's fair. the challenge. Chat have a million minds, and Jay is just one. Has a million. Hmm. Whoa! I can fire giant lasers. This game just keeps surprising. Incredibles was that one movie that I replayed a million times as a kid. What was what was yours? Everyone. Uh, the Incredibles. Ball. What? Wait. What's the movie we played over and over? Yeah, as a kid, what's the movie? I had a few of them. I had a few. Yeah, mine was. Uh, I think my number one was The Great Mouse Detective. That was another one for me. T2 was another one for me. I watched that one an ungodly amount of times. Hey, so uh, my girlfriend just called me over to kill a bug, and uh, <laughs> to do it no, 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 but. I get there and the bug <laughs> already died. He like walked oh. out just to fucking die. He walked out just to die. He walked out in, in the open bug. just to fucking kill himself. <laughs> I want you to see me die. <sighs> or it like Fine. found out she was getting someone to kill it and he was like, oh, fuck you. I'll die yeah. on my own too. At least I don't get <laughs> killed by a woman. That's what I think. Like, he, she, he was like, oh damn, someone's coming to kill me. Fuck it. I'm going on my own terms. That's what I said. You can't kill me, I suicide. Yeah, he said, you can't kill me, I suicide. Yeah, yeah it's not, it's not that, fun, is it? We just repeat each other's jokes. What, what is this yeah, show? Yeah, said that. Fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna probably complain to NASA. They probably have some hand in this. I'm thinking of what other movies I watched a lot as a kid. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. I'm trying to think of the ones that oh, particularly a, rise to the top. When I was a kid, I used to watch Tarzan, and then I'd get to the trash in the camp scene, and then I'd just play that scene over and over and over and over and over again until my parents got annoyed. Yeah, and then turn hey, the TV do off. any of you guys have, like, uh, old VHSs? Oh, yeah. actually, I, I took a picture. So I recently, I went to my grandparents' house, where I used to spend a lot of time as a as a wee little doggo, and I, I have, I found the, the boxes of VHSs that I used to watch, so... I took a picture. Let's go through them, shall we? Nice. Um, but if I my... may, first, while you upload that. Yeah, go for it. No, you, you may not. 
No, um, well, that's capital O. I, I think I will anyway. Direct defiance here. Um, <laughs> the I, you know what? I forgot. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Jungle Book VHS uh, is apparently worth hundreds of dollars. Like I saw between five hundred and two thousand bucks. Neat. For now? different versions of it, the Jungle Book VHS. Oh. Interesting. We probably have one of those lying around our place. Yeah, that's what was crazy. I found one at my mom. I went to my mom's Pokemon card mania, uh, and I knew that when I was like seven or eight, some older member of my family gave me a Pokemon card for some uh, Christmas or you know one of the gift giving holidays, and I knew it was in like those uh, professionally graded uh, plastics, and I didn't give a fuck at the time. It was like a Pikachu or some shit. But I went back to get that card. Turns out that shit's worth fifteen hundred and seventeen dollars. This old Pokemon card. So I start looking through my other shit to be like, oh, what else might I have? And I find like the Jungle Book VHS and those other VHSs, and I look it up, and yeah, the Jungle Book's worth between five hundred and two thousand fucking dollars. So Rags, what VHSs did you watch as a kid? All right, here we go. Let's go through the list. Okay. Now this one I don't particularly remember. Ring of Bright Water. It's about an otter or something. I don't know. Fuck that. I never watched it. So we got Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. VHS, classic, good stuff. Um, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yeah. That's a good one. You see, you guys remember Little Giants? No. Uh, I remember the name. I can't think yes, of it. Yes, I do. Yes, I very much do. Uh, that's right next to uh, Flubber. Oh, I remember <laughs> Flubber. Ah, Flubber, yeah. Uh, Sorry, the bug's that. still alive. I gotta go kill it. How do you not? Oh, fuck, no. How do you fail to confirm the death of a bug? Jesus. Uh, it's, you step on it to confirm the death. Yep. Um, so Double tap. Uh, we have Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. I never really watched that myself. That was my sister's. I guess that's where my dad hit it. He got so go. sick of watching that mm -hmm. damn um, Now Then we have uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This was the fucking weird Tim... Uh, no, the... Who? Jim Carrey Carrey one. Yeah, Jim Carrey one, yeah. We're probably going to watch that for refit movies, actually. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's Next up, exciting. One of my personal favorites, The Princess and the Goblin. Love me. That's from 91, Princess and the Goblin. You can't say that word without being anti-Semitic. That's what I've heard from uh, right, writing princess? tips. D? You, can't, you can't say princess without it. That's true. Yeah, well, the, I, I really like that one. That one had some cool... It was some cool tisms in The Princess and the mm -hmm. Goblin. Um, the then we know, have... Um, the Bell, Tales of Friendship. Bell's Tales of Friendship. I guess this was some VHS spinoff of Bell from Beauty and the Beast. I don't remember anything about that one. Um, uh, they were short stories. I, I remember this from when my sister was born. Uh, we have 101 Dalmatians. Classic. Good stuff. Then we have another banger. One of my favorites. Cartoon or live action? Cartoon. Okay. I good, didn't give good. a shit about the live action one. Because my, my infant brain was like, oh, those are just dogs. <laughs> um, one of my favorites is the Swan Princess. Yeah, that's a good movie. That's some good shit right there. Next up, Oliver and Company. Hmm. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. And then we have one that not a lot of people will be not nearly as familiar with: Bartok the Magnificent. Yeah, what that does sound pretty cool. It yeah, does sound it's pretty the bad. Bat from Anastasia. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Really? You have the bat from Anastasia Bartok. He got his own direct to VHS uh, movie. <laughs> I'm very happy that that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Um, hey, bright blue in chat. Do you actually speak Japanese or are you just like fucking translating? Well, Kenichiwa, uh, Kawasaki, Honda, Suzuki, Mitsubishi. Oh. Okay, so he literally said like some some Konnichiwa, like super basic shit. So I'm like, I don't know if this person actually speaks Japanese or not. Yeah, um, you know what? You know Harry Potter, right? You know, do, you know yeah, that know. franchise. You no, know the character. No. You know the character. Uh, you know the character nearly headless Nick. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, a poorly executed character. He was a poorly Explain executed why. character. I don't think he so. Was a poorly I mean, he's dead. Character. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Seems um, like they did their job. Thank you. I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than that. Uh, well, like, oh, if they man. become a ghost, like, how is that their fault? Well, no, no, no. I mean, like they didn't, like it so didn't come clean off. It was very, yeah, it's just it's poor form. 
It's very poor form. What if that was the standard at the time to leave them near headless? Uh, Would he not have achieved his goal no, very no, efficiently? It was a failure. In a, it was, yeah, in a, was in a fantasy was. world of Harry Potter, maybe. I doubt it though. I don't know. Uh, but when it comes to VHSs, that was only half of the uh, half of the collection. We have the rest over mm. here on the oh, other side, and they shit. had their own box. What? We have more to explore. Uh, yes. We have we have Bambi. How niche do they get? Like, Classic. oh, they can get, get pretty. More niche? They're a little. They're a little niche. I think a couple of. I think about three of them are sort of niche. I'll, I'll do the big ones. Uh, we got Bambi. Mm -hmm. Aladdin and yep. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, mm -hmm. as well as Dark Creamy Vader. Yes, and we got Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. So we got our main one, our big ones out of the way. Now we're gonna we we'll get progressively a li little more obscure here. So I guess next up in that list would be um, the Fantasia, the, the original. Oh yeah, that's some good yeah. shit, man. Good. Mazorski, end on a high note, I say. Um, Nah, then after that we have ooh, what's next? I would probably say Muppets from Space. Remember Muppets from Space where Gonzo uh finds his family? <laughs> no, I don't remember that one. No, you don't remember where Gonzo founds his finds but then he learns that his real family was the Muppets there with him on Earth the whole time. The Muppets it's that very, he made yeah, along the way. I, I do remember this. Yeah, Rizzo the Rat was his his his, his Riga. Um next up we have Ooh, which one of these is more obscure? All right, we're gonna go with this one. A troll in Central Park. I know that one. Yep, Dom DeLuise voiced the troll with the green thumb, and he wasn't like the other trolls, they kicked him out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I think the most obscure of them all is Little Nemo, Adventures in Slumberland. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that one. That shit is gold. In fact, that's one of the movies that I want us to watch, Mahler, on one of their little movie excursions mm -hmm. that we do. I want us to watch Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. That movie scared me as a kid. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna think a video uh, about it. If it's animated, you'll get like it is animated. 30 million views. No, no, no. If you make an animated video about how that movie scared you, you'll get like 45 million views. Oh, man. Yeah. How this seem? Yeah, good stuff. Um, someone said that's probably Super Rare Rags. It might actually legit be really super. It's a VHS of Little Nemo. Um, Google, Google if it uh, yeah, is. Yeah, let me, let me see. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the VHSs I loved as a kid was the, has anyone here seen Pixar's Dinosaur? I have, yeah, Aladar was the main character. In yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I really, I'm wondering yeah. if it holds up. No, not the good dinosaur. Just dinosaur. <laughs> no, these are selling for like three bucks. Yeah, these dinosaurs were morally ambiguous. Did any of you guys get like the the hand puppets from Dinosaur? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, but I never got any. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they had them at McDonald's or something, but I, they were definitely easily accessible. They were like obnoxiously I, I had... big, weren't they? Um. If it was if it was a McDonald's toy that I'm thinking it is, then absolutely I mean, fucking I yes. Can't, maybe I can't remember because as a as a tiny person, my <laughs> sense of scale was way out of whack. So maybe they were just normal Fair. size, but to my tiny, I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure. Did anyone else feel like? Um, is that the Bojack Horseman theme song? Like Someone said. Look, Steve Sir, Pyle says you. Little Nemo was friggin' scary when I was a kid. Yeah, like the nightmare sequences in the Nightmare King. That shit was like, oh, as a kid, that's spooky shit. And I the black goo, oh boy. Prometheus? Oh, Prometheus? It said black goo. The, the black goo famous for and black uh, goo. Little Nemo, yeah. So I'm saying Prometheus, Prometheus ripped off Little Nemo. Can, can anyone in chat who's seen uh, Dinosaur 2000, just 2000 movies called Dinosaur 2000, uh, can anyone who's seen that like as an adult Tell me Confirm if it's, uh, if it's if good it holds or not. Up. Yeah. And don't um, lie. There are, Do there are like, is, it, is it internally consistent? Uh, Jay, there are like YouTube videos of people that are like, you don't remember Dinosaur that, that go over that. I do remember Dinosaur, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, all these stupid fucking, like, Gen Z YouTubers that are like, oh, I'm so old now because I'm 20 are making these videos like, you don't remember this movie. And it's like, yeah, I do. What hey, if I I'm told 21 you? And I am very old. Hey, Jay. I order listen my up. groceries. Listen up. Yeah. Dinosaur, the initial idea for the film, it originated 
during the filming of RoboCop. Because that movie was directed by Paul Verhoeven. I just hope they get here soon. Interesting. I don't follow. I do. On the during the filming of RoboCop is when they had the idea to do a dinosaur, an animated dinosaur picture. Right. Yeah. The end. That's it. That is pretty. That is pretty. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, is I it true that like uh, Wally was supposed to be the last Pixar film? That was the or last one they, they said that was the last one that they had in their initial like set of ideas, right? Yeah, I, I remember that from the trailer. Would have been would have been a good place to end, although then we wouldn't have got Coco. Coco's good. I, I saw yeah. Coco on Coco's, Yeah, I really enjoyed Coco. Uh and Inside Out is fucking fantastic. I've heard mixed things about Inside Out. I've heard it's mad. Man, fuck mixed things. Inside Out's a fucking banger. Yeah. Alright, if you if you like Inside Out, I w and you would like to keep liking Inside Out, don't think about it too much. That's okay. my recommendation. It's to think about Up too much, or Toy Story too much. It's like, no, it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> Up, you can okay. think about like, any amount, right? And it still works. Yeah. Well. Unless you're thinking stuff like, I don't think the dogs have the cognitive capacity to force you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, we, clearly, we clearly do. Yeah. That's or, or all the people that think like, oh, what is it like? Like for the toys that are there all the time. What about sex toys? It's like. It's a fair bro, question. Like, I Dude, get I would, it. You I, I would absolutely $30 watch. per cracked article. I get it. I would absolutely watch the sex toys version of Toy Story. I'm sure it exists. Well, they're probably fine with it because yeah, that's like your yeah. purpose and their. Yeah. Now the I well, imagine what they're if, just. Their what if one of them is like? It'll what if one of them is like? Oh, but the person using me is pretty ugly. Oh, what if one of one of the sex toys was gay, but oh, like man. it was a dildo and a woman bottom. Damn. Damn. Yeah, like, what if there was a dildo yeah, designed for, like, okay. gay dudes, but uh, a straight couple buys it? Oh, are you saying that, like, if you're made by gay people, that you must be gay? Are you saying that being gay is genetic? Yes. I didn't say... What? Did he say that the people <laughs> who make dildos are gay? So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, like, a, a dildo that's designed for, uh, like, gay use. I don't, I don't imagine, like, I don't think there are... Specifically, like marketed as gay dildos. I, I've certainly not seen one. I yeah, but, I think uh, they're just like I. If it'll work for one, it'll it'll work for the other. Yeah, I imagine. Well, there are uh, there are certainly dildos that are designed for vaginas. They won't be here for a while. The dildos. Um, I, you could you could definitely put one of those in your butthole if you were so motivated. I'm glad yeah, we've mine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all mine are. I guess I don't know if they're all of mine are designed for anuses, but that's where they go. What about the third entrance? Too big to see and are they happy I'm about just, that? I'm just we don't know. Hang on, that reminded me of a great piece of art. Let me see if I can find it. Um, hang on. That's the signal. They're coming. We've got to trigger the first trap. I'm bringing you, one of the You're talking about that? They, they're not designed for the butthole, but that's where they go. Let's designed see. for the butt. I mean, maybe they are designed for the butthole. I mean, I think. I think Bad Dragon knows its uh, audience. You know what I'm saying? It reminded me of. Oh, it's coming. Where is it? I'm on the right thread. Uh... Let me find it. Fucking banger. In it. Just waiting. Wait, it's not. What the fuck? Where is it? It's not here. I'll be around. I'll, 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 let, I'll let you know when I have it very well. All right. This is the second time in recent memory where you've you've stopped everyone else for something <laughs> you were going to say but we're not ready for. Um, I, to, I just want to respond to someone who's asking me a question in chat. Um, I, I don't understand what the question is referencing. He's basically saying, uh, can you give me a recommendation of a site? Uh, I'm asking for a friend, but like, what could that be in reference to? Someone said do dinosaur for EFAP movies. I don't know. If, I mean, it might work. I don't know. I would. I would totally do that. Yeah, but I, I, you're already I biased in try. favor of it, Jay. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I know. Your opinion. Well, we were we were biased, biased in favor of the something else, but that's fine. 
It's nothing to worry about, really. No, that's not my argument. It's that, oh. of course, Jay would approve of it. He's, he's in favor of the film in general. He doesn't know that it'll work for fat movies. He's just hoping it will. <laughs> that piece of shit. Admit it, Jay. Admit it, Jay. Jay. Well, Jay. Um, hey, did you know you can speed up the detonation of the grenades by pressing B after you throw them? Jesus Christ, I did not know that. Did someone in chat say that? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming yes. you've stolen chat's insight without you crediting did. them. That you is did. fucked up, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I did. Uh, no credit. Oof, my Fuck. <laughs> Oof, my dude. Um... Am I supposed yeah. to kill these things with this shitty torn torn knockoff? Because my god, does it take some time. Um, I swear to god, this art exists. Why is it not in any of the places I swear that it is? Tell what? Senpai Literature Devil I hail <laughs> Satan. I say hail Satan and I'm making sacrifices for him today. Um, hail Satan! Is that something that we're cool with? I think so. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Someone liked dinosaurs so much that they sent their first super chat just to talk about it. That's a lie. They've been sending super chats before. Wow. Fuck. Piece I pay shit. attention to the Fire. chat. I don't know. I, I don't know why they thought they could get away maybe, with it. I'm watching you. Oh yeah. Use the same account. I'm watching. No, that's that's a dirty liar. They. I don't know about chats. that. I don't yes. know about that. Yes, Sarah Bright. I will notice you speak a different language, but they won't. But like, and I don't fucking matter. I'm just here this time. Maybe another time. Why do you hate white people so much? What? <laughs> How many languages do you speak, D? And why do you hate white people so much? Those yeah. Were the two questions. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. <laughs> About either. yeah, I speak white. <laughs> it's not really a brag uh, to hate white people. Most people do these days. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't hate white people. I fucking love white people. The, I mean, the the person I've met who spoke the most languages was seven. Can you beat that? Um, Wait, the person was I, seven, yeah, or they spoke I, seven I, languages? No, that's oh. impressive. Yeah, seven languages. Um, I doubt they spoke them fluently, or they, they were jive? probably like really, really similar languages. Well, uh, no, they moved several times to different countries in their life. Yeah, so like, then of the I, place. I, I will admit, I, yeah, uh, I would doubt happy. that they still spoke them fluently if they moved enough times as a child to learn seven languages. Jay, I believe your story. I do too. No, I, be I believe it. I just like, I don't, I doubt that as an adult, they would hold on to like a lot of them like super well. Maybe. Um, sounds like Jay, don't I don't think it. you're a liar. I'm, it I'm sounds like you're trying to be the rain cloud over Jay's parade, mm -hmm. which is I normally never, our job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would be a pride parade and I would never rain on a pride parade. I would. I would piss and come on a pride parade. Oh no. Yeah. I wouldn't I come on a like pride parade. How else would you rain? Some of the fucking the go home, put some pants on. You don't wear pants, you're okay. Oh, if a dog walked, <laughs> no. if a dog yeah, walked yeah, I don't wear, wear pants. pants like this or like this, that was one of my favorite sure memes. That yeah. was such a good Are meme. Are you sure what a dog wear pants mean? People languages, someone said. Hmm? Um, someone said, are you sure that, uh, you, they didn't actually speak table languages? What the fuck is a table language? You don't Get know. it? Because it's like a replacement for the seven, for, for the gene. Oh, oh, Get for fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, that's, I that's, that's, clever. that's annoyingly good. You shouldn't explain yeah. jokes like that. You should let them say Table languages. Uh, that's, that's a joke I where... Oh, oh, I found the art. I found the art. You found, it it. you found the what? Be good. Uh, I found the art I was talking about. Um, wow. I found it by going to the video um, that it's in. Ah. So let me just... Hang on. Oh my god. Uh, here it comes. <gasps> Jay, if this isn't great... That's better be a fucking banger. So yeah. somebody sent us Somebody sent us this. Uh, here it is. It's my fault. <laughs> Jabo Now let's clean up the rest of these attackers and move on to Alright, it's not bad. Oh, I guess I have to show people now. Ugh. That's what <laughs> that's what came to mind when you were saying uh I don't know if the dildo is a, a design for the butt, but that's where they're going. Uh, that uh, does anyone know what I'm referencing when I say it's my hole? 
It's my hole. I feel like, no, yeah, I feel like that could apply to a lot of things. That seems that's like a no multi specific thing. Very, very, very specific reference. thing. You would know if, like, it. Maybe yeah. if you it's said. Like, Rag, right. where should I fuck you? And I'm like, it's Oh, my you hole. mean that comic? Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, that it. comic. Yeah, okay. that's, that's what you made me think of when you were talking about the holes. It's a mahole. That comic, that comic was like, that comic, like, uh, struck a nerve with me the first time I read it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's overhyped. It's very creepy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's creepy, oh, but like, that it's one. overhyped. And then, like, you read it because you hear about the, the, the reputation. And so you, you read it and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess. I, I, was, I just read it because uh, I just read it because someone sent it to me. So I liked it a lot. I didn't get any of the hype and hear any of that. It's, it is a good piece of media. I just feel it's overhyped. Damn. Just like Metal Commander? Metal Commander is underhyped. Deserves way more hype. All right, fine. If that's how you feel, jeez. What are the guests' favorite top five, top tens of Christmas? Oh. <laughs> God, uh. Answer the fucking question, God. But I feel like we would have stopped making that joke by now if he didn't get annoyed about it. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the jokes related to Chase would stop very quickly if he didn't get so pissed off so quickly. But I don't think that's going to stop chat anytime soon. Or us. Nope. Not me. I'm not allowed to make one mistake, really. Oh, oh my goodness. Especially when we are, what, seven and a half hours in, guys. No mistakes Holy allowed. Shit. Uh, meme. Have someone say this in a little boy voice. Master Mall of the Xmas carols are coming. What are we going to do? It's um, got to be a British uh, child's voice. Yeah. Jay, you're going to be the best I, child. What was the, what was the quote? Uh, Mall of the Xmas carols are coming. What are we going to do? Mall of the Xmas car fuck. <laughs> again. The kid just says fuck in front of Adam. Obviously, you're like you're referencing like people named Carol. Who can, are just Carol. The, can you paste it in the chat? Um, no, I, just do your best approximation, then I can laugh at it. Oh, Senor Carol, Master Mullet, the the Christmas carols are coming. What are we going to do? Activates lightsaber. <laughs> I would kill the messenger and the carolers. Apparently, I don't know. Then again, actually, in that scenario, the carolers would be on my team, which I'm cool with, by the way. Wait, are carolers coming, or are carols coming? Both. Carolers are called carol, and they're carols, and they sing carols. I feel like carol is a corollary of Karen. Yeah. Oh, do you now? Carol, 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 carol. Carol, carol, carol. Karen is sort of like the can I ask for the manager name and Carol is the sort of yeah. my ex-wife. Carol, my Carol, kind of Carol. <laughs> so I march my way down to Carol in HR and I say, Carol! Reference. I feel like Ka Karen says, um, this is awful service. I need to speak to someone. Uh, Carol says, I'm taking your kids, John. Jesus. <laughs> Good shot. I don't like it's Carol. John. Or John. John. John gets it so bad. Carolina. John is a masochist. John likes it. Are you sure he's not a sadist? Maybe. By the way, guys, were you guys were like all missing the most. The only productive form of sadism is uh, when the other person consents to it. That's the only productive form of sadism. Not that just. So shit. there's a productive yeah, form of sadism it. then. Yeah. So you we didn't miss there. it at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm you sure I brought that up. When Mahler figured out that he didn't know what BDSM like stood for, and he like was like, oh, well, wouldn't it apply in BDSM? And someone was you know, like, that's what the S stands for. That still counts as a point whether or not you know the def uh, the, what the acronym is for. No, I yeah, you had a point. It was just It just sounds a little bit like, good. well of course it does. And it's like, well, you know, you gotta bring it up anyway. Because a little extra credits is shaming BDSM enthusiasts, which is not cool. Kinda kinda shaming fucked up. Kinda fucked up. I don't think what the B and the D will stand for. Bumbo. And there's a lot oh, of D I think. Bumbo Dumbo Sadomasochism. I think it makes the most sense that it would be those. Big Dangus. 
chat according to medium D. Gas, gas, gas. Gotta step on the gas tonight. Um, Got a ass blast? No, I don't know. Fast. No. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't get about it at all. Gas. Is that like an inside joke? Yeah, inside I'm not ass? falling. Yeah, yeah, step on the gas. <laughs> Could you imagine just like saying that to a comedian after they try, like after they bring their ray material, and you just look at them like, "Is that an inside joke?" And like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told yeah, him to be there for that. One. That would be the ultimate heckle, Jay. Ultimate heckle. Oh my god, when I have giant wars, this game doesn't manage to maintain its FPS. At least the emulator isn't. Get these yeah, YouTubers on. Some, uh, just some guy, Mandalore Gaming, and watch Over the Garden Wall. It's somewhat like Bly Manor in terms of writing, you massives. Ah. Oh, that's a, that's quite the claim. That is very much the claim. That is a, ooh, that is a lofty. Yeah, what, is it mediocre? <laughs> you, know. you, uh, you rang? Mediocre work garbage. Rung, we rung. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Yo, it's not even scary, though. Well, I would say yeah. it fails fundamentally Carol, because Carol. it's in the horror genre and it's not scary. <laughs> Carol, Carol, Carol. Is it okay? So, am I wrong in thinking that Over the Garden kids movie with anthropomorphized animals that like need to get over a, a garden wall in a gated community? That's over or the hedge. That's over the hedge. <laughs> Where Bruce Willis voiced the uh, Paul Giamatti and Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis voiced animals voiced with, alongside of William fucking Shatner. I love the idea that someone recommends you guys should watch Over the Head. The writing is similar to Bly Manor. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking. So, it's Bruce like, Willis well, voices it's Paul Giamatti. It's the whole thing. Bruce <laughs> Willis it does his best Paul Giamatti impression <laughs> while it's William Shatner looks shock. D, you said you were going to watch uh, Bly Manor. Have you done that? Oh, Jay, are, are, you, are you asking people if they've seen things? Yes. Mm. Unacceptable, guys. Jay. Mm. No, I was just curious. I just curious. I know, I'm genuinely yeah. asking. I was wondering if you had done it. Just wanted to check. Just wanted to make sure. Um. Uh. No. No. And I don't need wow. to give a reason why. Give a reason why. There's no reason. Okay. There's no reason. It's uh. I, I have no reason. I just didn't. There's no reason. Um, you know, I could bring you through the fucking list of media I was raised on rags, and you wouldn't have seen any of it. So. We've probably seen all of it. Yeah. Oh, everyone! I want everyone to go because it stuck ever since you started saying Carol. So there's a. Well, I used to work at a restaurant, and one of the songs that would play was a song named Carolina uh, by Sue Jorge. I guess his name is Jorge Mario da Silva, a uh, Brazilian guy. Oh, that is a deep reference. A reference to what? Uh, just like knowing of him. Well, it's not. I mean, I'm referencing him by giving his name. Sure. Um, I guess, sort of. Yeah, it's really obscure. I suppose. I don't know anything else by him. I don't know anything else of him except this one song called Carolina, and I really, really love it. Um, and it was just, it's good, and everyone should listen to it. So, I mean, that's all I have to say. I feel like I maybe all this. Right, you talked me into it. Out of my head. I don't know. I'm a little Anakin on a little beastie thing. I can fire really simple lasers. They're not very good. I can throw some grenades, and they do a lot of damage. It's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm limited on grenades. Every once in a while, the game just gives me this pulse wave that instantly wipes out anything. Just something I have. It's a fuck. I feel like pulse wave is kind of different from my other weapons, you know? What, what emulator are you playing? Uh, what, what's Dolphin, what, and it's struggling system? to stay alive at this point in the game. No, just, what, what systems can it emulate? Uh, GameCube and Wii, I think. Hey, Jay. Yes. Why have you not invited these guys on top? Yeah, what, what the, the fuck, fuck Jay? I will. I will. Oh, I will. Uh, I, I will. Did. That's what Hitler it's said. Wow. Yeah, that's the one, Sue Jorge. I, I, is, I assume it's Jorge. I have, I've never, and I assume it's Sue as well. I have no idea how they're actually pronounced. Is it Yorgi? Or no, why would you not know? Oh, hey, Yorgi. Yorgi. You're already it's saying Yorgi. Town. Hey, Yorgi. He <laughs> never wears a frown. Hey, Yorgi. He's coming, can't you see? 
Cause all of Russia is Yorgi's family. All of Russia? Wow. Yeah. All of Russia. You're talking about fucking deep ass references. If you know that, if you know that, then fucking bravo to you for knowing about Yorgi. Uh, someone says, the, oh, the person from before that says, help, I speak Portuguese, says J isn't pronounced the same uh, in Spanish as in Portuguese. All right. Okay. Too bad. That's like that's like someone saying you're wrong. And that does sound like yeah. someone saying you're wrong. Yeah. But, like, being I've, never heard it. It. I've only seen it in text, so I have no idea how to pronounce it. Yeah. Is it is it Yorgi? Also, like it just kind of shows that Spanish has a way bigger influence than Portuguese because nobody yeah. knows how Portuguese is pronounced, but people know how Spanish is pronounced. Yeah. There you go. Do you hear that? People know more about Spanish than Portuguese. Well, yeah. What happened to Portugal? It's like a running Portugal. thing in our household. And besides, when people think about Portuguese, they don't even think about Portugal. They think about Brazil. Yup. And the only thing I have to kill is fucking Portugal. murder. And Max Payne. Right, I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to my bed. Sleep well, baby, wheel. Your... Do some big fucking uh, sleeps. Hey, don't be a fucking bitch, and remember tomorrow we have to do uh, at uh, 1 o'clock my time, which is 6 p.m. your time. I've never so... got a recording. What? Jay, you I've forget them all the fucking time. It's your reputation on EFAP uh, and R. Uh... Rags, yeah, this you... song is a bop. I'm I know, I fucking bop, man. I, some of those songs, oh, there were some fucking bops. Yeah, we... I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Jay. Sleep wheel. Hi, Hi Jay. Uh, uh, he leaves. And then whenever he comes back, he comes back, and then he leaves again. It's like a revolving door. Mm-hmm. Just keep saying kicks. kicks. In and out, in and out. Why can't I be in one of the good ships? Oh shit, I didn't realize these dudes were here. Well, time to wipe them out with one wave. Badoom. Why is that something I can do? It's insane. I just I just don't get it. Um, yeah, as for Mandalore Gaming, just some guy who we, we will try in future, of course. Uh, so Movie Bob is a commie. I'm sure you um, I think it's hard to really label Movie Bob efficiently. You know? He's too uniquely bizarre, like, he's too unique in his bizarre mm. opinions and things to fit in any one category. Fuck that. He's a Movie Bob. He is. I'm be real. I'm a couple beers deep, so uh, not accountable for anything I say at this point. I don't think that's how that works. But all right. <laughs> Where are you from? Um. I okay. I'm a I'm a minority. Well, for anything I say or anything I do. I don't know. If, I don't know if saying "Don't worry, officer. I'm a minority" is going to help you out. <laughs> no, that, that's the worst one you can get. But otherwise. Are you arresting me for drinking? I'll have you know I'll have you fired for hate speech. Uh, Mando isn't all that different. The broad problems are still there. I haven't thought about it too hard, so I can't say if it's better or worse, though. I th is that in relation to the sequels? Or season Movie 2 Bob. to season 1? I don't know. Apparently Movie Bob is Nazbol gang. So, a narco uh, Nazi Bolshevik. All right. Uh, reminder that even the Joker is scared of the IRS. Oh yeah, the true. IRS is scary. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. Uh, the massively hungry Rage Pillar by Tonal Loke. Sounds like a scary uh, story, but I'd watch it. Hold on a second. Someone said. Nazism and communism are not very dissimilar, specifically because they're both branches of socialism. If you think that, you don't know fucking anything. That's it. Okie dokie. Bread turning into toast is greater than caterpillar turning into butterfly. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? I put bread in the toaster. I push the button. I wait a while. Boom! Toast pops up. Where'd the fucking Why bread go? Why isn't the government investigating that? Doing yeah. research on that? Oh, I found 10,000 breads in this USB over here. Oh. I don't understand how you can find a bread in a USB, but apparently that's been happening. 
It's the technology, man. It's amazing. It'll blow your mind. I was off. stuck at the whole like they found one, but apparently they found what do you say, ten thousand? Like what the fuck? Ten thousand breads. Ten thousand. That's like, I don't. That's that's many loaves. It's a super loaf, you might even say. A fucking hyper loaf. Uh, I need more okay. weapons here, game. My weapons are shit. Can, can I? No, you guys don't like. Uh, Talk about like political topics, right? Not, not all that much. I'm not. Then I'm not even going to address it. But a lot of people are saying so. All right. <laughs> I assume everyone in chat hates that. each other in terms of politics already. They just don't know. Well, it yet. it's not current politics. Just that they're being wrong about something historically. Hmm. All right. Well, let me look into. Yeah. Uh, Someone uh, uh, said yeah. for me to come on with uh, who was it? Come Chase on. face. And said, uh, have a great time. Fuck it, man. I'll, I'll message him. Bring Chase face on R. I will. I, I said I'll message him. Uh, have him come to me. Sweet. In Spider-Verse, if Spider-Gwen got blown literally into last week, how come she didn't track down the current Spider-Man for help when, she, when he was still alive? I know her Spider-Sense told her to go to school, but still. I don't have the answer to that question, because I need to watch the film again. If anyone wants to field it, they're welcome to. Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen. That's all we've got. <laughs> Send it to Southpaw on Twitter, he's been talking a lot about that movie recently, so... Um, the lot is real sticky. Kiss the Spider-Man when he is wiki. Hey there, here comes the Spider-Gwen. ba da ba da 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 He's got boobs. That's okay. <laughs> That's and okay. Two legs and a nose. Oh, whoa, whoa, she's underage. Underage. Wait, That's all right. Be perpetually <laughs> underage, can she? The oh, there. Here comes the spider Gwen. Uh, Who's the guy between Rags and Mahler? No one. There's no one between us. Nope. Nope. We're inseparable. The idea we're like that someone could come between us is ridiculous. We're like, we're like two. Protons in a neutron. Mm -hmm. We're like two. We're like, uh, I don't know. Has anyone else ever thought that Movie Bob's New York, New Jersey accent sounds on and fake, or at least exaggerated? It is. Um, it is. can. Hold on. I will you can, go. You can tell because when he's dream. doing like. Sorry, what? I, I'll go listen. I have a degree in linguistics. I'll tell you if it sounds fake. Does my accent well, sound you can't, fake? You can't even tell if a guy in chat is really speaking Japanese. <laughs> no, but the point is, when you listen to a lot That's of movie Bob stuff, like, you can tell that, like, he's forgetting to put it on, and then sometimes when he remembers, he goes, like, really thick with the sort of, I tend know. to want to avoid hmm? making anything definitive about accents. Accents are really complicated to the point where the funny thing is, if someone said I was faking my Welsh because it barely comes on, the idea, the truth is that it really comes through because I've lost loads of it. So like, I feel like perhaps. I think Movie Bob's the kind of person who like loses his breath from talking. Yes. <laughs> so knowing that, what can we conclude about the accent? Was his accent really thick in the video we watched today? No, it was. It no. certainly wasn't in that one. But I know what they're talking about. It's cause... definitely thicker in later videos. Yeah. So that's what I mean. So I can like, believe um... he's faking it, but I wouldn't want to be, you know, making that claim to. Oh, I don't care. I yeah. can make that. I'll make that claim for you. No, it's not even in a way that I don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm make, not making the claim in the sense of the, like, I could believe it's just the fact that it's remnants of, a, of an accent. Yeah. yeah, it could it could be that, or he could be picking it up later in life. Yeah, maybe he's around more people with the accent and he's picking more of it up, I don't know. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. <laughs> she got captured by criminals again. Spider-Man, like really busy, saving her. It's a tizzy. Hey there, here comes the Spider Gwen. Wait, is it really here comes the Spider Gwen if she's getting saved? Spider Gwen, <laughs> Spider Gwen. She is, um, she's real smart. She can count to ten. Whoa. Went to school, made good grades, but it wouldn't stop her from getting hit by a car. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> here comes Spider Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> Water's not wet. Water is something is a wedding agent. Oh, there you go. Spider Gwen, 
Spider Gwen, <laughs> favorite son of Uncle Ben. <laughs> he got shot. Now he's dead. She'll avenge him instead. Hey there, here comes the Spider Gwen. <laughs> I know that song. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, yeah, it's a great singer, man. Did you just like pull careful with ball? copyright? You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't. I don't want someone claiming credit for that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to claim credit for that. <laughs> Not even Rags wants to. Not even me. I want to distance myself. <sighs> Uncle Ben can't catch a break yet. He just keeps dying. <laughs> Poor dude. But we gotta see it. Well, yeah, it would be shit if we didn't see him die again. Uh, yeah, if we don't see Uncle Ben get fucking shot, then it sucks. I never saw Hitler get shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of horse shit. Uh, Fucking nailed the bag. <laughs> uh, did you just call Movie Bob a road roller? Uh, fuck that. That's like the wackest thing you can call someone. Well then, yeah. No, that's um, the best yes. case, yeah. This guy's giving you a lot of money for to, to ask me questions. I. Shit. Um. Oh, Rags, how have you been doing in non-stop nut November on an... Oh, that's the first question. <laughs> so, I'm... I think I'm, I'm closer to non-stop nut November than no nut November. Mm -hmm. I have... I've, I have failed horribly no nut November. I think that we all That seems did. like a self-imposed challenge that I just... I have no idea what I'm going to get out of that. Yeah, the, the response to that is always, why though? Yeah, why? Like, if at the end, now, if it was, like, uh, man, I don't even know. Because I probably could. I probably, I could go a month without jerking. But, like, why? What about why would you want to? Yeah. It's easy. It's quick-ish, you know. It's old, reliable. Yep. It's a great way to pass the time. It's fun. You, you could do it with wear friends. it on your wrist like a cool watch. <laughs> um, it's co-op sometimes. It, it's co-op sometimes. And I That's stay what I in job. Yeah, so, I mean, if we're talking about, like, because, yeah, I, I guess, because if, if someone, if, if I if I was with someone and they're like, hey, Rags, let's fuck, I'd be like, no, I don't want to fail No Nut November. <laughs> I would definitely include sex with any sort of nutting, because I, I kind of got the gist recently uh, that it's it's been aimed mainly at masturbating only. But it might just oh, be people that are having Wait, how does that's that. just? Isn't I that... feel like no nut November. Yeah, it like, seems so planetary, but it, like there seem to be people. But I, that... I think it refers to all nut in general, yeah, all forms of nutting. Wrong. That's what I thought. No, that's what I. Think. Yeah, but yeah, that's, what I'm, that's I'm yeah. That's my position. That seem to only reference it in in terms of masturbation a lot. So it yeah, makes because me people, because people with like fuck buddies, people who are around to fuck, they don't give a shit about no nut November. They don't have to worry about that. I've never, I've never cared about no nut November. To hell with that. To prove you have self control. Why? I have self control all the time in other aspects of my yeah, life. Why? Uh, why should I prove to myself that I could go a month without whacking it? It'd be like, hey, Rex, you have to. You're not allowed to eat anything every other day now. You could do it to prove yeah, self control. It's, it's like why? <laughs> yeah, it's like don't play video games ever again to prove you have self control. It started as dudes growing mustaches to raise awareness for uh, prostate cancer or some shit, and then it just turned into people not shaving in general. And somewhere along the line, it turned into let's not fucking nut. That seems like a, a bit of a jump, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know how it happened because I, I don't I don't see any intermediary stages. It's not half nut. I mean November. Fair. You can certainly half nut though. I I will account to that. Attest to that. Fuck. What do you mean? You, um, have you ever like, all like edge? Yeah. That seems like that just didn't. But that's not ejaculating. Uh, yeah, exactly. That because hot? you have like a pre-seminal fluid that comes out. Mm -hmm. That's not ejaculation. That's not nutting. No. But edging. Edging is not ejaculating depends on how far you take it because no, well if you get to the binary. point of ejaculation <laughs> that's the fail state of that's, edging. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fail state yeah, you're doing it wrong the whole time <laughs> it's just, no dude you're just jerking off because <laughs> like you could 
I guess you could just like, you know, go at it for a little bit. As long as you're not nutting. I guess so. Well, okay, so is nut to experience orgasm or is it to release semen? Nutting is... I don't think that I could... If I'm orgasming without releasing semen, then I'm, I'm fucking coughing up dust. I've been fucking so much. <laughs> that there's just nothing left for me to give. And I'm probably... My cock is going, please, let me breathe. I'm dying down here. Needs to regenerate. Oh, man. It's true. So anyway, um, on an unrelated topic, watch Has Been Hotel, Hell of a Boss, and Incognito Cube on YouTube. A cube. And hello, Longboy. Hello. There's so many things for me to destroy. Feels bad. I wonder if all this stuff deserves it. Just got here, started from beginning, and hear Mola talking about how far right he is. If not sarcasm, here's my super chat to say LFG. Looking for group. Let's fucking go. What? Laugh. Looking, looking for group. Is that what that means? Yeah, LFG means looking for group. Uh, Can it also mean let's fucking go? I guess it could, because the That's letters exactly. match, but hmm. I've only seen huh. it used for looking for group. Do you think that's what this person is saying? Looking for group. Maybe they want to start a group of far right people together, and EFAP will become the birthplace <laughs> of a new far right uh, terrorist organization. Every frame a partisan, and then we have to put right on this. So the EFAP difference will be that ours actually exists and does stuff. Earth. Oh shit! Oh man! Defend the downed Republic assault ship. Ugh, I have to. Don't even give me a choice. What if I don't want to defend it? Hmm? Hmm. Didn't think about that. Movie Bob is an instance of SCP 1788. Which one's that? I guess someone's gonna have to go find out. I can't be Googling SCPs right now. Uh, so what was it? 1738? 1788. Oh, I'm thinking of Fetty Wap. Uh, yeah, it's literally just a fat guy. <laughs> well. <laughs> Like a super fat guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, no. It's a process or treatment or other means of biological transformation. Uh, a prepubescent human being subjected to SCP-1788 becomes an instance of SCP-17881. Uh, but it just shows a bunch of, like, super fat guys that are bald. Hmm. The Bob. It's Bob. I can see how yeah. they connected the pieces. Mm -hmm. Road chip came out the same week as Force Awakens, which is worse? Force Awakens. Road chip or the Force? Probably the Force Awakens. Yeah, I'm not up on the Chipmunk lore or the Alvin cinematic universe. But I'm sure it's pretty good. But, you know? Sure yeah, I, I, I sure that it can't be that complicated. Call the fucking yeah. Alvin and the Chipmunk. It's the scoop. So what the point do you go oh. people like on your phone? Master, the walkers are still Okay. So SCP-1788 ones, people that have been uh, subjected to the biological transformation that is SCP-1788. When they reach adulthood, they display predatory behavior towards prepubescent humans and typically settle in large urban areas, find a form of white collar employment, and then begin tracking prepubescence in the area. So it's, it's saying he's a, he's a, you know. There's an SCP for that? Okay. There's an SCP to explain there's, pedophilia. There's a lot of really yeah. interesting um, SCPs. A lot of them are good. Most of them are, hmm. But some of them are fucking great. Yeah. I think 1968 is my favorite. What, uh, what does SCP stand for? Secure, I don't contain, know. protect. Oh, okay. Uh, SCP-420-J. Yo. When, you're, when your character's face doesn't load in all the way yet. That's what an SCP is? No, that's <laughs> the thing. That's what's, the... what's that from? Daisy. I installed it because I'm like, fuck it. Yo, yo. Yeah, boy. Um, 
Hello, Molar and Rex. Hello. Oh, hi. Been a been a fan since the Rhino Milking, the first Rhino Milking. <gasps> when watching TLG for the first time, when did you realize the movie was bad? While watching, which scene, or after reading discussions online? Thank you. Uh, so mine, I've told people this before, but uh, I was very middled when when the film finished. I was like, hmm. And you can ask Metal and Fortier. I pulled him into a conversation. I was like, you guys seen this movie? And Metal was like, yeah, it was okay. And Fortier was like, yeah, I loved it. And I was like, hmm. So what did you think about, and then we started talking about it, and I think after an hour, I was like, this is fucking terrible, I hate this film. <laughs> it's one of those things where you just have to get it out in the open, and then your feelings become clear. What about you, Rakes? 19. Sorry, I was looking for at something. Um, what's that? What's oh, that? Uh, when did you realize TLJ was bad? Was it while watching it, or was it afterwards? It was afterwards. I walked out of the theater confused. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, it was after, like, discussions and just sitting and thinking about it. You remember what one it was, hmm. or...? It was... I honestly don't remember exactly when. I just know I walked out of that theater and I was like, something ain't right. Something that was just like... Ugh. Yeah, it happens. I wasn't looking at Yef. I was, uh, chat. I was making sure that 1968 was the SCP I was referring to. What is it? It's, uh, SCP-1968. So, is there an SCP-1738? And is it Fetty Wap? I don't know. It's just, it's Fetty Wap. <laughs> is there an SCP-1776 and it's like a dude with an American flag? Fucking Patriot. <laughs> oh, there is. Secure, secure, contain, protect our rights. Hell yeah. Our liberty. Our liberty. Oh, my liberty. Why do I have to destroy everything in this area? Come on, Anakin, if you're here. Fucking useless Padawan. A bronze Taurus? T O R U S? Um. Should they be called Edicts instead of Edicts for Movie Bob? I get it. I get it's it. fat. Because he's fat. Yeah, the fat people eat lots of food. Nice. Yo, Mola, knowing you love Flash Kids, I gotta recommend their podcast with Meat Cannon, the Cream Crew podcast. It's raunchy and hilarious. The Cream Crew. It sounds like it would be. Um, yeah, maybe uh, maybe they'll, they'll they'll visit EFAP someday and vice versa. Who knows? But, um... Meat, no, sorry, Meat Canyon. Did I say Meat Cannon? Either way, good name. Uh, confirmed Rags has terrible taste in women. Really? Like, I guess because of what you said about Sheva? I don't know. Sheva? What? Yeah, I, 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 I don't follow that. I'm, not, I'm confused. I think you have good taste, Rags. Yeah, that one's... Oof, that one's an odd one to me. Sheva, come on! How could you, how, how could you not fall in love with her after hearing that so much? Sheva, come on, come on. Chris, Chris! <laughs> Sheva! You get so upset whenever she dies. I get upset when she dies because that's what I'm playing as. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 would colonize her uterus. Oh, there you go. Fair enough, I guess. Here at EFAP, we believe that our fans are chumps and should not be allowed to have friends. My name is Mola, and I approve this message. Oh my god. Would mm -hmm. you like to know more? I don't remember saying that, but I must have just now. Can't take it back. Yep. We as public figures are not allowed to change or grow in opinion. I mean, sometimes. Is that something wrong? If you have the right the opinion, forever. eventually. You, the guy? He's, he's pretty nice. I wasn't... No, I was talking about opinions in general. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, because we weren't there, there are real people who really farm rhinos. Oh, because we went there. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, the, there are reasons to farm rhinos that aren't the reasons Jay gave. <laughs> 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 like, you could have farmed them if they're endangered. Like a high-risk, high-reward petting zoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, how does it rain in Wakanda with the shield? I'm assuming it's programmed that it lets... 
raining? I don't know. Maybe it just never rains. Maybe it collects the rain and sends it directly into the places needed. It. It's like a reverse of all summer in a day. Maybe rain just um, doesn't happen in the MCU, you know? Think about that. Yeah. I... Yeah, I don't remember rain ever happening in the MCU. Name one time there's been me... rain that couldn't yeah. be explained by a simulation of rain done by aliens. Yeah. Or the, yeah. Uh, dark. Do humans right, could have I... figured out rain on their own? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, not brown human. <laughs> no, no, oh, not no, the brown no, one. Definitely not. No, no, no. Uh, Darth Nacho Creamy Vader. Uh, I have a whole video on that topic. You can go watch it if you want to know that answer. Stupid cannons. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so, Endgame or Infinity War? Infinity War. As for which one's better? Infinity War. Which one would you rather watch? Infinity War. Probably Infinity War. Okay. Okay. A shame because I would, which is weird, I'd say the highs, like in terms of peaks of Endgame, are better, but the lows uh -huh. are way lower. Um, wh what do you mean by the lows? I mean, like, the worst it gets is way worse than Infinity War, but I think that the best it gets, emotionally, at least for me, are better than Infinity War. So, but you're not talking about, like, emotional lows. Sad parts of, uh, Endgame are way, like, sadder. You're just saying, like, the parts that make it bad are, are much, are very, very bad. Yeah. The parts that make it bad are really, really bad. But, like, the good stuff that I like are, are the really good character stuff. Like, Tony Stark stuff. Love oh, that. Really? That's great. I love the, uh, well, yeah. Is it a, un do I have the unpopular opinion about the Tony Stark no, stuff? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just surprised. You guys are, like, uh, known to be very, so I'm, I'm surprised. Known to be that, very like, what? You cut out? You cut out the most important words. Motherfuck. You guys are known to be very opinionated. Uh, so I'm that surprised. That doesn't have to do with our emotions. Well, I'm surprised that, like, it's such a popular opinion, you agree with it. Well, if it's correct, I will. Oh. <laughs> Alright, fair point. Yeah, the, the Tony Stark stuff has done really well. Like, him and his... Like, I... I haven't been... Like, Mahler, the stuff with him and his dad, does that hold up? I haven't really thought about it much. I'd have to rewatch Endgame specifically, but I'm pretty sure the interactions with his dad are really good. The reason he's able to do so is retarded. Yeah, yeah, the whole time travel thing is fucking shit, but him and his dad and all fuck. that, I think it's fucking great. I was fucking, but it in game made me ball like a fucking baby. Um, I was super hype when I saw Endgame. It was like it released night. Was it was it like that for for you guys? Like in the movies yeah, that you saw? Uh, uh, well, I mean, like I really like the character stuff, but like the story and the time travel stuff was just oof. Oh, I thought you yeah, meant no, really, I mean, my attitude going I in. I mean, like. The theater that you physically saw it in for the first time came out where people like super duper hype and like having very, very loud reactions. Can't um, I think my old, well, relatively yes, um, but British um, cinemas are pretty quiet most of the time. Most of, <laughs> usually around where I am, they are too, typically. Like around hyped. here, people don't clap when the plane lands, you know? Well, I mean, yeah. The only, the, like, I, okay, so I knew about that meme, uh, and the next plane I was on was a plane from Europe to America, and people clapped on that plane, and I didn't know if it was Europeans or Americans, so. Um, so, Mal, the, the audience, and your thoughts walking in. Yeah, so I was, I was pretty hyped for it, but I was very worried, because I figured that, uh, we were already in trouble from the trailer where um, Iron Man's being saved by someone. I was like, the only way they can fix that is if it's Thor, if they make it Captain Marvel and we're so fucking pissed. Because uh, if it's Thor, that means that uh, the information about where everyone is in Titan would have been uh, provided by information from like maybe Rocket has a, a lock-in on, on where the Benatar is or whatever the name of the ship was, I can't remember exactly. The Pat Benatar, yeah. Yeah, it's named after singers, both of them are. But um, the, huh. uh, so if he, if, if they tell Thor about that and then they have a signal and then Thor rescues him, I think that's a really meaningful thing to have Iron Man rescued by Thor. To do Captain Marvel rescues him sucks because she's only in the story by like complete 
Deus Ex bullshit just been like his story is yeah. stapled onto the MCU. Deus Ex Machina. It's um frustrating to say the least. And so knowing that going in, I was like, oh god, what else are they gonna do? And then I watched the film and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there was some stuff yeah, not I really only did liked. They not let some stuff Thor save Iron Man, but what they did to Thor in that movie is yeah. kind of a travesty, I would say. There's a lot of issues with Endgame. We had a whole stream about it, and we did it with ER, someone who is very anti-MCU, oh so you can imagine. God. Dude, I so want to, like, actually talk to that guy, like, privately, what? and just take his brain. Well, you'll talk to him a lot. He won't understand uh, that, Rex. No, he won't? Oh, okay. He has a very, he's, he's a quiet lad, you know? He saves his comments oh. for where he would like to play them. I thought you were saying I talk a lot, which I do. Well, think of the combo there. So anyway... Uh, Jay critiquing that thatched roof is cringe. He was defending them in EFAP 5. He's a coward who will agree with whatever pre prevailing opinion is. So we just <laughs> mentioned how people can Ooh. change their minds. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're not allowed when you're online. Uh, Jay, I would say, more so than a lot of people, will absolutely uh, go against the grain if he thinks it's the right position. Um, and I, I don't know why you would say this. Like, it, it still happened in the EFAP. Like he changed his mind a lot of Black Panther. I'm not even sure if he thinks Black Panther's any good anymore. I, I don't know. So he thought it was good. Definitely thought. Well, that's how we met. It was I shot on it, and he got he made a video on me. <laughs> no shit, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, and then we reacted to it, and then he offered to come on, or I offered him to come on. One of those two things happened, and then he came on, and now he's like one of the most common people on EFAP. That's Weird. Awesome. I have a video on Black Panther. I'm very proud of it. Sweet. Um, in the MCU, everyone speaks English because English can tr can towered. English can oh, tower the old. entire universe as it should be. Oh. Contoured. We we must have contoured the entire. I'm I'm okay with this. When I say we, I, of course, I'm referring to just Earth and because and, uh, and, English, of course, would be the accepted best language. Not because it's the one I speak, uh -huh. but because um, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. You no, don't no, need man. to explain it. English. English on Earth also comes from aliens. It comes from some other alien race. Because of course aliens humans couldn't make their own language. They need aliens to help out. Yeah, yeah, it's like door. door yeah, doors, languages. With a whole series of <laughs> no, complex <laughs> Aliens are so <laughs> bored with us. They're like, you can't do anything without our help. It's like, okay, well. You know, we have <laughs> monkey brains. Shut up. Figure you have a fucking rock. Figure the rest out. Why do I gotta destroy all these fucking Uh Does that mean the top of the skyscraper fell off and they replaced it with thatch? I think they just went with thatch in, in initially, and uh, yeah, they replaced it like once per week or so. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z time travel is like the worst level, to, like the worst time travel? I don't know. I don't know, mm. there's some pretty bad time travel out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Dragon Ball Z time travel is make a new timeline. Isn't that the Endgame one? Yeah, it's it's the same as Endgame. So, were you, were you saying that that doesn't work? Or? No, I'm I, I'm asking if uh, if you guys thought Dragon Ball Z time travel was like well, worse. Uh, if it operates the same as the Endgame one, I think there are issues you can find, but my main issue was more so with fucking retarded-ass characters making the decisions that they do. What, um, in the comics, like, uh, the stones from another universe don't work in anything beyond their original universe. So if you're creating a parallel timeline, uh, which has different stones in it, then they, they shouldn't work when you take them back to your timeline. Hmm. Um, mine's more so to do with first that they have limited pin particles for no reason. They could go and get more if they needed them. Uh, and the they only, did. Yeah, but they don't or initially. They say they have a limit initially, which is retarded because they don't. Um, and then secondly, the choice to go to three different places to get all the stones they need instead of just going to where Thanos um, is put to sleep. Just go to that. 
and then kill him, <laughs> and then take all those stones, and all we got to do now is get uh, visions. Isn't that it? Just visions? I, I think I think that's a little bit of a... Uh, just because I think those arguments where it's like, oh, well, why didn't you just do this, like, simpler thing? Um, I, I really don't often think that that's a very good argument. Sometimes it is, and I choose the characters it. are retarded. Yeah, we're dealing with yeah, some of the like, most smartest people in the perfect. universe of the MCU. It's like they went. It's like they went out of their way to make things as difficult as they could for a movie. Yeah, it's almost like that. Okay, fighting Thanos again wouldn't be more difficult. He's asleep. He's asleep. Okay, they know he wakes up. They've got like a couple the seconds. Kill him, dude. <laughs> they they know that Star Lord is the one who wakes him up. Just fucking tackle him. You know, if they kill him, uh, they need. Oh wait, no, no, no. They need Thanos to still do the thing because Tony Stark won't give up his daughter, so they need to alter history. That does, yeah, that's if a it's different timeline. Timeline, then it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. Then I guess that the also they yeah, you that. You can hear from interrupting. Yeah, it's it's like it's so. It really is just one of those, oh, you clearly just want to move And they ahead. think, they have this whole sequence where they're trying to plan when the best time is. And it's like, you know what the best time is. Why are you struggling with this? Yeah, you've convinced me. I, I would have right. a really cool scene if they went back to that moment. With I think it would too. And to tell Star-Lord that he destroyed half the universe by making his mistake. That would have been interesting character moments. Maybe, maybe Peter and Thor could... Really, because they're sort of button heads a little bit. Oh my bit. god, yeah, I know so what you're about to say. So if you would have had them, like, kind of bond over that in a way, I had a, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up too. What'd yeah. you do? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> yeah, Endgame could have been a hell of a lot better. You've, you've absolutely convinced me on, on that point. I'm, like, really just like, yeah, I, I'm fully on board. That doesn't happen a lot. You've done a, something here. Well, I guess we Thank should be you. getting better at it at this point. We've been doing it for ages, right, Ranks? <laughs> we should probably be I mean, like, Do you expect that you change people's minds a lot? Like, I know that you express things a lot, but do you think you convince a lot of people? Yeah. I, I, I mean, we do get a lot of messages that relate to that sort of thing, so I would assume... I think getting... so. That's gotta be cool. What's and that those like? those weirdos in chat keep saying that they, you know, they keep turning up, I mean, so... Yeah, but don't worry. Their time, their time's coming. Well, I'll we'll be on uh... the right side of EFAP's <laughs> 3. If if I bark, um, I think there's a difference between like someone that doesn't have like a hardcore opinion about something, you sort of guiding their opinion, uh, and someone that does, and you just changing their mind when they were pretty set on an alternate opinion. Well, but that's, hey, chat, that's have we cool. have we changed your mind from one dramatic position to a completely different one ever? Share your thoughts now on efap.com. <laughs> there is no efap.com. <laughs> just. Before anyone there might be, but it might be something very different. Wait, have I been destroying the wrong thing this whole time? Am I retarded? Game? What am I supposed to do here? Protect the Republic ground forces. Oh, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I guess. Everyone's saying EFAP. yes or no. I'm looking for the examples, chat. <laughs> yeah, EFAP.com is that French Black Panther. Black Panther? Black Panther? Yeah, you said you changed... Cool. Is mind on Black Panther? That's pretty cool. I'm I'm not questioning if you did it. I'm I'm like you've answered my question. Yes, I think that's really cool. Um, oh yeah, I'm I'm curious myself. See see what things seem to be commonly referenced. Um, they don't think Homecoming is as bad as it anymore. Black Panther, BoJack. Oof. Oh, oh yeah, that really? was one too. Yeah. I love BoJack. Uh, Darth. Uh, whatever guy that keeps sending super chats. That's one of my favorite shows too. Yeah, we but, uh, like that's every favorite show that has watched any anime ever. Fringy delivered the hot take on Bojack, as and he was someone who previously adored it. My girlfriend's literally watching Bojack right now. I've been trying to since we started dating a year ago to watch. Uh oh. And she's watching it without me for the first time right now. Oh man. Trying to hope she's okay. For me. It's a good fucking show. I mean, I, mm. I look, I, I really like it. If you guys don't like it, that's fine. I, I don't want to change your mind. It's but, like, uh, why not? I'm, I'm not actually doing that. Well, I know. That's just what you said the second time. What? Uh, you're asking why not? Yeah, why not? Um, because I, like, don't, on this specific thing, I, I don't. 
care to change someone's mind. All right. Okay. It doesn't matter that much to me. It's like some, an opinion on media, no, not that big a deal to me. I think people can have other opinions. I, I think it's actually really healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Having different opinions, sure. Uh, I usually That's find... That's like the, the coldest fucking take I could possibly come up with. Like, not that I'm saying you should in any way, shape, or form, but it's usually the stuff I love or hate the most that I'm interested in hearing uh, alternative perspectives on and trying to sort of wrestle in different ideas. But of well, course... so I've only ever heard, like, a shit ton of people talk about how much they love BoJack, so I, mm -hmm. I actually am very, very interested to hear why you guys think it's bad. Go to... which one is it? EFAP? I think it's 102? Uh... You gotta give me a timestamp. No, well, I was gonna. So you need to know which episode before you know the timestamp. Um, yeah. So I think it's 102. It's, 102. it's it's not 101. It's the first time we cover Patrick Willems, I think, right? Uh, I mean, after we last covered him fucking 100 episodes ago. Um, but if you go to the top pinned comment, should be timestamps, and then just look for the one that says uh, BoJack Hot Take, I think. And it'll have me and Fringy explaining all the problems we have with it, or at least as best we can with the time we have. Cool. I'm gonna right, ask Fringy about three. it too tomorrow. Master, I'm sensing <laughs> Fringy's gonna be like, oh no. We know oh, it's, yeah. uh, EFAP is straight wrong on Knives Out, so I guess his ground to cover still there. Oh, <laughs> Knives Out's terrible, I'm sorry. It is. I'm out that, like, just from the trailer, I felt like it was gonna be a forgettable movie. So I don't have an opinion on the movie itself, but off the trailer, I was like, no one's gonna remember this. Um, That's another one. If you like Knives Out, uh, don't think about it too much. Yup. And it's funny as well, because it's like, the whole movie, like, its purpose is to fucking make sense. Like, that's the whole fucking genre. And it can't <laughs> do that whatsoever. Like, yeah, but she's such a good nurse, she mixes up medicines. Like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've said it on stream before, but like, I, I asked my bub about that because she's uh, ex nurse, and she was like, I have never heard anybody ever say anything like that ever. And I was like, Yeah, I know, because it's <laughs> fucking stupid. That's, that's pretty ca categorical. Oh God, I'm being attacked by ghosts. Yeah, that that whole morphine scene, like, everything is wrong well, with it. Well, this is the thing, if it was like, that's like one part of the movie, I'd be like, that's fair. It's not like we did a stream with Critical Drinker where we went over, like, fucking shit ton of <laughs> structural issues in the film or anything. Um, and I would also joy. just add that um, it's just one stone in the house or the building that is that movie, but the morphine scene is the cornerstone. Sure, yeah. It's, it, Can I have anything? You know something? Sorry? Can I get your opinion on something? Go for it. Um, so, like I said, I, uh, I'm five years sober off uh, opiates. Um, if I, I've, I've considered like, because there's a lot of scenes in media that I find where people do uh, drugs, and a lot of them are just super fucking wrong, like mega wrong, as mm -hmm. to, like to just Google that that drug doesn't do that. Um, and I wonder if like a, a series of like, <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a great way to say this, but like heroin addict reviews or ex heroin addict reviews drug scenes or ex drug addict reviews drug scenes. Do you, do you think that'd be a palatable thing? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on presentation, it, I mean, right? And I think you could probably make it pretty endearing. Yeah, you know, if you just lay into the sort of absurdity of heroin addict reviews, heroin yeah. scenes, you know, it could be endearing. I think I'd. Watch it if it was. Yeah, subject. I mean, you, and, and you know, be responsible with it, right? In terms of what information you're willing to uh, give out. But well, um, what do you mean? Well, just uh, so w with Breaking Bad when they were making it, the uh, cooking scenes, they they oh, pushed I don't it know to their like. Shit about that. I've you, never you don't have seen to. That. Um, they pushed their uh, everything to the limit in terms of what they could show of making meth, but they had to be careful not to like give too much away because you don't want to actually encourage people to start trying it and stuff. Uh, that's fair. Um, yeah, some people think that that show somehow, despite, like, the constant showing of how deleterious drug use is over and over and over, uh, some people think that it encourages drug use. It's like, how the fuck could you possibly think that? That's a good question. Hmm. I, I think it's all Karens. I don't know. 
Well, um, I think I think there's space for that on YouTube. I don't I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. So cool. I, I I might do it, but probably as like vods. I'm I'm never editing again. I fucking hate it. it takes so much time, uh, and I get like no views. It's super not worth it. Streaming is way better. Editing is tedious, but it's fun. I know, it's yeah. worth it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoy it's fun. it. But I enjoy it, but I'm not like at a point in my life where I, okay, I have a hundred free hours that I can dedicate to this every two weeks for no money. I, I'm not at a point in my life where I can do that. Even if I knew, like, okay, but in six months, like, this will make you enough money for it to be worth it. It's like, nah, I, I don't fucking care. Well, just, just do what I do and just work really slowly. <laughs> you could do that, yeah. That's sort of what I do. Or you could do what Rags and I do. Do both. That's... I just mean that, yeah. like, if you're not making money from it yet, just, you know, do what else you gotta do, and then mm -hmm. in what spare time you have, keep working on it. Yeah, I mean, look, the the hundred dollars I get every four like, months from residual face? views, just it's awesome, now. great, sure, whatever. But yeah, it's, it's really not like worth the amount of effort I put into editing. If it was like, because some people can bang out video in like an afternoon, but that's not like the you amount find of the highest editing. quality videos or that. Master, yes. something strange. <laughs> it's it's usually the people that like blew up really quickly and have sort of a systematic thing and then realize okay i'm gonna make this a job but that means i need to make content every week so i have to go lowest common denominator and just like make bullshit that i can write a script on in a day and edit in a day there's so many channels like that it's sad really I like video trick. editing. Video editing is fun. It's where the magic happens. Yeah, this is. I get a satisfaction from video editing. I like it too. It's it's the it's the payoff uh, of of the activity that does, that makes it not worth. It. But I think I've ascribed because I I do do YouTube for a living. Um, yes, do do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a I have a top ten channel that I run. Um, so like knowing the money that I make from that. Um, it's like it's just super not worth it to put in the effort to to do a YouTube video that's like edited. For me, I, I know it's different for everybody else. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, there's uh, all kinds of careers online, right? You just gotta find where you yeah, fit in. Yeah, no, and there's tons of people that do put in that time and, and are that passionate about it, and I do like video edit. It's a it's a really cool art, and I have a shit ton of fun in uh, Premiere or not in Premiere in. Um, after effects but yeah it's it it really sucks to like spend a hundred hours on something in like six sleepless nights in a row and then put it up and it gets like 800 views in a month it's the fucking worst fucking mission's hard man i'm getting chased by ghosts i don't remember there being ghosts in star wars that could do this then again this maybe you know, the sequels kind of changed all that time also, they can travel through walls. Bullshit. What? I guess, I guess traveling through walls is a ghost trade. So That's a normal guess, yeah. it seems like. I just don't like it, okay, Rags? There, I said it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have oh, a random no. question for Rags. Huh? I have a random question for you. I was thinking about, at some point, getting a gun for self-defense, home defense reasons. What would you recommend? Uh, is it going to be a concealed carry gun? Uh, I probably wouldn't leave the house with it very often now, just more for home defense purposes. Um, Glock 17? I have a Glock 19. Well, there you go, then you're, you're done. What's nice. better, a Glock 17 one. or a Glock 19? Eh, they're not really, no one's really better than the other, depends what you're looking for. One's just a little, they're pretty much identical, one's just has a slightly longer slide than the other. Or if I'm looking to shoot old people. Um, if you if you're looking to shoot people, you probably want a longer slide so you can get a little bit better accuracy at range. Hmm. You want Someone an in the chat rifle. Mini gun. That's a good one. That's a, yes. A word off criminals with a minigun. My Glock 34 should be here maybe tomorrow, if not the next day. Um, okay. what's the, right. the difference between a like Glock 17, 19, 34? Slide length, primarily slide length. There's some other little things depending on the generation. Uh. The 34 okay. has a small cut out of the top of the slide, but that's just its own thing. Uh, it has adjustable rear sights, and one of my one of the things I do not like about Glocks, even though I do enjoy them, 
is that their sights can be a bitch to adjust. Um, but uh, they the rear sights are adjustable on the Glock 34, and it's got a RMR Type 2, a Trigicon. Um, so, really looking forward to using that. I'm asking, like, like, what about Nerf guns, Rex? How about Nerf guns? I don't know anything about Nerf guns, which is weird because normally many people say it's Nerf or nothing, but I just don't actually... I don't know anything about Nerf guns, honestly. Rex, you are Southern, and I didn't hear it until you started talking about guns. <laughs> really? Like, in my voice? Yeah, I didn't hear it at all. Yeah, it came out in your accent. Oh, yeah, my accent is an odd one. Uh, so my, my parents are not really Southern people. Uh, my father's from up north, and my mom's from out west a bit. At least her family is. So I, I never really grew up with a particularly strong southern accent. When I was what? waiting tables, when I was a server in this restaurant, um, people would often ask where I'm from. I didn't think I was from around where I'm around. Do you want to know something super retarded, Rex? I would love to hear something super retarded. And I tell people this, and they don't believe me, but believe me, I was not believing it when I was being asked. So when I worked in a toy store, many people would ask where in America I'm from. No oh, shit. Kidding. No way. Mm-hmm. Lots of them. And I was like, what exactly about the way I speak makes you think I'm American? Like, it's... Super uh, rotocized pronunciation. Such a How do weird... I deal with stove piping? I don't. I don't have that issue. Um, my father had an M92 FS... Um, no, it was just a Breda M9, um, and he had a stove piping issue, but it went away after he shot it a while. The slide just need to be worn a bit. I guess it was just closing a little too quick or something. I don't know, but it eventually just went away, which sometimes happens with guns. You just gotta, when you get a gun, just work the slide. Fucking thousand times. Mahler, I will say though, you do quite a, you, you're very good at American accents. I, I enjoy your American accent. It's funny because I can't name them. Like, whenever I put an American right. accent on whatever it is, if someone was like, "What? What one is that?" I'd be like, "No clue." Oh, just generic American. Generic yeah, American. Yeah, yeah. I can like, like hillbilly, and then like, generic accent. American. Probably like you're just you're like sort of just you're right voice. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's like, uh, I know Boston. Is, I know what accent that refers to. But then there's a lot of ones where someone might be like, oh, you know, this place. And I'll be like, yeah, I have no idea what that's supposed to sound like. Yeah. Um, American accents, like in the UK, you have so many fucking accents mm -hmm. because people have lived in like small communities for so long that they've developed different pronunciation. But America just doesn't have like that length of history. Uh, and we have a lot of accents in America. I was going to say there's a shit ton of it. No, 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 we do. We definitely do. But like they're nowhere near as various as UK accents. No near as what? As various as UK accents and also uh, I don't know about that at all. What I I do <laughs> There's a lot of accents in America. There are, but there's not like a huge amount of difference between a lot of them and people and ever since uh, nineteen Ah fuck it, I don't remember. Like early in the nineteen hundreds when media started being big, uh when you had T V movies, uh G A E, general American English sort of uh spread. Uh, but if we're going to talk about, like, um, AAVE, Amer African American Vernacular English, there is a ridiculous amount of those. All right, then. My knowledge of accents isn't that good, but I can impersonate a whole bunch of them. I've heard. But that's um, the only way I can explain my accent. Do uh, it. Do it on command. Do it. Because um, my mom and dad are both pretty Welsh. Uh, but I was, I think I was just watching too much shit when I was younger and kept trying to change my voice to match them. And then my voice got lost in the wind. That's what's happening in Australia and Ireland. Really? Yeah, you, you haven't heard about this? There's uh, the, the Americanization of accents uh, in Ireland and Australia. I didn't know that, but... This, um, is that because they just watch too much media with American? Too much, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. That is, that is the general theory as Rex, to why it's are you it's happy about this? About... America taking over as the dominant accent of the world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy, yeah. <laughs> or people should speak American. 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 Yeah, yeah, um... Yeah. The reason, of, like, the impressioning shit on, like, Goodell and whatever else, it's just because I fucking hate those... The way they speak, a lot of the video essays, and a lot of them... I think it comes, I don't know who the first one was, 
could have been every frame of painting, like, in terms of infecting everyone with this fucking way of speaking, which you might be able to talk more on once I sort of make it clear, but uh, Nerdstalgic is, is one of the people who does it, Nerdwriter does it, um, where, Ooh. like, the first step is to become a little bit weak. You want to come across as not as confident as you were just seconds ago. Uh, and at the end of the video, you got to really crank the tear factor. Like, like what you just <laughs> discovered is worse than a family member dying. <laughs> then there's, I, I have, like, the random this, pauses. But... Fucking drives me nuts. They randomly emphasize words that you're like, wait, why did you do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> and then... I mean, fuck yeah, Jamie would know all about this. He made the NPC reviews. <laughs> so many fucking comments. Huh? I've had so many people comment, uh, like, with your name and talking about, like, oh, this is what Mahler talks about, and I never f fit. I get it now. Oh, like, you've talked about this, I assume, then? No, I haven't. Oh, I get haven't. comments. I've, no, I've never talked about it. Well, you know, it's kind of funny. I got a comment on the first NPC review, so it was like, oh, my God, you even nailed that video essayist voice. And I'm like, oh, no, that's just my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, um, I didn't really change it very much. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm a bit more sarcastic and a bit, a bit more deadpan, but it's just my voice. I'm just, well, so... I'm not good at it. Yeah, I was thinking about that, and I was like, you may have picked up some of the, like, mannerisms or whatever when you did that video, but what I was just talking about, like, I hate it so much, and I don't even know that the people doing it realize they're doing it. Yeah. Like, it's just well, the I thing, had, uh, it's the video I essay know. voice, it's how you speak, and it's just like, it shouldn't be yeah. that. Just speak yeah. how you speak. Was it like a closer look or the closer look? Oh, his, brought him on? his is fucking hell. <laughs> it's next level. It's not the same kind of video assist. Yeah, voice, he told but... us that he was like, people prefer it. And it's like, really though? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mean, does he have like a sample to draw from? Um, fuck, I've kind of, what's the he closer look He heard it one time and it fit what he wanted them to say. So that became the dominant thing. Well, yeah, because I guess his older stuff, he doesn't talk like that, and then he just started to emphasize it more and more and more until he's- that's just the voice now. Um, so do you want to hear where I- I think that comes from? Because I do have, like, a theory on this. Go for it. Um, so the first person that I know of that quoted the ter- that, uh, coined the term video essay is the Nerdwriter1. That doesn't mean that people weren't making videos of that style yeah, before that. Yeah, he's one of the earlier ones, for sure. Yeah, but he coined the term. Like, I can't find, because I looked into this, I wanted to make a video about it. It's like, no, this is too meta. Um, that was, that's the earliest I could find of anyone calling it video essays. Mm -hmm. um, but There's I some think... earlier people that don't quite do the voice. Yeah. Like, every frame of painting. Like, that guy did just you, sort of talked. Did you both miss? Normally. I said both those names just now. <laughs> like, yeah, he no. did. Nerd Writer 1 uh, coined it 2011. So, uh, I don't know if uh, Every Fame Painting was before that. Uh, no, I was I... just saying that Every Fame Painting doesn't quite do that voice. He, no. he sort of talks normally. Every frame, this is a problem. Every Frame of Painting, like, is great. It's just that it encouraged a whole bunch of shitty copycats. Yes. Kind of like uh, Every Frame of Pause? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know the... I don't know who all the copycats are of what what we do, whether or not they're shit. I'm afraid I don't watch them. Oh no, I was making a joke that every frame of painting, every frame of pun off. Oh yeah, but it doubles up as an actual comment without you even realizing it. Yeah, yeah what's that? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, I think CGP Grey invented the essay. I'll just say it. CGP Grey invented the what? The video essay. I think he invented the, the concept. Uh, I feel like he would have been outdated by at least some people. Um, well, so John Green of the Vlog Brothers made a video uh, that some that you could probably call an early video essay, oh, and he before. said, "What?" Sorry, I, I gotta I gotta head out for a moment. I gotta drop something off, uh, and I'll be back in a bit. No problem. I... Carry on. Uh, but yeah, uh, John Green made a video, essay type video, uh, very early on in YouTube, and he called it uh, a CGP Ray type video. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that that short of video, uh, which, like, so I. Do you know who Wendover Productions is? No. 
So he's a education channel. He's like one of the bigger ones uh, with like millions of subscribers that every week makes a video about some like useless topic that has to do with like logistics or, or just some or borders or something. One of those. Um, and he's inspired a shit ton of companies. But um, I met him at VidCon and he has a Skillshare class called How to Make a Video Essay. And I was interested in this topic and I was like, hey, so CGP Grey, first video essayist, uh, what do you think about this guy who has the Skillshare class on how to make a video essay? That, oh, I'm not a video essayist, I'm an education channel. Hmm. Like, idiot. Like, that's the same thing. It's a variant thereof. Well, you could, couldn't, I mean, to a degree, say that about yeah. a lot of different broad how would genres. You find a video essay? Well, that, I'm not saying I disagree with what you just said. I'm saying that some people don't define it the same way, I suppose. So, for example, if someone said, are you a video essayist? I'd be like, I guess so. I t you do write your scripts? Yeah. Then you're, and you make a visual performance. You're a video essayist. That's what I mean, like... Or a reviewer. Yeah, that's the, so if someone said, no, I'm a reviewer, you could be like, yeah, but you qualify as a video essayist. They'd be like, okay. You know, everyone chooses their own labels, right? Especially yeah, considering I, um, they don't want to be associated with certain people or groups or genres, whatever, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess. I, I think that's, like, the people that are, like, like won't, I, li won't admit to liking Rick and Morty because the fan base is cringe. It's, like, yeah, kind of well, whack. In the same way, if someone's like, what, what, what's my, like, coiling away from uh, uh, video essays or thing? And I'm just like, oh, because so many of them are so shit that I, like, I don't even want to be in that group. But I guess if I am, I am. Why not be one of the good ones and set the example? I suppose. Well, I mean, fucking, I'm considered terrible by majority of video essays, <laughs> so that's you know, that's a that's a POV thing, I suppose. I think if good. I were going to describe you to someone, I would probably like who had who was not in this world at all. I'd probably <laughs> say YouTube reviewer or something like that. Yeah, if yeah. anyone asked me, I just like video essays wouldn't be the first thing. Like, like. Nerdwriter One is who I think of. You know, the person who makes those very video essay oh, yes. kind of videos. Yeah, but that thanks for watching, is... guys. <laughs> you would be so fucking surprised how many people ask me, like, what? What does that mean? What is a video essay? It's like, it's in the motherfucking name. You're an idiot. I mean, I would you just go as far as saying it is. It's broad as fuck, and it Im involves a shit ton of channels by definition yeah. alone. Yeah, but if someone just literally doesn't watch YouTube and doesn't know about, like, that, that nuance, like, if you say a video essay, like, it, it's very, very clear what that means. Um, like I said, I, I, I think it's, it's fair and a shit ton of people really do qualify for that label without even realizing it. I agree with you, um, and I think that not everyone gives themselves the definition, but I see it as a very broad umbrella term. Also, I'm going to put it out there. Don't know, don't know if I'll get pushed back for this, but putting video essay in the title after like a dash or a line, I think is cringe. <laughs> yeah, I did that with my first video because I thought it was like we're supposed to do it, and then I was like, oh, this doesn't do anything in the algorithm. Or... I mean, but like, people I do think it's look fine up, to do it like... if you think it's for the algorithm. I think it's cringe when someone's like, I'm trying to say my video is special. It's a video. I just be like, oh, okay. Oh, I would think that people are doing it for the algorithm, but if people are doing it for that, yeah, super cringe. <laughs> like, hello. Today we're going to talk about uh, Bilbo Bagidius and mm -hmm. <laughs> before we get into today's video, I need to let you I know. I'm talking about Skillshare. About Skillshare. Skillshare. They made this video possible because you know I wouldn't have made it without this specific sponsor doing this. These Which kind of makes this worse in a way, but hey. I saw these two videos, and I kind of wish they were same. They were the same video for you know the irony purposes. But one video, it was someone talking about how like there's no objectivity in art. Like that's sort of the whole point of the video, right? Mm -hmm. Like there are no objective standards. And then some a video I watched just after was someone was like, "Learn how to like improve your craft as a storyteller through Skillshare." And I just love the idea of someone <laughs> making a video essay about how there are no standards and then plugging Skillshare about how you can improve <laughs> your work. Improve your standards. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get better at this thing? Do this. By the way, there is no such thing as being better or worse. No way. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> That's amazing. The situation is critical. 
Um, all right, guys, it is uh, about to be midnight where I'm at, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out. This has been. I I don't. <laughs> you cut out the most important word again. <laughs> you said this has been, been really really something. <laughs> uh, this has been great. This is this is really fun. I enjoy this. Uh, I don't know if I qualify to come back again between the opinion of you guys and the opinion of the audience, but if I do, I would absolutely love to. And I'd love to have you guys on Awe and, uh, and my own stream if you ever want to come. Because, uh, like I said, I just started that. So. Yeah, man. Uh, it's been fun. Thanks for thanks for coming. And maybe I'll see you on Awe someday. Who knows? I uh, hope so. Uh, can I plug real quick? Absolutely. Go right ahead. Cool. Um, I chat. I have a stream that I just started uh, doing it on Twitch. But I think I'm going to switch to YouTube since I already have a little bit of an audience here. Uh, so if you just subscribe to my channel, I will post when I'm at a stream. So yeah, that's that's it. Super simple plug. Well, all right, you thank you guys. What you do? Otherwise, how is that a plug at all? Oh, I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking about things. Tell I want to bring tell people them what on. You tempt I... them in, you know. Tell them something that they want to go find. Tell them what you, what you did. So it's just it's just me. Uh, I like I, I want to be as transparent as possible. I'm the product. It's just me sharing my ideas, talking about any topic that I'm interested in. Uh, sometimes maybe I'll watch uh, I'll watch YouTube videos and react to them in time. I will invite people on to discuss topics. Uh, I'll invite people on just to talk shit. And uh, yeah, I mean it's it's sort of just a general stream that I'm starting. Uh, yeah. Wait. Awesome. It was Thank you. Good, sir. Likewise. I suppose we shall catch you around, good sir. Thanks. Alright. Peace. Goodbye. And that leaves so, Mala, just you, me and you. You huh? got a super chat. The last one says, I understand that your attention is divided, but the mission keeps failing because you are not taking out the mortar tank on the ridge. I Those fucking, things melt the acclimator. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't even know what my mission is. I'm just sort of shooting and driving. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been, I got a little invested in the conversation we just had there, and I, I've just... You could have asked me, like, how many times have you lost now? And I'd be like, 70? I don't know. Like, I, I don't even, like... <laughs> I'm having fun chat, chat, okay? You get to watch these fun colors and things explode while we get through the super chats and have a chat. Is that so wrong? <laughs> He's just shooting the shit, you know? Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's good that the health and ammo regenerate for me, because fuck, I'd be screwed otherwise. Alright, destroy the mortar tanks. It is very clear that that is my purpose. I'm going to go do it. The chat. They're on the ridge, according to chat. There's more than one ridge. Mm, well, it's on the ridge. The okay. Not the, the. Why isn't it... Uh, why isn't there a helpful little guide as to where exactly I'm supposed to go? That's the way it's supposed yeah, to be in video games. Yeah, isn't there usually an arrow on top? Wow, this game must be poorly designed if I can't win it. <laughs> it's the only explanation. You're a game journalist. Congratulations. Oh, I did it. Have you watched the Cornetto trilogy? Absolutely, it's fucking great. Everyone should go see it. Yee. Yeah, the dead, hot great. fuzz, the world's end. Go, go, go. I didn't know it was called the Cornetto trilogy for a long time, and I didn't understand why it was called that, but then I figured it out. As a Brit, I knew from the get-go. It was my I'm job sure to know. I'm sure you did. How can there be another tank? I haven't even destroyed this one yet. That is so fucked up. Oh, is this the one that I'm supposed to kill? Oh my god, I'm gonna get melted. There's so many enemies. Oh well. Um, also, check out Frequently Asked Questions about time travel. Its villain has a very interesting motive. I don't know why they asked that as a question, but... Uh... Alright, sweet. Alright, Ridge 1 destroyed. Does that mean I win now? Oh great, there's more mortar tanks. Fucking lied to me. <laughs> um, Jay critiquing the... Oh wait. Yeah, I read that one out. Uh, wasn't here for 110. Can I hear your thoughts on Spec Ops The Line versus The Last of Us 2 and how The Last of Us 2 failed to do what Spec Ops did make us feel like trash? Um, I can't remember when I answered this last. It could have been the last event, but... Uh... I need to play Spec Ops The Line again to be able to comment on that in a confident way. But um, I remember it working far more effectively than uh, The Last of Us 2 did. 
But it's a bit of a complex one, because I know a lot of people like to compare those games. I'm not sure if they're kind of doing different things. I know the goal is, like, through player action, you try and uh, engage someone in a level of guilt. Uh, and as we brought up, the problem with... What, what was it the donkey said? Fucking, like, just because you didn't choose the decision doesn't mean you can't feel guilt over it. It was really strange. Did you say that? Really? Well, yeah, because, um, no, so we, we were trying to posit that, like, well, I, I think he was responding to this, was, like, there's no guilt for what's happening in The Last of Us 2 in relation to, um, a lot of events that we have no choice over. For example, killing the dog, like, if you don't press the button, you just fucking lose the game. So it's just like, okay, then, I guess I have to press the button if I want to see what happens next. And so the idea that you're supposed to feel some level of guilt for it, like, I consider that bullshit. Um, and then he said as a counter, well, there's a character who dies in a story, like in a cutscene, and you didn't have anything to do with it, and you can still feel bad about that, or something. It's like the stupidest fucking counter. I saw loads of people getting mad at that, um, after the stream. We were just talking yeah, about his relation to, um, Red Dead. <sighs> um, so, yeah, uh, I would just need to play the game again, and... Uh, compare them, I suppose. Yeah, you can feel bad that something happened, but feeling guilty is a very specific thing, and I, I can't really feel any guilt if it's not something I did or had any hand yeah, in doing. There's no agency. What is there to feel guilty about? Yeah, it's just like, well, I guess I feel bad that they decided to have the sad thing happen. Because even if you empathize with the character, like like in a movie where you don't have any agency in what so you really empathize with the character. You don't feel guilty if they do something bad. Like, that's very specific, like you said. Mm -hmm. The burning house in Little Hope sure had all kinds of choice. Yeah, all the choices you make in that opening have no... Like, everyone dies regardless. And I think once you know stuff like that, you just get pissed off. Though I suppose... I don't even know if that's better or worse than the whole, um... Like, uh, y if you have choice A and choice B, and they both seem viable, and one will lead to the life of your characters, and one will lead to the death of them, can you still feel guilty for that? It's like, I don't even know like how I could possibly have done anything better if I'm just choosing between two things that seem equally good. I don't know. The game is like, you chose wrong. You're like, okay. It's a, it's a weird thing. It's a whole big old topic, and it's not even close to all summarizing all the problems with uh, The Last of Us 2. Back off the line is better than Last of Us 2. I pretty confidently would agree with that. Um, doo -doo -doo. RE4 shooting Spaniards, good. RE5 black zombie, bad. Yeah. Nobody cares about Spaniards, you see. That's what we discovered. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Jamie. Kick rags. And shum yum rags. Sorry, kick J and shum yum rags. There we go. Yeah, I think all that came true. <laughs> One degree or another. Also high. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Worse than racism, taxation because it's theft. Hi, Roigs. No, it was just a different flavor of racism. That was the truth. <laughs> what a lame twist. Like, I know, right? We were all expecting a way better ending. What could be worse than racism? Oh, just racism. <laughs> lame. Lamesism, that's what that was. Uh, could be wrong on this, but in Hunt for Red October, I believe that whenever a Soviet character speaks English, they are actually speaking Russian and the film is translating, almost as if the audience is using a universal translator. Could this be like to pa Black Panther? Um, isn't it in Hunt for Red October, they speak Russian until a scene where they very deliberately switch from Russian to not Russian? Yeah. Like to signal so. to the audience that we're not doing Russian for the whole movie, okay? And you're like, okay. <laughs> but that we're supposed to take the implication that they are speaking that the whole time. Yeah. I don't think they do that for Black Panther. I've returned. Hello, Rags. How are you? Hi there. I'm alright. You missed a high Rags and high Roigs. Oh, hello to the both of you. Hello, hello. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, today is my 111th EFAP. Aww. That's from Bilbo himself. Uh, greeting Shummers. 
and love to catch capital O opinions. Their Annihilation video is great. Made me read the book, which I liked a lot too. Yeah, the book is way better. Why'd you keep going after Alex Garland? What's wrong with you? Uh, because he baffles me. <laughs> and I'm still really disappointed in him after Ex Machina because I like that movie. I liked it too. And Rags did. I'm scared to rewatch yeah, it. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, Mahler, so I'm going to tell you. So in an interview, Alex Garland, when talking about adapting Annihilation, which is a book, he didn't, he said quite openly that he didn't go back and reread the book. He said, I didn't go back and take notes and write stuff down. I just did an adaptation based on my memory of having read it. Okay. And what that means in the end is that he forgot all the things that have the plot make sense and kept all the weird, creepy visuals. So if your goal... uh, Not something I'd admit out loud. Yeah, if your goal is to adapt faithfully and you decide that you'll go for memory... uh... Well, apparently he didn't give a shit about adapting faithfully, but conveniently he forgot everything that makes the plot make sense. Damn. Did he, um, you know Ex Machina, is that original? Ex Machina is original. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's not the first story about a Turing test, but it's not based on it. Yeah, yeah. Did he made devs. He did make devs. Oh, devs is shit. Hey, Rags, this guy right here, and this call, this guy, he's got a series on how bad that is. Oh, really? Yeah. Fucking hell, man. Devs was horse shit. <laughs> yes. You know, after you saw the first episode, were you already questioning why they killed, um,. I was this, man. baffled! Because we were. We were like, yeah. Feels weird, man. Like, whatever they end up explaining us is the story, I feel like this isn't going to make sense. And it didn't. Yeah. Sure no, enough. Like, yeah. 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 It's bad. No one watched Devs. Garbage. Devs is fucking horrible. Yeah, just watch my review instead. You don't need to have seen the show. There you go. Good time. You might even get just as annoyed as me and Rags were. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know what? It's pretty it, it dumb. It might be my number one example of a plot that advances through characters' incredible stupidity. Yes. Yeah, it's a... It's a very good example of that. I mean, that's why I wanted to review it. Even watch devs. I was just like, there's just so much remarkably bad about this, and it's mm-hmm. such a good learning experience <laughs> to examine just how awful it is. Uh, to be honest with you as well, I think I was arguably kind to it in the first couple of episodes because I just expected better from him. I was kind of like, mm-hmm. yeah. it can't be this bad. Like, like, surely they'll have answers for all these things, right? 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 No. I'm fucking tired of my retarded convoy going too far ahead and getting itself shot to pieces. Like, if you just chill for five seconds, dude, I can kill all the things. We but got no. a great big convoy. Ain't she a beautiful like, no, sight? we gotta keep going. What else we gotta do? I don't know. Um, who a Bob cease and desist by the Emperor's Golden Throne? My mind. Um, say that one more time. Who a Bob cease and desist by the Emperor's Golden Throne? My mind. Does that make sense to you guys? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I recognize some of the words in there, but it's like the order that. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Here. I kind of recognize some of the words too. Bonus objective complete. Oh, I guess that's why it's hard to do, because it's a bonus objective, not a main one. Okay. Like, like hard to do it in the sense that your fucking dude will kill himself, and it's... Mm, that's what we call difficulty in these parts. What we call shaman? That's a bit of shaman right there. Uh, hi, Mola. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hello. This is my first super chat. Question. Oh, wow. Do you save the EFAPs on your PC? If so, how do you deal with all the space? I'm asking because you inspire me to make my own videos. I've got them all backed up, and this is why I take care when I build my PCs to have the capacity to store a ridiculous amount of data because the thing is, right, in the middle of one of my videos, I could be like, oh, you know what I want to reference here? This movie that I don't, probably don't have, but now my archive is so enormous that I probably will have it, and in HD. And that's taking up yeah. a lot of space. Then that's starting to take up some space. The movies that I save mm-hmm. and yeah, video files like that. Yeah. Oof. So my next rig, which I'm hoping to do in about a year's time, I'm probably going to get. I might get a server, uh, something significantly larger than my already significantly large amount of hard drives. Because holy shit, as time goes on, and uh, 
more EFAPs happen, and more of everything happens, I'm going to need more space. Uh, Glib points out a very important fact that you better have a backup of your backup, because hard drives fail. Yeah, and then back up that. And that. And that. And then you'll be alright. Maybe one more. <laughs> Movie Bob is still trying to relate to young girls. No wonder he likes cuties. It's not a good look that he likes cuties and that video exists. Um, yes. <laughs> fucking cuties, man. Why did that have to happen? And why do people have to defend it? As we've said before, the easiest thing for us all to agree on. You'd think. You'd and think. we could have all just let it be an obscure French movie that no one gave a shit about, too. All you had to do is be against the sexual exploitation of children. That's all you had to do. But Rags, it it's up. about how that's bad. Oh, well, that makes it worth it, then. <laughs> we did it. We defeated badness. Uh, did Mola just put us on a list? I can't remember what list is specified that chat are on, but yes. Uh, well, now we all know Movie Bob's sexual desires. Ew. I mean, he was just fucking weird anyway. It seems like he had to compensate for having read something that he thinks is embarrassing to have read or some shit. Like, but well, it wasn't even relevant to the video. I know, it was really oh. fucking weird. And I just feel like if, you know, people that think he's uh, in any way not insane see that, they'd probably be like, oh my god. Movie, Bob, how could you? Uh, Splat Prawn is what we have all truly wanted. Should note, I've only been watching this stream for five minutes. Well, <laughs> I think that comment is just as worthy regardless of how long you've been watching the stream. Uh, hello, Mules Lee. Do you still read Streamlabs? I never get to catch a stream. Trying to avoid YouTube's 30% theft. Also, high rags. Hi! Um, so... Let's have a look-see. This'll get re-mentioned at the end, I suppose, which will have to be in, like, two hours. Um, well, assuming that so Rags is still able to do it for that long as well. Um, the... We've got a couple of, of bonus things on the way. We've actually got two EFAPs recorded that haven't come out yet. Uh, it's a meme fap and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 debate fap. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 one will be out next Saturday. I'm not sure when the meme fap one is going to be coming exactly. Uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, but on top of that, the meme fap at the end of it, I believe I do all of the Streamlabs ones that I haven't caught up to yet. It's in either that or something else. I will I will have to find out exactly where the Streamlabs ones are, but it'll be in the, whatever title of the thing that gets released. What was it? I think it might have been um, the Resident Evil Part 2 playthrough that Rags and I did that I caught up with uh, Streamlabs, actually, sorry. So that will be out as soon as we can fucking push out um, Little Hope. So give Little Hope about nine days. That's when the, the claim releases. And then a couple days after that, I'll put out uh, Resident Evil Part 2. And then a few days after that, uh, we'll put out Gaming 11, which had Tonald in it. I, uh, you know, gotta, gotta just keep these in, in the timeline. Why is it all fucked up? Um... And as for ca catching up on all of the of, uh, Super Chats, I've still got a list of any that we need to do. And since I'll be releasing a pre-recorded EFAP for EFAP next week, Rags and I will definitely be able to uh, do a catch-up of some kind, whether offline or on, whether memes or not. You never know. Because, funnily enough, someone, one of you, should have been complaining that I never finished Shrek 2. But I did, in the meme fap. It's all there. All of Shrek 2's glory. So, um, Trap for fake fans. Yeah. Um, and that I think is all they the the that there is to come. Um, so yeah, there's some there's some stuff in there. Streamlabs ones have been read out, and uh, I will collect any more that have uh, lingered between then and this stream and attach them to the catch up. None shall be missed forever. You see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, at least now it makes more sense as to why Movie Bob loves cuties. I can. I don't know. I just, I just think it doesn't make sense ever. There is no instance, and yet so many people did defend it. So what do I know? J and D talk about that one person again. Thanks. Damn, both of them are gone. 
don't know exactly who they're talking about. Uh, re bonjour, mes massif. Alors, c'est ton et botter J. J's a botter? Oh my god. <laughs> Je suis encore à IFAP 107. Hmm. What happened in 107, Rags? Do you remember? Nope. Hmm. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. It's hard to keep track of all these podcasts. 107 you know? is Amnesia Rebirth. Oh. They want an encore of that? Um, Allo, hello, future moi. Je vais que glides. So, plus souvent, on invite. I think that means invite glides to EFAB. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but yes. Uh, well, he was on yesterday, actually. Um, Fais les molles, ou je vais venir au pays what de What is Gale. all this? Gobbledygook. It's apparently a language. I don't believe it, but uh, I have to try and guess what they're saying, you know? Porto de Monton. I, 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 I'm afraid I just don't know what this means. Crazy moon language is kind of what I assume it is. <laughs> the people of the moon will often use languages like this to confuse. Uh, hi, Rags. Hi! Have y'all played Hollow Knight? Uh, I have. I liked it quite a bit. I didn't finish it, though. I have not played it. Wow. What about you, Jamie? I have not played it. Bunch of non-gamers here. If you can believe it. Uh, best Metroidvania ever made, in my opinion. Also, Outer Wilds is pretty neato, and you should play it, maybe. Only ever hear good things. Yep. Yeah. I do hope it's a good, good shit. In the comics, Wakanda has the cure for all cancer, but won't share it because we let cigarettes be sold. Seriously. Gee. Sounds what? like the comics might be shit. <laughs> that's, uh... That's... That's a moral standard. Wow. Point. What's that's... the point in curing cancer if people start smoking, you know? I agree with them. Fuck them. <laughs> I mean, if there's a cure for cancer, then you can smoke. I was gonna say, it seems like the reverse should be happening. It's like, Jesus Christ, guys, we can make it so you can smoke forever. Yeah, wouldn't that be sweet? No. I would probably smoke cigarettes if... Barely you know. anyone smokes, too. Well, too many smoke drinks. Too many. I guess. Death sticks. Indeed. Uh... What in the Sam hell did I just walk in on? This warrants using money to express my discomfort. I don't know what portion of the stream that you walked in on, but it's it definitely could have been a movie lot of parts. One of the tangents mm -hmm. therein. Uh, we're gonna go to find the readings for the super chats for the Ten Hour The Boys season two episode. We still haven't gotten to them yet, um, and since that was a ten hour episode, that might be one of those ones that we try and do. In portions, and I stitch together rags. I'm not sure. So it's, uh, it's going to be all about the boys, or maybe we'll record that in one long stream or offline. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We still haven't finished 103s yet. We've gotten through 103s in three separate catch-ups, or we will by the time I finish it. Um, but we will catch up, and I will signpost what things are being addressed. Sorry, it's taken so long. Uh, regarding getting arrested for having underage nude pics of yourself, yes, people have gotten arrested under CP laws for that. There was also a 17-year-old kid in VA who was arrested for that, had his life ruined. Yeah, it's a it's a kind of it's a complex one, right? Like the action of taking that photo of yourself can put you in jail in a, in a sense, or or at least get you some serious punishments. Um, but it's the tangling up of the law. In ways yeah. that seem like just that's how it would have to roll out. Uh, is it weird to... The fuck? I don't know. Yeah, fuck your sister when you're 13 because you don't know incest is bad? Yeah, it's still weird. It's still I weird. I feel like you need to be told we that it's bad, typically. You would be a great a hot take, but... <laughs> You wouldn't be a grand dragon, Rags. You'd be a grand bad dragon. Yeah, boy. Have you heard of Daryl Davis? He's a black man who befriended a grand wizard. He even went to meetings. It's a great story. I think I've heard of that. Yeah, I think I have too. 
first. That'd be fucking bizarre, wouldn't it? Being a black dude going to a KKK me, and you must be like, all right, just don't hit me, and I'll listen out for whatever ideas you guys have, <laughs> if you want. Like, I wonder if he like was just listening, or did he once in a while put his hand up and be like, I disagree with uh, a few of the things you said there. Seven techno union ships remaining. Okay. Um, the KKK are exactly the same as BLM. Both are racist and evil, but both deserve equal ability to engage in the public discourse. Don't silence anyone. Well, well. I agree, don't silence anyone. But, I mean, within reason. Yeah, I, I can't think of a good reason to legally silence someone. Yeah, it feels like a slippery slope sort of thing, right? Like, yeah. Uh, err on the side of not doing it. Mm-hmm. I fucking love the lasers on this thing. So OP. You can't use them constantly, so that's bad. Anyone remember the Kool-Aid cool tubes? And cool. I the Kool-Aid no, cool tubes? No, I don't. I do not. I feel bad now. That person's probably like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make a video about how like uh, young kids don't remember. Maybe some people in chat cool remember it. Who in chat remembers Kool-Aid cool tubes? Oh, I just fucking blew myself up. Um, earlier this year in Cali, we did have an incident where a guy went to his nearby Whole Foods in his KKK hood. Everyone stared at him, and he was eventually banned from the store. Hi, Raggleton. Hi. Um, I feel like if I was a store owner, and he was literally doing nothing to hurt anyone, he was just grabbing some apples and paying for them, I'd be like, okay, uh... Yes, we can leave him alone. <laughs> He's just super but, open. Hey, do you mind you not wearing, wearing that next time? Yeah, it, it might be like, it'd be preferable. Just it You're just gonna really stress out a lot of people <laughs> who also shop here, that's all. <laughs> He's like, hey, I ain't doing nothing. You're like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Could you not? That'd be great. Wanna hear a funny joke? Women's rights. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, don't be racist, Rags2020. Yeah, I think that's a position you, you say you hold, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. Don't be racist. Not because he's a building, just in general. Yeah, it's just good advice. You don't have to be a building to give good advice. Mola critiques like a lesbian, and Rags is only man's best friend, hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Part of me is still I'm way really hotter wants, than that. I really want Remarkable Republican to just be a real person. I know. Yeah, I, I know, know it's not, but I'm a little sad that it isn't. We're all sad about that, honestly. <gasps> Mola sexism confirmed. Pronounced sexism, but yes. I don't see the problem. And highlighting a problem is more so creating one that didn't exist now, isn't it? Fuck, this is awkward. I'm trying to shoot something that I'm not allowed to go toward. Let me shoot it! Okay. Oh, there you go. It worked. Uh, I used the minorities to destroy the minorities. Fucking... <laughs> e evil plans, man. You can't... It's just... Peace. Uh, Mando Season 2 is trash. Filoni is beyond overrated. Favreau seems to have a lobotomy. And Baby Yoda is an anchor on the show. And it's all so pointless. Hmm. Anchor? Like it's slowing it down? Yeah, weighing it down. The last thing that show needs is a fucking anchor. Yeah. I guess because every plotline revolves around getting Baby Yoda to a place, so is that what they mean by nothing else can happen because Yoda's just fucking there? I've seen people getting frustrated by referring to the child as Baby Yoda, by the way. You need to chill. Um, That's what everyone calls him. Yeah, like Fuck it's it. so colloquial at this point. You have to understand that it doesn't have to be accurate to be acceptable. Um, though I'm not saying that to anybody in chat particularly. Just I've just seen internet discourse be like, uh, "Can you please stop calling him Baby Yoda? He's not Yoda." And it's like, I know, I know. It's fine. Even though he might be Yoda, as Rags but is the theorizing. The whole thing that like, oh, it's like Yoda, but he's a baby, is the whole like, point. Well, he might actually like end up being a fucking clone of Yoda, so at that I point, I think he is. Yeah. Surely it, it's fine to call him Baby Yoda if he's an actual clone of Baby Yoda. You know? Just chill, it's fine. 
Also, this mission's mean. I'm, I'm actually, like, doing it in the most careful way possible now. Cycling in, do a bit of shooting, then run away. Ah, my shields! Mm. But yeah, as for whether or not Season 2 is trash, can we get some yays or nays on that, chat? Mando Season 2 is trash. Yay or nay? Don't need elaboration, of course, because Rags and I will want to know nothing about it. Except whether or not people are starting um. to think it's bad or not. Mm. How are we doing? We got yay, yay, meh, yay, nay, nay, yay, yay, may. <laughs> Nay, yay, <laughs> nay, yay. So far better than season one. Too early to say for sure. Meh, nay, right, meh, so nay, split. nay, nay. All of meh, yay. Oh, man, we've got a full mix here. We, we've got we've got maybe no's and yeses. What would you put your money on, Rags, if you were a betting man? I bet it's shit. <laughs> I kind of do too, but uh, I suppose we shall see. Oh, why does this place have so many defenses? I'm outraged. Medium D fella is based. Axis demands more. Well, you had him for a good, uh, how long was that? Like, nine hours? Not bad. Um, as a white liberal, I agree. Just because I'm a white guy doesn't mean I have privilege just because of that. And if you believe you do, then you have the tism. That's a whole fucking boatload of things on its own. I'd like, I need you to define exactly what you mean by it. And if it's something that because this example is often used, right, but like if Obama went up to a white hobo and was like, you have privilege over me, he'd be like, uh-huh. <laughs> I just... It's like, who are you? <laughs> Leave me alone, man, I just want to be homeless. <laughs> it's my thing. Uh, hello everybody, long love Splot. also hi rags. Oh, hi there. How would you define grinding in games? Everyone seems to think they know, but they can't agree with each other or with other people when it comes to specifics. Anyone gonna take on that first? Hmm. A a definition that covers everything? Yeah, I don't know about that. Um Yeah, that's a tough one. Um The first thing you guess you do is like what are the instances in which we describe as grinding, and then see what the commonality is, right? That's probably how we do it. I, I think grinding, a lot of it is how it makes you feel. Like, if you're doing something that's repetitious, but it's done in a very engaging way, I don't think it's grinding. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to think about that. What makes something grinding as opposed to just a lot of repetitious stuff? Yeah, like... Like, some people might say, oh, Killing Floor 2, ranking up in that is grinding. Mm. But... Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't call it that, because I think you progress at a decent level. Right. Maybe it's progress over time. Like the ratio yeah, of I the progress you make to the time you invest. I know that some people probably want to suggest there's got to be... A, the repetitious element's got to come in, right? And it's like, I think that's a given. It's more specific than just that. Because uh, a lot of games can be repetitive but really fun because of the fact that you're unlocking things along the way or something in terms of your ability to destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah, you get a variety. Like, if you're constantly unlocking stuff, that gives variety. I think that would be more difficult to call a grind. Yeah, like, is getting to the highest level in COD games a grind? Or is it that you just really want to get there and it takes a while but you get stuff along the way? I suppose the prestige th uh, things would be considered grinding, right? The area is clear. Your forces can land. Um, I don't think so because I think part of it is for like what what are you getting for the reward and stuff? Like if it's prestige, you're just getting like prestige for it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you, that could be something that you grind if the whole point is to show that you play a lot. Um, I'm not sure. I, that's something I'd kind of want to top and think about. I mean, a level. Of, I mean, level of engagement, return on you know time investment, and the actual rewards you get for it. Yeah, I'd say so. I think uh, those would all kind of mix together. That's probably the the closest we'll be able to get in a sort of 
casual answer on a stream, I would say. But there's going to be videos about it, I imagine, that go into mucho depth, though. Also, James Moore said, uh, I just learned Dead Space 2 forces you to use stasis on the first enemy when you get stasis, or else the enemy is invincible. Alrighty then. I know that, too, because I was curious, I think... I tried to stack a whole bunch of things from where the enemy's going to come from um, before I went to get the stasis, and then you get it. And then he spawned. The first dead space you're talking about? Second one. Um, oh, um... And then he spawned, and I was like, Baha, I don't have to get you with stasis now because you'll be delayed. Um, but none of my ammo was working on him, and I was like, why? And then he just killed me, and I was like, wait, do you have to do it that way? Okay. Seemed a little bit lame. That does seem very lame. It's just one of those things, I think, that the devs were like, well, of course you'll use stasis on him, right? And you're like, well, I, I mean, you know. <laughs> Maybe I won't. I don't know. Gotta clear every area. Nobody else can do it. Hmm. Oh, level's very... It's got very final level vibes. Yeah. It's very, it's like but spooky. is it? I don't know, actually. It wouldn't surprise me that I blast through an entire GameCube game during our Super Chat catch-ups. That seems to happen a lot. The only game that ever put up a fucking fight about that was uh, Third Age. Yeah. That game's like a million years long. That's just... Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff going on for it. Mm -hmm. uh, that moment when you pop onto a live EFAB to see how the boys are doing and you get a random history lesson about slavery. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You just don't know what's going to happen next. Uh, the rewriting of history is unbelievable. Most people don't know anything about slavery or history. I've been called racist for correcting them. Well, well. Maybe history is racist. You don't know. The less of it, the better. Right, guys? Huh. What was it? Wasn't it recently um, California had been banning, or considering banning, a whole bunch of books for the obvious reasons you'd expect? Goodbye, history. Oh, I'm sure that sounds like exactly what California would do. Yeah, I didn't hear about that specifically, but yeah. Doesn't surprise me. They're just always doing it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit frustrating whenever that happens, because you get a sense of, like, you fools, what are you doing? But, um, at least you could probably find these books online, if anybody says you're not allowed That's to read true. them. Not a good thing that you have to do that, but at least you can do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, there are ant species that enslave other ants. Yeah, I mean, ants are fucking terrifying if you see videos about Nature what they do. Nature is metal, bro. Yeah. Um, what's the, the one that people always reference is the, um, the thing that Last of Us is kind of inspired by, I guess, is that spore or whatever that... Artifacts? Yeah, if that's, if that's like the general term or whatever. Um, they're scary. <laughs> like in terms of <laughs> nature, what are you doing? Yeah. Run, my precious clones, run. Sir, our sensors show multiple enemy units approaching. Hmm. You're going to have to cover us until we get inside. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog is what hatred wishes it was. Uh, That's pretty edgy. <laughs> can we really handle that amount of edge? I don't know. Maybe Shadow is the guy from Hatred. Just fell into a vat of toxic hedgehogs, you know? He became Shadow. I, th I think that makes sense. It would have also explained his amnesia. Because he'd have to have amnesia, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Because he'd know he was from uh, the Shadow world, or the, the, the Hatred world. Oh, the um, Shadow Realm is pretty edgy. Yeah, that's pretty edgy, I'd agree with that. Shadow Realm's pretty fucking edgy, man. Come on, team, get in there. I'll be lasering shit all day. The greatest coup in history was socialists changing the narrative to paint the Nazis as right wing. They were socialists in name and policy. And were as left wing as they come. It was a trick played by the USSR and the European socialists. All totalitarians are left wing, almost by definition. Hmm. 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 The more you know. <laughs> I feel like there will be pushback on that from all different kinds of people. May they be in chat or viewing. I wonder if Medium D would have been one, two, three. Oh, you, you would have had a lot to say about just, that, I'm sure. Just gonna <laughs> carry on firing lasers in my Star Wars game, you know?
Um, <laughs> Living the dream. Slavery predate humanity. There is a species of ants called ant-making ants that raid other ant colonies for slaves. Google it. Hi, Rags. Hi. Like I said, you wouldn't need to convince me. Ants are fucked up. <laughs> they just are. Yeah. But at the same time, pretty efficient for their size. You know, I, I will say I'm impressed by them. No. Oh. Did I win yet? Oh am, I, oh, am I supposed to destroy this? Oh god, I hope so. I feel like I'm shooting it and it's a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, doo 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 doo. If not for the letter U, then UK English would just be American English. Just some flavor. Hi, Ragzu. It would be A English. Um, it's not just the U. Yeah, there's it's some other like, stuff. There's aluminium. All that sort of wacky stuff. Pronunciation's very important. I guess I am supposed to destroy this. Okay. Uh, is the AT2020 USB worth 130 quid? How much did you get yours for? Also, Mihai Rags sent me high. Oh! Um, hmm. Hi, oh. Rags. Oh, then hello. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I think it was. Uh, it's worth the money, yeah. I've had this one for a long time. And it's a uh, really decent quality. So, it really just depends on what kind of investment you think would be worthy of 130 quid. And if that is an investment of... I mean, to be honest with you, I don't even think this thing will break unless I do something to it. So with that kind yeah, of review... it just sits there. Yeah. So you got a lot of years guaranteed with it, and it's very good quality. I don't hate violent video games in before, but um, yeah, if the energy of that video was very much that. <laughs> I'm not calling for them to be banned. Just you know, they don't but... have to be put on every single platform. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm in. Maybe we can pressure those platforms into not yeah, carrying but... the games we don't like. You know, just throwing it out. They can do whatever they want, but we're gonna pressure them. In the cultural Also, sphere. fuck them for hosting it if they do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Uh, his voice always seems a little overdone, I don't know. Yeah, it's, um... It, it sounded sounds... fake. Like, it was sped up, but it might not be sped up, I don't really it's know. It's like digitized. It's definitely... Yeah, he's fucked with it, I'm just not entirely sure of how... You know, like, if you take a voice and you copy it on the timeline and put it below the like in another timeline but move it forward like a half second kind of oh, creates it's like a really slap back delay sort of thing yeah it just it kind of came across that way don't know if that's what he's yeah. doing yeah I don't, I don't know he might be speeding it up ever so slightly too and if you do that digitally it gives it a sort of sounds like mildly ass. distorted sound His voice is making me rage. Oh my God. I mean, it's really <laughs> annoying. Yeah, I completely agree. I think it's really annoying. Try and separate that out, I suppose, when you listen to those arguments. That's probably, you know, the voice in videos, or YouTube rather, probably accounts for more user sort of um, attention than most elements of the video. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I agree. Because, like, you have to be making pretty fucking good arguments if you have a really stanky voice. <laughs> yeah, like the handicap that Cosmonaut Variety Howard has with his vocal fry, like it's gonna it sounds take a so lot. bad. <laughs> yeah. Like it sounds like it grates on your ears. It's yeah. fucking insanely bad. Yeah, a lot of people really like it. I don't they know a lot of people really it. like like the extra credits one, but there's probably probably people, I guess. It's weird. I don't know if I'm supposed to be playing this level this way, but like, I don't know how else to play. I just get annihilated if I don't run away every other second. Hi, Mola. Hello. Uh, Rags, do you ever hear anything from Cyrus? 
That guy way back in the days that went nuts in your comments and you made a response oh, video? Oh, Cyrus Martin, no. I've never, have, I haven't thought of him in ages. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I haven't thought of him in... I don't even know when the last time was that I even thought about him. Well, now you can say you know. Because it was today. Uh, he use of the Iliad to lead into this barely related point is super off base. I wish I was in the cold so I could illustrate why. Oh, don't worry. We, we definitely picked up that that was only there as, like, possibly to to just look like he knows stuff, but simultaneously to try and introduce, like, a counter to the potential of us saying that, like, it's intrinsic, that we would, as humans, would want to explore all emotions. Because he was like... Yeah. Oh, the Iliad, one of the earliest works, is all about exploring a particular emotion, but there's still ones we're not allowed to touch, okay? Experiences. <laughs> Stay away yeah. from those ones. Because, like, what if someone said, you know, fucking experiencing or distressing about violent tendencies is bad? So any games that do it, bad. And he was like, no, we need to stress out, uh, de-stress about stuff like that. And he'd be like, nope. De-stressing about that is just bad. It's causing, causing violence. It's just fucked up. You must know also, he didn't, he didn't do a very good job characterizing the point of a lot of the stuff that's in the Iliad, too, because he kind of leaves out all the sort of, like, honor of warfare stuff like that. It's not all about how violence wrong. It's not, like, revenge bad. It's not quite that simplistic. Oh, for it's sure. And I think so. that might be what the Super Chat's talking about in terms of, like, they want to talk yeah. specifics about what they fucked up in terms of the references. Like, yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff out of that. Um, expecting authors to tell the audience morality plants the idea that art can make us do evil. That's a precedent which hurts culture in the long run. Yeah, I mean, it's a complicated subject. It's going to go on forever about the, the responsibility of art and the influence of art. Like, what if someone cites that Winnie the Pooh made them kill their classmates in school? You'd be like, I... I <laughs> Time to ban Winnie the Pooh. I guess so. Goodbye, Winnie. Definitely not because Xi Jinping kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's completely unrelated. We're going to ban it because of this one guy. You know, looking like Winnie the Pooh is not the worst thing. You should probably embrace it. You're like, yeah, Winnie I mean, the Pooh is pretty cool, dude. He could embrace the meme, but he's, he's a dictator. Oh, dude, well, if he did, that would exactly. be so fucking funny, though. Yeah, it would be pretty funny. I can't imagine playing no Russian with my parents. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, be a weird thing to do. Though it would be nice for them to sit you down and explain why it was bad at, at some point. Um. Doo -doo -doo. His voice is making. Oh yeah, it's, it's people being angry about the voice. I I, I understand. Terrible I, voice. I have no fucking clue. The design decision that went into. Yeah, I'm gonna do this extra work to make my voice sound insufferably bad. I guess, yeah, I guess he liked the choice. I don't fucking know. I guess. I got no no other way to explain that shit. It's weird. I am not playing dead or alive with my mother. I'm afraid you have to. She's gonna need to teach you about the world. Uh, why does he criticize games like this about mass murder like Hatred or Postal, but not Hitman, which is about methodical, premeditated murder? <laughs> yeah, but... I think uh, Hitman is not because a target. Because Anita tried to do that and she got shot all over for doing it. I th oh, well, yeah, Anita uh, got shot on for like every one of her fucking game takes. They all just showed this blatant lack of experience with the things she was talking about. Um, with extra credits, I think he would have known that Hitman is not a game he could target. At least, um, that's, what, that's why there's probably no fucking examples, because any game you go after is going to cause a ruckus in your comment section. Yeah. Like, it just so picture him saying it about Doom. One as best he can, in the best, in the closest thing, because he needs at least something to tie it to, so he chooses a game that hasn't come out yet. Well, at least at the time, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, imagine he said Doom was one of the ones that shouldn't be allowed. Fucking roasted. Though I think probably why he wouldn't say something like Hitman is that like the Hitman character isn't like 
getting off on it so much. You know, I think it's because it's an cool. example. <laughs> well, yes, for sure. But I just mean that like he's his whole point is about like sad purely sadistic games and someone methodically doing a job for money isn't quite sadism, you know? Well, um, you, you could still make the argument that uh, providing the experience of doing such a thing is, uh, is wrong. In, in the same sense that he's uh, gunning for anything that relates to... I was gonna say any... I was like trying to think of all the things he's gunning for and I was like literally none because you're fucking making examples. <laughs> all of those yeah. vague things that I'm kind of sort of referencing. Um, he's totally hard during every kill. Of course. <laughs> um... Imagine a sadist playing The Last of Us 2. The ultimate frustration they would feel at the end would cause them to go on a murder spree. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Um, in relation to EFAP, I think that's 104. My Roman numerals are okay. No, 106. Uh, the beginning of the stream. Discussions about bad TV shows. Batwoman slash infinitytisms is offensively bad for me. Though mostly for adaption reasons and how they insult the characters from the comics, but can understand why you guys enjoy it after watching the minis. Yeah, I love them. There's, there's, there's no exaggeration in that statement. I, I just... It's, um... It's the anti-content. And, uh... It... The, the idea that I'm constantly... Like, I know that someone made this earnestly is just some of the most enjoyable... I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. You've seen the minis, guys. You know. They just... Like, we're, we, we got Season 2 is on the way. And they would have had to have rushed it, because I'm pretty sure it's the same release date as before COVID happened, and they had to stop filming, oh, so... I can't wait to see what it's like rushed. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they made the season that they did in Leisure... Oh, I can't imagine. It's like, oh, we took our time with what you guys saw. I'd be like, oh... <laughs> And I, I hope they, they bring really back, hard on it, guys. I hope they bring back the person who did the soundtrack for uh, the first episode. <laughs> that guy was a legend. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was like in the running for the best beeb of uh, the second year of EFAP. <laughs> you were constantly just slipping into it. <laughs> it's just so catchy. Yeah, it's fucking great work. They should be proud. It really does feel like the final level. If it is, it's gonna be awkward. I've still got another like. Oh, what's my? What do I resort to? Is it Simpsons Hit and Run or Mario Sunshine? Whenever I finish something, I don't know. Uh, shot a deer. Blood trail went cold, and I couldn't find him. Really? No. Oh, that's Dang. unfortunate. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's not good. Shoot him better next time. Yeah, I guess. It's like um. Fuck it. I think that happens in The Last of Us. That exact scenario. And then they try and take your kill because this, this thievers. That's kind of what happens in uh, No Country for Old Men too, but he gets distracted. Mm -hmm. um, I learned more from Geometry Wars than from the Afghanistan War. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, Geometry Wars was just a, when it came out, everybody felt like changed. You know? Yeah. Most people do. Well, refer I learned to the all my morals from that. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing before. Most people refer to the gaming industry as like pre Geometry Wars and post Geometry Wars because like it, it's just too big of a landmark. Do you remember who you were before Geometry Wars ranks? Younger. Younger, yeah. <laughs> is that not a bad guy? Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, I've never found games to have depth necessary to teach me complex real-life lessons about violence. They're just types of fun, like movies, books. Well, that's that's as simple as it can get, and I don't even think that extra credits accounts for that. Well, doesn't know that that's a thing. That you simply play something for the satisfaction of the mechanics. It's the just idea fun. that we play games that are violent for fun just like doesn't even occur to him. Yeah, like if someone said what I've been doing this whole time on Clone Wars is, is really violent because I'm just firing rockets and exploding things, I'd be like, oh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, 
I, did, mm. I just didn't register it yeah. that way at all. Not I don't know, it seems pretty sadistic to me. Yeah, these poor droids. Phase two is complete. You may proceed with the attack. Excellent job, Obi-Wan. Um, we'll begin our assault on the capital. Hey, 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 Mola, did you watch if the Emperor had its... If the Emperor had text-to-speech device yet? I'm gonna keep asking till you do it. So do it, it's great. I've not seen it yet, I'm afraid. Um, but I do hear from many people during Super Chats that it is great. Or possibly the same person at this point, I didn't even realize. Um, I've never found games... Oh wait, Mr. Satan, that makes sense, stop it. That could be in reference to all kinds of things that Literature Devil said. Yeah. Uh, why does he criticize games like this about mass murder like Hatred or Postal? Oh wait, I read that one already. My bad. EFAP Movies, Tropic Thunder, pretty please? Um, I don't know if that would work for Tropic Thunder. Uh, EFAP Movies, I do not know. And to be honest with you, our backlog for um, potential EFAP Movies movies is kind of enormous. And we've started up the Resident Evil series, so that's going to be taking slots where they come. You know how it'd be. Just go watch it with your friends. It's great. Yeah. Just get some friends together and watch it. Screensavers were made for the old monitors. They don't do anything now, but look nice. Uh, so you could definitely have images burned onto your uh, monitors now. Um, oh, sure. I can't remember if it's like dependent on what kind of monitor you have, but doing it, like keeping any strong, bright image on your, you know, uh, monitor. It'll for a definitely long time, cause a yeah. Just not a good idea. I, it, anyway. It's not permanent. Like mine have gone away. I, I stopped using them, but it doesn't look good. You can notice it sometimes in games, certainly. Extra credits is unsatisfactory. Unsadist factory? Okay. What would a sadist factory look like? I'm not sure. Hmm. Remember when extra credits wasn't horrible? Neither do I. Um, I've never watched <laughs> them in their, you know, heyday, or when they were good, or whatever, like, uh, so... I only ever saw very few videos and I was never impressed. And then the fucking Nazi thing happened and I was like, holy shit. I'm guessing you guys didn't watch them when they were good either, quote unquote. No, I never really watched them. Yeah, no. I've never seen anything other than the Nazi video and the one we watched today. So, uh, <laughs> I wonder if they because they kept impressed. that video up. I guess they just they're standing by it. I think I in one in one of my little joke videos, I needed a really really bad like to dislike ratio, so I went to that video. Pick the example. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, um, is there a, you know, like, worst ratio ever video out there? I'm sure maybe well, I'm sure, on one yeah. of the, um, One has to be. Oh, I just, like I just mean, like, do we know what it is, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Because, um, the fucking review of Cuties is probably up there, right? The one that, like, everybody... How many everybody... people saw that? I think, well, it's still, because I, I saw someone say that it was down, and I was curious, hmm. so I checked. It's still up. Um, so the extra credits... Um, stop normalizing Nazis. It's 19k up, um, likes, 288k dislikes. <laughs> so 19 to 288,000. Yikes. Yeah. I cannot imagine making a video that gets 288,000 dislikes. That's just so many. What about the, um, can you check the Mr. Girl review? Which one? Um, type Mr. Girl Cuties, and you should be able okay. to spot it. It's incredibly disliked. Naturally. An uncomfortably honest review. That's the one. <laughs> oh, this video may be inappropriate for some users. Let's see. Um, yeah, so this is 1.9 thousand likes, 119 thousand dislikes. Whew. So... That is possibly the worst ratio we have right now, from knowledge, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's a worse ratio than the other one. For sure. Mm. Um... I don't think it's like... Yeah, because I just think that one's probably going to be one of the top runners, because anything else I think of is probably just going to be a controversial thing, rather than a, uh, a thing most yeah. people will despise. Um, 
If you want to see sadism in a video game, watch some invasions in Demon Souls with the scraping spear which destroys the victim's equipment. Ugh. Yeah, that's when you know you, uh... You kind Why do of you put shit like that into a video game? Good question, right? I feel that way about a lot of the stuff in the Souls series here and there. But Demon Souls, I'm pretty sure, has a whole bunch more than the others. Uh... So I just, I, I did some quick maths, and that is a 98% dislike to 1.5% like ratio. That's pretty steep. Yeah, I think it's gonna be hard to beat that. Especially with um, the height of numbers too, because you might, you might find a video that's got like, zero likes and one dislike, and be like, aha! Yeah, but... Uh, the 1966 Hobbit short on YouTube is only 12 minutes. Interesting. Alrighty then. Moles have been harassing the EFAP science division about this, and they can't confirm or deny murder being bad slash illegal. They're stumped. Why? <laughs> I don't know who the EFAP science division is, but, um... Murder is illegal. Whether murder is By definition, bad, yeah. yeah. Whether murder is bad... Do you, do you remember what the strict definition of murder is? It's like... Unjustified killing of another person. So whether or not it's bad will still kind of be down to if you agree with how the law treats a justified or unjustified murder, right? Because someone... I mean, like, yeah, if we're talking about, like, people, even though it's a, it's a legal thing, people don't generally mean it purely legally. Yeah. Please don't murder me. I'm an innocent little ATAT. Well, no way, ATST, but not really. Early model. Hmm. Um. I tune into EFAP, and literally the first thing I hear is slavery was an accomplishment. Rags, how the hell could you say something so incredibly insensitive to marginalized groups? Here's some money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mola. That was an accomplishment. Yes. You Not a good one. Mola, notice that you're a fan of Lovecraft slash Cosmic Horror. And it would be a disservice of me not to recommend you watch The Mothman Prophecies from 2002. It is in my five top tens favorite horror films of all time, especially after re-watching it recently. Um, I've always known about that film and I never watched it. I know my sisters watched it some night and they said it was spooky. I was just like, neat. I do not know anything about the Mothman or what the uh, the legend is. Do you guys know anything about the Mothman? I do not know anything about that, nope. It's like an urban legend of sorts. The spooky man is so, the moth. So the guy who left a super chat about shooting the deer and it got away would like to let me know that shoot it better next time. Well, considering it was a 180 to 200 yard shot, I'd say it was good enough. The problem was that the trail led to a patch of long grass, so it was difficult to spot a blood splurt. Damn. Hey man, oh. I'm, I was just joking. I can't I mean, hunt for shit. It wasn't really so. a comment on the marksmanship so much as uh, mm -hmm. that's suffered and died out there. It's, uh... Yeah, it's unfortunate that that happened. Wisdom one to one, most people don't know. When a cow poop on your left or right eye, the whole face is covered. Also high rags. Hi, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that's probably on point, yeah. Uh... Screensavers, do do do. Howdy ho there, y'all. Hello. And uh, hello, capital O. Howdy doody. Great to see you on. Just finished converting five friends to the master race faith, and built all of their PCs. Also, I'm positive for oh. the, I'm positive for the coof. So goodbye, everybody. Have been dead a month when they read this. Aww. Oh no, no. you'll probably be fine. You, the chances of you dying from it are very slim. Yeah. And let us know when you recover, because that'll be nice little news. Assuming, of course, there's anything to necessarily recover from. Hopefully, you get one of those uh, cycles where you don't even realize you have it. I've heard that that's possible. Um, 
And yeah, good All job right, on gentlemen. conversion to the master race. Everyone should run to PC. It'll take care of you much better. It will. Than spooky console land. I'm just saying. All right, I think I'm going to call it a night. Wow. <laughs> My brain only, is only mush ten hours. At this okay. Point. <laughs> I know. I'm. It's it's weak stuff. Pathetic. Yeah, pretty weak. <laughs> My disappointment is It was it was a good time. I'm sorry to disappoint. Yes, that's okay. Um, oh shit, I should pause my game while you tell people what it is you do on your channel and where to find you. Oh, I make videos on my YouTube channel. You can find my YouTube channel at capital O opinions at youtube.me.edu. I think you'll enjoy the content. There, we're reviewing devs. Uh, devs is awful, and you should come watch how awful it is. There will be more NPC reviews down the road, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. It's good stuff. Check it out. Oh, uh, someone asked, where do I mail you pallets of cash? Uh, my home. Oh, I remember that's your you pallets of cash request, yeah. Yeah, you can just send them to my house. Um, uh, but yeah, go check them out. You guys have already seen videos for Capital Opinions on EFAP, so you oh, should have subscribed already. It only makes sense. And, uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with us for so long, my good man. Yeah. It's been fun. Thanks. Enjoy. Take it easy, guys. You too. Um, good night, I suppose. Bye-bye. Bye. Which leaves just us two, Ranks. Can you That's believe it? it? It's down to us. Yep. Once yeah. more. I can just get this page sorted. I will, I will refresh to discover how far or close we are to, uh... Completion, because of course I uh, start a little bit late today, which means I have to leave a little yeah. earlier than I would have preferred. As you do. Bop, 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 boop. Oh boy, it sent me back to the bottom thing. Oop. Um, what are rage games for five hundred, please? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit weird that we, uh, we just sort of, with a lot of the logic, um, good old extra credits was using, a lot of things could get wiped out if you start to, um, set some other things. And I would honestly say, like, part of the big fucking floor of that video is how short it is. That's the thing. I'm not against short videos. They're just often unable to, uh, express exactly what you're trying to get across if you take a topic as large as what, uh, extra credits is doing. It's an inevitability of sorts. Boom, boom. Uh, can we have Christopher Lee's Metal Xmas songs? I doubt I'd be able to play them for, for copyright reasons. Oh, jeez. Fine, I'll wait till my shields regenerate. Mm. I don't it banned, I just want it basically banned. Yeah, that's the problem when you deplatform something from everywhere. Uh, this is the problem with cancellation, by the way. Um, when you're like, they shouldn't have this particular job, and then you move it to, they shouldn't have any job. And you're like, wait, do you want to kill them? These people want you destitute on the fucking streets. So, they that's need to they think that through, because they're like, whoa, I don't want them dead. And you're like, really? Get a different impression. Good job, Master oh, we did it. We Sweet. Neutralized the, enemy's air uh, the Iliad is uh, very now, explicitly makes rage forces. look like a terrible, awful thing that has no ultimate positive value, just like what he said Rich, sadism is. The of the yeah, uh, that's probably what people are referring to when it's like there's more things to say in relation to the Iliad. But, the um, do the trick. We'll but what are you gonna do? Deus Volt with the table. I understand. I understand the connection people have to both the table and Seven. I suppose it's just going to be a matter of which one holds out and which one convinces the most people. Also, we've been on this spooky planet for really long now. I, I assume it's the end game planet. We're just doing like those different vehicle types throughout it. Also, if you don't watch it, I'll go full I'll go full hardcore Henry guy on you until you watch it. Oh darn. Well 
as I said, we weren't trying to set a precedent with that. We just decided to check it out, you know? A lot of people seem to think now that if they send loads and loads of money at us to make us do a thing, it'll work. And I wouldn't want that to be assumed to be true. At the same time, if you want to push that, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a, it would be a weird thing for me to do. Though, I've got a vague interest in Mothman. No promises in terms of watching it, okay? Much like everything we talk about, I'm sure uh, there are people who've wanted us to check out certain things for certain... Do you know there's probably a fan out there that really wanted us to see Extraterrestrial, and they got their wish. Yeah, they did. We're like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm -hmm. I know a whole bunch of people wanted us to do an EFAP movies for Mulan, yeah, and that happened. Mm-hmm, sure it's, did. It's a bit of a luck of the draw sort of situation. Yeah. You never know exactly well. what we're going to do. Um, Rewatched the Sterling... Sterling Gay World stream yesterday. Oh, the Gay World game, yeah. Oh, that, he was the one, yeah, I bought that. I just, Steam. it sounds hilarious, like the title. It does sound hilarious, I'm, I, I, I gotta play it one of these days. <laughs> they World. already have my money. Like, Rax thought the name was so good, he was willing to give money for it. I understand how... Gay how World sounds fucking hilarious. Yep. Is this just a horde fucking mission? God damn it, game. Where are the bad guys? Point me to them. Uh, probably thinks people only learn from video games. It was it was it was a bit of an awkward impl implication, um, but of course I wouldn't deny that a lot of people can learn a lot from video games. Of course, there's something that can happen. Um, so you kind of want to be careful with what kind of messages you can express in them, but at the same time, to be like you need someone to talk to you at the end of Doom to make sure you understood what was happening in Doom or something, I should be like, oh gosh. That's a little bit awkward now, isn't it? Um, I play RPGs because I enjoy exploring all other routes they can have. So one character will be a saint like the Dawn, and the others could be Grey or just Cruel Sadist because I want to see how the story changes. Am I bad now? Table. Uh, yes. Yeah, you, you're an Half awful bad. person. I suppose, yeah, um, if you do any kind of sadism, it's just an automatic black soul on you, I think. So get wrecked. Uh, I'd love to introduce extra credits to Lover Slab. Which his head explodes, sex and sadism. Did you say you? lover slab? Yeah. Lover's lab. Oh, what's lover's lab? It's like this these mods for like porn and stuff. Oh. I just think it's funny you said lover slab. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I actually did looking at it now. I probably should have defaulted to lover's lab. <laughs> but okay. Uh, watch his head explode, sex and sadism, video game modding entertainment central. Yeah, there's a lot of entertainment out there that those who enjoy it have been um, given a thorough label by good old extra credits in that video. Would you say that those have no redeeming value whatsoever? I, well, Mods I guess... Mods just jerking? Um, I, I, I guess he wouldn't have a problem with that, right? What would he? I don't know. I, you know this is the problem with, with this... You, you try, like, he's just trying to find a way to make sadism the ugly no-no position while everything else is okay and it feels like there's elements that uh in all kinds of things that would be reflective of what he's saying is a bad so you start asking the questions you know elrond can just tell people he slipped mm, that's true but uh i don't yeah, know if people are gonna believe him by that maybe if elrond threw himself into so that everyone would just wonder forever what the fuck happened that could be funny, you know. So in Ragnos' porn, well, I made a video a long time ago about someone throwing a fit because there were there were adult mods for Skyrim. They were very mad at the objectification of fake women. What? And that's where I learned about Lover's Lab. But why the mod? Why would they care? Because it's objectification of women. But okay, <laughs> fine. I'm not gonna pretend to understand it. I'll just say, you know, they're right. Down with mods. Nobody likes mods. Uh, I guess Elrond could tell people his seal door got corrupted by Sauron's ring and he had no choice but to kill his seal door. They'd believe that, right? No. 
God, could you imagine, like, a war being won by two races that have got an awkward history, and then right at the end of the fight, when everything's over, one of the leaders of one side kills the other? I just... Oh, the chaos it would create. I almost want to see that story now. You fucking do that. Oh, it's the ring. He made him evil. It's. I, I think they'd rather Built. assume the ring made Elrond do it. Some shit. It's the door. No, it's the door. No. No. Alternate take. Nick Cage equals Aragorn and Sean Connery equals Gandalf together. Again, I would watch this version. I feel like it could be, you know, it could be something to it. Like, I don't think he's going to be better than Ian McKellen, but I still want to see Sean Connery give Gandalf a shot, you know? A little bit late now, but, uh, back then. Well, that took longer than I thought it would. Um, also, also, just to give you a hook for the film, here's a scene between two characters. Don't worry, I've edited the conversation, so not to spoil the film, to be continued in the next Super Chat. Uh, alright, we'll gather it soon, I imagine. Oh, I need supplies not to die. Where are those supplies, Captain? Yes, kind of float around. Oh, there we are. Oof. Oh, those are the good guys. There we go. Um, hi, Rags. Hello! Rags is right about the 99.9% .9 sitting down part. Oh, that was the hunting thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, that's I think the thing. That's... I, I have, I have no interest in hunting myself, but I have no interest in fishing either, for the same reason. Mhm. Mm that's how they're always it's portrayed in media, media, for the most part. Other than like, I don't know that there's a film that has like hunting is just constant action-packed sort of shit. I've always known hunters to be a sort of like you got to prepare to sit in. Yeah, you dress up in camo and sit around and get that one shot off but for me i'm just i mean like i'm interested in marksmanship and things of that nature but i just the hunting part uh i just don't have any interest in it more power to them though like here in arkansas um every time because i've started hiking again we've gone three times so what, like once a week we've done 10 miles every time except for the first one we did eight so we did about 28 miles the last three weeks on our three outings we've seen like half a dozen deer every time Deer here are everywhere. If we don't have people hunting them, they get overpopulated and they suffer horrible, miserable, starving deaths in the winter. Yeah. Um, so we definitely need people to hunt them. Uh, As South Park put it, you gotta kill them or else they'll die. I mean, basically, yeah. Yeah, it, like it, it sounds funny, but it's like true. It's like, yeah, you, you definitely want to give them a, a much quicker death from a random gunshot than, or a bow, a bow season comes first. Than them just like wasting away miserably. You say um, bow season. Is that like a specific time frame where the bow is just better or more more efficient than a gun? Or it's it's never more efficient. However, um, so the way that we do it here, I assume it's probably the same in the UK. Um, but you have animals have seasons where you can only hunt certain animals during certain times. Mm -hmm. So we're getting into our deer season now. Uh, but it's not always gun season. It's not always the rifles. It starts off, I think it's, because I'm no hunter, but I think this is how it works, is there's a bow season where people go out and you're allowed to use your, a bow and arrow to hunt them, but no guns yet. Um, that's just when, essentially, bows are allowed. Um, you know, I think then after then. Well, the reason for that is, or? No, I don't know the reason. Um, it might be because guns are so much better that and it's tougher to use a bow that it's to give them a i guess i guess more a more chance at deer um but hmm. I'm, I'm not actually sure uh that's just a guess off the top of my head thing like no... the hunters who prefer a bow won't get a chance as much as the gun uses if they're they all have the same a lot of time sort of thing i mean you would definitely have i mean like if, if everyone's going around using guns you'll bag way more um but I, I think it might just be the... I mean, I'll look it up. I assume it's to give them a, a fair shot at their, you know, their own. So let's see. Um, 
da, 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 da. Oh, season. Uh, let's see. To give, are there separate seasons for archery and firearms? Um, allow. Folks, I call it expanding population. Both tools can be used. Uh, hunting with the rifle is easier. Uh, is hunting with a bow and arrow, on the other hand, normally requires much more knowledge of the animals, much more practice with the bow, much more knowledge and practice in woodsmanship. The hunter must get much closer to his quarry, which is a big thing. Wild animals are very wary and usually notice a nearby hunter first. Even when he wears camouflage and sneaks away without ever being seen by the hunter, thus success rates in archery seasons are typically much lower than firearm seasons. Therefore, game departments using both firearm and archery seasons as management tools usually lengthen archery seasons. Also to give archery hunters a little extra help in areas where extra harvest will not hurt game populations. Mm. To help hunters put meat in their freezers, archery seasons are often scheduled to coincide with the target animal's rut, breeding season, when the male animal is less wary. Um, but it looks, yeah. The, so I think one, I don't think they overlap here, I'm not sure. Um, but I think one, like the bow season's first, and then there's the gun season. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, Sir, more supplies are arriving. So, skimming through here. I guess it's, I guess especially when you look at it from a large, large scale perspective, bow hunting probably probably accounts for almost certainly accounts for a much smaller segment of deer kills. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Um, so archery, it's so that, so you can have more time to use it, whereas guns are a lot more efficient, so the season's narrower. So that's probably one aspect of it. So you can go hunting if you use a bow for a longer stretch of time because yeah. it's less efficient. Fuck me. Let's see. Um, it looks... Uh, da, 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 da. So I guess in Pennsylvania, this was saying archery covering all the, of the seasons. Archery only accounted for about 93,000 deer in 2014, while rifle hunters harvested about double at around 190,000. So that was the Pennsylvania deer harvest some Pennsylvania deer harvest statistics so yeah there's fucking a lot of deer like they're fucking all over the place a lot of deer and I don't think they have any natural predators around here really um I think humans are the biggest predators of deer around here um but so that probably plays into it as well I when someone was talking about have I seen bears here I haven't seen bears here I think there might be bears in the north east of the state or sorry northwest of the state i i have seen them i i have seen bears in the wild uh when i've been going on trips um but i haven't seen any here in arkansas saw a black bear with uh two cubs mm. just moseying around we were it's... actually horseback riding at the time and we sort of we we saw him just moseying around isn't it like you spot cubs or in range of any cubs it's just like get the fuck out of it so. Um, yeah, they, they, I mean, they're going to be very protective of them, is what I hear. Mm -hmm. But we were far enough away, and there yeah. were a bunch of us. And... Yes, sir. It's, it's cool, though. It's cool that you'll see bears. It wasn't too big. They were black bears. They weren't, like, that big. They're not, like, grizzly bear big. Oh. I haven't seen one of those. I can do this, chat, okay? I might die a whole bunch, but I'm just getting so close. I can do it. Um, I'm gonna make Tonald's cake. It includes raspberries. Fair enough. And, uh... Thoughts on how some journalists think that you can't objectively report the news? Uh... I don't want those people being journalists. I don't understand why, like, how... The last... It's the last person you should have as a journalist is someone who's like, you can't be objective about things that happen in reality. I'm like, oh, you're, if you shouldn't be in that job. If the logic is, um, you'll always have a history of, of things you know that'll affect how you interpret things you see or whatever, I'd be like, okay, but that's not really what, like, everyone's really, really concerned with. Primarily being that you won't ignore things that are really fucking bad just because it affects the narrative you want to push. And they use that as a pass 
to just say all the shit they want. Be like, you can't be, you can't be, you if you can't be objective about anything, if it's all subjective, it's if it's all just my opinion, uh, then it just doesn't really matter what I say, really. I mean, you know, how I feel is how it is, and I could feel any kind of way that I feel at any given moment. They have proto Bunch of crap. The city. We'll have to like there is a there is a there is an objective reality, and it's your job to report to the rest of the world what that objective reality is. If you cannot do that, and if you don't think it's possible, you're on the wrong fucking job, so piss off. Yeah. These proto dekas are fucking angry and mean. Just putting it out there, hot take. Uh, universal gift tokens for sheep and dogs. Hi. Hey. All right. I'm gonna go get that health, and you can't even stop me. I managed to miss both of them. Good job. Efat movies, the Lego Star Wars holiday special. When? Uh. That wasn't like, really on our list, but I mean, I'm not against it or anything. Maybe we'll do it as part of the Christmas EFAP movies or something, I don't know. Fucking really? I got blown up like an inch away from the health pickup. That's... Oh no! That's racism. Sitting there waiting. Um, also, Mando now has clones, but we don't know if it's Snoke or Palpatism. Oh, great. That sounds like fun. <laughs> sure, it's just gonna be magical. Uh, when is Spider-Man debate? That will be released a week from now. Get excited. Uh, also, what are your top five porn star go-tos? Hi, Rags and Mola, thank you. Hi, I don't really know any- I don't go to porn stars, honestly. I don't- I couldn't name, really, like, any porn stars, I don't- and, yeah. yeah, I think there's a few names I'd recognize if someone was to mention them, but I don't really have any go-tos. Um, Check out chat's takes in relation to it. Maybe they'll have some stuff that you'll uh, you'll be able to recognize slash sympathize with as choices. I feel bad. All the all the all the porn stars' names that I just don't remember. Poor people working so hard. I'll remember someone like Robert Downey Jr. But not porn star names. That's the world we're in. Also, yes, I did die again, but you guys saw that I came close the time before the last time, so we're getting there. Uh, when are we going to get Tonal to judge the official EFAP cook-off? Don't you want to just lie back and let him take you to Flavortown? Yes. But, you know, that might just not necessarily be possible at this time. But I'm sure that if we could make it happen, we will. Uh, Die, annoying thing. Okay. Oh, fuck. I needed just a little bit more time. Alright, so this is the, um... This is the dialogue from Mothman and why it should be a temptation for us to go see it. Okay, ready? Oh. Here we go. Man 1. It seemed to know everything. Man 2. Like God? It made predictions that came true? Man 1. Yes, he has a name. Man 2. It's perception. They appear differently to everyone. A voice, a light, a man, a monster. Alright. <laughs> I guess uh, that might be a really neat scene. Who knows? Uh, since we already ruined the OT cast, we shall have Darth Windu with mechanical legs chopped off the hands of the next generation of rebels. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do Darth Windu. I feel like at this point you're allowed to do anything with Star Wars, because uh, someone else already kind of did a whole bunch of everything. Oh. Fuck, I'm already torn to shreds. That one was way quicker. I believe, Bola. I know. It's gonna happen eventually. Believe. Hi all. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Thought it'd interest you to know that there hasn't been a single tracking fob through four episodes of Season 2 of Mando. Interesting. Not surprising, well, because anybody who's supposed to- anybody should be able to look at those and see the incredible problems that they cause. I have a lengthy part of my video that goes into how they basically ruin, like, all the other Star Wars stuff. Um, that kind of- you should not have introduced those so casually. Shouldn't they be present as fuck, though? 
Like, shouldn't the Empire, who are very interested in getting Baby Yoda, be trying to get everyone bounty hunter wise paid to get Baby Yoda? You know what I mean? Like, it's a miracle that Mando. So Mando gets a secret job from the Empire that turns out it's not so secret. And, gre and every bounty hunter in the fucking bounty hunters guild had a tracking fob. Grieve didn't tell Mando that every other bounty hunter got one. I guess every bounty hunter personally went to the client and got the rundown. I guess they didn't get the same payment because he's a Mandalorian, or, you know, and w mm. which makes sense based on what we know about the client. But we have only a single group of like four or five Trandosians ambushing him while he's walking back from getting the child. And we never see him on the way back to Navarro getting jumped by anybody which is like miraculous especially like, with insane. um not only bounty hunters who are just searching in general but bounty hunters who knew that um baby Yoda was in the compound and decided fuck it I'll wait for another bounty hunter to do the hard work if you know what I mean and then I'll attack I feel like there'd be a couple of those types and I know that you could be like yeah well that's who we got attacked by but like surely it'd be more than that I don't know Fucking, do you see how many bounty hunters are on the Baby Yoda job? I like all of them. All of the bounty hunters are after a bounty, which, by the way, they say this in the... Grief says this specifically in the episode, that it's for the greatest treasure this Parsec has ever seen. Yeah. And, like, no one else apparently tries. Well, that's why I'm like, what the fuck, there's no fobs in Season 2? Seems like there would be. I mean, that because... Because every time they're not getting jumped by people, you'll have to be wondering, like, how come you're not constantly being just bamboozled by people? Yeah. It, it makes no sense. The tracking files are a terrible, terrible idea. So horrible. It fucks with so much stuff. And it's such terrible writing. Like, the guild is awful. Mando is a fucking cuck. <laughs> and grief is an asshole and Mando should think not only he should he hate Karga he has a lot of reasons to think that Karga is setting him up like your best bounty hunter you say Mando's a legend Mando is the best best in the parsec Mando is the most valuable member of the guild you tell him all these things and so he gets the secret job for the special client for the greatest prize the parsec has ever seen and you don't tell Mando that, oh yeah, by the way, we gave the same job to everyone else in the guild. They have the same tracking fob to the same thing that you got sent out to do. And Mando never even tells Grief Karga that he got ambushed by guild members and they tried to kill him. And it was only through plot armor that he survived. Yeah. Like, it's insane. You ain't gonna catch me disagreeing. Um, oh, I guess the continued dialogue is... Man too. If your friend thinks it's God he spoke to, he's off by more than a few degrees. Man one. And how do you explain that it knows everything? Man two. Look at that. If there was a car crash X blocks away, that window washer up there could be, probably see it. Now that doesn't mean he's God or even smarter than we are, but from where he's sitting, he can see a little further down the road. Alright. I feel like this dialogue's not going to do much for me without context, just saying. That was worth blowing myself up for. Um, where are we? Mace Windu needs to say, I'm tired of these motherfucking Sith in my motherfucking galaxy. I know, right? They just refuse to have him say the obvious line. That is upsetting. Oh. Okay, just fucking run, Mace. You can do... Oh. It's funny, this game has a... Like an R2 unit screaming to signal that you're low on health. And it does that even when you're playing as people running around. So I just find it amusing that there's actually an R2 unit like inside Mace Windu. That is lore. And it's your little chip. Stick it in there. Run, Mace! Ah. Oh, I was murdered still. Um... Spider-Man 1 and 2 are still way better than Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. Nope. <laughs> no. Though they want to be. I, I understand. They want to be. Poor Homecoming. Guys, getting, you just... Oof, Homecoming you. getting shafted. Like, it's the one that probably had the most effort put in in terms of writing, but it gets shat on the most. 
But one of the yeah. most at the very least. I'd say it gets shot on about as much as fucking Tasm films do. But that's for good reason. Just saying. Um, doo -doo. I still love Spider-Man 2 despite its flaws, but Southpaw is just a wolf knockoff, moosely, you know what to do. I mean, he's he's the important part of what I'd say is is uh, appealing about Southpaw is the amount of effort he puts into his references. Yeah, they um, do seem to be pretty convincing from what I've heard. I have no particular stake or interest in Spider-Man 2, but the examples that I've heard have been pretty convincing. Yeah, he's been pretty reliable in that regard. Um, I wouldn't say... I mean, it's, it's not very nice to call him a wolf knockoff when he's trying so hard uh, to, yeah. like, do what he's doing. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get where that comes from. Um, I think that if he manages to change a few minds about Spider-Man 2 uh, with his references, I think he's probably done a pretty neat job. Especially considering he didn't intend to do this at all. Like, it just happened as a result of him uh, giving the script a good look over, but... Uh, we already know, like all of us, that that is a, that is a quite the take to have, you know? Spider-Man 2 not being as good as people say? Oof. I yeah, believe I mean, Cosmonaut really tried that once upon a time, and you know how bad he is with references. Ta-da! We shall see how Southpaw does. The gates are open, Anakin. Move in with your strike. Um... I had to share. Last year, my friends and I went to Dave and Buster's and witnessed Movie Bob drinking alone at the bar. One of my friends got way too excited to meet him. It was an experience, lol. Really? Wow. I don't yeah. believe you. It's possible. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I, I need convince. If this was, like, another person, sure, but Movie Bob going out to a bar? I, mm, I don't know. That seems extraordinary. Yeah, I, I, the part I'm struggling with is someone who's excited to see Movie Bob. It's like, hmm. But I suppose excitement could still mean a lot of things. I would be excited if I saw Movie Bob. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. It's like, I guess I would be too. I will not fail you, Master Windu. Uh, the reason WB redesigned Steppenwolf is because they thought he was too scary. Snyder wanted the alien world to be a mix of sci-fi and horror, something different than what we see on Earth in the films. Uh, that's fine, but what I've seen on that promo image was fucking hilarious. It looks silly. He... <laughs> Oh boy, if the Snyder Cut turns out to be a disaster, I'm going to be laughing all the way to the EFAP movies that we do on it. There's something really... Like, when we talk about Vulture or Zemo, they're just normal people, essentially. <laughs> yep. And that's part of what makes them scary. No, they're very, very relatable and very real. And, you know, they can be ruthless and they're super determined. And that, that kind of adds to how, you know, terrifying they could be in a way, is that they, they really are just kind of normal people that could be anywhere. They could come from any place. There's not a fantasy element to them, really. Not to say you can't have threatening fantasy monsters, of course. Absolutely, but, yeah. Uh, but sometimes they're relatable. Hmm, well, uh, Thanos would, of course... Uh, <laughs> He's like... Not quite a monster type character. I guess Steppenwolf isn't either in the Justice League movie. He like talks and shit, but uh, he's not like um, Doomsday in BVS or something like Abomination. But, uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. You know, I think Chat's probably got a few Hyper Snyder fans and Hyper Snyder haters alike. And so it'll be super interesting to see what happens when that comes out, which is going to be happening, what, mid-2021 or something? So, Rags, you're going to have to get a crash course in the DCEU before then. Oh, boy. Get excited. I wish I could I wish I wish could find the quote, but someone was talking about horror in the sense that, um, like, the, the scariest place to see a monster is in a very familiar place, like your living room. Oh yeah, I know. Because it's a place, yeah, like, recently, I can't remember where it was though. I wish I could find out where that was from. Maybe someone in chat can help me. I I, I want to have that quote handy because it does. It, I, I just if anyone knows where that's from, pr please let me know. They're basically saying the scariest place to see a monster is in a familiar place, like your living room, because it contrasts with a safe and normal place that you're familiar with, and it's like it's invading your 
you know, Meanwhile, normal world. Meanwhile, seeing Spooky Monster and Spooky World is kind of just like, oh. It's like, yeah, this belongs sense. here. This Spooky Monster belongs in this Not that it wouldn't be scary, of course. Yeah, not that, that it wouldn't be scary. Different. It's just, you can't relate to anything here. Oh, uh, someone like, said monsters Yahtzee. Where it should I, think be. It, I think it was Yahtzee. I think sense. it might have been, if that's the case, that was Yahtzee, his review of Amnesia. Thank you. There yes. You I will, I'll go back and grab that quote, because that's a really good thing to see. I'll probably even just get that clip. I might even use it for something later on. I like that observation. Needle yeah. subtleties. Uh, Snyder recently said on a YouTube live stream that he already has plans for Justice League 2 and beyond. I think AT&T put Snyder back in charge. Sure, I mean, that makes some sense. And, um... I would suppose, then, that the original Justice League is getting decanonized. Like, it would have to be, right? I don't have both of them. Oh, no, can't... Dude, no, not that. I mean, I, nobody's gonna complain about it. I'm just curious about how it works. And are they gonna let the, like, general public know this? Not that they necessarily need to. The general public probably just would go ahead with anything anyway. No offense to the general public. But I imagine lots of Snyder fans would be curious about the uh, continuity. Man, I didn't get to use my super glasses on now. Oh, schnizzle. Rain blast. Did it. Uh, if people think Snyder is the worst, J.J. Abrams wants to do Superman. Read his synopsis for his leaked Superman flyby from 2002 and see what you think. Listen, I think J.J. is more than capable of being much worse than Snyder. I also think Snyder is capable of being much worse than J.J. Just gotta hope that both of them are on their A-game, right? Whenever they do anything. Though, I think it's safe to be incredibly, uh... Ups like, they're just expecting what we've gotten from JJ recently to just be what he's gonna do from now on. Hopefully he can pleasantly surprise us with stuff in the future, I don't know. Same, by the way, for Snyder. Uh... Have you seen the trailer for Batwoman Season 2? Watch it. I believe there's only a know. teaser, and if there is a trailer released, we will probably do an EFAP Mini for it, and we'll play the teaser before it as well. I'm gonna choose I kinda not to wanna, see it. I kinda wanna go in just sort of blind and just get, you know... I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. I, I wouldn't blame you. I don't know. Then again, it's been a while since I've gotten some you know, quality Batwoman content, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm assuming chat would be unequivocally looking for us to do a React video to it, you know? Uh, but hopefully there's a full trailer that comes out, and then we'll, we'll, we'll decide on that. Uh, Midnight's Edge predicted Wonder Woman 84 would drop on HBO Max, and they were right. They think Disney will do the same with Black Widow, dropping it on Disney+, Plus, but will release like Mulan and charge $50. Thoughts? Inevitable, I suppose, uh, for a lot of things, because they have to release this shit eventually. And if COVID is not going away, or at least the lockdowns and people's um, aversions to going to the cinema are not going away, then they're going to have to release on streaming services. I don't really see what other choice they have. Uh... Black Widow, though, coming to Disney+, Plus, I feel like that's going to be a major signal. Because a lot of people are saying that about Wonder Woman right now, and I, I don't know how much of a difference Wonder Woman's going to make in terms of the overall vision of theaters, but if Disney released their next, you know, MCU project strictly on a streaming service, or on both uh, cinema and streaming service, I, I feel like that's going to be quite the, um, like, oh shit, I guess the time of cinema has taken a turn. Not, not gone, just, you know... Something different's happening, and uh, I just see that as something that has to happen, I guess. I don't know. Because a lot of people see it as like really depressing that cinemas are getting crushed, in a way, but um, I don't know what else we can do. Yeah, and plus the, the desire for movies is not going away. And people still love the theater experience. Yeah, I don't, I, think they're going to, I don't think they're going to disappear. I definitely don't think that. Probably shut down a chunk of them just through, yeah. they can't keep them up, but I, I I doubt we'll lose them entirely. Yeah, I mean, maybe they'll make a comeback, I don't know. Probably not to the same degree that they were before, so... Hmm. Yeah. But this fucking has to be the final level. This is so, like, difficult and grand and spooky. Um, Rags, 
you will admit the prequels are good or you will face the consequences. Uh, uh no, the prequels are not good. I guess you're gonna face the consequences. Oh my goodness. 500,000 to make this dog go into a fur coat. A million alive so I can teach him some manners first. Oh my oh. god. Well, you do get that you're referencing Gamble in The Dark Knight, who ended up getting killed by the person he put the bounty on. So, Rags, I'm guessing that that means, allegorically, that you're going to end up being right about the prequels, ultimately. Oh. I think, I, I think I'm going to be, because we got, we got our lists and stuff. This game clearly this game clearly encourages you to play like a pussy, I'm just saying guys. Every time I go for it, I just get obliterated. Every time I stick behind corners and slowly shoot things, the game is like, oh yeah, you're good. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Um, um, I demand retribution on rags. I assume this is still in relation to your prequel tank. No, prequels are bad, guys. Wow. Prequels are bad. Appreciate them? Sure. Like them? Yeah. But they are not good. Seems like Disney's moving forward with Predator 5. Only thing we know is that it's not a direct sequel to the last film. What do you expect, Muller? Garbage. Probably not as bad as, um... Dark... I need to say Dark Fate. Fucking hell. Uh, The Predator. However, it'll probably be bad. I feel yeah, like... The all of these... All of these like series they experience a dark fate yeah because oh um yeah. i've talked about it before but like it's a big wheel that all of these franchises are on and every once in a while the next one has to come up and it's like well it's your time again i can't believe how fast they've done it with the predator but then again that was 2018 what was it 20 that was 2018 i'm pretty sure so yeah it has been Fuck, are we coming up to three years since that film came out are you fucking kidding me mm. i hope not hopefully it's just like Two and a half or some shit, but yeah, I guess it's time for Predator to get soiled again. I don't know why. Cause Did it make money? I don't think so. Or at least I fucking hope not. I, I can't remember. Either. But like, Terminator Dark Fate did so badly that everyone's like, well, that's it for Terminator. And it's like, I swear to God, they're gonna make another one. They'll do it. They'll try. I mean, they'll, they might sit on it for a while. But, oh, it lost a lot of money, so... Like, maybe if we do it this time with John Connor, because everyone didn't like that he wasn't in the other one. It's like, you guys fuck up no matter what you do. Yeah, you couldn't do... You got, you brought back Linda Hamilton, you got Schwarzenegger again, you got this big old budget, you had the huge marketing stuff. Like, man, y'all suck. <laughs> I completely agree. I really feel like it's not too hard to make a successful Predator, Alien, or Terminator movie. But every way you can do it wrong, they are, they are doing it. Um, remember, someone mentioned black sails on a previous EFAP. Would definitely recommend the show in terms of well-written drama set in a certain period. It will definitely scratch that Game of Thrones itch. I don't have a Game of Thrones itch, to be honest with you. kind of killed me. <laughs> no more. I can't wait to see that just die again. Um... But yeah, I've heard a couple of people say that Black Sails is good. Uh, also, 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 yes, the pirates do grape the whammons in the show, so it's no Pirates of the Caribbean shit. It's also four seasons of X episodes max, uh, so it shouldn't take too long to get through it. Yeah, I mean, it'll it'll be a consideration. Our Black Sails. Hmm. Um... You must read the $20 super chat so that Rags knows his choices or you'll become my fur coat. The choices that would just like the prequels or die? <laughs> I feel like... That's, that's not really a choice. That seems a little coercive to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a choice I could make freely. Uh, just give me a moment. I'll be right back. Yep. I find it hard to believe that this snail thing has more game than Machoke, Incineroar, or Lucario. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean... Wait, why Machoke rather than Machamp? I am, I am curious about that. Isn't Matchamp just bigger? Don't you think he's going to be able to handle more? I don't know. I wouldn't want to assume too much about Matchamp, but I feel like it's worth pointing out. I realize now that I should save the missiles for when I'm not invincible. Alright, chat? Use as much of these fucking lasers as I can. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a few missiles, because Jesus Christ. Also, this game... this game's alright, I will say. Like, mechanically, it's pretty sound. It's not too complicated, but it works pretty well. The only issue I'd really take with it is, like, the random spikes in difficulty. And I hate escort missions, but ultimately I really feel like that's not the game's fault that I don't like escort missions, you know? They do what they're supposed to do. Oh my god, so many things. How's everyone in chat feeling about this game? If you've either played it before or not. Oh, get out of here. See, I just gotta play like a super, super careful, careful man, you know? Who the hell likes escort missions? Yeah, that's true. Uh, do the arena afterwards? Probably, I'm gonna finish the campaign and then we'll probably leave it there. Fucking, how many GameCube games have I played on this stream now? I don't know how many I've got left. In terms of ones I even know. I liked it as a kid, loved it. Depends on the escort. Loved it as a kid. On foot seems poopy. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. The footwork seems poopy. It was meh, arena was fun. This game is fun. Looks boring, but I never played it. Cool, loved it. Old Star Wars game is the best. You gotta play the Resident Evil remake. I probably won't. Not, uh, not too into it myself. Besides, I, I wouldn't play that on Dolphin, I would just play the PC version. Yeah, fuck y'all. Um, um, is that the Clone Wars? The game? Molly, you absolute chad. This was my shit as a kid. Please, uh, people, people rag on the prequels, but they gave us the best. I mean, I wouldn't say this game's like the best or anything. <laughs> it's fun. But I feel like the best Man, might be an exaggeration. Hey Rags, what if what if what you've seen of this game, what do you think of it? It's alright. A little bit of nostalgia here and there. Oh, did you play it? Oh, I think a long time ago. I remember the like this part. Like I remember the HUD and everything mm -hmm. on the Xbox. Fuck me. I was like, I got super blasters, I'll nail it, and then I died. Um uh, it looks like the model is not too bad considering. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty solid graphics-wise for the age, and then, um, yeah, mechanically right. it's Vision fine. It's just a little super difficult a lot of the time, and then anything in terms of human stuff is pretty garbage. The vehicle combat works real well. Like that one Rogue Squadron game where they decided, you know what, you don't really want to fly around, right? You want to play our shitty platformer and auto-aiming third-person shooter. Yeah. Like, ugh. Nightmare oh. level shit, you know? Oh, fuck this. I just want to go grab the invincibility and then try and blow everything up at the same time. That's an option, right, game? Well, let me do that. There aren't enough pew-pew noises. There's a whole bunch. Don't you lie. Oh, this is not safe. Would not recommend. There we go. Alright, now to blow everything up. My limited rockets. So when you run over a droid, it just... Doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, they right, should make more of these tanks. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna go back and make sure I killed the other stuff, because if I get ambushed by this shit when I'm trying to push forward, it's gonna be a disaster. But that worked out well, and I kind of did it faster than normal. Fuck me. Okay. Um, best games, also best memes, also high rags. Hi there. Did y'all know that Plato was a broad, broadman, and his deadlift was high enough to have his philosophy considered by the swell philosophers? Lit doge meme. Ooh, wow. Oh, I wow. didn't know that. There's something new every day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did any of you guys play a game called Spartan Total Warrior? It was on PS2 and I believe GameCube. No, I never no, played I that. No, I did not. Jay, how do you feel about Bill Potts gayness in terms of writing or how overt it is? I'm assuming that's a Doctor Who thing. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I know nothing about these Potts. Hey, Rex. Hey! How's things? Things were alright. Things are okay. All's well with me. Things seem to be going okay. I'm feeling a little odd. I don't know. Just, I don't know. 
tired? Just feeling a little. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely tired. I just feeling odd. Don't really know how else to describe it. Hmm. Like, I don't know. This kind of feeling a little odd. I hope this odd feeling passes. Assuming it's not preferable. Yeah, this isn't a good odd feeling. It's not like. No. What's a good odd feeling? First time you get fucked in the ass. Yeah, there you go. It's like, whoa, I was not, wow. It's fucking stellar. But what an odd feeling that is. Your body's so, like, that's not, no, things don't go in there. Mm -hmm. so that's not right. Someone needs to lodge a complaint. There's, with, like, a, there's like a dude working there. A little, a little tiny whoa. pill person who's just like, whoa, this is all wrong. Files a report with the brain, the brain's like, don't worry, this is all according to plan. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had a run-in with Pastor Quinn? He's in Little Rock and can cure you of the big gay, apparently. Oh, goodness. Um, no, I have no idea who that is. But hopefully you do run into him someday. You need that cure, you know? Otherwise, you might not end up in heaven and shit, and that'd be awful. Oh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely don't want to pass that up. I definitely want to get into heaven. Hey, I have good news for once in my life. I've finally gotten back into my Longman anime review and on the process of redrafting. Any advice for making your review good? Oh. Oh, redraft, redraft, redraft. Have, be very familiar with the material. Examples. Details. If you can have examples, oh, even if people don't notice it immediately, their, their brain notices. He said references. a thing, it was instantly backed up by a reference. References are so good. You know, that video we covered today had, like, no references. <laughs> True. But you need to have references. References are so good. Have references. And make sure they're accurate and gun for satisfying whatever you're trying to pull off in your opener. If you're like, what is the purpose of this video? And then make sure you satisfy that shit, you know? What you want to do... Fucking that up. Oh, my goodness. For example, with extra credits, he was clearly trying to get across why it's bad to have games that have sadism in them, and he failed fucking miserably. Yeah, yeah, bad job. I know in my script, the way I'm writing it in my script is I have little denotations for when instead of me saying something, it's a clip of the character in the show saying it. Yep. Stuff like that. It's fucking tough, this bit is, you know? Like, it's fucking six Hellfire droids suddenly. Like, what do I do to deserve that? I'm trying to destroy a base. Big whoop. Anyone can destroy a base. Oh, here comes more. No, fuck you, game. You're not gonna trap me. Uh. Rags, two choices. Like the prequels, or I make you into a fur coat. Wow, he's really. Really. I think done. he just wants a fur coat. Yeah, I mean, just go get a fur coat, man. You know, you don't need to do it to The rags. prequels are bad, guys. The prequels <laughs> are really bad. Like, I appreciate them. They're really great to me. I, l I have so many prequel memes on my computer. But guys, they are written very poorly. They're bad. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Just got back from watching Parasite with my mom. She loved it as I knew she would. Thank you for giving me a good answer about Spider-Man 2 and the reference you gave. I never thought about it that way. Question. What's better, hmm. Spider-Man 2 or Homecoming? Oh. Homecoming. Homecoming destroys most of the live-action Spider-Man films, I'm afraid. Homecoming good. Homecoming's real good. It, a lot of work went into Homecoming, y'all. Pretty sexy script, in terms of how tight it is. Uh, not to say that it is flawless. Also, fuck me, why? Why are there so many evil things? Um, and by the way, I used to be uncertain of that answer to that question. But after many of the references I've been given by Southpaw, I kind of feel like I, just being honest, it's obvious which one is the uh, entire script now. And who knows what the answer will be once he gets uh, his video done, which I'll surely check out out of interest. Um, Save the dream. Ask medium D or capital the seven question. We did. We did. We got our answers. What's your top five? What's your five top ten trilogies table? Uh, tr Lord trilogies. of the Rings. Yeah, definitely Lord of the Rings. Um, if they count as trilogies, 
the Captain America trilogy, Cap quote unquote. Oh yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, I, I like the first one. I, I mean, I like them all. Mm -hmm. They've got, tism. Civil War is phenomenal. Yeah. Winter Soldier is a solid five out of ten. Um. Oh shit! Please don't blow me up. Oh my god, that was too close. And I really like the first one. Captain America, the second Avenger now. Yes. Because we couldn't just leave well enough fucking alone, could we, Marvel? Uh, did you know Henry from Bly was Elliot in E.T.? I did know that. I did not know that. I haven't seen E.T. and I saw it like once and I hated it. Um, I didn't hate it, I just didn't think that much of it. I just like, ugh, oh, that's fucking, I don't fucking want to watch kids in an alien. It's just not endearing or funny to <laughs> me. Unless they're getting fucking, killed by the alien, I don't care. I fucking hate movies about, like, kids. Wow. Like, if it's just, ugh, it's so tough for me to give a shit. Do you ever watch, um, Stranger Things? Oh, fuck me, please tell no, me I've got I a checkpoint. I'm gonna be so upset if but I don't. The, but the fact that it's about a bunch of kids really turns me off of it. I just fucking hate them. Um, well, I thought season one was pretty good. Maybe we could do that at some point. I can take you on the journey that is the death of Stranger Things. Because it starts out. Real I heard good. it got really bad. Yeah, I start. I heard it starts off good, but um, it gets really, hmm, really bad. That's what I heard. Cap is World War Two. Captain Marvel is in the nineties. Yes, but Cap isn't an Avenger. Yep. Um, he made the Avengers because of Captain Marvel's. He's called the first shit. Avenger in reference to like how he's. Of the members. Oh, shit. Yeah, but unfortunately, Captain Marvel did a little uh, recontextualizing of that, let's say. Yeah, you could still say he's the oldest. Well, he's wait a the minute. oldest, <laughs> yeah, but technically. He won't be forever because she, she can was the, age him. She was the cause of its inception. She was the first. They didn't need to I mean, do she that, was the... but they did it. It's so yeah. fucking. Ugh. Totally unnecessary unwarranted in every imaginable way, but they couldn't just leave well enough alone. I mean, the whole reason S.H.I.E.L.D. existed, they retconned. Anakin, I sense the dark side growing in power. Dooku must Imagine how good Captain Marvel 2 is gonna be. Also, wow, I got reset on this whole fucking mission. Okay. I'm gonna do a kill myself run while I just go really fast. I talk about this, if you guys wanna watch it again, maybe, uh, my round table response goes into the issues that Captain Marvel has, I quickly, and here's where references come in handy, I play clips from like four different Marvel movies. And you didn't somehow copyright avoided strikes, copyright. Didn't yeah. Oh, I actually got a copyright strike. Uh, it was either early this morning or last night. It was on a really old video, a PC gaming video, and it was for, because uh, I used the hustle in it. Hmm. And it got a copyright strike, and it's been like three, four years. So that's interesting. But hey, it be like that. It do. Sometimes you just... That's happened every once in a while. A really old video just gets a copyright strike that's totally valid. Because it's just a song that I use at the time because I didn't care. It was weird. It was like, you're like, okay, I guess. That's... That's that. So I just, like, sped through to the part of the game where I usually am at. And I feel really weird right now. Yeah. I don't think I should be here, or at least I shouldn't be alive. I think I'm going to be here for a while shooting things. That's probably my fate now. Uh, J is the true heresy. Table. Heresy medium D7. Everyone's so very passionate about this. Oh my. Only Splot could speak to us and tell us the truth. He probably knows Gene real well. He had an affair with him. Got an army of Splots. A Splami. A Splami, you say? Uh, hey, Rex. Hey. On my way to watch the movie we don't talk about. Uh, Drinka broke the rule recently, although is be the reason I'm watching it again. Oh, hi, Mola. What movie are we not allowed to watch? iCloud? Maybe? Yeah, that could be it. Uh, but I... A movie we're not allowed to watch. I don't know if there's Series? like... Is there one that's just... Oh, maybe that. Yeah, that could be it too. I don't know. Yeah, I, I legit actually don't know what they're referring to. Uh... Oh, it's probably Fight Club because Drinka made a recommends for it. Okay, there you go. Oh. Uh, you need to go to a Fight Club. This is the way. The cake is alive. 
we can agree on this at least. Seven and then smug face? I don't think they can agree on that. Unless they're a seven person, you know. I'm glad that we can call them seven and table so people know what I'm talking about. Rags, I think Bly Manor is absolute garbage, and Attack of the Clones is borderline masterpiece. Roast me. <laughs> I mean, obviously nothing that I could say to you on stream could possibly compare compare okay. with probably all the all, all the stuff that happens in real life of people making fun of you and mocking you for your terrible tastes. So what I say is it, it'll never amount to anything that you probably get in real life. What are you going to do? Tell your friends? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Oh. Your parents? No, you're adopted. There you go. That's the truth. They even said, like, you gotta do it, and, and Moriarty isn't here to help you avoid doing it. Like, problem though. Rags isn't avoiding it. He feels as though you've roasted yourself. What, what, what is he supposed to do? Jay, tell him how wrong their eyes are in regard to Seven. They choose not to see the form that Seven was conceived in. Propaganda to their false idol. I mean, Jay tried. They really did. I mean, it's clearly he wasn't symmetrical, so... Yeah, that's, that's it. Bart was just... Bart was not symmetrical. I don't know what else to say. Like, clarification on that particular element, and that's what we've done. And that's what Jay gave. I'll have to see how the war rages on. Uh, do not listen to the lies. Lord to table, old. Created Gene Tabley has... I guess that's Jean, uh, has intended, and when Jean married Spot, it created Table. Let them wed. That's some complicated lore, I will say. That's per usual. We're not going to get involved in that family drama. Yeah. I know better than that. I feel like it just doesn't concern me, you know? Until Spot asks me for some help with it, I think I'm just going to keep my head down. Alright. Fuck this particular area of murdering me. Okay, never mind. I'm out. Jesus Christ. Um, hello, long man. Honest question. What's your most and least favorite things about the chat? Mauler think face. Squat. Um, mm, so the least favorite would probably be if they run away with an assumption based on something that was said that isn't true. As in, like, something is said that might imply a certain position, and then everyone starts arguing against that position, and then people, be it me, or, or Rags, or whoever, is like, wait, what? Why is everyone responding to that? I didn't say that. Um, and the reason that's frustrating beyond just a misunderstanding is because a lot of people in chat can then assume that is the position, because why else would people be responding to it? That can be annoying. Um, but the thing I love the most about chat, hmm, probably the sense of community and the, the jokes they can come up with, or the, how useful they are, references. There's lots of things to like about chat, you know? You guys are a bunch of sillies, and I appreciate you for it. Is that invincibility? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Do you have any thoughts on that, Rags? Uh, on our chat? Yeah, like, best and worst yeah. elements. Um... I'd say the worst elements is how uncharitable they could be with interpretations. I guess, um, yeah, mine was misunderstandings, but that totally applies, too. Oh, um, fuck. and I would also, I'd say the best part is that they're generally really supportive, certainly, like, financially. I mean, I do want to bring it up. That's a huge deal, and it is incredible that they do that. That's extremely generous. And yeah, absolutely. We're very, very fortunate to have a chat that can support us in a very tangible way. But they're generally pretty quick on, they're very knowledgeable when I'm, when I, like, when, I, when I'm asking for a reference, or they're pretty quick to pick up on that stuff and help us out, and... They give us little neat fun facts here and there that's nifty. They're a very, um, it's you, they're, they're very useful. You know, it's a very useful kind of chat to keep your eye on. I always keep an eye on it whenever we do an EFAT because you can pick some stuff up. And sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, they have corrections and sometimes bad arguments. They, you know, I suppose it's a result them. of having as many people as we do in there, but I just like that we often will have at least one person who is of a particular um, experience, be it for example, hunting, or um, ex you know how specifically how cars work. I'm referencing guns, even though you're here, but I just, you know that would be another one. Or medical, oh, yeah. law, Big you know. Deal. There's always somebody who's like, oh yeah, 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 I, uh, this, 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 this. You're like, oh. Nice and useful. Yeah, and then arguments that we might miss uh, can be 
popped in chat, and then we'll be reminded. Of oh shit, that too. And yes, guys, I died on this level many times. It's because I'm very good at this game, and it proves that it's very bad mechanically. Nothing to do with my lack of patience when I get further and further along to think, if I rush this part, I'm sure to win. It's the monkey brain. Gotta, gotta keep it beaten down into the ground, that sort of thing. Uh, Mola, you and Rags are so right-wing that you play Minecraft with Hitler. Wumbo Wumbo. Yeah. Minecraft with Hitler? Oh, no! That would be fun, though. They're gonna I think most people would agree that would be pretty fun. Around Germany. Damn. I'm almost it's weird dead. how after all this time, I still can play Minecraft. Yeah. After all this time, I can still play Star Wars The Clone Wars, you know? Much I, like I, Minecraft. Uh, I, I, um... Like, I wish there was a uh, there was a way for me to know how many hours I've spent in Minecraft. I'd be curious. I always wanted to know what my, like, total hours is in games on GameCube. Like, I wonder how long I played Super Mario Sunshine in total now across all, uh, your systems or whatever. Dropping off supplies took fucking time. Oh, I'm about to lose invincibility. Oh no. Oh no. No. Man, this whole fucking war is going on. Oh no, there's two clones. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. They're sort of doing it. God, I don't even know what the AI is on this shit. Like, are these just background or are these actual entities? Fuck, they look weird. Um, please do Robocop for EFAP movies. Also, high rags. Hey there. It's another one that I don't know if it would work or not. Fucking attacking me from all the way over there. Racism. I speak English in chat for 50 episode. You guys don't notice me. I speak Japanese once, a ton of attention. Concussion. EFAP is racist toward English. Yeah, I'd say so. We don't like to speak it. It's one of those naughty languages. As you can tell, we were all speaking American. It's very different. How much Apex do I have? Uh, a bunch. I, pl I started to play it a whole lot recently. Um, I have 1,280 hours in Apex Legends. Nice. And, yeah, we fucking clap in that game. I, r I really, really like it. I think it's a really well-designed uh, shooter. Um, I play. I got a. I'm in a couple servers where we just group up and play. Um, so yeah, don't be surprised if you see a lot of Apex Legends footage and some of these dog bite videos that'll be popping up. I've saved a bunch. My, I, most of I, I used to be a Lifeline main, but then I started playing with someone who really really likes Lifeline, and I'm fine with swapping. And I've been playing Mirage lately, and really, really liking Mirage. Mirage is very underappreciated. He's really good, but hardly anyone plays him. And even fewer people play him well. Alright, would you stream Apex? Nah, probably not. I loved Dinosaur as a kid. In fact, it's the last Super Chat I've sent on EFAP. First Super Chat? It's the first Super Chat I've sent on EFAP, though haven't seen it for a while. I think it holds up pretty well, Jay. I assume that means the the first one they sent regarded dinosaur, or just dinosaurs in general, if that would make sense. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I got what you're saying. Yeah, all right. Rags, my question about dinosaurs' objective quality was the first super chat sent. It was the big five hundred dollar super chat on EFAP one hundred. There you go. Oh my god. And it feels bad now because I've not seen it, so I wouldn't be able to say, or at least I don't. Either I didn't see it or I don't remember it. It's one of those two. Um. I'm 99% sure you skipped my $20 super chat, so I remember some of these coming after mine. If, if you're the one that said you wanted Rags to be turned into a fair coat, I definitely said it. <laughs> He's heard your proposition, and he he maintains that uh, the prequel's bad. That's, that's the lingo getting thrown around. You know, that's the thing. If you're getting threatened to be turned into a fair coat, you're still going to kind of push through on those principles, I think. Just got to. Yeah, Jay, what the puck? Invite them to- ah. Ah! I'm sure we'll, we'll get there eventually. 
Medium D speaks, so you're an autodidact? Autodidact? Is that like the study of dialect or something? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. Or someone who does no, that I'm study. Too, I don't tired. Know. too tired to think about big words. Agreed. Big words are scary. Give me that health and mana. Rockets. Same thing. To me. Do. Do. do, do. Uh, you can give your squad orders using the D-pad, Moopa. I've found that regroup, so keeping them near me, seems to be the kind of one of the most optimal. Because it just means that they'll help me kill anything that's near me. Unless I've misunderstood that and they just don't shoot at all, in which case that would be pretty sad. Fuck off. Alright, there we go. See, this is the slow and steady way, which will give us some bonuses, but not all of the bonuses. Let's, let's activate them and go get our supercharge. At Medium D Speaks, you should come on with Chase Face sometimes. You guys will have a great time together, I'm sure of it. When you get him on, ask him if he doesn't like minorities. <laughs> but Chase Face gets along with everyone. What's so wonderful about him? Even minorities when he's forced to. Minorities. Fuck him up, Super Blasters. Alright, that's good enough. That's like the best we've ever done in this sequence because of the super supertisms. Mm. Hot COVID-19 takes from each of you. Uh, the ones uh, snowflakes don't like. I don't I think don't I said anything hot. <laughs> I mean, chill the fuck out. Don't let it control your life. Don't let it Don't live in fear. You. I'm trying to think of what I said about COVID-19. All I said was just, the, I'm pretty sure I'm uh, uh, about don't, cinemas, was that? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> and don't let your government use COVID as an excuse to take away your rights. Yeah, um, what Australia's doing right now, I was talking to Fringy about it, that shit's fucked up. You can't even go outside or whatever, if... Wasn't it like he said you can't even go outside to exercise? You can go outside for, um... That's fucked up, man. Damn, I guess you gotta run on the spot, folks. Like around here, you tell people around here that they can't go outside. Oh, they're gonna give you no the old way. No, uh, stink eye. Not around here. You have the right to. You, you have rights, man. Don't let don't let the government take those away because of COVID. I'm not saying COVID's like not anything, but like fuck, we're setting a pretty goddamn low bar for the government to just say, oh yeah, we're just gonna suspend your fucking rights. Yeah, the, um, the whole saran wrap or, or cling filming products in superstores, whales, that's also... It's not, like, that's the thing. It shouldn't be binary, right? It shouldn't be lockdown or not. It should be maybe take care with the kind of lockdown you're doing. That's all. Some people are doing some crazy things, or at least it seems that way. Uh, Doop. You're a smarticle, right? Is water wet? Oh, he did answer that, yeah. These are all at medium D. Um, you helped Rags' case and he hasn't even noticed. Tusk, tusk. Rags was busy. You can't expect him to pick everything. Up. Yeah, if I was away, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget, I sent a super chat, I think, 55 episodes ago asking if Smash was in the cards. Is that close to becoming a thing or nah? Um, there was like potential at one point. I. I don't see it as likely anymore, uh, though it's not impossible, you know. It, honestly, the next like co-op gaming thing we're probably going to do is very likely going to be Halo. Um, with how easy it is to set up and how we both have a familiarity with it and how I think uh, viewers would be very much interested in seeing us play through the Halo campaigns. I think that's a, a shoe in you know? And then we can play the uh, the new one by the time we get through them all, right, Rex? Yeah, that sounds fun. E I agree. Gaming Definitely. Halo Infinite. And we can give it a big old judgy eye. Maybe even play it with Fringy. Because he likes Halo. And uh, Metal probably be the fourth. That makes sense. They usually do four-player campaigns now, right? That's like a common thing. Four-player co-op, I mean. Like, I, I assume. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. Um... Take a step back and literally fuck your own face. That's Tom Cruise Tropic Thunder, yep. 
Green. Sorry, YouTube wouldn't let me say the F word, but that's my favorite quote of his from that movie. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, that's a good one. SCP-1776 is Alex Jones. <laughs> I, <think that> <laughs> I can awesome. believe it. He's a force of nature. Rags, will you like the prequels or will I make you into a fair coat? They're really good. Cool I them. like the prequel. Well, I like parts of them. Yeah. I like things about them. But I would say good. I like the prequels. I just don't think they're good. I would probably say that too. I would say that I like the prequels. I don't think but... of watching them as a horrible Herculean task. I see it as like a, hey, this could be fun. Hey, yeah, we watch the prequels. Yeah. Have fun with the memes and the lines and stuff. They ain't Ooh. good. Holy mother of god! The selection of AATs killed me? I guess there was a spider droid in the background too. I was doing so well that time. They really could give me a checkpoint. Just one. That'd be nice. Um, I haven't even played RE5 and still think she absolutely stunning. Bodacious. Also, at MediumD Speaks, thoughts on Black Panther? I, the dark side I think he thinks it's really good. I'm not sure. His work on the dark he said he made a video on it. I guess that will tell you what he thought about it. Uh, MediumD Speaks, favorite anime? I'm a basic weeb, and I love Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, I think it's pretty good too. Is that the, is that the non-weeb choice? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Maybe. And 1776 will commence again. I'm assuming you saw that, uh, Piers Morgan interview, Rams. Hello? I'm guessing he's not here. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, you saw the, um, the interview between Alex Jones and Piers Morgan, right? The no, one I haven't. The one where he, I, I assume great. you must have, because it, it was everywhere all over the internet when it came out. The one where he's like, 1776 will commence again. Oh, I've heard of that, yeah. Fucking great. That sounds great. Uh, you guys should play Outer Wilds. It's on Steam and it's very much worth the purchase. Yeah, all we have so I've here. heard. My autistic friend, actually autistic, not an insult, loved Knives Out and had me watch it. Uh, I told him everything wrong with it and more. He changed his mind a bit. He still liked it, but less. Yeah, yeah. Plus the thing, a film like that, when you realize all of the stupid shit in it, it makes it a little harder to enjoy, I would say, because all the payoffs rely on broken fucking logic. That is a terrible movie. I'm gonna make that video one day. Rags talking about guns makes me do big coom. Yeah. There you go. Hello, Mauler. Hello. Rags and the other two guys in EFAP right now. Love your content. Goons? Hmm? Huh? Oh, they were just saying hi, I think. Oh, hello! Now, Muller, I understand that your attention is divided, but the mission keeps failing because you're not t taking out the mortar tank on the ridge. Those things melt the acclimator. I, ma I, I capital opinions picked up on that and got me right through the episode. The mission did part. We did it. Now we're stuck on something else that probably has a really easy answer that I'm missing because... Gotta be reading them, uh, them super chats out. Tell more about the mortar on the ridge and to destroy it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, the one part of RE4 that I found to be problematic was where Chris shouted, Sheva, come on, man, are you a junkie? Oh, my God. Wow, I hope she isn't. I hope she's okay. I didn't even know that Chris Addiction's and Sheva a were real in problem. Resident Evil 4. Yeah. It must have been a bonus room. Yeah. Pretty neat, though. Nice cameo. Uh, SOTL has a lot of the same problems. S O T L. What's that? S O T O? S O colon T L. S O colon T L. I think this is the time where chat's gonna have to give me the answer. Yeah, I don't remember. S O. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Huh. I don't know. So, so hmm. Spec Ops the line? Ah, uh, that's probably it. Has a lot of the same problems The Last of Us 2 has when it comes to player agency. Especially with the big one, but Spec Ops the line does a much better job with the illusion of choice by actually providing choice. Yeah. Um, I think that works probably a lot better for the kind of thing they were going for in that game. Thank you, chat. Blanked mm -hmm. on that. Uh, Tableheads. 
Anakin noises, you turned Bao in against me, table. Moi, Obi-Wan noises, you've done that to yourself. The war <laughs> rages on. I'm so glad that I don't have, like, any stake in this fight and where it's going. <laughs> so yeah, so happy. we don't have to heckle all the super chats, we can just be like, alright. You fight for what you believe is right, chat. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Uh, every EFAP is on your hard drive? Is it a computer? Um, I got a couple of hard drives, and funnily enough, I had to do a lot of moving around to fit in a new one after uh, EFAP 100, because that's when I decided to take account. Ones. Well, yeah, Might that too. Might be the too. way to go. Yeah. Um, they're quite big, is, is my point, but it was just funny because I moved them all to like a super backup drive. You know, it took fucking ages, because yeah, I think man. I told you it was like, it was we're coming up to a terabyte worth. Um, which isn't small, but it may sound small, I don't know. <laughs> Muller, I don't know if you remember, but I previously recommended Medium D Speaks' his Black Panther video on a previous EFAP. You know the video he's so proud of? To be EFAPed and determined if it's high quality or not. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it. But who knows? The very people who guessed upon EFAP might have made videos that we very EFAPers would consider EFAPable. You never know where they're where they're waiting. Oh, gee. You know, delivering, supporting soldiers in this fight has never been more scary. Okay, I'm gonna use this now just to get through this part of the level. Uh, Lawn Rex played Dead Space Three. Yeah, that would be a pretty good. Um, oh yeah, that's, that would be a good pop game. Yeah, that's, that's another one that's good. high on the list, I'd say. The only reason I yeah. want to do the Halo one is all the things I mentioned, plus the fact that we can simultaneously play Halo Infinite and then have EFAPs on Halo Infinite as a result, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it doubles up pretty well. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Mola, would The Last of Us 2 still be a 10 out of 10 if you actively actually had to torture Nora to get Abby info? Would that satisfy the sadists out there? Um, oh, first of all... At least it would satisfy think... someone. If they didn't involve that because they thought it would be too much or whatever, if we can ignore whether or not they would include something because of ratings, I actually think that would have been a pretty good addition to the game, to give you options to torture Nora. Um, Choice in video games? What? Yeah, just to, can you bring yourself to cause this person that much pain to get the information you want and maybe have some kind of mechanic that works that way? Like, there's several results of that sort of sequence. And they could even involve, you need to keep her alive. Like, it's just what we were talking about. You couldn't really make a fucking powerful sequence out of that. But I feel like games have got a long way to go before we're bold enough to be doing stuff like that. Fucking, some people think The Last of Us 2 is bold. It ain't. But it might satisfy the sadists. Uh, also, because I just remembered, Rags, what vision of DayZ did you play? I thought most people played the OG Armor 2 mod, because the standalone yeah, was garbage. Standalone. standalone started out as total fucking garbage. When the standalone came out, it was garbage. It has one of the most troubled, lengthy, mysteriously shocking developments of any game that I have any I know of. Um, right now, like, it's good. It's good now. It, it, it runs pretty well. It's not nearly as buggy. It, the performance is quite good. It looks pretty darn good. A lot of the controls have been smoothed out, and it's been it's a lot more friendly UI wise. Um, there's a lot of mod support and custom options for it, but fucking hell, when that game came out, it was shit. It was a slog. Ugh, horrors. Horrors. I remember right. the Great Berezino Apple Orchard Wars of point. I forget which experimental it was, where food just like wouldn't spawn for whatever reason. Like so fun. people would run to this particular apple orchard that was somewhat near the spawn zone. There's this big apple orchard outside of Berezino. Um, and people would just, like, have these massive fist fights there. Because that was the only source of food, was just searching for apples in these apple orchards. It was... It was kind of... It's weird, like, the game is shit, but it creates these really weird scenarios in the game that you kind of remember. Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of stories in my head, a lot of a lot of fond memories of playing this broken ass game. A lot of memories, a lot of enjoyment, but oh, it's like loving a bad movie. Oh, I know that feeling. Yeah. 
Holy, I left five hours ago, am I still going? Yeah. Well, we're funnily enough close to the cap, but we're also close to finishing Super Chats, so... Ooh, um, wow. My reason for wanting you to EFAP V's did... V's did... D's vid is because he called me an elaborate troll for criticizing it, and I've got a suspicion that he deleted my last comment on the vid, though it could be Susan. Oh. oh. That sounds like something we want to get involved in. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, Navi sounds. Hey chat, favorite anime ever in terms of writing? Oh, there Ow. you go. That was a question for chat from Darth Gene Cream Vader. Ooh, Gene Cream. Uh, also, favorite guilty pleasure anime that you know is trash. So you're gonna have to label which is which for for the for the for the super chat. But level the same. Mine's FMA Brotherhood for favorite anime and Naruto for something you know is trash, but level the same. There you go. I yeah, I don't I don't I don't think I I didn't stick with any of the bad animes. That's the thing. Oh, animes I didn't like the most, Berserk, I guess. I got through. I I think I I suffered through two episodes of that, and I was fucking done. And I and apparently that's the good one, but fucking hell, I just could not get through more than two episodes. Fucking done. Why they got to shoot me from so far away? It's bullshit. You know, can it? I can't. I, I'm sure the Berserk <laughs> Defense Squad will be out in force, but oh, definitely, Berserk's very uh, very loved. Yeah, but very like loved. I gave it a try. I really did. I gave that shit two whole episodes, and it was just I couldn't fucking do it. I will it. say. You know, Buffy is shit for like two seasons, so, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just funny to think about. Yeah. Uh, though, of course, the season you're talking about, um, it's only one season, uh, at least the tight, like the specific one you're, you would have been watching, I think, anyway. Big O. I have faint memories of Big O. I don't know if it's good or not, but I have, I remember that. How often do you play Daisy standalone? Not often at all. But I'll play it in spurts. I'll play it in like chunks. Like I'll play it a bunch and then I'll just not play it anymore and then I'll get back into it and play it a bunch. Uh, is single story or two story a better? A or A? I have no fucking clue what you mean by that. Um, is single story or two story a better? What? I don't know. Is single story or two story better? Are you trying to say like is is a single plot story or one with two better? I, I... maybe they're talking about buildings. I guess I prefer two story building. Get more stuff. I mean, I typically. I don't need much space, and I don't want much space. I've got a pretty spacious studio apartment that's pretty nice, and I don't want anything bigger. I just don't want a lot of space. Space encourages me to accumulate shit, and I don't want to do that. I like I like small-ish space. It's not even I can't even call this small. I I, I don't want like like a lot of space. I I will feel the I'll feel like it's wasted and I'm not paying for it because I'm gonna want to fill it with stuff and things. I think that's fair. Yeah, I agree with that actually. Um, if I can get everything I want in one floor, then yeah, I don't mind having one. If that is yeah. <laughs> at all, I've got a I've got a nice loft, but it's it's just kind of hanging. It's just more space. I just don't. I don't want stuff. I think after I moved, I was just like, I just don't want to, like, all this shit, all this stuff I accumulate. So much stuff. And so I've been pretty careful to not accumulate and gather a bunch of crap. Mm -hmm. I was just a hoarder? No, I'm the opposite. No. I'm the opposite of a hoarder. I do not have much stuff at all. Uh... I mean, I got my things, but it's not that much. This one says another one for chat, but for games. So now he wants you to answer uh, what your favorite games are and then what games you love but know a shit. Um, will you watch Wonder Girl first Latinx super show? Ooh, wow. Don't. Wonder Girl. <laughs> that sounds new. I don't know what. If that's fucking CW, okay? Batwoman is our, is our girl, alright? We're sticking with her. She's our favorite. You have four um, different AR-15s. Yeah, guns are not like their guns are easy to move. It's not like furniture. Plus, my guns are not actually here. Most of my guns are not actually here where I live. Hmm. I mean, an AR-15 is what 
seven. They're probably they probably average up out at around seven and a half pounds each, maybe eight, with all the stuff on them. And that's not that much, you know. I'd... Um, extra credits forgets that the ma vast majority of games have a progression system. Violence is the easiest one to apply, so a lot revolve around that version of it. Um, extra credits seems to forget why people fucking play games. One of those common things, just chilling out and having fun. The idea that, like, the commonality for violent games to prevent you from potentially punching someone is fucking weird. It's not impossible or anything. Not at all. Just strange that that's the first place you go to, that's all. So yeah, you guys killed me last time, not risking it this time. You gotta work harder for your... What was he saying, Resident Evil? Work, work hard for your meal to the zombies, I think? Yeah, he's like, you, we're gonna make you work. He's basically, he's like, nah, I'm gonna make y'all work for it. Which I'm zombies. like, yeah, all right. We just hungry, Look, you go. Leave the zombies alone. I guess I don't eat each other. Yeah. Whoop. Uh, TYT Joker review, 194 up, 11k down. Yikes, my dude. Ooh, Oof. that is quite the fucking ratio. Wow, <laughs> that's bad. Joker hates black women. <laughs> best opener to any review we've ever Despera covered. Desperation to make everything about race. Such a mind-blowing opening, because most people are just like, wait, what? What? Where the fuck are you coming from? It's just like, but I don't know. But he fantasizes about having a black woman as a girlfriend. Yeah, objectifying like, her is what you mean by that. Ugh. <laughs> it's immediately like, ugh. Okie dokie. Uh... Shoot it better next time. Well, considering it was an 18... Sorry, a 180, 200-yard shot, I'd say it was a good enough one. The problem was the trail led to a patch of long grass, and it was difficult to spot the blood spit. Also, fun fact... Oh, wait, on the bright side, if we don't find it, I can still use my buck tag on a different buck, so there's that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like it's kind of on you to, you know, see it through, you know? Yeah, gotta be careful, I guess. Get the the best humane uh, kill you can, I suppose. Uh, any of you thought about joining the army? If no, why? I don't want to fucking join the army. <laughs> um, no, and it's mostly because I think I'd have an issue with like taking orders from people, taking instruction. Um, I think it's, I just, I don't I don't think my personality would gel well. It's not because I don't think I would do well. Um, it's just that I don't think that I'd be a good fit for it. I have zero um, desire to do what is typically done in relation to army type things. I just I, there's just nothing there for me that I, I, I would find engaging. Yeah, I, I give back in uh, to my country in other in other ways, and I, I have and I shall continue to. Mm. Oh my god, have I finally made it to whatever the end might be of this map? Um, I rags. Hi. <clears throat> Mullet, you have infected my YouTube when on autoplay all my subscribers, it only plays your Star Wars Rage videos. <laughs> what? That must be weird to go to sleep to, but, you know, hey, if it works. Oh, good, it's a boss fight. Uh, on the bright side, if we don't find... Oh, wait, I read that already. Uh, also, fun fact, you're essentially red-green colorblind. Their eyes are more sensitive to blue wavelengths. They also lack a UV filter, so to them, the color orange would look brown or gray. Yeah, that's uh, that's an advantage that we have for wearing orange. Cause we, cause when we go hiking, we've been wearing orange on our on you know some place on us. But yeah, they can't see orange as orange. So for us, orange is very bright and easy to see. How advantageous! So hunters' vests and such are, uh, you know, orange, and that's all right. Rex, what do you think of the name Sidon Prax? Uh, sounds very Star Warsy, Star Trek. It sounds more Star Trekky than Warsy, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, it's a space name. Yeah, I'd say it's good enough. I looked at it first yeah. and I was like, is that edgy or is that fine? Hmm. Sidon, uh, Sidon Prax. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I think Prax is better than Sidon. Yeah, Prax. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the one from Force Unleashed? Like something like that. 
my brain's not interested in trying to remember it right now. Also, this is a shit boss. Not that he's terrible in terms of damage, he's not like the worst thing ever, but... I probably should have killed him. Fuck me, is that really gonna... Uh... No! Is this the end of the game? Please be the end of the game. Please tell me I did well. Wow, you want to be over the game? Wait, Shit, how much health does he have on the health oh. bar that Jesus Christ. It's not because I'm not liking the game, I kind of do like it. It's just that it would fit really well with the end of the stream if it was to end now. <laughs> um. Okay, it's probably not the end of the game because there's a huge, horrible monster thing setting up. Oh no. Do -do -do. You heard Master Yoda? Mola, stream GTA San Andreas, or 4, or KOTOR 2, not 1. Um, you know, I, I'm, I, you never know what exactly will will be on the stream. Oh shit, I'm, f I'm fighting the Dark Reaper, Rags. Oh jeez, wow, that is, defeat the Dark Reaper. Yeah, I know, right? Wow. Like, wow. So you, you just like strafe left and right and shoot at him? Pretty much. Um, I'd say the big weakness of this game is there's not much, um variety in avoiding damage, you mainly just strafe. Yeah, this would be a game that would benefit a lot from a more top-down style, almost like bullet hell, things where there there are zones that you have to avoid, zones that are areas of attacks that you have to avoid. They do that sometimes. And you sometimes. have kind of a dodge function. Also, what the fuck am I supposed to do if I have no boost game? You better regenerate these, uh, these health. Eh. Don't know if doing well, but hoping. Mm. Mutually, Raggleton, go to bed. Love Grandma. Also, hi, Rex. Oh, hi there. Oh, soon. Soon, soon, soon. Hopefully soon. I'm running on fumes here, but mm -hmm. we're still trucking. You can bring back Sir Christopher Lee back from the dead for one last roll. Do choose, uh, do choose for him to be Gandalf. He plays Voldemort or appears in EFAP 200 with Donald Trump and Nicolas Cage. I mean... I think he would. I think he would want to act. So I'd be very tempted to choose Gandalf because I know he wanted to do it, and that would strictly be my reasoning. The selfish choice would more so be uh, him coming on EFAP, though. I would fucking I, love that. I too. think that, I think that Christopher Lee would want to spend the, this this second chance of his doing the thing that he loved. I I couldn't. I don't think I could take that away from him. Fuck yeah. I know that he wanted well, to do it. So. I don't know how he would gel with Donald Trump and Nicolas Cage. Like, what would they talk about? You know, I feel like we would be able to help him out in that, no matter what. We would get something to work for him. Sure, yeah, but I feel like, I think he would. No, enough with the giant laser. So I can just drive in this stuff and it doesn't kill me? Okay. Give me that health back. Ooh! don't know if these regenerate, but if if they... I'm just happy that they probably do. Can you give me a weak spot, giant horrible monster thing? So it just homes in on you with a laser? And just yeah, it's kind of fucking annoying, but as long as you I can... Don't you? Kind of? You need... I need boost to be um. uh, ready to do it. Uh, all hail Johnny Depp. That's fair enough, though he's been... He's not going to be in the Pirates film that's going to be remade. Not that he necessarily would have been regardless, but he's also getting booted out of Fantastic Beasts. Just like, oh, big fucking gay, man. That is just a big gay. Oh no, I don't think there's any more health in the map. I might be fucked at this point. Please stop. Curse you, Dark Reaper. It says you only have one dot left to kill, though. I think I've got two more turrets to blow up. A three, I'm not sure. Three, I guess. I'm not sure what happens when I destroy them. But, um, there's no more health spawning, so I'm pretty sure I'm fucked. Unless there's a way to dodge the laser that I've not been doing. Oh, balls. Maybe the decision is based on movement. This isn't fair. The laser's gonna get me. Oh my god, I held out somehow. Please, 
die. What? What? You got to fucking use the laser straight away? That's not fair. You. Fuck you, Spider Man. Uh, by the way, have you heard the guy who drew a big titty Mando to spite Anita Sarkeesian? <laughs> no. Oh. Don't cut on him. Doing the Lord's work. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a massive TCW fan. If Ahsoka appears in Mando Season 2, I might just lose it. Disney's gonna kill her through overexposure, just like they did to Maul. Uh, there's a good chance of that, yeah. Um, it's gonna be interesting for us to check it out, because fuck if I know anything about Ahsoka. Please go away, Mr. Laser. Can I please shoot the enemy now, game? Destroy the harvester bays. Really? I don't have any rockets left. Why does this thing just have many tiers of things to destroy? Final boss. Oh. Please don't activate laser. Please don't activate laser. Come on. Only the harvester itself what? Remains. Destroy it. What am I supposed to just constant laser? Oh my god. <laughs> Save all my rockets for that part, I guess. That's the clue. Um, what's the EFAB host's and current guest's favorite song? Do you have a favorite song, Rings? I don't know. Like, generally, no. I guess that they come and go. Probably yeah. Jupiter by Gustav Holst is one that I've been really liking a lot. But like every, I, it just changes all the time. It's not like a favorite movie or anything like that. Songs are really fluid in the way that they just appear and reappear and whatnot. Um, yeah, I got all kinds of different songs I end up liking a lot. I've never really considered one to be like a constant favorite. Um, also, apparently the Dark Reaper can teach me how to harness the force around me. What do you reckon? It's like a temptation thing. Time? What now? You know, the Dark Reaper tells me that it can help me harness the force around me. Sounds kind of tempting. Wow. Um, you reckon it? You reckon it would how lie? How is it gonna do? Is it gonna reap all the force around itself? I don't remember this in the movie. Probably because you're not a true know. Star Wars fan, right? So I thought about that. Well, who are you playing as? I think I'm Mace guy? Windu or Obi Wan. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh wow, you just tank, you know, just being in a tank. You should have just been some guy. I might be some guy. I haven't really been paying attention if I'm could honest. Be some guy. I feel like some guy being tempted by the force would be a lot more interesting than someone who already has the force being tempted with the force. This boss is gay. I'm putting it out there. Mainly the laser thing, alright? There I said it. That's my hot take for the day. Um, love this game. Do Revenge of the Sith game next. Um, so that's not on GameCube, but it is on the PS2, and um, if I can get that emulation working, I might be able to do just that. So I'm gonna grab some more rockets. Maybe I can escape the laser if I just keep partially using the boost. That seems to be working right there, so maybe that'll, that'll be it. Let me talk it, please. Oh wow, those turrets are fucking me up. Maybe this boss is easier than I thought when I just did really bad the first time around. There's a possibility. Boom. Okay. I hate college release college 2. Oh, you hate college, you want college 2. I don't know how long they're going to take before they, you know, get that out of there, but yeah, I hope it's good. No, all you can do is buy DLC. Mm-hmm. No, 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 laser. Oh, shit. How am I not dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck you. Um, thank you, Mola. Now, next question. What are your least and least favorite things about Movie Bob? No typos. Least and least. There is no best. Um, mm. I guess... They're all horrible. His extreme malice for anybody... That exists that he doesn't agree with. That's probably not a plus. Um, also, I'm 25 minutes from the cap. Yeah, I know. We, 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 we're on it. I'm gonna, swear to God, we're gonna get there. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to like about Movie Bob. So my least favorite things are probably just how much he represents the horrors of what humanity can reach when they're filled with fucking insanity or hatred. I guess. My deep answer. 
Okay, I need a rock here, dude. You need to unlock the turret portion of this fucking thing as soon as possible. That was probably ill advised. Goodfellas or Casino? Probably Goodfellas, from my memory. I do like them both. That's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh! I didn't let my shield regenerate. Um, EFAP Good Movies, The Last Action Hero. That's one that could probably work in EFAP Movies, actually. It's a fun little one. Alright. You ever see that, Rex? No, I haven't. Pretty sure the way the premise goes is a, a kid gets trapped inside, like, a movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger is, like, the action hero. And the rules in it don't quite work. Well, the, the rules of the world are, are odd compared to ours, of course. So, All right. Okay. The fun, neat little movie. Also, Charles Dance is in it. Oh my goodness. That's obviously a plus. Come on, give me the turrets. Target the Reaper's cannons. I am targeting the Reaper's cannons. I'm going to do stuff I'm clearly doing. Uh, day ma day nay. De mai o, de mai na no yo. Ontage su ki de, su ki su ki de. Wait, is this that song? Yeah, it is. <laughs> do. That, it's that Japanese meme, so you gotta sing it. A dake. I don't have to do shit. Su. Yeah, you do. You have to. They send us money. You have to sing it. O sok a demo. Yuge. Mon i e. Omo i de ga. Baka mi tai. That's, that's not very good. I feel like you should sing it for the super chat. Well, you see, um, that's just not how it works, you know? If if that's how the world works, I think people would be requesting a lot more crazy shit. I, I feel like the, it was in the spirit of the of the super chat that you sing it out. Maybe they need it for a meme. That's how I did the, the subversion of not singing it at all. You could probably turn that into music as well. What is music? I mean, you could, but it just wouldn't be the same. You gotta sing it. It would be better. Uh, dame dane, dame o, oh dame na no yo, antega, sugite, suki, sugite, dora da ka, tu yo i, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I wouldn't have been able to tell that those were the lyrics. No, I, 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 I scrolled up and I got the thing that I posted in. I yeah. forget how it goes. Well, uh, tsu, 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 te, dora, dake, su, yo, we, yo, saka, de, mo, you got money, eh, omo, i, de, ga, baka, mi, tai. See, it's all complete. They got their thing from it. I'm destroying the harvester bays. I'm so close to winning again, but I'm probably gonna lose miserably. Harvester um. bay! Disregard my Smash Super Chat. You play Halo, I forgive. Oh! There you go. Oh, there you go. Works out. Only the harvester itself remains. Destroy it. Battle Fuck me. I'm out of more rockets. Give him my rukuts. I like the constant lasers, like the fucking end boss. As if I need that shit. Die! Uh, don't know what part of Australia Fringy lives, but over here in the QLD part of Australia, there's nothing too restricting in terms of COVID. Oh, well, from what he told me, it sounded fucking nightmarish. He's in Adelaide, I believe? It's a big old chungus, but still. Dame, dame. Watch the video titled Blade Runner 2049 is the best sequel of all time by a matter of film. It's not. The heck in main plot means nothing at the end. I mean, oh that goodness. film is kind of shitty, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh oh. There, I said it. Controversy. Also, we're really running close to that time limit, and we've. I think I'm at the I'm end running, of the game, and we're almost done with Super Chance. Running close to my fuel limit. Berserk is more beloved for the manga. Don't fret, Rags. There you go. Wow, they look great. They do. They look amazing. <laughs> Mola, you massive. I said it is a computer. Oh. <laughs> his face. Oh my god, his face. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Rags. He looks gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. Uh, 
Uh, is Optimus Prime Republican? Sure. I don't know. Do Maybe. Maybe. He's red, right? He's he, red and blue, so... I think there's more red than blue, though. There might be. He's a fucking centrist. Well, that's Mahler, did you make Rags watch all the Tywin scenes? A lot of them, yeah. Yeah, a lot of Tywin's them. Tywin's a fucking boss. <laughs> so true. He would have... You would have beaten the shit out of Daenerys, okay? That would have been great. Bam, bam, bam. You oh, want to put the catapults where? Stop playing the music, game. People can't be doing that shit. Copyright. Uh, when do you think you'll be reading out Streamlabs donations from today's stream in the eventual catch-up you mentioned earlier? Also, hi, Reeg and Mom. Uh... Hello? I can't know for sure. I will drag, uh, grab them, and they will be... The first thing read on the next catch-up, Rags and I will probably do that on a possible Wednesday. So, it'll be the first thing on the next catch-up. Then it'll be 103's finished off, and I'm pretty sure that'll take us to, like, a full stream, and then we'll try and do a full stream for fucking, uh, uh, the boys' ones. Uh, have you thought about teaching media studies at a university, Mola? Fuck no. I want to do what we do. I don't want to be a teacher in a university. Do you yeah, think I can handle that. teenagers fucking around? No. Fuck that. What? Latino Wonder Girl? What the hell? Every version of her has been white. What in Ruby's acting are you doing, CW? See, it's CW. Mm. Why would we go anywhere near it? Batwoman is the only you one we're willing to dip the toe in. People. Um, and oh my god, Rags, that was nice singing. Good doggo. Oh, wow, well, thanks. I, there you go. I actually, I actually think I'm an okay singer. It's just that is... It's just off the top of my head. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, I guess. And uh, fine. that's right. it. We have caught up. We are under the oh time goodness, limit. All of them? And I completed a oh, full wow. GameCube game in the catch up. I hope you guys enjoyed Star Wars The Clone Wars. <laughs> that was it. Wow. Uh, it's okay. It's it, it's alright. It's, it's a little undercooked, but the idea is there and the execution is alright. Um, and yeah, so in terms of things that are coming up. Next Saturday, you will see the release of uh, the Spider-Man debate that we had with Thought Theater and Marcus with Southport sort of chilling and uh, taking in bits and bobs here and there. There's a meme fab on the way that might come soon after, who knows? Uh, the next non-mainline episode thing you'll see is going to be Little Hope as soon as it allows itself. Then me and Rex finishing off Resident Evil 5. Then the tonal defab gaming and if you want to access any of these just check the announcements in the discord you'll find all the links will be present there um and i'm working on my boys video and rags is working on his mandalorian video and that's about it anything else you wanted to say before we jump away rags dame dane dame ho dame nana yo as no. per usual thank I, you no it, it ended with a no where? Ah, I think about it. Thank you all I'm so much for the very kind donations, the supportive today. messages, today. the hanging out with us for as long as you Father have, King. and uh, oh, we will get to the uh, the missed super chats in future. It shall happen. But other than that, it's time to have a nice little sleep, eh? You all, you all have a good night, and, and we'll see you around. Good oh boy, Suzuki Kawasaki. Honda. Racism. Oh my goodness.